Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cooperation Cup. Jeez. Oh my god. Check out the PV. Just let me know in the chat how the uh, audio is, and I'll continue monitoring it. But uh, we're about ready to get underway. Oh wow! Okay, they're gonna they're gonna just start right away. This is the first pool of uh, Cooperation Cup. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna let our commentators take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live here at Odaiba, Japan. It's time for Cooperation Cup. This is uh, block one. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which teams are which. Fortunately, it's a little, it's a little bit harder to figure out who, uh, which teams are playing right now. So we're getting the information for you right now. What do you say? Keep, keep the mask. Lose it. Oh. oh. All right. Starting off with this epic Chun Li versus Yan matchup, it looks like Chun Li already taking the first round here. Chun Li doing a lot to just limit the movement from Yan. Do not let Yan move around. Nice throw tech. Yan's got to get away. Running back, building meter. Nice back wrist. Looking for the shoulder. Might have been looking for an activate. Back dash. Activate. Try to get that elusive hit. The launcher. The back pierce trades with a dive kick. Nice. Well done by the Chun-Li to limit how much Yun could do with that Ganagian. Nice. All right. Left team is Team 75. Right team is Team 46. Okay. 
Now, unlike yesterday, the teams are full of different characters. Now, the maximum you can have of the same character on any team is three. So you're going to see a little more character variety on each team. Oh, I might have had that backwards. Wow, the mood here is already electric. We have so many teams, 91 teams already. They moved a lot of the casual setups that they had in the back, and they converted them into tournament setups because, hey, let's face it, we're going to need even more for today. It's going to be epic. Okay, here we go. I'm right, bringing up Ken now. Nice, okay. Going in, low forward. Nice counter sweep. Ken trying to push the offensive there. Toe taps from Chun Li. Now we've got the corner throw. Uppercut, nice. Uses the fierce. Wasn't expecting multiple hits. Overhead, but no super to confirm. Chun now with corner pressure. Strong fierce wake up. Trading low forwards. Nice, the low jab stops that attempt from Chun Li. Chun Li dashes into low forward. Shipu. Ken now with the advantage. Cross up side. Corner throw. Low forward for the win. 46 something. Okay, that is. Uh, Thomas Shin is looking up the players right now for you guys. It's either Zone or Boogie as the time. Uh, as for the Ken player, uh, it's Kabetu. Oh, crap, it's Kabetu. Kabetu. So that's Kabetu Ken? All right, no, it's low forward into Hoyoka then. Toe tap, toe tap. Keeps it simple. Gets the lightning like follow up. Nice, counter poke, low forward, goes right under the fierce. Again, looking for it, this time, no get. Dash up, throw. Ken on the ropes. Oh, supers anyway. It's anybody's game at this point. What's the wake up, Spinning Bird? Spinning Bird, I called it. Spinning Bird for the win. Chun Li still alive. Ken with very little meter, Chun almost at one meter. Nice, corner throw. Another throw. Looking for the anti-throw setup, that's why you use the roundhouse. Jumps back. You can super jump cancel that in any direction. You gotta do super jump cancel if you wanna super it, but you can also just get away. It's easy to confirm. Another corner throw. Anti-throw setup. Yet again. Low board. Locked. Can't out of there, but now back in the same direction. Count back to go forward. Auto into super. Very well done. Chun Li looking like she's gonna clinch. Okay, Count Bensu, come back. Low forward, that's it. Low forward takes it. Thumbs up from his teammates. Yes, he's saying yes. All right, I got this, I got this. I got this. Don't worry about it. Keep calm and relax. All right. Team 75, it looks like they're trying to figure out who to send up next. So it's 46 versus 75, uh, Tom? Yeah, 40, uh, no, 46 and then 75, yeah. 46, so teams A and C, block number one in this first group of Cooperation Cup. It's already going crazy here. That is, wait a second. Uh, let's see who they send up now. Wait, that's match. Wait, what? <laughs> Did he enter under a different name? I have a little bit of a discrepancy on who's on what team here, what's going on, what we're seeing. Is it possible that we're looking at the wrong block? So our no, line, just, maybe not. Okay. Is it possible a, a player got substituted onto a different team? No, I don't think so. Okay. He, because normally Max will play Akuma or Goki right now, but he's on right now. It's game set to... Uh, I... Yeah. Checking the Goki player right now? Yeah. Right now. Anyway, back to the match. Chun Li already showing... Arashi. Arashi Goki. That's Arashi Goki. The fireball, nice conversion into... Okay, Chun Li almost at one meter. Car throw is teched. Demon flip goes low. Confirms. No low forward there. Dashes right into a throw. Uh oh. 
As soon as we can get the break in the action, we're gonna uh, we're gonna try to start doing some uh, names and labels for the viewers. Nice. Unfortunately, short, short, super, not dead just yet. I forgot. No, it goes overhead. Universal overhead. The actual cooperation cup is right now. It yes. just started. Chudley gets over the air fireball. Wake up, demon flip gets thrown for his efforts. And the low forward, Boyoko Zen, follow up, Zen Zen. As in every game, Akuma in this game has like zero health. Total glass cannon. That overhead is, un is unthrowable, by the way. Now, that was originally a glitch, but the players liked it so much they decided to keep it. Now, in other versions of the game, that glitch is removed. You can throw that toward, that toward strong, but. Oh, in the fixed versions, in the, yeah. In the fixed versions, yes. But no one plays that. But we don't want the fixed versions, we want real third strike. Right. Akuma's trying to get his offensive pressure started. Nice. Oh, is this pre in the title? The, it, oh, well, all right. It says pre, apparently it says pre in the title of the stream. Whoops. All right. All right. So, oh no, oh, miss. This is a Masatsu. Quite alright though. He's still got one meter. Oh, but he could try to burn into super. it. That's gonna hurt a lot. It's not gonna be. It's gonna be pretty even. Teleports out. Smart move. Go forward, Hado. Uh, Goes with the uppercut, yes! Arashi Goki clutches it out, putting another win on Team 46. Alright, let's see. Team 75. Yo, that guy looks like an actual Kappa. He's like got the bald spot in yeah. the top of his head. He actually looks like a. All right, so who do we have here? Two seventy-five. That's their Ken player. Kade? Curry? No, 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 not Kade. Kade. Okay. I'm not sure what. The... I think we played his team yesterday in uh, pre-co. Yeah. Let's see, Arashigoki. That's air to air, but he gets thrown. Ken's throw yeah, very good. Curry. Curry. Okay. All right, goes with the crouch wrist as his anti-air. Roundhouse meets up with the air fireball. Temba goes on to. Nice, nice. Fierce uppercut. Another fierce uppercut met with uh, Kuma. That's a nice conversion. Almost dead. This has your chip setup. The that's gonna be very hard to parry. Arashi Goki. Car throw. I'm not sure responds with Roundhouse Hurricane Kick. This is intense yeah, action already. Every, pretty much every game, that air fireball is so annoying. It's, it's extremely annoying because of the angle it comes down at. And jumping back, it's like, alright, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. That was a hell of a lot worse than Super Turbo, I'll tell you that much though. Nice EX Tatsumaki. Oh, the overhead says no to an overhead. Has him trapped in a corner. Oh, misses a confirm and a super. They both missed their confirms. Ah! I'll try to hit him out of it. Cross up. Big shimmies. Demon Got out of the corner with Demon Flip. Nice. Oh. On the recovery on the low forward. One guess either way wins. There it is. He's not parrying that. He's oh, not parrying no. that. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. You but never know. But what would have could happen there is Akuma could have just dashed up and done a spin kick because He's frozen for 16 frames for each parry. Right. But Akuma is not. You're, the opponent is not frozen. Right. The, so, uh, so, you know, he has like all that time, more than a full second, to just walk up and go high low, throw right. you, do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, that, uh, Akuma's a uh, super fireball, multiple hits. Plus, he threw a red fireball right before. That's about like, what, nine or ten hits that he's got to parry. And then Akuma has the option to mistime it any way he wants to. So, all right. They have thrown up. 275 is thrown up. Let's see here. Oh, Necro. Your Necro player, uh, that is? Uh, Bacchus. Okay. Shout out to Hisbit Third for the awesome translation for the, the team for us. Yes, thank you Hisbit. Without, without you, we can't be doing our job right now. All right, keeping it going. Necro, one of those high stun characters, still does high damage as well, but he's a big target, kind of slow. No punish on the Electric Snake. But he tried the tornado hook in and he got metal yeah. carball. 
Puma keeping a nice space, waiting for a nice Necro's open. already got meter. You know what? He just needs like one good corner push right. to get Akuma stunned and all the follow-ups thereafter. Right. Akuma with the lowest Akuma scum does not game. want to yeah. dash in for no reason whatsoever here. Right, right, now, right now he's sitting pretty. He's sitting okay. Yeah. There's no reason for him to, go, to get in. Oh, no, that, was oh, that was a strong, that was a strong tornado hook. That wasn't even gonna combo anyways. He just did it to get in. Interesting. All right, force him into the corner finally. Nice, good. Hey, I just want to teleport out. I have a feeling that Necro's waiting for a teleport to try and reverse the situation. 18 seconds to make something happen. Oh, no. Smart move. Smart move. All right, good start for Akuma. Oh, all right. All right, now it's this is still good. This is still good for for Necro. He's controlling mid screen. Right. Oh, oh that's the confirm there. Maybe maybe didn't want to do the confirm. That would have been free for him. Now try to push. Oh, oh. nice. If he didn't do the roundhouse kick, he might have been able to float over with a uh, dive kick. This might be it for Necro. Right. He can make a comeback though. He could. He's got. He has enough to do full stun. Oh, he went with the oh. cyber. Oh, that air fireball again. Yeah. It's that air fireball. Is that is that who I think it is? Cheering on uh, Arashi. All right. Yo, waifu shirt for the win. Waifu shirts all day. I believe that's their Urian player, right? Oh no, the Chun. They, they sell their Chun. Okay. Yeah, they're two Chuns. It's two Chuns. Okay. I'm not sure which one this is. Okay. One of two Chuns on Team 75. They had two. Yeah, there are two chunks. Yeah, yeah, You're allowed to have up to three characters of the same type. Right. Alright, so he got caught in the parry. Nice, low strong. The Neko Punch or the Cat Punch, as they call it. It does go under Fireballs, as you just saw right there. Nice conversion there from Goki. Now, Goki, uh, Kuroda said that Goki is one of the best characters that you actually fight Chun. Now, albeit he has no like real stun uh, potential, or you know he takes damage like a you know piece of paper, he's got so much mobility and so many ways to control the space that it's actually not as bad for Akuma. Yeah, Chun Li's got Chun still has to deal with air fireball like everybody else. Yeah. However, one touch from Chun Li could be almost instant death for uh, for Akuma. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, those angles. Nice tick throw. Wow. Try to this confirm this. Uh, this pressure is oppressive. Holy crap. Nice. I almost thought it was going to be a, a car overhead or a car demon, but then I realized he doesn't have a meter. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a chip set. I've, I've been conditioned for so long. He can chip set up at any point right now. He just wants that right moment where he knows Chun Li is not in a good position. And it's all about spacing at this point. Nice. nice. Got the dashing right there. Exactly. Arashi really doing the heavy lifting for this team. Yep, now it's their Urian. All right. Yes, Shobo, Urian. This is not an easy matchup for Urian. Akuma can roundhouse Tatsumaki him, and Akuma can, uh, and Urian can't even punish unless he red parries. This is a really bad matchup for Urian. He can't, like, um, he's, he's pretty much kind of forced, whoa, yeah, he gets to teleport out of Aegis Traps for free, he gets, uh, he has, he's forced a red parry last hits of the, of the spin kick, yeah. because he can't duck under it, and there's, like, a whole bunch of other problems that he has in this matchup. Right, the, the uh, I'm, you know, I'm a little surprised, you know, I do see a lot of, I do see Urian's, yep, right there, you see, he tried to red parry, he's trying there. to red parry the dive, uh, spin kicks. I mean, if he does get it off, it's a great payoff. Right, you'll get a, a beaky punish out of it. I'm surprised, you know, you could, you do see a lot of urines. They'll switch the temporal thunder for the stun con for the uh, stun potential. Again, Akuma with the lowest stun bar in the game. But here, opting to stay with the Aegis Reflector. Yeah, yeah. I, I, this would be like the only matchup I can think of where I would like, if I was your repair, I might rather. Uh oh. <laughs> oh! Nice. Oh wow. Got him on the parry recovery. Nice. The EX tackle. Where I would use orbital uh, Jupiter Thunder. Yeah, Jupiter or, or Temporal. Or is it called Temporal Thunder in America? I don't or, know. Yeah, it's, it, he says Jupiter Thunder. 
Thank you, localization. All right. Hanashi keeping the space. Nice little jab. Stops the headbutt attempt. Stop this, Akuma, please. That's Arashi Goki. You can't. Got him. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That could have been worse. So, you know, I... You no. could have got uh, hit into a uh, him to reset. See, so, you now I've always maintained that Akuma has the best anti-air one-bar super in the game. Super one? Super one. His super one is the best anti-air super in the game. Reasoning being, let's say you try to jump in on Akuma, and Akuma has the angle to, to uppercut you. You uppercut, you jab uppercut, and the opponent parries. You instant cancel super, now he's got to parry the super. Right. Akuma it's, recovers, and he like gets five to hits, yeah. And then he gets to do anything he wants. Exactly. Oh, that's a good point. By the way, shout outs to uh, Toronto Street Fighter for making the original Red Parry exhibition video. Yes. Fair boys, a C-Roy, and here's a Max. <laughs> yeah, the OGs. The, I can't remember the rest of them, but yeah, o, the OG uh, Toronto SF crew. Third strike. Now, one thing uh, players will note against against Yuri, if you're a Shoto, your short short, your short short will work, but you cannot do short jab short. It pushes them too far back. With the Kuma? With any of the Shotos. Oh, uh, I see. So if you try to do short jab short against him, yeah, that's why it's only two hits and it's gonna work. You know, I could have sworn it worked on it on um, oh, Mikado. Oh well, but maybe she's fat. Well, Elena, Elena, she's fat. I see. By the way, that Urian right there tried to do a. I think he tried to do an EX Aegis Reflector. Oh yes. And unlike the other Aegis Reflectors, in Third Strike, the EX Aegis Reflector comes out on frame one. Uh -huh. But the Fireball might have already been overlapping his body, and so it, it might have been just a frame too late. All right. So guys. Welcome to Cooperation Cup. You're watching the English stream here. My name is Daryl Lath. I'm being joined by our Lyoth here, the tech god himself. Our Lyoth, we're here today. How do you feel? I need more sleep. Yeah, he needs more sleep, but you know what? That third strike... I, I, I'm quitting. I'm quitting Street Fighter. I'm going to play Overwatch. That third strike is going to wake him up. We're ready to have some more games. We're going to cut, I believe, to another game right now. Okay. Yurian versus Chun-Li. See, can you get a, a scout on which block we have here? This match is underway. All right, nice dash up throw from Yurian. All right, Yurian using Tyrant Slaughter. That's interesting. Okay. Nice walk up throw and Yurian oh, gets. Oh, who's playing? Right, Yurian gets smart about giving a little uh, where Tom is going to figure out who we have. I think that's block two. Block two. Yes. I want to say AFM's playing. Let's see. Looking at the teams right now. Oh yeah. I need the runners to tell us. Along with the Japanese uh, commentators, uh, what the teams do the Just go for it. Overhead. Universal overhead in this. Time with Slaughter. The only thing you can do is parry at that point. What teams have Yuri? Oh, they all have Yurians. They all have... The and two of them have Chuns. All right, we're going to use the process of elimination here. So right now we're I doing a hearing AFM. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I think it's AFM. AFM does play Black Chun Lee. So AFM, the uh, if you guys are if you guys are curious, he's one of the guys that uh, he was in the infamous Pyro Lee video where Pyro Lee ah. takes a throw, activates Canadian, Chun Lee activates Super, and he parries. Oh yeah! Shout out to the Shend. Okay, so Team he Two, Player Two side has the Remy. Okay. So Team Two, it's Player Two side is Team Thirty. So now they're sending, let's see, who do we have? All right, all right. Not an easy match for either, uh, for uh, Yurian actually. Yurian with a bad hitbox crouching. It's a little harder for him to crouch under those light of virtues. Remy can play a really good uh, zoning game against him. However, Yurian just high uh, damage out, but, and he's got that Tyrant Slaughter. Nice. Gets the Rising Rage Flash, Light of Virtue. Carry the Rising Rage Flash, EX Headbutt, Tackle, Corner Carry. Nice sweep. Ooh, Anti-Air Headbutt. Good. Yurin doing his best to keep Remy cornered. Do not want to let him get any real estate behind him. If he gets real estate, then he can start doing his zoning game. Crouch strong, travel under. 
Now he was trying to fish for a low parry right there. He saw him bounce underneath and then the low forward. This uh, this Remy's name is uh, Take, by the way. Take? Yes. Okay, very good. I I, I want to say that this Yuri is Hellmaster. Nice, okay. The throw. Of... Okay. Nice. Remy walked it right into the throw. Okay. Nice walk up throw. Spartan bomb again from Urien. Sweep. Now, normally you see that sweep and you see an Aegis, but this time Urien's using Super 1, Tyrant Slaughter, the tackle slot, the tackle super. See again, now Remy starting to get that, uh, that zone instead of but he got oh, that Tyrant Slaughter! This normally is a very difficult match for Urien. Huh? I I was in the impression that this was supposed to be a, a difficult match for Urien. It is a difficult match for Urien if if Remy can get the zoning started. Mm. But Urien was in his face from the, the get-go. Whole time, right? And you know what? He can. The great thing is he has Tyrus Slaughter to go through uh, to go through fireballs if he's at the right range. I see. Yeah. Like let's say he tries to jump in, and Remy throws a, a light of virtue high. Uh huh. He can just super right through it. I see. All right, so Team 30 trying to figure out who they send up next. All right, Team 30. Let's see who they send up. Okay. Uh oh. Yurian, Yurian match. So that's Team 30's Yurian. Uh, uh, would you have a name on that? Uh, that is... Oh, it's Pierre Yurian, I think. Is it Pierre? That's Pierre Yurian, as far as I can uh, read it. Yeah, team, if that's Team 30. Okay, good. Uh, Versus, uh... All right, still using Super 1. Impressive. Wow. Is this a statement? Is he just tired of playing? Or does he know something that the other guy doesn't? Right. Alright, here we go. Nice, Spartan Bomb. Throw, tech! Or throws. Alright, the tackle trades with the roundhouse. Here we go with the Aegis game. Set up the spanking room! Oh, whoa. Sp all right, here we go. Nice. Two. That should be death. Oh, no. Whoa, I'll... scaling. He... Now, see, if he had gone for tackle, tackle, head but there, he would have he would have killed it. But I don't think he was, convi he was convinced he could land it. Right. Nice. Good zoning here. Now, unlike the uh, online editions of this game, you actually see the colors of the characters for first player and second player side as their portraits. Oh, violent headbutt of knee drop out. Good parry. Oh, hit him. Got him a low short, Tyrant Slaughter. Ladies and gentlemen, when do you think you would ever see Tyrant Slaughter? EX headbutt. Nice. For the extra damage. Yeah. Final round. Here we go. Launcher and tackle. Okay, so Pierre with the corner pressure now. He's got Yuri almost at half life. Another throw. This other throw gets countered by a low short into headbutt. Nice sweep there from the helmet. I, like I said, I think that's Hellmaster. Pierre got the sweep. And now looking for the pun. Oh, oh, a little too that late. That would have been a with punish. I think if he had done much of that, he might have gotten the meter for a full for the a full Aegis combo, but. Yeah. Like I said, not too sure about it, so there he goes. All right, let's see who... If I'm right, that's Team 71. Let's see who they send up next. All right, so now we finally get to figure out who the other team is. Is it 41 or 71? Luckily, the team... Luckily, the characters on both teams are a little different. We're able to kind of figure that out.
So here we go. All right. Uh, a lot of deliberation going here at Cooperation Cup. Yep, take a look at the camera. Smile, you're on live broadcast. Now, uh, we're having a little trouble telling them apart because uh, we're not getting that information, so we're using a little bit of hard line stuff to kind of figure it out. Okay, it's Team 41. Okay. Team 40, uh, well, let's see. Team 41, uh, this Pierre, is Ryu. Wait, Pierre, you're in, and then... Uh, is uh, Kameyama. So that was the other, so that wasn't Hillmaster, by the way. That okay. was... So then, that was uh, Pechi? Pechi, okay. And now they've got this Ryu here. So yeah, Kameyama. Again, I do apologize, folks. Uh, and this is a little rough shot with us trying to figure out which teams we have here. We are doing our best to make sure that you guys are updated with the latest information, though. So, uh, yeah, we also thought that we'd have the overlays ready, but we do not, unfortunately. Uh, we'll hopefully we'll be able to set it up um, before the next block. Right. Nice. The jump roundhouse, great jump and move for Urian. That's a little too low there to do a launcher punish, so he goes for the stun pierce instead. The chop, the Atlanta Braves chop. Ryu versus Urian. You think we're going to see a dungeon punch through a, an Aegis reflector? Are they going to play some baseball? I don't know. <laughs> Activate Aegis. Oh, good block of the overhead. Oh, the, the Aegis. Though. He was a little too fast on the jump out. I think he was expecting that it would have disappeared by then. Pummel throw. Break the neck. Jumps out. Nice. All things considered, I think that is an acceptable amount of damage to take for two Aegis to spend. Yeah. Wow, good strong to, uh, to block the to block the cherry attack coming in. Okay, nice. Here we go, spanking room. I miss Spooky, by the way. Shout out to Spooky. Ha. Oh, jab, jab, jab. How? Jab. All right, he's got to get out of this. He's got to get out of this corner. Oh, drop the dropping heels. Good attempt right there to beat a throw. Trying to check it out. Oh, Aegis. Yeah, he's going to deal with that. Nice! Nice, he nice Aegis. counter. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, oh, good read, good read. If the good second read. hit touched good him, he would have made it. He had the perfect distance to avoid that second hit of Chip. The entire tournament is today. Oh. So we're getting a little more information now. Thank you guys for everybody who's messaging me on... Uh, a couple of tips to make sure that we got the correct information. Again, this is thanks to you guys that we're able to do what we're doing. Community effort. All right, so let's see. Yep, it is Team 41. Here we go. All right, so our lion is doing the little the dirty work for me here while we uh, get more information. Oh no, the tackle landed a little too early. Didn't do any chip. Chan got a, a Hazanchu out of it. All right, both characters still kind of searching for meter. Yuri almost at one bar, kind of pushing Chun Li to, but now Chun Li gets the dash lightning legs. go. Nice throw. Chun Li with the distinct advantage. Launcher. Aegis combo. Uses the violent headbutt. Ah, he he buried the timing there. Buries the timing. That's gonna beat. That's gonna beat the parry. Oh, but he delayed it this time and Chun Li got the throw and the throw is there. Chun Li clutches it out. Stops the dash in. Chun Li now with a definite screen and meter advantage. Urian's still trying to work on that first meter for the second round. There we go. Now still building each other out. Neither player willing to commit. Urian though getting that bar. He's got one and a half now.
tackle, Aegis. Now we start it, use a strong Aegis. Strong Aegis will touch on the- Oh, Mazzucchi's gonna that? run into that! Nice! You hit a mirror! Tackle, Aegis yet again. Sweep, corner pressure. She can what, jump out? Yep, she made Got it the out jump by out. the wall jump. Giving them the Michael Jackson going off the wall. The low four, oh, though. Good thing that Matsushita did not try to confirm the low four to super. That's correct. Uh, the uh, low four there hit an airborne Urien. If she had supered, Urien would have been reset. He would have been able to block it. It's because he, he did a wake-up headbutt. Right. Wake-up headbutt is airborne on frame one. Oh, nickel punch. Ooh. Strong. Tap Legas. Short, Aegis, overhead no good, overhead no good! Oh, no. 13 seconds left, what's gonna happen? No more meter! Red parry! One, two, yes. three, four, five, six, seven, Let's eight! Let's go, Justin! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Well played, guys. All right, wow, he actually did it. <laughs> to be fair, that, that red parry is fairly, fairly fun to do, fairly easy, so. All right, here we go. The dream is alive. Let's oh. do this. All right, he tried to jump out there. He got hit by the Aegis. Right. Oh, bounce into it. Oh, he almost had himself trapped in there. Almost hasn't been ready too. Nice throw. Tech. Random attack. Trying to do a random attack into a uh, into an Aegis. Oh no! Oh no! Backing up. He's giving him a lot of room. Might not be the best thing to do here. Here right. we go. Finally gets another tackle to Aegis. Aegis, Aegis. Instant from uh, frame one. Has another meter ready. Oh, missed a tackle right there. He didn't have enough charge. Fortunately, he didn't get capitalized. Watson just has no idea what to do right now. Nice. He's missing free for confirms and punishes. Almost dead. But Don't he can meter. still make it. He only needs two guesses. He's got to stay away. Get that last. Get one more meter. Yeah. One more meter to help him. All right. There it is. There's the, there's the other Aegis. Oh, nice. Uh, under it. Under, under it. it. Good win under. What's the follow -up? Still alive. Still Reset. alive. Oh, Woo! nice. He re but again. All Same right. situation. Are we going to see another front parry? What's gonna Where happen? Go, Does he have the ball? Oh, oh no, he didn't make it! <laughs> fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Well played. Because he was jumping so much, too. Right. Let's see, who's going up now? <laughs> Wow. Only the first the the first round of matches and we're already seeing crazy parries. We're seeing pressure stats. Well done. Well, TK goes well. I got the picture. Alright, here we go. We saw we saw a match like this earlier. Starting the meter build. Again, both characters not willing to engage just yet. Get your meter early and then it advance. But advance smartly. There you go. Alright, Akuma maintaining that space. He's got shut corner. Trying to dash back, dash out. Trying to bait a north tech maybe. Trying to bait a response that he can counter for. Nice car throw from Akuma. Far roundhouse stopped by a little strong. Hazachu, but he throws him towards middle. He even pushes to get back to middle side, but he gets low forward and super from Chun Li. Chun Li now on the offensive. Back fierce into the lightning legs. Oh, is this AFM? Uh, no, that's, that's TK. Oh, TK. That's TK, right? Uh, yeah, you're right, sorry, I had it fixed around. Prepare to strike now. Chun Li now with one bar, opts not to use it right there on that low board. Crouch Pierce, good throw tech. Akuma decides to wisely get out of the way. Start the offense yet again. Akuma in the corner. Chun playing it a little conservative. One, two, three, four, five. Nice, on the, on the reaction to the dash. Still alive, barely. No for the Legs. corner carry. Oh no, wait, he can do a demon? I think he was afraid of a uh, car demon right there right after the dive kick. I, you can't blame him. You win.
That means their last man standing. If I've got this right, it's Nami Jinryu. Nami Jinryu, man. Oh, damn. Now, that'd be a good match. Now, Chun, definite advantage against Nami Jin, but still. Nami Jin, not a slouch. We don't want to sleep on that. Still against uh, Matsushita's Chun. <laughs> Prepare to strike now. Let's see, John. Nami Ryu. Here we go. All right. Good low carry on the low forward. Ryu being a solidly mid tier character in this game. But Nami Jin. Nami Jin is pretty sick. Using Super One for this matchup. Yeah, you got, you you wanna you wanna capitalize on your on your EX fireballs. Make sure you can maintain pressure and if you have access to EX Jodon. Give you a lot of good juggle combos for high damage. You need EX Donkey Kick for a sturdy, filthy Gaijin. Yes, for a, for a weak, filthy Gaijin. But the low forward counter poke from Chun Li guarantees a super reset oh. and cross out. Go oh, fierce. Whoa! I can't believe that went over his head. All right. Oh! Getting, he can't confirm that into super. There you go. Hazan Chu. No, it was good though. It was good that he was burning. It was, he was burning the EX Fireball to push him to the corner. Right. Go. Now both characters, Chun Li working on a meter. Ryu almost out of meter. There it is. Ooh, wow. It was unthrowable phrase. Oh, he whipped the throw there. Chun Li, Matsushita with the back bears. Cross oh, up yet again. Cross up again. If the situation happens the third time, it's not gonna matter because he'll be dead by that point. Oh, that's a good throw. throw. Trying to use a hit convert to the standing medium kick. One, two, oh, oh no! Didn't go to Shikado again, that would have been a kill. There that's fine though. That's good though, he's, he saved the meter. Here's the deal with an EX fireball. That uh, little scramble Fine. situation, wow. Namijin on the board now. Oh, Namijin, he's gonna steam alive. Uh, oh, that pierce could have been a super. Could have been, right. Could have could have led to way more damage. Yeah. There it is. Oh, got with punish, low four super. Throw this time. Things are looking dire for you, for Ryu. And to throw set up. No, we'll throw again. Oh, we tried to do EX. Oh, all right, uh, time to get out. He backed that throw. Oh, uh, no, oh, hits. That's right. Chun okay. Super is not invincible on Super. So if there's something that's sticking out as it travels, it's going to run right into it. Right. The only exception is Fireballs. It does pass through Fireballs. It has, like, very brief invincibility, but uh, most, most attacks... Uh, most attacks have active frames long enough to, to go past it. Right. Alright, so now we go over to... Right, switching over to something new. Switching over to our... Looks like we're going back to block number one. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. Oh, Ricky Mo Oh, damn. Also, unfortunately, I can't see the Japanese stream because I don't have access to, uh, to decent Wi-Fi enough to do that, so... Here's what we can tell, we know... Well, Ricky Mars right here, right? Okay. 46. But that was an Oro, so that's 266. Alright, so yeah, we pretty much have to figure... We pretty much have to, right. uh, to infer this. So, apologies for the lack of information that we have. We're, we're working very limited resources right. here. Now, if you get a chance, if you get a chance, do check out the uh, Japanese stream. The names are on there as well. We're looking at that. And we're listening in. Again, the information coming at us from multiple angles. We are working our best to make sure that you guys are updated as best as possible. Thank you guys for all supporting us here on the English Stream of Cooperation Cup. All right, here we go. Chun Li versus Yorion. That's Riki Maru. One of the heads of King Jidora. One of the heads. Let's see, what is our Yurian player here? Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Here we go. Chun Li Yurian, not an easy match for Yurian. No matchup is easy for against Chun Li in this game. But Yurian can still do it. Nice counterpoke with a sweep there. The fireball stopping. Oh, here we go. Ricky Mario already down 50%, but he toe taps out, gets back to neutral. Toe tapping all over the place. These boots are made for stomping, boy. Uh, here comes Ricky Morrow. Look at how smart it is, and already he's leveled. The, he's leveled the field. Jab, jab, look forward. Keeping Yurian locked down. Oh, but this time Yurian doesn't get the Angus. Go forward. That should be it. Wow. Okay. Prepare to strike now. All right. Oh. 
Nice. Okay, Ricky Mario again with the pressure. Now he's got him on the other side. But now. Urian's got. Oh, he doesn't, doesn't go for a cross up. He knows he knows that. So. One, two. Corner carry with the toe taps. That's nice Kara throw. Kara throw yet again. Good. Good headbutt. Nice. And he grabs him, bounce off? No. Oh! Wow. Did he try to sweep? Did he try to dash out maybe? Did he try to jump Back away? Dash, maybe. No. Yeah. Jump, yeah. One, two, three. This is fit double fierce. Oh! There we go. Violet's needed on Ben. Setting up the thinking room. Here we go. 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 One more. Let's see how much meter we can build from this. Oh, oh that's too far out. Too far out. Go forward. Holy Oakison. Chun Li, follow up. Zen Zen. Fierce Chris. They guess again Overhead. here. Fortunately, not another super to deal with. Oh, nice. Wow. Lightning Run stops it. And look at Ricky Morrow. The most hype man of all Thursday. Yeah, you dance. You, you deserve to celebrate. Yes, yes. If you didn't screen cap that, folks, you are definitely slacking off on your job. Screen cap that, post memes. Let's see what you got. Well done. All right. So we should go back over to the, the uh, commentator camps. Not bad from uh, Ricky Maru. It looked like he was a little bit uh, in trouble at the beginning, but you know, it's, it's Ricky Maru. Right. So. You can't discount him. He's always he's always going to make some stupid comeback. All right. Switching back to... Unless you're fighting against Deshi Ken. All right. So we're switching over to block number four. So it's Team 61 and 62. Well, I got the picture. Just getting our scorecards out here. Are you ready? Go. Uh, block four? Okay. So team 62 is player one side. Team 61 is player... Uh, team 62 player one side. Team 61 player two side. One to two. Get across. 62 is uh, Origin Bento. Uh, oh, this is this is the big one. Uh, uh, Place by big one team uh, over from Minami Urawa over in uh, Saitama. Uh -huh. Really strong team. Bento has Q. Uh, um, he was the captain of the Q team uh -huh. that made top eight. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's that team. Go. Okay, so that's Team 62. Yes, that's Team 62. All right, what can you tell me about 61? Uh, 61. Konnichiwa Gaiman, Takeo Tendis. I have no idea where the hell they're from. I will I will root for uh, team, for 62 for uh, Origin Bento because Baseball Big One is an amazing arcade to go to. Even if you have to, you know, go about like 45 minutes all the way out to Saitama from Tokyo, it's totally worth it. It, it is one of the few. It is one of the only places in Tokyo, in all of Tokyo, that you can play Marvel's Capcom 2. I'll just put it that way. Nice. All right. I'm kind of rooting for Team 62 as well, if only for one reason. They have a team member named Triple H. For you WWE heads out there. Who are they bringing up now, though? Oh, there's. Is that is that RQ? Oh yes, yes. They're putting Bentley up. Go. With the Carmen San Diego queue in. Nice, good taunt. He had about 20% damage there. But it's alright. The damage, the damage. Oh, shout out to Fatality93 for, uh, for posting uh, the team uh, members. Fatality93, thank you for doing the Lord's work. It's actually a really huge help for us because I uh, because I still can't I still can't view the uh, the Japanese stream. Like I'm I'm scouting it as best I can. Oh no, he tried to go for a capture deadly. But Chun Li decided oh, I'm gonna super anyway. Here we go, Chun Li with that. You know, if Q didn't taunt in the in the very beginning of the round, he'd be dead by now. It's possible. Oh, no confirming a super. Miss capture. Capture deadly. Uh, gets a second one. Hey. Double taunt. Really? Oh, we tried to cancel that. But you're right. Those two taunts save Q. Q would be dead right now off that spinning bird. Yep. All right, Chun-Li with one bar. Q with almost a full meter. Q actually has more health. No, all right. Now he doesn't have any health anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, the, the super was kind of unnecessary. <laughs> but I'm wondering, would the Pierce have caused proximity block where Chun couldn't hit a button at, at that point? No. Nah, nah, it's so it it work. Okay. Okay. Oh, overhead. Overhead, oh, unsafe. Yeah, it's, that is unsafe on block. 
Nice, Chun Li. So we got a ton off, right? You got a ton off? I oh, don't no confirming super. Shit. I don't think he. Maybe he's, like he's taking raw damage right now. I might have missed it earlier because. Oh yes. Wow, good use of the whip. Oh, oh good recovery from the whip. Now see, that time he was afraid. He didn't want to commit, uh, commit, right. commit to anything because he got super the last time he prepared to look forward. Back wrist. Got his up in the cold. Oh. RKF always says you should try to parry that fireball, the the Nikosho, or the Kyoko mm. after every uh, Chun-Li fist. Oh, see again. There you go. That's where he came from. Same side, but he gets thrown. Oh, those swords were so bad. Oh, decides not to burn it. Come on, Bentuya! Oh, all right, he's, tr he he's trying to catch Chun when she's walking because it'll miss when she's crouching. Oh, oh. that's fine! He might get it. He might get it. Take super. Woo! Three, one, two, three. No. One, two, three. Oh, he missed no. the red He lives. Final round. Engage. Oh, one, two, three, 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 four, four, five. Hit that one punch. Get those taunts. Two taunts. Get those taunts. Unsafe. Unsafe. Oh, but, look, but look at the damage it does. Absolutely nothing. And Q is the damage. I don't care about your super. Nice. I still have three times as much health than you right now. Look at you, look at you backing up into the corner. And Q still has room for one more taunt. Capture Deadly. Able to get it this time. There's Mass the taunt. In the lead. There's the third taunt. Quite possibly sealed the Chun's doom right there. Chun Li on the ropes. Go for it. That's really gonna scale. One. Reset. No. He can eat another super. Wouldn't even matter. He Jump wins. Forward for the win. Win. Let's see, who does 261 set up now? Hey Joe, alright, I've heard that we totally understand. Uh, it's hard for, it's hard for us to compete with uh, the awesomeness of the Japanese commentators. Right. Especially, well, we don't have uh, they don't have Kokujin and Nuki there yet, but uh, oh, Koku. No, I would I would go listen to that too. Koku Nuki, yeah. Alright, Team 61 sets out their Dudley. This is a rough match. Dudley with so many mix-up options. Once he gets you knocked down, he's got the best Oki in the game. Oki Zeme. On the wake up, he reacts to the jump in. And oh, the, the, crab thing I, I am, the thing I am most um, concerned about for Q is a stun damage from Dudley. Dudley has some of the highest burst damage in the game. Oh, it's first stun in the game. Right. And it doesn't matter how many taunts you get, it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't increase Q's stun bar or gauge or recovery at all. Nice. Dudley with that great jump in. Uh, the throw whiffs. Whoa. That's how it works. Car throw range. Also notice that he's using Super 2 this time instead of Super 1. You know, it's gonna, he's going to be able to negate Dudley uh, jump into that. Oh, but he gets hit with a backswing blow. Wow. He's mixing up his jump ins with the jumping right house. And the fierce. And he's doing empty jump in. Nice car hard. throw. Just needs one more to possibly kill him. He's fish board. Got him. Yes. Got him. Ventilla goes down. The crab punch goes. Ah, uh, uh, we didn't get to see Triple H. Dang it! I really wanted to say, I just wanted to say it. It's time to play the game. I mean, it's a tough time. All right. Well fought. So, well, we're gonna wait to cut to a different, a uh, different match in just a second here, keeping everybody updated. Well fought by. Into the battle. Go for it. So I had team 61 there. Okay. And it looks like we're going to we're going to block number three here. Now we're on block number three. Okay, so right now we're watching player one side. Player one side. Uh, team 69. Player two side. That's Team 56, it looks like, for the Oral. This bracket also features one of our uh, one of our non-Japanese uh, team, Team 45. This is Third Strike. Shoutouts to the New York crew. I hear you guys doing pretty well, so you guys are catching it on block number three right now. I don't know who this is yet. 
Yes. You win. Who's on the other side? Let's see. Wait, that's it? So far, this is. So, what I'm being told, what I'm looking at the scorecard wise. Alright, so scorecard wise, it looks like this is Surge Strike advanced already. They got out of pools. And it looks like. Oh, was it a uh, playoff between. That um, was a playoff, yeah. So, okay. B, so Team 56, uh, they go to losers' playoffs. Team 69 eliminated. Oh, that might have been an OCB actually against uh, Team C. Might have been, yeah. Wow. So. So yeah, the American team, this is their strike, actually ended up qualifying uh, and with an OCV. They're doing very well. Oh, that, that's a good start. That's a really good start. You know, ever since they got here, they have been thinking about nothing but playing the game, not really going out, making sure they're devoting all of, the, all of their time and making sure that every inch of energy they had is devoted to cooperation. 100% yeah. serious, 100% business, uh, full confidence in their, in their play uh, for today. All right, switching back to block number one, it looks like. B and C. A has already advanced. So Team A, Team 46 has already advanced. Team 66 and Team 75. So Team 75 is player two side, player one side is Team 66. Oh, it's Last Dinosaur and uh, Panasonic. Oh, okay. Wait. We saw Panasonic play earlier. Yeah. We await your return, Warrior. Well played. Oh yeah, with Mr. Kappa in the back. Right, right, right. AKA Curry. Ah, uh, yes. Kappa, I always call him Kappa Curry. Kappa Curry, all right. We got a Hurian matchup, the battle of the, the heavy buttons. All right, here we go. Spartan Bomb for player one side. Here we go. Here he matches all his great. First mirror, and he got him in the corner. Tackle, headbutt. Yes, got it. Trying to go the extra meter. Tackle. Oh no, he could have just pierced. He could have just pierced. Come back time, come back time. Uh oh. Oh, he didn't get the back throw. Would have been much better if he got the back throw. He's got some of the best comeback potential. Ever. Right. He's gonna do it the hard way. Oh no, that's a kill. So EX Egg is the one that goes upward. You hit it with you activate it without two or three buttons, but it's instant. So the minute you activate it, unless something is on top of you, you are getting that. Nice throw from player one side Urian. Oh, too far for the throw. Tackle Oh, missed a second. A little too far. Burns the other one. Trying to fish for any sort of reaction at that point. Nice tackle. Notice. All right, good, good, good. All right, the launch a little too far to to get uh to get the other Urian up. I was gonna say, notice that uh, Japanese players very rarely try to commit too far to go into the corner because of the risk of getting thrown and tossed back in. Right. They would rather let you hang yourself by trying to get out first. It's a big emphasis on making sure you can fight in the neutral. You know, if your, if your gameplay is, you know, fight in the corner, yeah, you run that risk of being reversed into the corner. Tackle, tackle, tackle. A million tackles. All right. Aegis chances the fireball. Oh, hard. Oh, the hard knockdown, but it's too far away to get the uh, to get any sort of Aegis follow up, but he gets a launcher. Headbutt, Aegis. Headbutt over. Nice. Another Aegis combo. Looking good for player one. I think the turquoise Urian is Afro, by the way. Turquoise is no, Afro. No, no, no. Actually, I thought Afro was the black one. All right, I'm gonna be good now. Never mind. There we go. Activate Aegis. The sweep the same. He went low, but he saw. He thought about it because he's got high every time. That's the chance he's gonna go low. Got him. You win. We await your return. All right, here we go. Welcome to the world of Team Alright, let's see who we're sending out now. Oh, so Shobu just lost. Shobu just lost, okay. 
Yeah. Alright, so now there's. Alright, I was right. Oh, Afro, Afro had won that one then. Okay, so Afro, Afro takes, is a dark one. Okay, Afro oh, takes a six, yeah. The toes out from the corner carry. Ouch. Lightning legs will stop any of now your like Damn. So the one thing you can do, why you're seeing so like so effectively the there players are right. lightning are doing now. lightning legs. When you input, you need six inputs for lightning legs, but you can actually mash between Pierce and Roundhouse. The Pierce and the round, like when you hit back fist and smash it, if you hit six of the like six of the and it's the Pierce Roundhouse, it actually counts like six inputs. It's weird. Right. Yeah. But um it's only the very last button press that determines the version that comes out of it. Ah, oh, right, 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 yes. Alright. Oh no, there it is! There's Bop. dashes up, gets the spacing. This is the violence knee drop. Nice, nice variation. Another one. This dude, hopefully, oh no, he dropped the, the knee drop! Oh, she gets right over. Shall leave with one more super. Not a good no, nice. not the throw! Shall we oh, no. almost dead? Nice jump back All roundhouse. Right. I have a feeling he would have jump back roundhouse. Woo. Jump back roundhouse and then an EX Fine tackle round. if he didn't throw it. Possibly, okay. Yes. Nice throw there. Uh. Okay, good, good, good. Nicely done. Go forward, though. Nice dash up. You're in dash up. Really risky dash up. Oh, what? It should... Tackle. Tackle, Aegis. It goes for the reset. All right. And the Aegis is still there. He goes low. Clutches it out. Afro clutches it. All right. Our line is going to take a small break. Bring it up to the stage. RKF. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. And good night. Good night. And good night. Afro. Seems like he won. Yes, Afro won it. All right. Good. Afro was my teammate last year uh, for a pre-cup. Ah, uh, very uh, good. We did not do very well, but oh. yeah, it was good times. And where are we? Where are we now? So that was block one. Uh huh. All right. So the re the results I've got from block one so far: Team 46 advances out of the pool. Team 66 goes to lose this playoff. Team 75 eliminated. Oh, 75 is out. Yeah. 75 wow, is out. 75 is out. Oh, this. Oh, this is what you call a death block because this is because all the teams are really, really good. Ah. And Shobo, the one, the uh, the Urian of Team 75, uh -huh. I teamed with him yesterday. Maybe you saw his, some of his performance. He was really, really good uh, yesterday, but he's out oh. already, right? As you said, he's yeah. out. He's out. Wow, this is uh, crazy. Killers everywhere, as I keep on saying. So uh, I gotta go over the results right now, along with the, uh, alongside uh -huh. the. Alongside the uh, Japanese commentators here, yeah, you see this is third strike, Ooh. and uh, the, again the the New York team, especially with that uh, mutant XP, the OCV. OCV, mutant XP's Necro. Okay. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? It's uh oh, big one place by big one team is uh, team slot B. I do not know much about the team A, but team C, Reckless Oro Tanatos is through. F zero, I uh, F zero over two one. Wow. Over 200. Oh, we, we have Ata in the bottom. Oh, Ata's in the bottom. Yeah. C, uh, 100 mega shot. Okay. Ata, Ken. And they have Kindevu. So this is a bunch of uh, pro gamers. Oh. Alongside with Umezono, winner of SBO. From, uh, I forget which year it was. Uh -huh. And over 20, over 200 means, I mean, you know, you add up the ages and it's oh, over 200. Oh, okay. So they, so they do have a concept. Very good, very good. Oh, this, oh, this is my this is my block. Yes, we're through. Thank you. Yay, RKF advances. RKF made it out of pools on the winner's side. Yes, thanks to Mochi. Mochi OCV. Oh, it was Mochi. Okay. Mochi OCV. Mochi uh, played yesterday in the uh, pre co op tournament. Did very well, I'd say. Finalist once again. Oh, uh, 2015 a and 2017 both finalists. Oh. Uh. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Uh, <laughs> well, what can you say? Uh, it must be heartbreaking. So uh, right. I, I was really worried about some performance because he was okay. A at the top we have BM, which is uh, YSB, TM, Sugiyama, Ru, and Piero. Piero with the OCV, they are through. Uh -huh. 
And Dick's out. Oh, Dick's out must be. Dick's out. Uh, that's another one of the Gaijin teams there. That's uh, Dusty Fern, Phil, face from North Carolina. Phil actually lives here. Um, a lot of good guys. They made it out in a loser's playoffs. So uh, they're, uh, they're a fun team. A lot of uh, a lot of strong play. A lot of strong play. A couple of those guys actually live out here now, too. So good mixes. We'll shift over back to block number one here. Uh-huh. So we have uh, all the results. Master Course. Yeah. Master Course has won this claimed the title before. Oh, really? Yes, it's Rikimaru, Nito, Gens, Arashi, right. Kabe, 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 and Moto. That's right. Last dinosaur is what we just saw, right? Afro uh, yeah. winning against, I think it was Zone or Fugi, whichever uh. it was, the last Chun Li. Right. And so are we just going over, again, over it again? Or, yeah, they're uh, just going through. Uh, surprisingly, Hellmaster, uh, Hellmaster Urian's team going down. So. A lot, a lot, look at a lot of. Would you say already a lot of upsets happening? Um, upsets, upsets. Well, you never know what's an upset now because there's right. mad killers everywhere, right? Right. Uh, at any at any point, you're gonna run into a wall, a, a, a buzz saw, if you will. I would I would say this is a this is not really an upset for Block B because uh, yeah, Hell, team, Hellmaster team is uh, like uh, people just gathered together from all, right. all over the. Uh, so for, all over Japan. It's a very ad hoc team. Uh -huh. No, not too much. Uh, not too much cohesion there. Yeah, but uh, other teams are like basically it's um, Tokyo area uh -huh. and or Tokyo. Okay. And the first team uh, and the legend team is um, AFM TK Take the Remy and Nami Jane the Rue player uh -huh. and Pierre Yurian. Maybe yeah. I, I thought he was on on stream. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of uh, mileage on their okay, on their okay, match. Okay. So it was very good. So they call themselves legend. Right. <laughs> You gotta be, you gotta be good to be considered a legend. What well, do you expect? Well, basically, you don't call yourself a legend. People call you a legend. People call right? you a legend. You right. have to be bestowed the title. <laughs> so uh, while we're waiting, folks, for the next, uh, the next bracket, the next round to show up, I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you watching this stream right now. twitchtv slash underscore us Make sure you're tweeting the link out. Remember, this is Cooperation Cup 2017. If you're not watching this, what are you doing? This is the best third strike you are going to see killers from all over the Japan and even all from all around the world. You do not want to be missing this. My name is Duralath. I'm being joined here by RKF, my co-commentator. Our life was just on the mic. Again, we want to give a shout out to Twitch for putting together this great English stream. We want to make sure, again, you guys are watching. So tweet those links out and make sure you're following the channel because, hey, we got a lot of third strike to happen all day today. So you do not want to miss what's going on. For those of you who were watching last night, you saw how epic the pre-co-op matches were. You saw epic matches like Q supering through an Aegis Reflector Super. You saw <laughs> Deshken, Deshken clutch victory from the jaws of defeat. You do not want to miss any of that today because I guarantee you it's going to happen. You do not want to miss the matches. So please stay tuned. Don't change those websites. Do not change anything. Do not miss any part of Cooperation Cup. So let's go back and check out a couple more of the of the uh, brackets here. RKF, what do you see so far? Ebara, Pururais, Pururais, final list of yesterday. Uh -huh. Zabi, uh, Zabi, Keikun, Koro, Zabi with an OCV, Ebara with an OCV, uh -huh. they are through. Uh -huh. wow. And did not have time to look at the other teams, but I, right. I'm sure we have some... Uh, 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 something oh, we're going, here. Uh, Zabi... Well, they're, they're going through it, that's fine. Oh yes, we got it. Oh, we got a crimson rug. But I don't I don't know the, um, the other uh, results for these. Right. But, uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm not really familiar with the players because they are from the West. Most of them are from the West. Some oh, are from Tokyo, but... Yeah, look at that. Team 91 is the, the one team with a Sean on it. Oh, that's okay. The, that's the, the Sean. The team with the Sean. That's amazing. Uh, the question is, are they out or are they still in? Uh, let me... Uh, I'm looking over. <laughs> I see... Uh, no, they, they made it. So, they are to so 89 is eliminated. Okay, so... So 91 made it through and uh, loses playoffs. Okay. But, so it's going to be basically captains. <laughs> but are they going to have Sean as their captain? Please I guess make not. the Sean the captain. I guess not. That's so funny. Um, oh, people, so like... Okay, people think that um, Sean is a very bad, bad character. Uh-huh. And I do not disagree with that. Right. But is he the worst? It's a little bit questionable. Okay, I like. So, I don't know. I, I feel like Sean has standard tools, and you yes, know, you can still. Exactly. He, uh, he's got. He can do damage. He can do damage. I mean, show you can, and not a terrible suit. Like not a. Actually, pretty good. Yeah. Actually, pretty good. Uh, it's got more invincibility than Shinsho or Yukin, which is you know. Uh, not really. Well, I mean, when they trade. Uh, like, it, it, um, it like, 
trays, but most of the time it's instant shortest paper. Really? I've done research with this. Oh, okay. I stand corrected. Thank you. But uh, you know, he's he's got Shoto. He's got Shoto standard confirmed. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. And uh, he's got some funky mix-ups with uh, his uh, his ground tackle too. And and, and rolls, right? Rolls. rolls. So yes, uh, most of them think uh, he's uh, very bad. Yeah. And. Uh, he, by looking at the frame data and like uh, length of uh, the limbs, uh, the limbs and the reach and stuff, you will right. see that he was intentionally designed to become weak. Right. Because second impact, he was just like too good. Well, too good. But although Akuma was the best character in the game, right. By far. Yes. Well, Sean was still not bad. Right. So they kind of like well, well nerfed him, right? They nerfed him. And so he is not the best character, of course. Right. But I would say he's not the worst character. Because I would like to say 12 is the worst character in the game. Really? By means of damage and everything. I mean... That makes sense. I, we say, is, is it because, yeah, 12, you said no damage whatsoever. Mm. He's got to work three times as hard as everybody else. Uh, maybe three is not enough, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm being uh, very humble. Yeah, <laughs> I see, I see. Well, so, you know, bottom line, well, Sean is a Shoto after all. Yes. Right? So, although his frames are not really good, I mean, like his sweeps has more negative frames than like Ryu Ken or Goku. Right. So it's basically bad. Right. But his dash is supposedly a little bit faster than Ryu Ken. Really? Yes. And uh, a little bit shorter, I guess. So it, you feel that it's a little bit faster. Okay. So and, but you're gonna dash him a little closer than you would Ryu or Ken. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But and he, he does have car throws. He has a very very slow overhead. Bro. And he's Molasses. Got, well, I mean, he doesn't have, really have the tools, mm. but. And his jump is very bad. I mean, it, 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 it kind of like, you know, loses speed and it doesn't like jump as far as Ryu can. Right. So he's intentionally designed to become weak and it's done pro It's done well, right. but he's not that bad, I think. So, okay, so this is going to be the second block. We have Hebo Ryu, Hiyama, Maro, Atsushi, Taro, and the Team B, Uraken from uh, Middle West uh, Japan. Uh -huh. Uraken Dana. Uraken is uh, one of the best Gokis. Uh -huh. And C, we have Haitani, MOV, Momochi, oh, Bano, and Saru. Such a strong team. But they have not been playing. Oh, they have they not. They have not been playing. They have been more into Street Fighter V. That's as you know. right. Haitani, MOV, very prevalent in the Street Fighter V community uh -huh. now. So, you know, by the time you notice, MOV was gone yesterday, right? Right. He, right. he, his he was team gone. went 0-2. And Haitani was in the playoff. He lost pretty fast. Uh. So, of course, they're not at their prime. They haven't been practicing. But still, we... Right. Okay, team A is Tekken 5. Begao, Deboru. Deboru is the, uh, uh, the finalist at SBO. I forget which one, but for Tekken 5. Uh -huh. And when uh, Nin came from um, uh, uh -huh. Korea and took the title, he was a finalist right there. Oh, wow. And uh, team B is Kyushu area. So we have Benzo, Yure, Koji. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know, they, uh, they've okay. been, they're, they're cutting through, so... Could not catch up because we're basically following the Japanese feed. Sorry for the interruption. All right, there we switch oh, there to we uh, 13 block. Here okay. we go. Okay, so Takami, Takami was in the playoffs, uh, Team B, Chun Li. And the third team, C... Okay, this is the thing I was talking about. This is the, basically the OE team, the Xbox Online Edition Really? Team. So Fake is from Hokkaido, which is the, which is the big North Island. All right, right, and right. Boko in the middle, the one you can't read, the 12 player. Uh -huh. He was in the playoff yesterday. He played as a captain, uh -huh. and he's from uh, North Japan. Wow. And Kuma and Dojima, I guess they are, are, are from Tokyo. But the other, I'm sorry. Right. I, I missed out. And team A is Baba Mikado BBK. You saw some of his action yesterday. Right. And Kaed as well. Roshi Hikari, I think he's still out absent today. Taro Kichi, he did uh, really, really well yesterday. Uh, uh. You, you guys saw some. Ringo the Ibuki is a solid Ibuki. And uh, Team B, Shacho, Atsudari, Goroneko, Sane, and Initial G. This is, uh, these are the players from Koenji Cube. Oh, uh, Koenji Cube, okay. That kanji right there is yeah. Koenji. Yes. And it seems like they're friends, so you know, this, this came out. They come out every time. Well, Bo Koenji has boss, but he's not in it, so it's not. It's like Koenji without boss. Right. And Team C, yeah, my favorite, because this is a um, all. This is from the big one second team. Uh -huh. Shibu, Maruya, Masaki, Ipe, and uh, Noro. Oh, I forgot the other name. Uh, sorry, maybe my, the name might be wrong. But well balanced team. And Team A, Lala. This is a uh, originally. Uh, the people that played at Arcade Lala, which was in a city called Omiya, uh -huh. it closed down in 2013. It was a good, it was a nice arcade, and we have Kera, Hiyashi, Moribi, and Higa, and uh, this is Ch it says Chucky, but it's Maggie. Right. And uh, we have Higa, the said to be the best Ibuki player. Ah. Uh. 
And uh, Team B, this is also an online edition team. Uh -huh. And Team C is the West team. We have Neko Nohi, the Goki player. Huh? He, I think he beat Onuki in the playoff two years ago. Really? Yes. He's originally an um, Alpha 3 player, but still really good. Yeah. VGM, Robot, Skaya. Uh, these, are, these are my buddies. <laughs> so, okay, this is uh, from uh, an arcade at North, in North Saitama uh, called VG, Video, Video Game Museum, Museum yeah. Robot, Fukaya. Fukaya is the name of the place. Okay. And so, yeah, they've been working out uh, pretty hard. So I hope they do really well because they have KO family, which is in Team oh, C. Oh, yes, the uh, dreaded KO family, yes, right? Yes, the KO family, same member as yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, I'm sorry. Uh, last, uh, last, year. last year. Yes. KO Kashi Hirai, RX Yakun. And I am not familiar with the team in the middle. I, I'm sorry. And aren't you guys up? Are we up? Aren't you guys at Zone 2? I'm not too sure yet, actually. Oh, you're not? Let me check. You've got to check. Yeah, we're going to check where our team is right now. Where are you? Are you, are you in Team 2? Looking okay. at some of the other teams. Are, uh, team 58. One okay, of the, wait, wait, wait. You guys are in 3. All right, so we're in 3. Right. Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, 17 block all here. All right. Uh, team A, Fabo, Aleki, Onbashira, Moriyoshi, Takigo, Obrad. I, I don't know who they are. Uh, team in the middle, B, uh, is, is Kansai, West Japan, and Kyushu, Okinawa area. We saw some of his performance from Kodai, Yang. Right. And we have uh, Takaoma, Ryu, uh, the Shinku Ryu. He doesn't, I, I think he doesn't really use Denjin. Right. So there might be some, it might be, it might be interesting. Uh, and La Cobra, La maybe, Cobra. You know more, maybe you know more better than I do. Uh, La Cobra is Marco and Gunfight. These are European players. Gunfight, you saw him in the Dudley tournament yesterday uh, alongside Kokujin. Ryan, the... Uh, the uh, U.S. the uh, the uh, he he moved from the U.S. to Japan. He plays Chun Li. He's the uh, winner of the Fall Classic last year. And uh, yeah. I so apologize, I didn't get to see the other members. So got eight, 18 eight, block eight here. Team Heaven, Harano, Tamakon, Shaboten, Taihei. They got three Yurians. I used to teach Harano a, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of um, Yurian skills. Yeah. I told him you're done yesterday. You 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 have you have gotten better at this game. So you better, you better find another uh, mentor. Teach, yeah. <laughs> So, okay, Team B, the Bantetsu. Bantetsu is the website that I was talking about. It has a lot of Yun and other Third Strike basic skills. And I'm sorry it's in Japanese, so please learn Japanese and learn Third Strike at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so we have PS3 Online Edition. Oh, no. See, that's what I was telling you. So we have a lot of Online Edition teams. No, I respect that. I highly respect that. Yep. I, I myself, I play on I play on PS3 because uh, you know it's, it's free. Uh, yeah, if, uh, free but bad uh, worst yeah. connection. Yeah, but it's all right. It's fine. Yeah, it's all right. It's playable. Blue. Yes, blue was the uh, one of the highlights last year. Yes. Uh, having the uh, landing the, the stun combo against Yuri and Ibuki player. Right, right, right. Uh, there was like a short clip, right? And so the team A. This team originally had Fujiwara. Uh -huh. but Fujiwara had work, so he had to be replaced. Now he's replaced by Fujikura, oh. which is Ibuki player. Oh. And we have Bistachio 12 player, uh, oh. the legend. And uh, Rochin, the Remy legend okay. as well. Yep. And in the middle, it's Kyushu Okinawa team. And uh, the third team, Team C, I do not know any of them. I'm sorry. That's, a, that's all right. But it says Mikado. So oh. I'm, I'm sure they're from Arcade Mikado, but maybe they're not. I'm maybe they're like a B team or something? I don't know. Maybe a B team, C team. I don't yeah. know. Oh, wow. So I don't know. I can't, I can't even guess who's going to win in this block. But. Right. Now, this goes to show you guys that we, we have we have a fairly kind of narrow scope Well, you know, when, we, when, when we're not in Japan of how much Star Trek there actually is going on here. You see these names, and you think, "Oh, I don't see, uh, I don't see a big name like a Ricky Maru. I don't see a Nuki here." So, okay, I can sleep on the team, but that's not the case here. <laughs> Every team has a chance, especially when you're in like a, you know what we call uh, an easy block, right? Right, and uh, you earn that because there are uh, some uh, rules that we did not see yesterday, and one of them is the seed seed advantage, which is it, it's not actually a seed, but there is an advantage. When you look through the booklet, there are some teams that have this kind of like uh, an oval, like, oval kind of sticker, uh -huh. and those teams are the teams that have this the advantage. And the the actual advantage is that the teams that has the advantage will not play each other in the first block. Oh. So we will not see Ricky Mara and Nuki in the first block. Okay, no, that's fair. Yeah, and all the like international teams, they also have, have an advantage, so they will not play Nuki Mara. Oh, so okay. that's a huge advantage. Yeah. All right, so we got some more teams over here. Uh, Lupin, one, two, two. 
Uh, I know these people. Uh, I know these people. Uh, but one thing I know is that they have not been playing Third Strike. <laughs> oh no! Could be uh, that. Could be trouble. Uh, troublesome for that man. Yeah. And middle team. I'm sure this is. I'm sure some of them play online. The, the Ibuki player Irabu. I'm sure he plays online. Uh -huh. And at the bottom is Kyushu Okinawa team. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is the. This is definitely the favorite, I think. It's the Team C. Or Orga, Deren, L, Red, and Minoru. Uh -huh. This uh, this Remy is said to be really sick. Really? I've never, never seen him in action, but uh -huh. I heard he's really, really good. I hope that the stream will then you know, maybe cut the T28 when they're playing that. We'll see. Uh -huh. Who knows? And Deren is the one that kind of like uh, showcased the... Uh, the Kara Palm uh -huh. when he came over to uh, Tokyo area in 2004, uh, maybe. Oh maybe? wow, slice of history. Yeah, uh, so okay, so the, the elusive Kara Palm. Twenty one, Chelsea Orochinopo, Atarime Futana, Ignition Futana, a good friend of mine, Urian player. We were on the same team yesterday, and uh, this is from the Nagoya team, uh, basically from the arcade Q3. Uh -huh. And then Team B, we have Kuni, Onuki, Sho, Tokura, and Genki. Oh, Genki! And as said in the booklet, Tokura and Genki seem to be not playing as much. Re oh, okay. And so is, so is Onuki, right? He's right. been doing five. These killers, though, I again, we can't count them out. They're still... Yeah, sure, uh, yeah I'm sure they are the favorite in this block. Uh -huh. And for Team... And for C, we have Tokusan, Ken, Fujimon, Kakunochi. Uh -huh. Tokusan is, uh, I think he's a veteran Makoto. Uh -huh. Others, I'm sorry, I do not know much. Uh -huh. But... Okay. Uh, Deliberation uh, from our, our uh, information master, RKF, right now. I'm not a master, by the way. <laughs> I've got friends that know far more than I do. Yeah, so. but it's all right. I mean, the be the best part about it was, uh, especially for yesterday, it was very helpful when we were having you were able to translate what was being said by the finalist teams. So it yeah. comes in very handy. So well, the one thing I really wanted to explain was the format of the top eight okay. yesterday. It right. will be basically be the same today. Okay. But there might be two teams coming out from the playoff. It's, it depends on how the playoff takes place. Okay. And I'm not sure, but uh, yesterday it was one team at the at the lower right hand corner, right? Right. And they did not get to choose their spot. And I think last year there were two teams that came out to, came out the playoffs. Oh. And they were at the top left and the bottom right. Oh wow. So I okay. Think there were six other teams. So they get the automatic seat. Well, no, well, well, they don't have the right to choose because they're right. from the playoffs. Right, they don't right. Get to pick, they don't get to pick the numbers from the hat. Right. So, I don't know how it's going to be, but uh, I'm sure there's going to be a playoff, so there should be at least one team yeah. that will be in that kind of spot. And the other thing is uh, some of the, you know, some of the technical, very tiny knowledge of the game, mm. like for yesterday, why does Chun parry and does low, low jab into super? Like, some people don't know that. There are reasons for using jab super instead of low forward super. Right. Right. So, you know, some people don't know it. It's okay. You don't have to know it. But, I mean, like... A, like, tool, a tool. You're going to have a tool. It's invariably going to help uh -huh, you. Uh -huh. And then, if you... He's not here. He's not here. He's not here. All right. So, we are looking at... We're going to look at... Sorry. I don't know why. Now, they're going to uh, cut to a different... A couple more of the uh, of the results here again. This is third strike team going through. You're getting a kind of quick glimpse at it right now. We're getting ready to start the second block. It would be, it, it would have been best if we could like you know translate every single thing and right. uh, have the uh, English results as well. But uh, it was just too much. I'm sorry, we didn't have much time to prepare. Right. So we're doing our best. It's all right. We're working on it. Forgive us. All right. Ah. So what I may do, gentlemen, I may step off the mic. Are you good to go? Sure. All right, so I'm going to take a quick break, guys, but hey, we're still going to keep going. I'm passing my mic off to our Eliath. This is Duralath signing off for now. I'll be back later, guys. Later, to later Tony. Tony. <laughs> Tony. All right. So it seems like, uh, I just heard from next door that they are going to have Atsushi on stream. So 
Wait, who is on? What is on stream? Atsushi. Oh, Atsushi, the Ibuki player. Uh, yes, from uh, Koenji, right? Uh, yes, and from his Twitter, it seems like he's been playing Street Fighter V more than three. Oh. Uh, uh... And that's one of the reasons that he was not teaming with Mochi, which where he originally was teaming with Mochi and Oryu. And, yeah, that's not a good sign. And Oryu could not come, so Mo Atsushi said he's not playing Street Fighter 3 a lot, so he stepped out. Uh, and then me, myself, uh -huh. and Oro, Inoue Oro, mm -hmm. from Kyushu area, like filled the spot. I see. And, but Atsushi decided to, decided to actually uh, participate in the event, which is a nice thing, although he's not like under training. Right, he's not going to be at... Uh, okay, okay. He so won't wait, be at this, is, this is, uh, this is uh, zone one, right? Give me zone two here. Okay, so this is zone two? Thank okay. you. Yes, so we have uh, tw block 12, uh, Koenji, Bakotai. We have Atsushi, Heboryu, Hiyama, Maro, and Taro. Mm -hmm. And I heard that Atsushi is going first, so it's going to be A versus B, right? First. Right? Okay. Possibly. I, think I hope. So. It, like, if, if this is the one that they show up on stream first. Uh, but yeah, huh. I don't know. So, if this cab is going to be on stream, we will get to see Haitani, MOV, Momochi, Vanao, and Saru. Holy crap. That the, would be a great team to watch. These are the pro gamers, as you all know. But what I heard from Vanao is that they haven't been training much. Oh, I okay, heard, it's true. They I heard most of that she butter five, right? Yeah, but I heard that um, they yeah take one if you like. If you want other flavors, I've got I've got others. Oh, uh, but go ahead and uh, finish okay. your. So I heard that um, from, according according to Vanau, I heard that all these pro gamers actually stopped practicing third strike at uh, around the twenty first of December. I heard. Oh, when season two drops. Uh, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, around yeah. the time okay, when season okay, two okay. drops. You know better than I do. Yes. So I, I should know because I was, you know, bleeding. Like, I was shedding blood, sweat, and tears to try to get all the, the season two frame data updated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're working hard on that. So, yeah, uh, that's what I heard. So they are not obviously at their prime and not really practicing a lot. Yeah. In but, fact, um, but they are Haitani, MOV, and Momochi after all. That's true. And they got Vanao to back them up. And Sato is the Kansai area, Western Japan area, Yun, uh, known for his very, very offensive style. Mm -hmm. We might, we might get to see some of his, uh, some of his. Uh, I think he does car palms. Okay. I think oh, he does. by the way, speaking of MOV, um, I ran into him and Match as well at uh, Tokyo Game Bar in uh, Kanda okay, a couple yeah, yeah, days yeah. ago. Uh -huh. But they uh, and they're they're to play Street Fighter Five, hmm. and what was really funny is I was talking to Match. I actually played Match a couple uh, a couple games with my Claw, my Vega, and uh, I won't say the score, but <laughs> Match was complaining that Akuma is a is a mid tier character. Uh huh. He says uh, he says he's overrated. Uh, very difficult to win with him. He would much rather play his main, which is Cami. Uh huh. Um, and I also I also suspect that. Maybe Vega does actually have uh, really good advantages against against Akuma in that game because of the stun damage and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay. But uh, it is really interesting just how much they've they uh, they're taking that game seriously compared to Third but Strike. So close to Cooperation Cup. But you never know about the uh, about the tier list and stuff, right? Because it's so early, I think. It judge? is very early, yes. So yeah. Um. Whereas, well, actually, but it's really funny because the tier list of a third strike has changed so much throughout the years. Yes, um, that's what makes this uh, game continue so long. Uh, are we uh, or yes, not? yes. So that's what makes this um, game play so long is that uh, there is no like definite tier list, and it kind of like fluctuates depending on how you play logic and stuff, and like mm -hmm. new new discoveries and stuff. Right. Like. Uh, like, like the one of the combos that I think, five person I think, should not should have not been invented was a Daipan loop. Ah, uh, yeah. That's uh, fierce. You t uh, during Genjin, that was that, that the keeper, the keeper loop. Keeper Jin is low forward, uh, low forward and uh, Daipan, right? Fierce, right. right? Yeah. Oh, it's, but this is a different one. It's the it's the fierce only one. Okay, okay. And while Genjin, you do uh, far fierce and then you tap forward, and then you. Kara or slide yourself with the uh, far, far strong, mm -hmm. and then tap fierce again, and you oh. repeat that. Okay. All so, right. 
second looks like, uh, is all right, looks like the second one is starting. So on stream, we have Atsushi. And oh, we are going to see this. Okay. Yes. Who's I don't know. I don't know who this is, but. By the way, we are eating these really weird ass cough drops. Would taste like I'm choking on an antler's on a deer's antler. <laughs> Dipped in ginseng. That's Atsushi on the right. Okay. So we have Chun Li means, and it's not M O V. So that Early. means it's Tatsujin or Maikawa from Team B. Right. I do not know the faces. Tatsujin is from uh, Tokyo area. That I know. But uh, Atsushi basically uh, does really well against Chun Li. Okay. But but. As I said, he hasn't been playing. Right. And basically, Shibuki dies off of two hits. Right? Okay. Low forward super. Twice. She dies. Right. So but, like, her, but, um, so how is she gonna win this one? How does she approach Chun Li? Like this. Just get it? Just get in her face? Um, you can play more calm, more defensively, but. Oh, that's my a gimmick. God. That's a gimmick. That was, that's a gimmick. And see, uh, like I said yesterday, when you don't play, when you're not playing, you basically lose your defensive skills more than your offense. I see. So, so as long as you're comfortably offensive and you get yeah. that opening, yeah, you then you, you, you have everything to autopilots. Uh -huh. so, that's, so you saw the gimmick at the end, that's autopilot. So that's what he's doing now. He's used to doing, he's used to the sequence, his routine. And once he knows that, you know, Chun-Li can deal with it, he's just going in, see? He's not backing off. I'm, using, I'm noticing Ibuki is using uh, her crouching uh, low kick or medium kick, not the slide, but the the hit. Okay, okay. That's it. That's it. All right. Um, but why is that kick? Why is that kick so strong against Chun Li? Um, Ibuki's low forward has uh, long active frames mm -hmm. and it has it has a good hit box and it's good as a move itself, mm -hmm. but it cannot be canceled to anything. Correct. And uh, it's fairly easy to counter poke, mm. but but. It's basically the only tool you can have, which is a low, does a decent yeah. amount of damage, and has like low risk. I see. Because the slide gives you a hell of negative frame. Yes, yes, and, very high risk. And the roundhouse, it's very risky. Right. Although you can follow up with a target combo, you're vulnerable to hit so with a low board. So that's like the only one and, you know, the main tool. That okay. you had as a low. When she has meter, you can go a little short into this like EX uh what's the Tsumuji. Oh yes. Yeah. But kicks. when Chun Li's crouching, EX Tsumuji don't hit. Oh, I didn't know that. So Okay, so it becomes unreliable at that point. So the only thing you can do is basically oh, that was good punish. Good that punish. was a good punish. So this is the other Chun Li. Ibuki also does a ridiculous amount of stun damage, although it looks like she's gonna kill Chun Li before the stun actually happens. Uh -huh. See, look at that. Okay, that's an overhead. You have to you have to react and block standing. Yeah. But you know how how under pressure Chun Li was in that corner. Sometimes I've seen that kick actually miss Chun Li because she's still low to the ground. Does, does, does. When she, when Chun Li does a low strong. Oh, neckle punch. Yeah. Yeah, it basically whips. I do. By the way, we call in Japan uh, the low strong where she reaches out. We call it neckle punch or cat punch. I don't know why. That is, that is, I'm not sure either. I don't have anything for it. Let's go, Justin! Silent! Whoa, that jumping fierce. Hit on the other side? That deserves an applause. That deserves an applause. Wow. Because uh, everything worked as he planned. He was airborne. Mm -hmm. He got the sleeper out. Right. You parry eight times. And then you jump straight up, neutral jump. Carry the last hit. Yes, and then because Chun Li's hitbox is pretty wide with the last, uh, last uh, up. Oh, that's how the jump Pierce was able to connect. Yes, yeah. it was able to cross up. Yeah. And, then, and then the decent punish for the kill. So, I think that's a good one boss. It was impressive. It was well, more like, you know, more like a routine for him. <laughs> right. I, it wasn't, it was like, it was like, for us, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, we seen that before. Yeah, yeah, we know what's going on. But then for everybody in America, they have got full Gutex. <laughs> full Paul Champ. So yeah, um, I well yeah. Yuria has that kind of similar kind of situation also, like everybody ah. with the, uh, the headbutt. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it's kind of the same thing happens. Now I guess Ken Morni Taka 
Uh, this team, actually, if I remember right, uh, Uraken was alone, the Goki player. Said to be one of the best Gokis in uh, Western, Western, Tokyo, Western Japan. And he was alone, and he was like, trying to make like a random team. And so the others, uh, I know that Uraken is a top player. The others might be not so skilled at the level of Uraken. So we see, we already see Atsushi mowing Chun Chun K. Yeah. Without even losing a round. So, Uraken basically needs to reverse OCB, I think. Put him on the defensive. Yeah, unless, unless something happens with Ken and Dudley. But, um... Do you think that uh, Ken has the advantage in neutral in this in this matchup or Ibuki? Uh, the funny thing is that uh, there was a debate between uh, all the Ibuki players with this matchup, and some guy, one guy actually said, "I think this is in Ibuki's favor." Interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. Hmm. But I don't know. I think it's not that bad. I I always figured this was clearly in Ken's favor. That's what I thought too, but. It doesn't seem that bad. With the way that he's playing. You have Shane in there. Oh, finally, off around. Gets around. Final round. Engage. I, I'm sure Uraken will be uh, anchor. Oh! The good bait. The classic bait. That's gonna hurt. Oh, One read is even. Uh oh. That, is, that move is instantly airborne. Nobody wants to block right now. What is blocking? We're just gonna hit each other in the face. Oh, yeah. Well, it really basically has low life, so she really wasn't what? a guaranteed punish, but it was sick. Wow. Shot you again! Airborne, once again. If it's a game, it's game. Damn! That was, an, that was a brutal match. So, Ibuki, uh, you said no one wants to block, but there's no point in basically in blocking with Ibuki. Because she does have fast normals. So you might as well have it out already. Yeah. And, and intercept. You know, just take the hit because basically a hit confirmed from Ken is a uh, low short or standing middle one. And if you're airborne, you get away with that. That's it. Unless he fires a short you can at you in the face. Right. But and that's not gonna happen. So yeah, so yeah, I'm just gonna be airborne. Take the, take the <laughs> right. least amount of damage. You know, can't get super. You're fine. Ibuki has a uh, the taunt, uh, the jump up and hop up and uh, uh, step on it twice. I don't, I don't know the name. Uh, the one we just saw. Yes. And the DP. Uh, by the way, for so for this match coming up, is this an Ibuki or Dudley's favor? This team always seemed to me to be one of those matches where Ibuki could actually handle a little bit better because Dudley has to block. Dudley crouching still must block uh, 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 Ibuki's jab. Yeah, but. When the, when the jab is parry, Ibuki loses one sort of a one sort right. of a right. Right. Red Hawks. So yes, this for Dudley, it's, it's an annoying match. I see. Because oh. Ibuki, the target, the target, the body is so small, so it's hard, it's hard for the catcher. And I see. Does Ibuki's he have to use a now. rocket? Oh no. Okay, he's using core two blow. Whichever works, I think. Sure. Because uh -oh. you, you can use rocket upper to deal more damage, become greedy, or you can say core two blow is good enough. Since Ibuki has low life, I figured that Rocket Uppercut was used because it can be done with the uh, with the with the overhead from a farther distance. Yes, 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 yes. But Ibuki is pretty fast, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. Down to the anchor. He might he might OCB his team. Well, I'm sorry for the I'm sorry for the B team, but this was kind of expected. So now, Uraken used to be uh, in uh, used to be in uh, Goki number one team. I see. Along with match. So now we have Uraken. He has to reverse OCB. This match isn't that bad for either. Both have low health and deal a fair amount of damage. Goki can deal a lot of damage when Ibuki's crouching. Yeah. So this will be a very fast slugfest. And so what uh, Goki would do is uh, he wants to go for like, those kind of uh, ambiguous like cross ups. So you don't know which way to block, and that way you you have a good chance of uh, hitting them crouching because you don't know which side you are. Ah. Yeah. But Ibuki can be airborne, as I said. Right. And as, it, as and as I was saying, Ibuki has a taunt, a DP, uh, a DP command with uh, sorry, a DP command with kick, 
and uh, punch and uh, reverse DP command. So Ibuki has four moves, which can be get instantly, uh, instantly airborne. I see. So you can like basically mash ah, DP, 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 Whoa. and, and, and not have to worry about being on the ground. Not I see. Really. So hope this one, so hope this one comes to as long as he doesn't press a button if uh, when you know gaming or something comes out. It should work out, but... Punish! Good punish! That is minus three on parry. And Goki's DP is two. Oh! Wow, that I didn't is, know it was that bad. That punish. Good punish there as well. Wait, nice stuff. Nice Both of these characters down. bleed like crazy! 71 gets, seconds on the clock. Gets the juggle. Are you ready? Go! I want to see the. I want to see a good use of that meter right there for Goki. Now they're playing calm because Goki has meter and it's scary. Yeah, that, that's very one careful. That's one of the moves. Oh, wait, that, oh was, that was about to hurt. Oh no, hurt. this is gonna hurt. Oh, not really, but it's all right. Quarter carry is fine too. Decided to save the meter for next round. Oh, that's a gimmick. You got yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, we saw that gimmick. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that. So, good first punch. Final round. Go for it. So, yeah, this is going to be scary. The Goki has full meter. Oh, that's about to happen. Oh, there it is. Power Demon. Wow. And the gimmick. Good punish. Oh, is he going to do it? Yeah, wow, do it. he saves his team from an OCV. He was not Goki number one team for nothing. <laughs> oh, we got, we got Yeah, we can use this. I can increase I'll increase the equality. So we have Hiyama! Hiyama Chun Li. This match overall, it, it is it should be in Chun Li's favor, but but First round, when Chun Li doesn't have meter, it is pretty bad times for Chun because Goki basically doesn't need meter to go to work. Right. Because he doesn't spend it yet. So, first round, already, Goki's like in his top gear. But right. While well, Chun Li, she needs to build meter. I see. So, if Goki, can put, if Goki can get the first round by building a lot of meter for the second round, Goki might just like easily take it 2 0. But right. if Chun-Li takes the first round, it's bad. Okay. I see. So we'll see how he plays the first. Okay. How he plays the beginning. <laughs> that fireball, yeah, that fireball is very, very annoying. Mass throw. Good sweep. Fuck. Air fireballs and over fireballs, both are annoying. Doing just fine right now. Yep, doing just fine. Yep. chun still sweet. doesn't have a meter yet. The sweep's working. Uh, fireball. Wow, good zoning! Sweet. Holy worth this big kick! Whoa, oh, crosses up. up with this big kick! Get the throw after the parry! And Goki's not gonna die off of one super. Right. He's gonna lose half life, but he's not gonna die. He's still in, he's he's still still in, in the game. Yeah. He's still in a good condition. And he says, yeah, fire the super, fine. Punish me. And he's shooting fireballs. Trying to go in a little, a little bit too hard. Miss the super, miss the punish. Overhead, the throwable, the unthrowable overhead. <laughs> yeah, I hate that thing. I, I, I just don't even like it. <laughs> so Chun wants to win without using meter, but it's not. Uh oh, nice buffer. Oh, cross up settle. He, you know what? He's this close to being able to die with one super. Uh huh. Wait, that was a matchup. Are we gonna see a oh. demon? Nope. Oh, the demon. There you go. Like I said, 2-0, right? Yeah. He, he played the first round very well. Yeah. Built a, building meter and used it at the end to secure the round. And Chun Li missed the low forward super with a yes spinning bird kick, which was crucial. Yeah, yeah. And so now here's Ken, which is said to be the demon of Goki. Because Ooh. Ken because Ken's EX Tatsu and DP does just does too much damage. And this Akuma has to basically or Goki has to OCV the rest of the reverse yes, OCV the yes, team. Yes. And he has Ken, Chun, and Yurian. Oh my god. If he beats this Ken, if he beats this Ken, uh -huh. it might be doable. Okay. Yurian is not a horrible matchup for uh, Kuma, it seems. I would like to say it is in Goki's matchup, Goki's favorite. Yes. 
last one. Welcome back, Tony. Yeah. So, yes, this... This should be very, very bad, but... I'm quite sure that he's familiar with this matchup. Ken being Goki's demon for everyone. So let's see. A him on you. Plays now. A little reckless sometimes. Oh no! Not a bad start. Not a good start. Wow. Oh. Good read. Good block. All right, now he's got quarter position. Oh no! This is bad. And you figure it's cross up. Doesn't Just matter. Do it. Just do it. Uh oh. We might be seeing something. Trying to trying to bait some kind of throw attack. Yes! Nice! Good read. Read you like a book. Fight is ready. Engage. Good comeback. Great comeback. He needed that. Oh, is that it? Oh, and he was crouching too. Twenty five percent extra damage. Oh, misses super. Go trying to make a comeback, beating real bad here. If he gets meter, it's doable. He's about to get it. Oh, pick and burn. Too far to you. Too far to get the uh, the jewel afterwards. Uh, oh, could he have done super? Wow. So the wow. So could he have gotten a super after the jump roundhouse? He, 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 he could have. He, he could have. Yeah. And he missed it because he got the he got the normal roundhouse. Right. So it was the hit confirm of Super that made the difference. Because, yeah. Uh, that was that was a crucial moment for him. Well, standing short into walk up, walk up, walk up forward mm -hmm. is uh, is the punish the low 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 ten, uh, and it punished it correctly, and he got the super. While Ken didn't get the super after jumping and jumping roundhouse. Oh, we should switch over. No wait. Oh, oh no, 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 maybe not. Oh, All wait, right, wait, we're good. We're not. All right, now who's this? Oh, it's plus twelve. Wait, wait, wait. We're done. No. All right, we're trying to figure out who it is right now. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Are we done with that block? I'm not sure. No, no, they, we're, no we're, they should have. They, they should have Chun and Yurian next. They right. jumped a, I think they jumped a little too early. That's what I think. Shoot. All right. I guess we're not gonna. We're not gonna know what happens. Oh. It seemed like. All right. That, it seems like that match is done. So. Okay. Looks like a little bit of confusion here. Hold on. Now we have Maria Magunda, the, the team okay. from Baseball Big One. Shibu. Oh, oh, this Shibu, one. Okay. My sparring partner. And we have BBK from Baba Mikado. We have block 14. Now. Shibu has a lot of training here at Studley. Man, I really want to see how that other one is going to end, too. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sad about that. Oh, no, it ended. It ended. Oh, it didn't end. So who won? So it seems like Urukan won because he's like. Urukan was the. Anchor, of course. Anchor. Oh, okay. And looks like that co entity team didn't have full members. Oh, I see. That's Sorry, so uh, Uruken's uh, Akuma ended up no. winning it. And Shigo taking the first round against BBK. Was Uruken the bald guy? Was that? Was Uruken the bald player? No, no, he was the, he was the one that was long cast. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Shigo looking mighty comfortable. <laughs> You would, a lot of people use a rocket uppercut against this matchup. Yeah. That's because... It's more difficult to hit with Porsche though, correct? What's that? Yeah, 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 you're right, you're against right. Against Makoto. Because crouching Makoto is a little bit weird. She's got like a, like a fatty <laughs> triangular hit bo hurt box. Good punish. Proper decision making. Super for the kill. Right. That was round two. You know, clutch it out. I mean, didn't even have to. Or you don't even have to save the meter for the next round. You're good. Don't, don't even have to do why, anything. Why risk? Why even? Why, why even red hurry the ex? Oh, okay, so we have Kano Kichi. We know his race. We. He was phenomenal yesterday. Wasn't yes. He? Yes. Kano Kichi, Mochi give him advice. Kano Kichi, I don't know. He. I don't think he's first, but he may be first. Go. No, he made second, sorry. Oh, yeah, uh, it's the second players for both teams. Oh, really? Okay. No. 
Oh wait, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Uh, Dudley team, the Chun Li team. It's a third. We should. Oh yeah, Roshi Kari's not here, right? Oh, okay, that's right. I've never, I haven't seen him today, so I don't think he's here. So sorry, all your Roshi Kari fans. Okay. He's not here today. And I don't think Shibu would play first, so he's he second or third. I don't know. Is that the number of player? I think it's the number of kills. Number of kills, okay. Yeah. So, so, player two is up. Yes. Okay. Sunugi, red the forward, uh, red the forward roundhouse. Are you ready? Got a decent Go. punish. Ow, that hurts. Yeah. That move hurts. I don't know why. It's punishable even on hit uh, with the super go, I believe. Oh, could not get the low forward. Maybe a little bit nervous compared to yesterday. He was too good yesterday. Good sequence. Car throw. Trying to be really uh, tricky when he's jumping in with the roundhouse kicks. See? Oh, see, see? Yeah. But he's aware of that. He's nice escape. Yeah, he's, he's, already, he's already played that card. Oh. Showing that card. Still, still. Nice escape. I like it. Super. Chest still buffered low, uh, low strong in the super. So solid as he is, as he always plays in the uh, solo arcade. Oh, have it. So now, Haidu. Oh. This guy. Yeah, we lost him yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I saw. You're right. You're right. So is that yeah. number of kills? I believe so. Yeah, because the Makoto's Makoto will win, and then it'll be um, one to three, yeah. So this is basically Mikado Arcade Mikado versus Arcade Big One. No kidding! Okay, hey! Wow! <laughs> Try to prove which arcade is better. <laughs> of course I go to, of course I'm the guy that goes to big one. Pop cop bias. So I'm not I mean, do you still have these types of like, you know, game center like arcade rivalries between each other? Um, we ha we don't have it anymore, but I hope I, I hope they do. Or, okay. or we do. Still. Back in the day though, it was it was pretty serious. It was like uh state against state, like prefecture against prefecture. I like, see. Saitama versus Kanagawa, things like that. Oh, interesting. Okay. So Makoto wants me to right here for the kill. He needs a little, she needs a little bit more. While well, Dudley can kill with the next hit. Oh, oh she has wow. it. Hey, he's got the meter. One hit, he's got one the meter hit, now. One more hit. One more hit for, for Either both. side, one more hit. For both sides. Three. We saw that oh last time. Oh my god, here we Dash go. Dash blood shark. I have the zero frame super link. That is not easy. You can mess up in a situation Fire. like this when yeah. it's nervous. Way too easily. So Makoto has, has empty meter, but it's alright, she got the round. And since Dudley has meter, he, he's going in. By the way, uh, so PlaySpot Big One is also superior as an arcade, in my opinion. Because it's probably the only place in, um, in, in the area where you can play Marvel's Capcom 2, still. <laughs> at, at a high level. At a high level, yes. I mean, I've never seen an actual Marvel's Capcom 2 cabinet in the rest of Tokyo. <laughs> They have like max of three or four. Oh my god. Good box. He won't be using the meter now. Alright, good cancel on that. I have to cancel. Well, good poke. Oh. Wow. One hit away. For, for both sides. One hit away. This is tense. Is she gonna do another da dash and load? No. Good read! Oh, oh the overhead! With the top! EXO Roshi, 13 frames on startup. Exactly the same as the Dudley's overhead, which is 13. But, no kidding. but, Makoto's... Uh, also, has massive chip damage as well. Uh, like, I think it might have been killed. It might have killed him on chip? No, I don't no, think no, so. Almost. Um, it's 13, but Makoto's overhead is easier to block because it flashes. Ah, uh, that's true. So there's a rule against Makoto. When Makoto flashes, block high. Right. Block high. That makes sense. Because she has no, uh, she has no EX crap. Or like EX low. Now, right. Nobody has EX low. Nobody does. No. Nobody does. So except Rainbow. for, except for uh, Q. Yes. So this is, this might be a pain for Shibu, because if Big One does not have a Mookie players. 
and Ringo, 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 yes, not Ringo Star, but Ringo is. I think it's, I think he's a veteran. Okay, yeah, Ringo. I remember Ringo. Apple, but, but there was a Ringo who was an Alex player oh, back in the day. But I don't know if it's the same I guy. See. Some people say this matchup is horrible for Ibuki. Yeah, but I don't think it's that bad. It's just that if you make one mistake as an Ibuki, you lose your ass. So. Shibu is going to try to use meter as fast as possible in the next round. And if he's going to use meter, that means Ibuki's going to lose half life. Yes. Good match and throw, throw mash. Good by the way, in Good those bait. situations, can pretty reliably do was uh, EX Hukiyage uh, after getting hit yes, with yes, the yes, EX yes, Tadakini. Yes, 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 yes. But you have to react to it right away. You have to know you're going to get hit by it almost. Uh, like, like if you're Shoto, you have to learn and you have to be trained to fight a yeah. at that point. It, it takes a lot of conditioning. It's too fast. To, it's too fast to normally react to. Here we go. You knew this was coming. Ibuki closing it out, convincingly, rather convincingly. So that might be that might be the like lack of experience of Ibuki from uh, the Big One crew. And because last year, some of the Big One crew uh, team in Fanao, and they lost like four guys lost against Atsushi. Wow. And also on Ibuki. I see. And Fanao like just like killed everybody. <laughs> And like reverse OCB well, kind of. Right. So we have uh, Chisa. He's, he's originally a Guilty Gear player. Oh, okay. But he does play Search Strike Of very course well. he used Yoon. He has good reactions. Oh, nice. And he's one of the guys that said he wants to play this year. I see. And so they're not oh. teaming with their buddies. Good, good check with the air jab after uh, pairing the, the knife kick from that range. And what else are you going to do? Not much. Going That's defensive. Great. Good, good defense. defense. Yep. Taking the command grab. Minimal damage. Fair. Re reverse EX move that every was single time. Reversal. And okay. that is not easy. Reversal oh, EX move every single move. Every yeah. single time. So you got to push two guns at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not easy in this game. Well, Marvel's harder, but... <laughs> Oh no! Hot's good out of the air. Gets a full juggle. No scaling. Not this time. Nice! They decided not to go EX. I'm actually surprised because with the EX he would have gotten the knockdown, he wouldn't he? He, he just, it seems like he just didn't get it. Yeah. Now. Oh. Wow. Strong start to, like, that was a bossy way to start the round. All these mix-ups. Oh, burns the meter with the Nishikaku. Oh, gets away. And that's Game. it. And pop it up with so, the leapfrog. So what? Um, the big one. So what Yun tried to do is that. All right. Cool. Like the members all know that they lack Ibuki experience. Yeah. So what they try to do is, okay, you, you, you go and just like harass Ibuki with the power of gain aging. And it worked out the second round. I see. Oh wait, it kind of worked out. Yeah. But not quite. And here's Mariyama, Red Ken. Ah, I see. Known for his DP. And he is the guy that gets nervous a lot. I teamed with him two years ago. So we have Maruyama and Saki, Makoto player. Uh, Nova, uh, Blaze Blue skill. One of the top, play top players of Blaze Blue, uh, Blaze Blue oh, uh, wow. in the country. And we have Ike and the Chun Li. Okay. I'm smelling something. So the Mikado team should know by now that the big one team is not really comfortable playing Ibuki. Right. So Ibuki might like pull off some of the gimmicks, pull out some of the gimmicks that she has. Like you see, Ibuki low health, char low health character, like going for uh, wake up DPs and going for low parries on wake up. And it's, a, it's a lot risky, but you know what he's got to do? It. He's the anchor. He's right. He's reversal to be everybody. So I'm thinking like Mikado team should have like played him much earlier. Ah, uh, true. It's gonna hurt, crutch it. But Ibuki, Ibuki's one hit away. Lobo Ibuki is a scary character to anchor with. Uh, unless they're really, really good. Yeah. 
but she's still fragile. It's just like it, yeah, she like, is fragile. You know, That's it, the word. it makes it it makes it much more. I don't know. Ah! Like, <laughs> oh, can he do it? Yes. That sweep should have been low forward. He had just hit the super meter for the DED, but he yes. said to get, he, but he now, decided to go over the sweep. Meter, yeah. And which which hit? If it was a low forward, it would have been it would have been the round. Right. A little change of plans at the end. Custom. No DB. Oh, no DB, but, but still good enough. It still hurt. That hurt more than a super. Yes, you're right. So Ken has a life lead. He doesn't really have to go in. Get, didn't get the DP. Low jab. Didn't hurt much. Just in a meter for the DD. He'll dash it soon. Oh, I need more meter. Low more soon. Low more soon. Good parry. Good wow, box. Good defense. Good box. Inside the middle of the meter. Oh, good no. bait. He's still in. He's at, she's got one more. Yep. Wow. So that was DP into super for the chip. All right, now it's gonna be captain versus captain. No, we got two more. What? We got two more, right? No, do we not? No, we got, we got, we got Chun Li. Oh yeah, we got, we got, we got Chun Li. Sorry, it's captain. It's an anchor, anchor. Yes, yeah. right. So Ipe, known for his good performance under pressure, he pulled off a lot of clutch wins. So we'll see how he does. But as I keep on saying. The big one crew lack experience against Ibuki because we don't we don't got no Ibuki. Yeah, and it's and it's paying them so far. But now you got Chun. Oh, yeah, but if you don't know what's but going on, but it's Chun. But if you don't know what's going on, uh, but Ibuki knows what's going on. True, true. We shall have to see. So can he reverse OCB? Prepare to strike now. First to Ibuki. I cannot be biased, but oh. I have to. Uh -oh. Ah. oh wow! That's no, that's that's Chun. That's Chun. Oh. That was because she got such a wacky hitbox. Uh, oi! Oh, no conversion. Decided, there you go. Decided not to spend the meter. Oi! Good read! Good read! Read you like a book! That was supposed to be a punish, low, low jab, but it's I'm hard. I'm surprised it didn't touch, yeah. But it's hard. It's, it should be able to, but it should be able to do it. Oh, yes, it's, it's three. And you're plus three. Not gonna, not, not gonna be enough. Woo! Didn't decide to punish the super? Uh, yeah, it's really, really, really hard. It depends okay. on how, many, oh. how much fun okay. it will get punished. Punish. So! Ringo about to pull it off. Fighting, ready. Engage. Match point. Half life. Bonk. Follow up. Low parry working out every single time. Oh, could be Just always. do it. That is punishable on block, of course. Right. Uh oh. Low, low parry uh -oh. working so too good. This can't be punishable with a throw, I guess. Nope. Oh, decides not to do it. And don't worry, Eddie. Wow. So, he beat, so, so she beat with Ibuki. No, I think Wait. she beat four. I think so. I think he beat four. Or almost a reverse OCV. Wow. So the lack of experience against Ibuki paid paid him. So Mikado is gonna be is gonna be through first place in the block. All right. All right. Switching over. Can we have a look at the MOV block that we were looking, uh, that we were watching a moment ago? Or are they done already? Not sure. All right, switching back over. Urian, mirror. Tyrant slaughter. What? Oh, that's right. We saw that being used earlier. Chopped. Ready? Go! Trying to find out which block we are in. You 
away. We await your return, warrior. I am trying to find out which block this is. But I do not recognize the faces, I'm sorry. Fighting is ready. Engage. I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, can you tell me how bad that is? Yeah. 13, 13. really? Okay. We had a Urium mirror, that means... They all have Urian on the team. So. Right. <laughs> awesome! Oh wait, I think this Urian is Dojima Urian. Okay. Which is Team C. And they haven't gone in the information yet either, they don't know. Uh, team B from Kyushu. I've never heard of a Tyrant, Tyrant Scholar Urian. So I think this is Team A, kicking five versus Team C. And okay. Team C, Dojima Urian on one player side. And I think this is Deboru. Okay. Mm, okay. Whoa. What? It, it can uh, this is the this is the ender. Oh! Another one, another one! Yes, thank you! Uh, wow! You win. See, doesn't this play make you want to play this character? Urian. Not really? I'm not good enough to play Thirst Strike Urian. Okay, I mean by some sorry. Awesome character! I'm not good enough to play Thirst Strike Urian. So Dojima was teaming with RX yesterday. Oh, it's 15 14. Yeah. Oh, it's not so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was right. So, oh wait, that was, maybe that was not Devil. Maybe, maybe now this is Devil. They have two kids, I'm sorry. Okay. So, really, really, really lively. Looking lively. Very confident play from the Urian so far. Wow, oh, feeling himself so far. Oh, Everything's nice. working out. Everything's Good working out. So he's got plenty of meter to work with. Once they're in the corner, you're done. Whoa! That's what he said, but it, it, that would have been, it might have been game. Here we go! Set the spanking room! Put him into the corner! Nope. Oh. Wow, really? That's that a questionable is, decision. Um, that was just feeling himself. Okay. Because if Ken would have moved, it would have been game. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, he could have had the punish right there. He might have to pay for it, but that's uh, not the time. Yeah, that was not great timing. Good. Proper punish. So that's the EX head, but two EX head, but at, at the end, that was a, you know a sign of him fe feeling himself. Yeah, yeah. But he had the life lead, so it's all right. <laughs> okay, let's see some faces. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuguri Q. And I must say, Urian Q, Urian Q is very bad. For, for Q. Yes, it is very bad. <laughs> is, is there a good matchup for, your, for Q? This is uh, Remy, 12. Okay. Not bad. Basically the bottom of the barrel. Yang, not bad. Yang, really? Not I did bad. not know that. So this is bad. Yeah. This is oh, bad. but he gets a capture deadly blow. But... The, the Urian player, Dojima, uh -huh. he might be trying to go in too hard, just too hard. Ah, okay. If he gets to like a spare in midair, it might, it might be, it might work, but he's trying to go in too hard. Maybe it might cost him. Well, this Q really seems to want to get those command grabs off. Yeah, but... He might be able to exploit that, but uh... it's not looking good anymore. Whoa. Oh, caught him in the corner. Oh, baited him! Not gonna die, no meter. No. Yep. Has a new meter built up. It might not be enough though. Is he gonna spend it? Oh, no, he doesn't spend it. He does not spend it. He should have at that point. Oh, uh oh. He's not spending it now. Basic combo is good enough. Yep. Basic combo is good enough. You can go for a little bit more, but. Why you get dashy? It's cooperation cup. <laughs> so you're good enough to go in now. You can still back off if you like to. He's got the right lead. He can build yeah. here. See, this is basically making him spend meter. 
so it's not bad for you. And just, just, oh yeah, up back. That's it, up back. Yeah, just make him come to you. Up back. See, he's, he's pushing too many buns right now. Just mm -hmm. getting punished uh, little by little. But still, Yuri has a life save. Oh! Oh my God! That's 25 percent extra damage. You're gonna get seven, the parry up. Seven parries. Wow. So, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Now, this is looking <laughs> bad. <laughs> now, this is looking bad. There we go. Good whip punish. Release me! Release me! Oh. Okay. Now, read the, read the, uh, the headbutt, headbutt out. Yep. And oh. another one! Oh, did I do one more? Now he's gonna pay for it. He's gonna stuck in the corner with an agent setup. I do not agree with the back throw punish. Oh! That's not gonna work. Uh, but it's not gonna work. Got him off of him. Got him off of him. Oh, he's gonna get juggled. Still alive. Dream is not dead yet. Has the research. Oh, no. It wasn't enough. The, uh, this is kind of like the routine kind of a way Yurian wins. It, it kind of looks like a good match at one point. But at the oh, end, Yurian's the one that's standing at the end. At the end. I so, um, as I put it, after uh, preparing the three slaps, the, th the throw to the corner, I think that was questionable. Mm -hmm. I see. But still, he ended up winning. And he made a lot of mistakes at that. Yeah. But, I mean, that's how bad this matchup is. I would like to say. This is Big O. He's been working a lot. Oh, okay. So... Maybe he has something to show. Uh huh. Uh oh, Ooh, tried not to go in against Makoto. He is really offensive in the past matches. Now he's trying to stay away. Makoto with a super two though. Oh yeah, super two. You're right. Oh, he does that double. Yep. That could have been. That could have been the round. Airborne. Makoto just does not want to get thrown right now. Oh, got in! <laughs> Alright, good way to close it out. I see some very, very proper decision making from Yuri and I, and I like it. I might explain later, but he's doing, he's doing real well. Doesn't have Saint Chew, it's not gonna cost too much. Oh, he got the grab. Not gonna There's die. Not gonna so die. So much stun damage, though. Just one more guess. That's not a guarantee. If, if that strong punch is parried, it can't be hit. It can't be countered with uh, crouching pierce, fortunately. Nor standing pierce. Or standing pierce. Nor standing. Good blocks. Good blocks. Uh oh. Uh, master punch. Oh. Good decision making. He didn't get the punish. But he got the follow-up, which worked out. Oh, he got the jump in. He decides not to use any X. Uh -oh, Doesn't need uh -oh. it anyway. It's almost done. One more hit. Done. Okay. It's over. It's over. Okay. It is over. Hey. You win. So the change of game plan from Big Owl. He decided to stay back at the beginning. And I noticed that Yuri is going to stay back. So he said, oh, okay. This so looks like it's going to have to be a reverse OCV. Again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It seems like it, it is. But it is Makoto. So Dojima is out. We have Rudio Yun. Rudio Yun. He must be. I think he is from uh, Western Japan. I'm not really familiar with this guy. Uh, Go for it. All right. <laughs> oh, super dude. Again? Uh, wow. Not the conservative choice. Activate. 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 Oh no, that is fully unbuffered. You should not jump even if you're Makoto. Make you have to work for it. Makoto now in the corner. This unit wants nothing to do with Makoto in the corner. <laughs> You're right. Nothing to do with him in a corner. Or her in the corner. Up, back. Up, back. 
Stay the, stay the hell away. Up back. Stay away from this, girl. Oh, oh there we go. Nice, God. God. nice counter. Fighting. That up kick against Makoto works really well. The up kick, up yeah. kick against Makoto works really yeah, well. Yeah, it does. Oh, in there. In there. Oh, there we go. This is going to be a decent amount of damage. Unless it messes up. Corner carry. Reset, reset. No reset. No. Looks shoulder, like. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Good, good, good enough, good enough, good enough. Oh. Hey, that, hey. Was, that was kind of scary there. It's not that difficult for Makoto to parry backwards. <laughs> But you're not, not, but she's you're so fat. You're not gonna die. True. Uh oh. Good mash. Good could mash. This, could this be the Could this be the end for Tekken Five? Whoa. Oh, good. Read it. Stay back. Stay back. Build the air. Activate. A little bit more. Yes, he's gonna get it. He got it. You got it first. Could this be the end for Tekken Five? Team Tekken Five. Good. Yes. No way. This is why you don't jump. Do now, not jump. Now you notice that it's Tekken 5, no it's not way. 7. Uh, it's Team Tekken 5. That's not 7. <laughs> oh, God. We await the return, warrior. So is Tekken 5 out or not? Not sure. I'll go and switch. Wait. I mean, if you look at the, the upper right, that is what's active right now for them. Okay. So, uh, so we can tell whether or not they're going to be uh, the Japanese casters are streaming or they have a feed on right now. So right now there's no feed. I can't. I can't hear the results. I'm trying to catch the results from them. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Okay. So hopefully. Start oh. stream. No live update for now. Uh, yeah. Please wait for the result. Yeah, we're still waiting. Oh, we're going to uh, another match. Nope. No, nope. Nope. no, you pushed up. You Oops, pushed wrong up. one. Wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> wrong button. That was dead cool. My bad. Oh, uh, that's number three. This is what I get for not having a keypad. Womp womp. This arena now. is Atsugari. So, Atsugari, where is he? There it is. We're on block 14. Atsugari, Elena. Okay. And we have Chun Li. That color Chun Li is, should be Ipe, my sparring partner. Hey, I just want to know where we can watch Symphony of the Night stream still. Symphony of the Night? That was, that was the other overlay that we actually clicked on. There are like a lot of speedrunners, right? Yeah, there are. Shout out to Chris Iger and being broken as hell. Oh no, Mrs. Spinning Beats! 50. Wait, oh, what? Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, what? What? MLB, I think. Yo. I, th I think it's that tab. So I think it's MLB. Okay. Wait, MLB just lost, it seems like. Wait. MOV just lost. Kinda. Yeah. MOV. See, 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 see. see? They're and now Haitani's one. Haitani match for now and are saying like, huh. MOV just lost. Against okay. the Yurian. So that must have been. Uh. <laughs> Everyone's like, Elena became Yurian. <laughs> sorry, oh. sorry for the character swap tech. We have a new version of Street Fighter 3. You thought it was me, Elena. It's, it's Third Strike Rainbow on? Edition. It is, you randomly, you, you're playing Elena, it's a special move you can do, and immediately turns into Yurian, and you automatically win the match. <laughs> you remember Rainbow Edition, right? Rainbow Edition, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's just a game. Yeah, I we're, like, we're I like about, it. I was, you can switch characters in that one. Starbun. So this was Third Strike Rainbow Edition. Elena's turned to Yurian. Starbun, and you, yep. you, you teleport as well. Yep, yep. All right, so trying to figure out what's going on right now. It seems like MOV lost against the Yurian, so that was that Yurian was, uh, I think, Taro mm -hmm. from Koenji. But was that? But I do not remember seeing Taro in the last match against Uraken. 
So, so maybe he was late or something. I don't know. But it seems like. But that wasn't their entire team that got wiped out, was it? I don't know. Because there's nobody sitting. So that means MLB might have been anchored. Oh my god. MLB seemed lost? Maybe. Maybe. I think. I think I'm right. Wow. So all you folks going to playoffs, beware. Esports! Uh, beware. E MOB, Hi Tiny and Momochi will be in playoffs. Not a good sign. Esports. So yes, it's a good thing you get out of your pools in first place. This is very, very important. Don't go to the playoffs. Esports. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the teams are one and one. Oh, it's a three-way tie. So we have. Oh, so so Mob's team. Oh, so it's a playoff. It's gonna be a last chance playoff for this pool. Mob's team might still be able to advance in winners. Una can Goki. This is the Yurian means. I think this is Taro. Taro Yurian and uh, Una can Goki. Okay. I think it's Taro. So everyone picks one. So for this playoff, everyone picks one, one representative. Guy. You get one match against both teams. So this is this is not easy for Yurian because he has a big body. He doesn't have good punishes against the tattoos and everything. So all the tools for Goki seems to work out well. See good punishes. This is the combo. I'm sorry. Ooh. And Gogi has two ones against Asian Reflector, starting from uh, right. teleports and DP demons. Also, would you recommend using uh, Jupiter Thunder against uh, Kuma? I use it, but nobody else does. It would make sense though, because he can't teleport out of it as a trap. It does massive stun damage. Well, yeah, it, it can, you, you can kill a four, you can kill a four hit. Right. I'm, I'm actually really curious as to why it's not more popular in this matchup. No, because Aegis is too strong. That's it. Even against the uh, even in this situation, uh, Aegis is Aegis is oh. oh wow! Guaranteed throw. Wow. Teleport. Yep. Oh, that's what happens. Oh yeah. That's what happens. Oh, oh, wow. oh the fireball! Oh. The fireball is so off the screen. I think that was a miss input, but he went for it. Alright. Even a range of demons is not gonna save him yet. Oh. He has to respect it. He has to respect it. Oh, nice. Good counter. So, Aegis Reflector, all the reflectors, Jab, Strong, Fairs, and Upper Aegis, uh -huh. they start, they have a startup of one. Every every single one of them has a startup of one. But you don't get the hitbox. Right. Only the EX version has the hitbox. EX version gets the hitbox on the first frame. On frame one, and yes. And the others don't. It's like, I see. It's like 12, 20 something, right. 30 something. Okay, so Mob is going to be yeah. the representative. He's going to be the captain of the team. He's going to represent the team. Bonk. And so wait, I spoke too soon. They're not in the playoffs. Really? They're not in the playoffs. Oh no. I said they, I said they were they were in the playoffs already, but they're not. Oh. Because they're playing captains right now. Oh. See, I thought they were in the Bro. playoffs already, but they're not. Oh, okay, okay. So My bad then. If, if MOB wins against the Syrian and also against the Uruken, uh -huh. they're through. Okay, so then they would actually win win. Yeah. They, they okay. need to win win. Wow, didn't see that. Back fist spinning bird kick. That is not easy. You need to practice for that. That is the best punish without using meter. Decided off the challenge. Wow. Oh. Uh oh, no super. It can happen. Bad things can happen when in the corner against Syria. Ouch. <laughs> He's got the meter for another Aegis soon. Uh, he shouldn't have backed off right there. Oh, no. He needed to take the challenge. Now he's almost going to act himself into a corner. Now he is in the corner. What hell's he going to do from here? Dash up back throw. But 
But she's too smart. Uh, or, uh, Mo MOV is too smart for that. Yep. Ah, yeah. So he was doing well because he was making MOV jump. Mm. You literally didn't have to jump. Because no. he was jumping. So he was doing well. But he used a meter in a. Back off? Yes, back off. Yeah, these do look like playoffs. Because okay. one zero, zero zero. Yeah, these are these are the playoffs. Oh, good punish. Just have to avoid another uh, three-way tie situation. Ah, uh, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> wow. Had that rhythm. That has to be done a very specific rhythm, doesn't it? Oh, uh, once we get used to it, it's not that hard. But it is. Once you once once you get it, it's not that yeah. hard, but so MLB, if he wins against Uraken, they right. are through. Okay. And if Uraken wins. It's another three-way tie. Yes. But <laughs> Uraken's team basically has only Uraken. Right. Because he's like the he's like the main But that's counter. all that's all that really matters right now, isn't it? So if it's like one one, they got, they don't know who to who, who to put up next. While the other pro gamers team and the co engine team, they've got like other talents. So oh, I see, I see. Uraken probably Uraken is the only guy that actually won for this block for his team. Mm, okay. So Uraken desperately needs to win. But even if he does, it still might be in a desperate situation. Okay. So, but he's got a win to start off with. So, so Uraken MOV. Looks and like a side switch happened. Oh, they they did they, 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 they did rock paper scissors. Ah. So what Uraken needs to do is try and have. Make MLB make a mistake and like serious mistakes that can like cost the match. Uh, that can like cost the match is like airborne, demon flip, like low forward, missing confirm, yeah. super, things okay. like that. Not good. Uh, bad start. Yeah, it is a bad start for Wudakan. Bad start, but Goki can do it in, in round one, in the first round. Before Chun generates too much meter, yeah. Yep. Oh! Good punish! Wow! Good Ouch. punish! Esports is back. <laughs> Good punish! Nice! Proper punish! Oh! He was crashing that situation when he was sliding, right? That would have been a free super. Uh, it's really hard. That is really hard. Mm. Ah! Didn't want to spend meter, Good but opening. it's all right. Yeah, but now he's out of meter, you're right. And he has no EXs. <laughs> Only well, character game with no EXs. He, well, he doesn't need it, actually. No. He's still good enough. All right, he's got a super ready. Ah! <laughs> Stop hitting buttons when he's in hockey range. Oh, shit. Oh. Looks oh, like he's about to take round two. He's in the lead. He gets away. Oh, there we go. He got away, saving meter. Wow. Nice. Nice for Goki. Are we going to see a Raging Demon? Car Demon? Uh, not the best way to spend meter. Unless it's a finish. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay. So, Goki wants to spend meter early, build another one, and then finish right. the Demon. Oh, no. Mix up. Here's a mix up. 50 50. Oh, misses it! Now he has last chance right here. I have to go in. And he does. Oh, he yeah. Red the demon. MLB. MLB's team advances. Moves on. So you know what? They're gonna play. Okay, they still have to play. Oh wait, they, they go for the. No wait, they, no, 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 he already beat him. Oh yeah, right, right. he already beat him. So that means Uraken is out. Uraken, one of the wow. best Gokis. Uraken is out. Sick matches already for the first round pools. So, uh, 
uh, some people got it wrong. Mm -hmm. Some people think uh, the Chun Li Super Ho Yok San has projectile invulnerability or invisibility, mm -hmm. which it doesn't. So how does it work? How does that work? Good question. That super actually travels or moves the screen during the super flash. Oh. So while and the she's other, invincible during the super flash. So it's not actually invincible. She just moves. What the hell? Okay. So you know, uh, in order to stuff it, in order to, in order to stuff the super, you gotta have meaty. It, it can be meaty anything because I see. Chun Li super does not have invincibility on wake up at or all. like uh, uh, at the at the startup. Oh. So you can push any button, jab, strong, roundhouse, doesn't anything. Doesn't matter. It will stuff it if it is meaty, mm. and okay. Chun-Li will travel during Super Flash and, and then hit, and get hit by it. Right. Yeah. So, as we saw, Chun-Li goes through this air fireball, mm -hmm. right, and with a punish. So, Chun-Li travels during the Super Flash, mm -hmm. and notice that the air fireball does not move. Yes. Chun-Li is the only one that's moving. Right. So, it's not invisibility. It's actually a it's teleport. It's like she's teleporting. It's actually a teleport. So, that's how it works. Okay. I don't know why they made it that way, but Chun Li can travel without spending time, uh -huh. and her super does massive damage, but it has no invincibility. I see. So that's the way how the they like how they like uh, adjusted the game. Okay. Adjusted the super to be exact. So it's you guys are up or not? Um, we will be up in the next block. Okay. Your team's already played. We're through. Okay. Congratulations, by the thank way. Thank you. Thank you. I'm through. <laughs> I'm through. That's like from Indy Jones. Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm through. All right. Um, we'll have to find. Uh, I might get. I might get mochi. Oh yes. Okay. Either works. Okay. Either works. So before you get ready for a match, let me get my partner then. All sure. Right. By the way, that was uh, RKF. I'll be, back. Um, I'll be back soon. All right. Uh, yeah, that was RKF, uh, one of our other commentators, uh, extremely knowledgeable, uh, lives in the Saitama area and plays at uh, Play Spot Big One, second, in Minami Norawa, and also makes a ton of combo videos for Third Strike, or you know a lot of the famous ones that were made. Uh, anything that says uh, K underscore six presents. Uh, was RKF. So, looks like uh, my team will be reporting in over at Station 5. Uh, I'm just going to hold it here until RKF gets back. And unless I'm going to get dragged with a stick like right now. <laughs> um, hopefully my matches will not be shown on stream because I am totally out of practice and horrible. But. I'll be rooting for myself nevertheless, and thanks to everybody else that will be rooting for our team. Uh, me and Darlath are on the team. So I will switch it over to the Japanese feed uh, temporarily.
All right, we're gonna take a short little intermission while we switch to the uh, blocks. Um, the teams coming up are Tekken 5, Shura no Kunikara, 2017, Gotetsu no Ginga. Oh, these are the results uh, that we just had. Thanks for joining the uh, Gaijin stream and being polite and uh, exiting the pure Nippon stream. We appreciate the segregation in 2017. The streamer civil rights movement. Stream. Who? N um, no. No, I think they're just waiting for intermission. All right, um, we're going to bring back the knowledgeable people. But before, press, press one if you play this game and understand it. And played it since first, first impact and second generation. Everyone in this chat should have played this game, right? And be knowledgeable in the lore and the frames. Can I get a show of hands? <laughs> yes. Now I need to know, what happened to Ken's face from third strike until five? Is there a medical condition? Was there aging? Did he get hit with the Aegis reflector so many times that he just aged very quickly? What happened to Ken from 3S to Street Fighter V? If we have any doctors in the chat, please uh, give us a scientific explanation as to what could have happened to Ken. Now my theory is that every time in the his ending, if you play story mode, he's always shopping with Elisa in uh, like a red sports coupe. I think that they got into an accident while he was checking his phone in the coupe. But he survived the accident and thus came out the way he did. Wait, we have some uh, people steeped in the lore that Street Fighter V came before Third Strike in the order of uh, chronological events. Could it have been... So did he go to... Korea for surgery? Wait, how does five come before three? Come on, mathematicians. You have so many, you have so many onigiri. I only have two. Okay, hold on. Check out this uh, Gaijin team that went one and one. Look, LA Cobra with Marco, I believe he's French, and Gunfight, Ryan, 
I'm not sure which line that is. Yaz and Masi, they did pretty well. Whoa, wait, what is this Trunks uh, logo, the double circle? Cold eye. Is that the capsule corp? Just a friendly reminder that Onigiri is banned. Orenomentaiko Umakachan. <gasps> Utada Nukeru 3 is uh, team number A. She made a comeback uh, this year with her first album in over. Probably since this game came out. Utada hasn't made an uh, album until last year. She hit the uh, top of the Japanese charts. Happy Lotions, the Bantetsu. This team is really weird. Team number C, PS3 OE. That means they play the PS3 version. Son Daihyo, the villagers of PS3 OE representatives. And, and they uh, got two points. So I'm unsure what that double circle uh, icon means. What does that double circle mean on the scorecard? Oh, Wolf CV? Okay, so the Capsule Corp double uh, logo, double circle logo means uh, someone OCV'd the op opposing team. Zuto Niko yaite kimashita. Mado o awateru yona jikan janai. Mikado Gekijo, okay, these guys are from Mikado. Who here downloaded the ROM on the the GD ROM from for the Dreamcast version of this game? And who bought it for retail? Press one if you downloaded the ROM, and two if you actually purchased it. Because I'm gonna ban everyone that presses one, so be careful. Do you know how long it took me to correct all those ROM files? Like there was 27 of them in 100 megabytes over AOL. Can you imagine how difficult it was to collect all of them? And if you were missing one, you couldn't burn the disk. All right, everyone that type one, do slash command ban, and then type your own uh, ID into the chat and just excuse yourself and be vanquished into stream oblivion. I recognize some of these names from the uh, IRS, the, the Merc chat that were requesting ROM files, but never shared, never uploaded. Oh, Lupin 122, Asa third boo. Oh, Zeto Senshi. Onu so Onuki's team is Zed Senshi, the team B. Uh, they have Kuni, Onuki, Sho, Tokura, and Genki. Team 74 is Toksan, Kin, Bujimon, Fujimon, Kaku, and Nochi. Did everyone purge themselves? Everyone that is remaining in the chat should be the ones that bought the legitimate uh, Dreamcast GD ROM. Ban yourself. This is a the honor system.
All right, so starting from tw block 22, a going from Team A, uh, Kras Orb, 1999. Team B is Chomakai Shuro. <laughs> and C is Shoshinsha no Kan. I'm seeing a lot of region uh, regional players. You can see from that yellow strip uh, of where they're from. Uh, but Team B is a Deshiken's team. They have Deshiken, Ushi, Yun, uh, Chunli, RB, Yurian, Hira, Hata, Dudley. I'm assuming that's a very strong team because uh, Deshiken is on there. And he had some ridiculous performance last night in pre-cooperation club. You can see the clips uh, of him perfecting Rikimaru Chun-Li, which is unheard of, because I think Rikimaru still, still sort of plays this game actively of, uh, of all the top player, top Chun-Li's in the game. Shirokuro Chun-Li. Of course, that's not the uh, Taiwan RB. That's um, must be someone else. Though RB is playing, coincidentally, RB is playing Street Fighter Five. Uh, Urian. Hey, is this real Texas UFO? No, it looks like Japanese people on it. From Texas UFO Team A is Shin Luke Shima. Uh, Trevor, maybe, maybe these are uh, Gaijin. And Shin Ken. Next is Kajino Kyomachi, Kobun Nihiro, Mr. Mikami Kaz. Oh, there's a Q. Matsudacho Ken. And then a uh, very uh, old school Dark Darkstalkers team, Kowappa Komemaru, Wan Taren. Pampina, Norio. Are these Gaijins really Gaijin? They have some Japanese in their names. That's cool that they're repping uh, all the way from Texas UFO. We're very far away from uh, Austin. If you have uh, friends from Austin that are in this team, do lend them your support and spirit bomb them. Texas seems to have a revival of uh, Street Fighter scenes. I think they had like three ranking tournaments, more than any other state last year. So shout out to Texas for holding down the uh, fighting game community in the, in the middle of America. Whoa, Chachi just show. Is that guy TKD? Yeah, okay, well, TKD from Street Fighter 4 plays third strike. He's with Ise. Hey, is that Ise from Ise Ise? The New York guy? Ma Junior Yun, uh, Misawa Ken, Shimono Yurian. Team A is. Ken Mango K. Satsu. Huh? Kokusai. 
Quem sai? Like Chance, Lodi, something. Hayao, Hayao, Hugo is on team A and Kosei Ken. And then Kijuna Nexus on the bottom for team C is Fujinari, Zayuri, Makotsu, Kurea, and Ninenme. This will be pretty interesting. I've never seen um, TKD play Third Strike before. Maybe he came from there, I'm not sure. But if this is a Ise, Ise Ise, shout out to him. He lived in the, the States for a while. The guys that uh, sort of have lived, either gaijin that lived in Japan or foreigners, sorry, uh, Japanese that have moved over to the States either for study or for work, are important bridges uh, to linking up the both communities. So. He said it was one of them, if it's the same person I'm thinking about. No one in this room is under 30, I would say. Real talk. Furthermore, as it's like a very... Like the gender equality here is very imbalanced as well compared to other, uh, like if you go to a league event or a Shadowverse tournament, um, it'll have a, a better gender balance, but here uh, not so much, just based on casual observation. Now, granted, Japan is also suffering from um, aging in that their average age is creeping up uh, just as many other developed countries, Sweden, Germany, uh, Korea, Hong Kong, Taiwan. So there's that, plus the fact that this game uh, has a very high execution barrier is not kind, I suppose, to younger players getting in, you know, in year 15 or whatever. In fact, if you go to a nursing home in Japan, like 20 years from now, instead of playing Bingo or Go, they'll probably be playing Third Strike with like really slow reactions. Oh my god, the Kuriko! Kuriko! That Running Man uh, thing on that red shirt is a famous sign in Osaka, in uh, Dodonburi. Go check it out if you're going to KBO in May. All right, we are back with uh, more action. Now, if you're wondering what all those masks are for, because I see that perhaps the most common question is, what are those masks for? We're actually in a hospital, and they are all surgeons in residency doing surgery to repair MOV's broken hands. Ooh, a fusion Gaijin uh, Japanese team, it seems like, on the main cab, cab number two. Oh my god, where did that RKF fellow go? He's, he's gone. If he's free, I think he might be playing. RKF actually is the most knowledgeable person I've ever heard talk about Third Strike. Ever. Uh, the guy with the Pepsi hoodie. And... It's great that he is uh, lending us his time, even though he's a very formidable player in his own right. So he's sort of splitting his duties between uh, player and commentator, which is very difficult. In fact, the only person I know that can do it really is Arturo. Um, but yeah, you just imagine the concentration and stamina that it takes to do both.
Dude, I would seriously play... Maybe Street Fighter 4 would be in a retirement home too. Like, in the future retirement home will not have archaic manual analog games. It will have a lot of Netflix and it will have Street Fighter. Like, you're not going to play bingo with your buddy if you're both video gamers, right? You're going to play a simple game to pass the time. Hold on, we'll have matches for you very soon, don't worry. And then I will be off. Noticeably absent from this uh, tournament is... Oh, hold on. We got two, two knowledgeable commentators coming up. So I'm going to shut up and uh, leave now. So we'll have uh, matches very soon, guys. All right. Uh, I am back. My name is RKF. Mike. Yeah, I'll be doing the I'll, I'll be doing the screen transition and stuff. Yeah. All right, so we have a new guest. Oh, sorry. All right, we have a new guest. <laughs> and I In almost introduce yourself. How you doing, guys? This is Mutant XP from New York City. Yeah, New York City. Clap, clap. So, uh, I guess we're gonna get started with some matches pretty soon. Yep. Right? We'll be having this announcement for the third time zone for the first round shortly. Mm -hmm. And we seem to have Onuki on the mic for the Japanese stream. Those of you who understand Japanese or want to see Onuki. So are there any uh, players that you know of in this block, this particular time well, zone? Well, there's a lot. So uh, that we should watch out for, maybe. Well, or? but we'll be um, we'll be uh, we'll be looking at the players that okay. are actually on the stream. All right. And so, so how do we, uh, right. how do we, where do we? No, we don't do nothing. We just, we just wait for the feed. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I get it. And so it'll be projected here, right? Yep. Uh, oh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be switching scenes right here. Oh, all right. Great. So, uh, 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 so that should, that should be the, uh, the, the, the stream channel, as you know. Okay, great. So, we're, so we're counting down right oh. there. So this is. Announcement from Onuki and Genki. <laughs> so Genki, known for his English, but <laughs> decided not to sit in this side. Oh, really? But rather sit on the Japanese side. Maybe he's a little shy. It's okay. Well, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. There's nothing wrong with being shy. Yeah, some things I, you know, should not expose on the mic, and yes. you know, remain silent. So, so I hope you guys are enjoying all the third strike this weekend. That was so an amazing far? grand finals. Yeah. How about you? Oh, I'm. It's I'm. A, it's your first time here, right? Yes, it's my first time. You know, I've been playing the game for almost 15 years. Uh huh. And it took me a while to get here, but I'm finally here, and I'm glad to be here. Really? Honestly? Yeah. yeah. So that means you're having fun so far. Yes. Yes. Playing? And it helps that we're winners. So. Oh wait. <laughs> All right. So folks, third time, turn three, time zone three, we're beginning. Just now, and we have, 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 and RKF, is this the uh, Ushi of Urien thing? Yes, it used to be Urien, but yes. now he is uh, Urien, as we all know. And we have an Elena. That means this is Ume mode. Elena, Team A and uh, Team B in the block. 
Chou Makai Shura is the Kyushu team. And if you, if you bought the booklet, there's a long interview of this team that they are thinking nothing but winning in the tournament. Wow. And they seem to be very, very confident. All right. Can he get the end there? Yes. Proper ending. Reset oh, wow. You cross up. Now that's what you call gimmicks. Yes. Worked out. I like that decision not to go for the Whoa. knockdown. Yep. All right, start out with a side. Oh, good punish, good punish. So this match isn't really easy for Elena. No. Because she is a weird, she has a weird uh, hitbox, uh, hurtbox, I'm sorry. And this, after this. Oh, that's nice. That is ideal. I mean, that was a nice combo. All right, let's see what the mix-up is. Miss it, but definitely, but, but worked out. Could not activate. Could have secured the win. Now activate. Oh, cross up, cross up. Oh, that wow. was so smart. You know what? I saw a lot of low shorts and no supers. Wait. From who? Elena? From, from the Elena player. Elena, well, you can't hit confirm. You can't hit confirm. So, but I feel like, but I feel like, you know, you gotta take a chance. Yeah, but there were a lot of uh, smart decision making from Ushi. Yeah. Like after activation, like jump up and cross up mm -hmm. to mess up the input for the reversal super, things like that. So there are tiny other things that I would like to mention, but it seems like the next match is going to be starting. Mm -hmm. So Elena Umemon's down, and we have we have who do we have? Yeah, who do we have here? They don't. They have him. No, wait, wait. Uh oh. So it looks like we have to. Uh, we lost wait for Tom. Wait for Tom. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's playing though, so yeah. I, I guess we're not gonna be able to see the chat. So sorry, sorry. stream monsters. <laughs> we lost the chat, but now we have Alex Hinochan. Hinochan used to be an Oro player. Oh wow! But now he changed to Alex. I don't know why. That's a pretty big uh, change. It is a big change. <laughs> now. All right, let's see what Ushi does here. Well, this is this is actually not that bad for Alex either. <laughs> because really? when you when you enter the corner, he's got basically nothing to do against Alex. <laughs> Now, how does uh, how does Alex deal with dive kicks? How does Alex deal with dive kicks in this matchup? Dive kick or parry or standing standing middle punch. Uh -huh. All right, so she's in here. Good enough. Nice but anti air. Needs to meet her. Good anti air. Oh. That's risky. If it's if it's parry, it's a full punish. Yes. Oh, nice Good air. Yes, this is what Alex wants to do. Activate. Yes. What will he get? Air Stampede! Oh, proper punish. Oh. Pro proper ender, I'm sorry. Okay. Alex is never out of it. Look at how look at how look how much health he still has. Alex needs like three solid reads and yeah. then he can still win. So Yun does have to do a lot of work in this match. Oh, uh, it's safe to activate, yes we all know. We, you have to activate. Doesn't go for an overhead, it misses it, but but protects the throw. Oh wow, he's not it. Low tech stopped it. Got a reaction to the overhead of uh, 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 the anti air. See, he's shaking his head. He's not happy with the performance, but yeah. still managed to get the round. Oh, wow. Good parry and proper punish. I like it. Remember that headbutt is not parryable. Ah, yes. You're right. Oh, get out of here. Air D. EX to get more damage on the meter back. All right, so Alice just needs to sit on this. Don't press not. Oh, okay. hey, wow! Yeah. I don't know. About I don't think. I don't think that was a. Uh, I, I think. I think that was not a punish. Yeah, uh, you you can throw yeah. if you're if you're blocking high. Yes, you dash punch. Yes, you're right. But if you're blocking low, that's not a punish. Yeah. So a little change of plan for Luchi. Little standing, standing forward, and could not tech because oh tech, my because tech analysis throw with Yun is very hard. I think you only have a two frame window. Protect Hugo and Alice's throws. Activate once, but he needs two more, I guess. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. We're, when we're smelling it, activate, yes. Leap that's not, leap attack, that's not the lake. Oh. This is a long climb for Ushi. Yes, slash elbow. I think against slash elbow, slash elbow would have been a punish. All right. Buffer, but he needs two more. There's one. There's one. Maybe he doesn't need another. He's making it safe. He's doing it safe. Yeah. He's not going for more damage. He's playing it safe. Oh wow! Nice read. Oh, nice what attack. attack! What attack! He decides to go in. 
Oshi somehow pulls it off. So there were a there were a lot of mistakes from Yun. Uh -huh. And Alex did not capitalize on some of it. I don't even know if that throw was legit. Which one? That, yeah? that throw punished the punish the project. Oh yeah, that's the. Uh, I don't even know if that throw was. I think Alex might have been able to take. Well, the super probably would have been the best, yeah. but you don't have time to like actually input the command right there. Yeah. So the fastest game, the fastest sorry fastest move that like most most characters have, three frame, unblockable throw, right? Yeah. Are you ready? So we have Go. Naga Ken. <laughs> this is actually Kyushu versus West Japan. All right, and which they are they are playing in Tokyo. <laughs> by Max Ray Sweet. So a lot of people come from come from afar. This is gonna hurt. Oh, keep it simple. Yeah. Oh, he's keeping it really yeah, simple. Yeah, really simple. No bombs, nothing. But he drops at the end. Oh, that was. Uh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Probably Ushi does, does not like the uh, stick or something. He's messing up a lot of stuff. Maybe. So, so maybe he decided to keep it keep it simple. I'm not sure. I think that's a good point, say. You know, if there's something wrong with the equipment, you know, don't try to fight it, I guess. No, you only, like, play, like, 80% of your game. Yeah. You, don't, you don't try to play 100%. Yeah. 80? Whoa. Very simple combo. Really simple, and yet he's dropping the dash at the end. Good tech. Good escape. Good awareness. Oh, Meaty. Uh, what a well, read. wasn't meaty, but... That's a good read. No problem, no punish, and that should be game. Yeah. You can see. All right. Standing fierce with a juggle. You don't see it against Shoto's, and you don't see it against Alex either. So he's keeping it really safe. Yeah. And so this is. I think it's Yuki Otoko. Yuki Otoko. Uh oh. No, Yuki Otoko. Yeah. Yuki Otoko. Known for. Known for uh, the top five Gokis in Japan. He's a very aggressive Goki. Yes, you're right. Very different style from match. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Already in there. It's gonna hurt. Look at that. 80% damage already. More like 65 oh, or 70. Yeah. Because you have more we have yeah. more life when your life goes down. You have more defense, I should say. Good reaction! It's not gonna link! Nice teleport. Oh. So a punish. It's gonna hurt. Oh he yeah, for something hard. Right there. Oh, wow, jab jab. Alright. Good reaction! No, 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 no. Yes. Oh my god, he could have EX and would have won the round. Uh, I don't think he has hits. EX time, EX, no, EX, 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 EX. Um, I guess Shoto's? I'm not sure. I think it combos. I'm, sure, I'm not sure. Or EX tackle, he could have done EX tackle. Um, e uh, low, low strong at the EX up, up kick works, yeah. yeah. But I guess, but from a target combo, I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> Good pressure from Doug. It's not gonna die. Oh. Good parry. Oh, should have waited until he landed. Oh, you can't you can't distinguish if it's a middle tattoo or a roundhouse tattoo, so that's yeah. why he, he, he That's why he did it, yeah. Yeah, he did he decided to jab him off there. Yeah, I really feel like Gucci could have done a better combo, but oh, he wait, he he can. Yeah. Yesterday winner. Yes, he can. Now. Can we see some of the same things that we saw yesterday? And as you know, Ken is a demon. Oh my god, it's gonna hurt. Oh, oh half life! No. Wow. Oh, could have comboed. I think. Oh, bad that. Tough. Fighting's ready. Engage. All right, right in the corner again. Lots of emperor punches. Huh. For both of us. It's so hard to deal with Dejikin style. Um, basically, it's uh, Ken is Gogi's demon. Yeah. So it's really hard. Wow. I assure you. That was impressive. <laughs> oh my goodness. You flinched. You flinched. That's why you get hit. So this is really good news for uh stop 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 can, can you unlock this Oh so we got a necro player thank you 
I'm a Necro main myself, so obviously I'm looking forward to this match. Who is this Necro player? Okay. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, Tom. So, yes, this... For the, you're right, you're right. Uh, a little bit I, of technical, I think okay. technical difficulties, so... Alright, back to the match. It's good for Kyushu teams that they beat uh, 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 Goki with Ken, because they, uh, they, they have a Yurian. Okay. And now, Necro's up against Ken, and this match isn't really easy for Ken. So I heard some some people say that this is actually a Necro's favorite. It can't oh, be. Oh yeah, I don't think about. It. I I, I, don't, I wouldn't go so that far. <laughs> you know, maybe six four. But it's not that six four can. A lot of people say it's close to even. Oh, remember guys, if you block Necro's overhead, Ken can SA three. So there's a lot of things that Ken can punish off the block. Well, yeah, but the ground game is not really that bad for Necro. Yeah. Are you ready? Go. We'll see how he does it. Reacting to the dash up, gonna get the super. Get the super now. Let's see what let's see what Dashiken does here. Uh oh, one more hit. Yeah. There you go. And remember, Necro doesn't have a whole lot of health either. Ah, you're right. So what, so, a, what a convincing performance from uh, Dashiken. Dashiken right. and also from uh, Uchi. Sealed it out with two players. Did not even have to use Chun Li, Yurian, or Dudley. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I mean, this team that just lost with Yuki Otoko, it's not a bad team, it's a good team. Uh -huh. But the Kyushu team was just too strong. Yeah, they were. Sealed it off with two players. And again, Deshiken with that with that in-your-face style. Oh. He just doesn't give you any room to breathe. Yeah, you know, so, he's always in front so of you. So fast-paced. Yeah. So what do we got next? I don't know. I'm waiting. All right. I got it. Oh. So? All right. I think I heard the word Mester. Mester? Yeah. Is this Mester? We'll see. Uh, see but, uh, no, it's not. No, it's not Mester. <laughs> Is this Hayao? Issei, not Mester. Issei versus Hayao? No, I don't know. Maybe. Give me a little time, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's gonna hurt. Okay. Clap. Oh, not, it's not Issei. It's a TKD. TKD? Versus... Oh my goodness. Oh nice. I kinda I, I like that option to do the back roundhouse after uh SQD. It doesn't have to be back, but probably it will back. <laughs> yeah, that is how you Oh there's how you pop it off. <laughs> it's in the middle of the match. I yes. mean it's just between rounds. Well, how, well yeah, well how disrespectful, but you know. Hayao and TKD. <laughs> Two Aussies that show TKD. No fear from my now, just walking TKD down. Now back it off. Yep, he only wants to do this. He doesn't want to go in raw. He doesn't want to miss the ender. I like how Yao just kind of standing his ground here. Yeesh. Oh my goodness, so scary. Oh, I'm not gonna oh. let you go. Not gonna let you go. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh, good read, good read. Good read on the back dash. Alright. Oh, okay. oh my god, it was 720. Yeah, it was a punish. It had to be 720. It was a punish. Good read! Oh my god, we put himself in the corner. Meaty. Oh my god, if he had parried that. Meaty. Alright. Yes, TKD is also a very do it type of player. Yeah. No. I definitely think Hayao had some chances that round, but... <laughs> <laughs> I got in Hayao oh, with that meter. That might... That might be big. Good read! Look at this damage. Uh-oh. That was not good. That was not good. That's not good news for you. Oh my gosh. Not, 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 not the second time. I think they're going to parry the third time. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Oh, oh no! He starts to do it again! He's testing her now! Wow! No respect! No! Proper punish? No! Uh oh, it's oh yeah, this, this is probably done. Might be the end. Good finish! Superb wow. play from DKD! You know, Hayao definitely had his chances that second round. Yeah. And Sh this team Shibuya, DKD Issei, Majunia, Majunior, Misawa, and Shimono. 
they have been teaming with the same member for quite a long time. I played with the exact same team in 2014 when well, I teamed with RX and Kazuya. They must like each other. <laughs> well, yeah. Now uh, it's a sad thing, but now Shibuya, huh? the town of Shibuya does not have any legit arcade. Wow. They closed down. So where do they play? Does someone know. have a cab in their house? Uh, it doesn't work that way in Japan. <laughs> no, you, what, you can't own a cab in your house? Oh, you can, but we don't have enough room. That's not the States. Or, yeah, well, nor the UAE. Alright, uh, shout out to UAE. We're going to know real quickly what they practice on. Engage. <laughs> so, yes, wow, is, the counter poke! Right off the bat. Chance. Oh my god, Chance Makoto picking on who? You say? No, TKD. TKD, okay. Alright, oh, oh, right, he messed said. up. Yeah. Messed a bit. Oh my goodness. Here's the wheelhouse. What's the what's the mix up? Alright. Oh, hey. oh I thought that was gonna be command grab or got, got him in the corner. Maybe. Oh! Roshi! Activate! Activate, okay, yes. What's well, gonna happen here? Damage with overhead. He wants a command grab at the end. He's not gonna get it, he's not gonna get it! Oh, that's standing yo, yo, forward. Yo, yo. Oh. Woo. You notice Makoto is they jump, they neutral jump because their anti-air options are so good. Oh, really good, yeah. Go. But um, you saw like um, Yun just stand there for a couple of frames. It's so yeah. scary. Good escape. Wow, see that away? See the distance on that crouching scroll? Wow. That's a gimmick. Is sure. it a guy? Yes, it is. Yep. Escape. That's it. Stunned. Oh, it's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, oh, wow. Sorry, I'm on scrub. Does that look like losing this I thought it was gonna stun. Oh, okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Dash up grab, you're unreliable. Yep. You do it. It's, it's, it's really hard to punish. Right. You can you can sometimes tech, but it's really hard to punish that dash in. Yeah. So Capcom decided to like design her as the slowest walking character, but decided to design her also with the fastest dash. Well, you know, the thing is, RKM, people need to understand that just because Makoto has a safe dash doesn't mean it's safe. Yeah. It's it's safe. safe. Just because she has the fastest dash doesn't mean it's safe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you can mess with her spacing. You know? Kind of, yes. It's hard to just space if you're using Makoto. Yes. Because, her, as I said, her walk speed is too slow, huh. dash too fast. Yeah. And it, and it travels long, also. So who's up? Shimono! Well, you're right, in, you're, you're in. in Makoto! Well, what do you well, think? I'm gonna let you, uh... What do you think? Well, you're the expert, RKO. <laughs> I'll let you tell me what we, what we should do in this match. Well, I think this is a good match after all. Go. A lot of people say it's in Makoto's favor, and some say it's, it's in your favor, but... It's a hard match for both of them. Yeah. Alright, uh, trade. Good trade, not bad for Yurian. That fireball was ill-advised. <laughs> oh, he didn't get the launch. He'd rather put him in the corner. What for the throw? What, wasn't on a reaction. That low short, beating out the overhead. Nice jump, Perry. Here's Look, the wheelhouse. Oh yeah, it's really hard to punish that. Chaz knows what he's doing. It's really hard to punish that uh, low short into Hayate. He did yeah. a jab into Taco. It's not going to link. Maybe an EX might not link also. So it's really hard. And a standing strong would whiff. Uh -huh. All right, nice tackle. That overhead in case she dashed. Downing fierce. So you're gonna keep it very basic. Yes. Not gonna do anything. Not gonna do anything like fancy. Oh, here it comes. So Makoto's game plan: uh, build another bar and to finish off with a safety set. Yep. Oh, that yep. could have been Get a long one. It's gonna work. It's it is gonna work. Yes, I just said so. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't well, know that, what he's well, doing. That's old, right? Oh, okay. That's I old. remember that. That's old. <laughs> yeah. We await your return, warrior. So, every, so, so it's nice to see everyone free and loose at co-op, though. <laughs> 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 Ayala is kind of like an exception. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Ken. Is it Shie? Shie. Oh, Ken. Kose, whichever. Oh, okay. So I've got, I've I can't tell, I'm sorry. I, I see, I saw these two gentlemen yesterday, but I'm sorry. <laughs> they, they're wearing a mask. <laughs> I can't really tell which is which. No. I can tell by the color. If it's purple, it's Shie. Purple oh, meaning short kick. Nope. No, wait, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is, this is Misawa. I'm sorry, wrong team. I'm sorry, stream. Okay. Misawa Ken. 
So they lost TKD, they lost Shimono. They have Issei and Ma, Ma Jr. and Misawa. Oh no, that's too far. Oh my god, bad read. Let it rip. Now nice. it is. Could have been death. Interesting, he could have linked super off there. It could have been death. Not gonna reach. They are playing so Woo! fast. He could not commit. If he would have committed to the uh, low strong into uh, Hayate, Link into Super, would have won. But, but he was a little bit late, cost him the round. Whoa! Wow. 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 That was a ticket to Karaksa. Yeah. He paired the tick, but did not get a good punish. Oi! Mind game's going on. Low parry. Oh my god. Trying, try, trying to catch the low parry. Stun! Right, jump in! Jump in, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Did not have to use it. Yeah, you didn't have to use it. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Final round. I could probably end it with a short, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you do like a regular if the, one. If the EX would not killed, yes. Yeah. Didn't, didn't push two buttons at the right time. Didn't get an EX. But he has bar. Spent a little bit. Still good. Nice dash under. As an anti air. You don't get damage, but you're safe. I like how Ken's trying to keep moving, you know? Oh, no, but gets gotcha. caught though. Gotcha! What's the mix up? You don't really get a mix up, good mix up in mid screen, so. Yeah. Trying to get some space. Oh! Back throw, this could be it. Let's go. Alright. Yep. Nice. nice escape. Oh, that sucks. Caught you. Not, no, yes. Yep, thought so. Yep. Oh, that's it! Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Dude, RKF, Makoto is so scary when she hits you out of the air. You know, because it's, it's automatic 50-50 for her. Kind of, kind of, yes. Ah, uh, so scary. So Makoto doesn't really have a fast uh, high move. Uh -huh. So the best thing maybe you can do is when you know you're involved in a mix-up, you can bump her low parry. That means, you know, low parry works uh, doesn't matter which side Makoto's in. And then, like, jump right, out, right, right after that. But you might lose the media standing middle bunch oh. and a super after that. So I don't know. It, it depends on how much frame advantage Makoto has after she dashes under you. So we have. Wait a second. Yeah. Mod Junior playing Yun. He Ma was Junior. a Chun Li. I yeah, saw him yeah. play Chun, right? He was a Chun Li. Now yeah. he's playing Yun. Okay. What's up with all these players so switching this, to Yun? Yeah, so this is not the exact same team. My junior was Yun when I played him, when we played him. Alright, let's see how his Yun fares against Chance. So we got two more Yuns. It's my junior and Issei. Oh Chance looking good. good turn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna let you go, son. Not gonna let you go, son. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Into the heat of the battle. Go yeah. Maybe we might get to see two more of that. All right. Yeah. Yes. For the combo. Oh, that was. Ender miss. That was a pretty. Uh, that was a pretty bad. Uh, whatever that was. <laughs> pretty bad ender. Yeah. <laughs> oh sweet. Oh what? That was an accidental parry. That had to have been. <laughs> that and the max punch of Sukiyagi after the parry. But he got something at least. Needs an activation pretty soon. Yes, we got it. Hard to link. Overhead for free damage. Oi. Uh oh. All right. Having trouble. Clearly, Mod. <laughs> Mod Junior might need to spend a little more time in training mode. <laughs> oh, oh! Is it gonna do it? Wow! Oh dude. my goodness! So yeah, we got to see another one of that. See, if you add up all the enders that Mod Junior missed, <laughs> it might it might have saved us. <laughs> Back to training mode or Chun for Ma Jr. So I guess. the reason why Makoto <laughs> let the super rock is that because he wasn't crouching, so it does more damage. Yeah. So that was that was good. Proper decision making. So Issei, I'm sure you guys know Issei well. Yes, Issei. Spent a lot of time in New York. What's a part of uh, what's what's a part of uh, EFP Empire Arcadia? Empire Arcadia. I've heard of the name. Yes. <laughs> oh wow. my goodness! Chance feeling himself. <laughs> Actually, rounded for both sides, right? It kind yeah. 
Oh, Jeff this is so guys, strong. Oh my oh, gosh, did you see that? Too. He did, he did, he did Kara dash punch. Not Kara commando. Oh, right. Good god, oh my lord. Alright, Ethan's gotta make this count. Oh, he doesn't drop. Nope. He's no, Ethan's not gonna drop. Yeah, oh, he oh well, he's your wrong way. Commentator's curse. Oh, he's gonna get the dash punch. Chance can still win this. Oh god. my god. Too uh. strong. We're gonna see another one. Let's go. Why did he see her? He, he had to. No, no. He said he didn't have that much. No, no, no. He, he had, had to. Had to. Right? He had to. Now. Go to, go to training mode. All right. <laughs> he had to. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to the health that much. All right, so second round. Activate. Oh, now the part is wow. This, this does not scale as much, so you get a decent amount of the damage. Mm -hmm. Issei wisely backing off a little bit. You don't want to go in. Oh, those sweeps are hurting Issei. Interesting, spending the EX. Oh one my god. Go ahead, done. Wow. Convincing performance by Chess. That same exact situation came up when he played TKD. And TKD did the exact same thing. He did rising crackers. No, that was yeah. the first round. Yeah. No, 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 I mean uh, the... The upkeeps, right? Played, yeah, the up yeah, the, yeah. He did the first round. Yeah. So... What's gonna be our next match? We're gonna, we're gonna have to wait for the stream? Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for the stream. Oh, yeah. Now, All right. they're saying we might have match. Is this match? Set to be one of the best Goki, I think you all know. The match has been spending a lot of time playing Street Fighter V. So he know. has he? Wow. He has, he has. What's his character in five, Nikali? Uh, Cammy. <laughs> Cammy? Okay. <laughs> so if this is match, who's the Oro? Oro is combat Echizen. Now. All right. He's not really well known, but I heard he's really, really good. Well, he, he took that first game. He took that first, first round out of the match. Must be gay, man. Oro now looking back. Needs a little bit of meter. But Goki does have a teleport. So he wants to have Goki in the corner where he can't teleport. And he wants to juggle him. So obviously there's no there's no teleport in midair. Getting close. He wants he's getting out. Smart decision. He's not gonna hit much. Or a small small body. That happens a lot. Tries to activate, what's he gonna do? Oh, he baited that, that yeah, Tatsu. Baited it. Oh, yes, he messed up the combo. The combo is very hard against Shoto. Yeah, you have to wait almost the last moment. Yep, you're right. Oh, oh nice standing good Pierce. Good. Right, good round by match. Uh-huh. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, RKF, why did uh, the Oro player use SA2? Can't Goki technically get out of the unblockables? Well, yeah, teleport. teleport, yes. So, Interesting. But, but still, the corner setup is really powerful. Yeah, the, the, the reset? Yeah, okay, and, you, and you can, like, stun Goki easily. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, you can, right? With, With the torque pierce. Yeah, Yago. Oh, good buffer. It didn't, it didn't combo. Yeah, the match cruise, cruising right now. He's still uncomfortable. Oh, not good. Good reaction. Yeah, match is gonna shoot fireballs all day. Wow! Jump yeah. back jab. No, that was a jump back Thank air fireball. Wait. As we all know. Was that really air fireball? Yeah, it should have been a fireball. Nobody, <laughs> no, nobody does jab there, right? No well, credit for match. You, you would, right? You I, would, I, right? I would. You would. I would, would jump back you jab would. there. So, Ishibashi, a good friend of mine. Green Urian. And uh, match feels really comfortable against Tyrion, so my prediction is match is a How well? How well can your friend uh, Red Perry Tatsu? Uh, not much. <laughs> so I'm sure match is gonna just like just like maul it or stay back and just yep. basically body and do that. Him. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I would like to root for my friend. Oh no! Yes. What? 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 You can't miss those RKF! Oh, uh, you can, it matches, don't worry. It happens. Okay, I'll say the exact same word when you miss a combo on stream. Alright. All right. Well, I yeah. missed plenty already. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, here comes the Tatsu spam. 
But Yuri's got a lot of life, so. <laughs> what? What? A, what? All right. Well. What was that? Things are getting uh, out of hand early. Is that, is that what you call charity? <laughs> yeah, charity, maybe. Oh, he might do it. He might do it. Oh my I God! Are they gonna take out Match? I have to rip him, rip him a friend now. All right, Let's building go, that meter. Oh, nice neutral jump for Fireball. Not again. Not gonna hit again. You're gonna need a little bit more meter. You have to, you have to throw somehow. And right, matches are cleaned up a little bit. Yep, he's got meter to defend himself. Now he's anti-air. Fully lo loaded. Now he's got two anti-airs. So he doesn't have to do much. Looking this way. So you're in can build meter, but the dash up throw uh -oh. is fast. Oh, that was a grab. That was a grab, that but was he was grab. charging yes, now. That you're right. That's, that was supposed to be a demon or something. <laughs> yeah, right. Something. Oh! Reacted to, reacted to something. Overhead. He got this massive stun, by the way. Yeah. Gonna go for chip. Oh, I like it. I like, I like it. I like the match using meter right there to secure the win. <laughs> you should in tournaments. It's yeah. a one match. Yeah. You might make things happen. Yurian does have the oh resource right now. Oh my god. It's that jump right house hurts. Ah, you wanted the, you wanted the. Wait, punish right there. Good match so far. Nice. Tackle coming. Nope. Yeah, match is looking for the tackles. That's why he's throwing them fireballs. No, if you're looking for a tackle, you won't. You won't throw fireballs. Oh. You can punish. Ah, he can. He had to kill. He had to kill right there. Oh no. He had to kill right there. Build the meter. Build the meter. Activate. Uh oh. Oh, he tried to parry it. Uh oh. Oh, it's done. It's done. Ah! Why did he throw that one? No! Don't do that! Why did he throw that Aegis, Arkeo? Because he thought he was going to teleport on it. Oh my god. No, this is you pressed the wrong button oh by my. Deadpool. That was a bad Aegis. He should have shot the fierce one. We all thought he had it. Shot we all Aegis. thought we had it. Oh, uh, OKK. Okay, Necro. Good friend of, also a good friend of mine. Alright. Necro versus Goki. As we all know, not a very fun matchup for Necro. This is bad for Necro. Yes. Yeah. But it's not bad in the way most people think. Actually, Goki should actually uh, turtle Necro. I think this is very bad. Yeah, it's definitely bad for, for Necro. I think this is basically very bad. Yeah. I like the way Max is playing, but, but eventually... Oh my god. Eventually, Max will have to attack. Max will attack. Yeah. Because, atta because Goki is comfortable uh -oh. attacking Necro from the air. Unless he's in a corner like this. He should... The Necro player should have just walked back so he could have punished with standing strong. Alright, back to the neutral. Trade. Nothing. <laughs> yep, that's really hard to idea. So is this. So is that. See, what, different, what differentiates um, Ken and uh, Goki is the access from the air. Go. Yeah. Goki has a dive kick, demon flip, and air fireball, which is really hard for Necro because Necro is basically fat and he doesn't have like a DP or a fast anti air. So basically, it's, it's, it's gotta be, he's got an anti air based, based on reach. Good yeah. punish. So, and still, Goki has a good fireball at, on the ground. Yeah. So it's not it's not fun for Necro. No. Nope. Well, that's why I'm saying it's not really good. And match, as a veteran, as a veteran he is, he should know what's going on in this matchup. Mixing yeah. up. Ooh. Oh, that, that whiff. <laughs> sure he whiffed. Wow, just gotta do be, it. Just, just, just do it. You gotta take a chance with Necro sometimes. One more hit, one more hit can do it. Backing off, not no more. One solid hit would do it. So one more hit would do it. There it is. It's the round. Oh, and he shouldn't have killed. I'm sorry, he should have built the meter. Yeah, well. Final round. It might cost him. Hope, hope it doesn't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the match is fully loaded. Yep, now he's just gonna go in. I knew it! So, I don't know why, it. but I smell demon. I'm feeling it. Necro nice. has a chance! See, Necro. It's gonna be those kind of preemptive kind of anti yeah. He can't react, Necro's not that fast. Nice. He's guessing right! He might he might do it. Do it again? Yep, nice punish. You do get a DP after that, after that, but after one top two, we decide to go for two DP, two chances. Match is gotta get all oh, good, okay. Match is catching up. Oh, that's it. that's it, super again! No. Super again! You can't jump, oh, okay. That's 
time. Does he hit yeah. Shoto's? Yeah, you can super again. Wait. One hit, one hit electric stick. Oh, one hit. Oh. It would have killed. It would have killed. You think so? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll go to the lab. I don't think it would. I don't think it would. <laughs> yeah, it would have killed him because Goki's right, right, off as well, right. but, but oh well. well it but worked out for him anyway. Well, Necro took out Goki. Well, okay. Okay. So now we have Boss. And Boss with uh, Yun. And this is not Now, this is definitely not fun for Necro. <laughs> this is not fun for Necro. Are we going to see that jump roundhouse a lot? Maybe we will. Yeah, neutral jump roundhouse. <laughs> yep, can't do much. Can't oh my do god. Alright, this is a good this is a good position. Ah. For Necro. Uh oh. Nope, yes. Yeah. Can't do much. Oh, oh my god, you gotta block. You gotta block. Gotta just take it. Alright. Oh, he could have low jab. He could have counter poked Yun's low forward with low jab. Oh, hey, that was super. a super two. Necro fishing for anything. Desperate. Oh. <laughs> Can he stop this? Can he stop wow. this? Wow! The ball's on his Necro player. He did drill kick. He didn't dash back. Oh, good nice block. The roundhouse. The jump roundhouse. Fighters ready. Engage. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, Mr. nice combo. Uh -huh. Just block. Same thing happened. Oh, that hurts. Good tech. Oh, uh oh, 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 I see, I see, I see, I wow. see, oh, 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 I see, I see, that EX, uh, EX up kick seems like it's really hard to punish because it costs up, and I think he was pushing the right buttons, he, he tried back strong, and next time he tried back, um, back forward, which is not actually slow, which is pretty fast, but both of them were blocked in time. Yeah, I should have just did that like low short or something. Low oh, short wait, wait, wait. No, up. first time he, he did a uh, back short, which is really fast, but didn't, but didn't uh, punish in time. So red Q, meaning I think it's a Ventolia. Top 8 finisher yesterday, but gone now. You <laughs> win. And whose gun was that we just saw? Once Isn't again, it? thanks guys for joining us at Co-op Cup. This is Mewn XP on the mic along with RKF. Hi, Mom. Maybe it's not Ventoya. Alright. So maybe we should switch to a match? No, uh, no, no. Oh, we don't yeah. have the rights. Okay. <laughs> How you doing, Shusty? I think Spellmaster J is here. I saw him yesterday. <laughs> Alright, so what match is this? We got, uh... I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we so sorry stream monsters, but uh we're trying to figure out who's playing. But it's uh, OG color Ken versus OG color Urian. We'll just call him player one and player two for now. <laughs> Gotta find out which cat they're playing. They're playing over there. That's the same block as arcade UFO, by the way. Nice reversal. Alright, Urian should not waste meter here. Okay, good. Final round. Go for it. Alright, Spartan Bomb. Another Spartan Bomb. Is it gonna be a third one? Whoa, he just stopped blocking! Why wasn't he blocking? Go low? Uh, yeah! That sweet spot, Aegis. Oh, this is so hard to deal with. I liked how that Yuri player did overheads. Oh my god! Scanning roundhouse. 
and the hand, but what a read. This is Pampina. Pampina. Um, oh, I learned right. this word from the internet. I think it's, the word is multiplacial. Multiplacial. And I think that means that he plays multiple number of games very well. Okay. And he is uh, the Vampire Sailor player. He plays QB. And he also is the best player in Japan for, uh, I think it was Under Night Inverse or something. Uh -huh. And he plays Urian very well. I teamed him yesterday. He was on my team. He's very read heavy. Yes, he is very read heavy. But he's good. He's good. He's really good. So now, um, he is playing against Copeland. Copeland Ibuki. Oh gosh, this matchup for Urian. Oh my god. Not bad. Not bad for either. Really? You don't think Ibuki has the advantage? Oh, it's annoying, that's all. Yeah. And it's not fun to play with. So... Like, how do you deal with that jab pressure? Low parry is strong. Guaranteed punish. Alright, headbutt. Sweep, that could've been punished with something, I think. Maybe, it's, maybe a slide. Maybe. Maybe a slide, if it reaches. Fight is free. Engage. Ow! Wow, raw tackle. Ow, that hurts okay. Ow. Yeah. Ow! 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 Oh! Super 2 for Ibuki. Wow. I haven't seen that since like 2001. <laughs> You're right. So, without the Super 1, that means... And that means Ibuki has a different kind of ender for the round. Usually Ibuki would like to go for Chip, but instead, he has a, he has a demon. Okay. Or a Gigas Maker, whatever you want to call it. Because yeah, that's a weird Super but he is using the EX right now. Oh, what a mix-up. We're going for stun. Ah! I ah! Ah! Oh, shit. I uh, used up his juggle points. Uh-oh. That's difficult. Nice box. Whoa, he's gonna get the meter. He got it. He knows about the, he knows about the Duke's forward dash. Woo! Oh, nice little parry. Jab, 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 jab. Oh, good sweep. Good sweep. Let's get it. Oh, man. Yes. I read it. He's gonna get the meter. So... Eesh. Oh my god. Eesh. Anything can do it for a boogie. He's an up, yes, he's an up. Wow. Ah. What a slide. Yeah, he boogie. He slid right right in home home. He was about to perform the ages. And that slide in the home plate. <laughs> safe. 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 <laughs> so Palm Peter love. I think we have one caught in. Yep, one part of the Yang player from from West Japan, Osaka area. All right. By the way, their team, Dark Stalkers, they all play Vampire Savior. Yo, shout out to Vampire Savior. They used to. Shout out to Vampire Savior. They have Kobe Maru on his team, which is a uh, Zabel for Japanese. I think it's Dark Raptor in, in English. Mm -hmm. Name the character. He's said to be the best best uh, Zabel player in Japan. Okay. All right. So Yang doing what he's supposed to be doing. Yep, slashing all day. Wow, good hop. Nice block. Yep. Oh wow. That standing short is so fast. Four on startup. Yeah. Fighting ready. Engage. And what's pathetic is that it's easy to link the Yang slashes, and it, and it almost has no risk. There you go. You get the knockdown. Yep. Yang wouldn't mind having a little bit more meter for the EX. Whoa! Giga Spreaker, there you go. What? Get on here. They don't want to spin the EX. Goodness. What's going to happen here? Good bucks. Wow. Nice links. Oh, Dark Stalkers won? Or is it the end? Oh, it was the end. I think it was Anchor Anchor. Oh, was that Anchor Anchor? Yeah, and uh, Ibuki Super 2 does make sense in a way because Ibuki's throw range is so small, right? That Yang player, they OCV, he's the guy who OCV'd us yesterday. Oh, one shot in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah, but um, Ibuki Super 1 is just too good. Mm -hmm. Uh, you got three stocks, you can chip, you can get away with a lot of stuff. So that's why a lot of people choose to play, choose to play with uh, Super 1. But 2 is not bad. Alright. 
Alright, All right, just in time to see this Alex player get by. Oh, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that little end right there, guys. It's like a switch done. This is uh, Kiraki's team. I recognize some of the faces. Kiraki's team. We await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter. Kiraki, Kiraki, Kiraki. Yeah. Alright. Well, I got the picture. One second. Fighters ready. Engage. So many Makotos on stream, Arkea. I hope this gives birth okay. to like a new generation of Makoto players. I heard that this is Anchor Anchor. Oh, okay. This anchor is, Anchor? This is Naga Ken. Naga Ken. Against uh, Komachi Makoto. Alright. So wait. If the Ken loses, they're out. Oh wow. Okay. And they have Yuki Oto bro. Oh my. And, and they could be out. Alright. Okay. So, I see. so the loser of this match is out. Oh wow, okay. I'm sure. Because Stakes are pretty high here. I didn't hear any news that Kishi lost. That's okay. Kishi lost, so. So the, so the loser of this team is out. Come back next year. Come back next year. Go to the lab. With, with your money. <laughs> Go to the lab in arcade. Yes. Come back next year. Oh, uh, well, well. I would like to see a final round. Ken's not done yet. So the winner is going to, of course, pop off. Yeah. Lose that. Wow, wow. sure you. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so it all comes to down to this. Lose, uh, okay, whatever. Don't worry. <laughs> so, final round. Oh, final round. Could be the. Could be the go to um, what's that? Spectator mode. Spectator mode. Round. Yeah. Hitting them DPS. Woo. Oh my goodness! Oh, he, uh, he just used it. What's gonna happen? What what's Ken gonna do on wake up here? Wow, low strong. All right. Hey. Oh god. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh, they're not popping off. Wow. I thought they would. Well. So wait, maybe they haven't played the Kyushu team yet. Maybe not, I don't know. Or maybe they're just respectful like that. So that means, no, Naga is out. Right. Naga team, Naga is out. Wow. Yuki Otoko, Hirochan, SCF, Umemo, and Naga, they are out in first round. Wow. I'm sure you heard of Yuki Otoko before. Mm -hmm. There are some famous players, but they're out. Yeah, maybe, maybe second best Goki? Maybe second, third, yeah. Yeah. But they're out. But then so my, out. my condolences to you, Lava Heart. Darren, New York Akuma player, big Yu Gi Oh Toku fan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> also, okay, okay, fine. Uh, Musa from um, UAE, he's also a Yu Gi Oh Toku fan. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, sorry guys. Sorry guys, he's gone. But it happens, it just happens. One game. One game. And Corporation Cup, you got killers in every single block, it happens. Yeah. So we got matches. We still do have matches. All right, let's see some matches here. Yenge. So we I got. Think, a, we I got. Think got a, I think it's Furo. All right, so we got a twin match. It's not Furo. Yeah. I always feel like neither neither player likes this match. <laughs> I hear that. Um, oh, it's Furo. Uh, that's Furo. Yeah. I always hear that. Uh, it's good matches. Go. Like or dislike. Yeah. So is that Furo? Furo, yeah. Yeah, Furo taking on... Uh, well... It's... Suji or Tanapero yeah. or Koba. Boom! Yep! Boom! Oi! Oh, oh! He missed the short! Oh, he's missing everything! Good, good shot. What are you doing? Why did he activate? Wow. Okay. Whatever. You wait. He knew he messed up. I we think all I, know he yeah. messed up. I think that I think an activation should have been a. <laughs> so Furo wins. That means Furo over. I don't know what team it was. All right, we got here. We got another uh, Ken versus Urian matchup. Uh, I think it's Pompino. I think we. I think Pompino. Pompino. I think we saw him. Alright. Oh no, it's not. I'm sorry. Oh no, this is odd. Uh, the guy on the left is Trevor. He's from RK UFO, another guy's team. Alright, so, yeah, so they're here, right? So I think. Whoa, what a red oh, parry. Wait. Yeah, Texas UFO. 
go. I think it's Nido Urien. Okay. Versus Trevor Ken. So Ken's down on life. He's going to have to make something Bomber happen. Bomber oh. hit. That standing forward is a good poke against Ken. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, round two. Let's see what kind of adjustments Arcade UFO can make. No, wait. I think this is, I think this is a... Norio from Dark Stalkers. Norio. Norio taking on Trevor. Norio. He used to play the name of Nudu back in the day. So right. Nudu, yeah. Overhead, no super. High or low? What? Nice. He just wasn't blocking. That's weird. He's blocking high. He didn't block the Aegis at all. <laughs> That's weird. Got to do something. Alright, low forward, nothing. Norio, formerly Nudu, was a top player back oh, in the day. Really? Wow. Rocket Nigeria. Just do it. All no, right. it was just a buffer. Yeah. Just turn into it, that's all. Nothing special there. Oh, he's gonna style on him. Wow. Style and not get the leak. Wow. Wait. But still gonna hit. <laughs> Yeah, they're laughing about it. Yep, they all know. Oh well. His teammates like pointed at the, um, the number of hits right yeah. away. You and Dinner Link. Alright, so we got coming up, we got Luke. Wait, wait, wait. What's, was he drinking? I don't know. But that's Luke, Goki player from Arcane UFO. Let's see what Luke can make happen. Let's see what Luke, Luke can do. Luke is the guy that did really well in TFT, right? Yeah, he, he was just one match out of uh, top eight. See if we can uh, save his team here. All right, Yuri and Hawks have to punish that sweep. Oh wait, he's using super one. Wow, SA one. This is a throwback, throwback match. Um, well, it works. It works. Yeah, it does. It, it does really good damage against Goki, you know. And you can punish off any toss with block toss. Exactly. So. It's not easy, but you know. It's... Uh oh, oh, that was down. Right, here's the Spartan right here. Leap attack? Nope. <laughs> Dude, this is some uh, 1999 third strike right here. <laughs> oh, that's a super. Uh, what are you watching? This is a 1999 third strike right here. <laughs> you know what? I think I think he's drinking. Is he drinking? I don't that's know what it is. I don't know. Maybe it might be bear. Yeah. That's his uh, excuse, all right. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, what an overhead. Come on, it's 2017. He's got to show me something cool with Iron Slug. He's got to show me something I haven't seen before. <laughs> RKF is riveting, is riveted by this match. <laughs> no, I like the game plan. Yeah. That, that, that could have been fun. Whoa, Red Parry Super. <laughs> but the fireball came out. Yeah, so he wanted, he wanted to crouch it. Yeah. Crouch, to crouch down it so he can kill right now. Crouch it, will kill. It, that, would have, that was death. I think Luke's letting, you know... That was low short super, but then... Yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's super! Oh, wait, that's that. that was super, he could've just supered off the jump roundhouse. Getting a little bit too greedy. Yeah, this is trolling right here. Luke needs to just kind of play his game here. We hear laughs from everywhere. Ah. It's alright. Yeah, Luke, he's got 30 seconds. A lot of time. Now he spends the meter, he doesn't have time. Yeah. Whatever he's doing. Unless he wants to... I think he's drunk. Yeah, maybe. I think he's selling, maybe. Not gonna be diamond. Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh, he got hit on purpose. No, it was red. It was red parry. Oh, he got red parry. It was red parry. Messed up, but, but did a reversal anyways, and it, yeah. and it hit in time. Wow, arcade UFO is. Uh, now who are they setting up? They're sending up Sin, longtime Austin Third Strike player. Which used to Sin? play with. Uh, used to play with uh, Shen Chang and Mo Bream and Fu Bardun. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, this is. Oh, this is. Uh, Sin. This, is, this is a sin and we had a sin, right? We got a yeah, shin, sin and, and a shin. You're right. Shin, shin. But this is a sin. So we got sin to, uh, using Ken. No more Tyrant. Sin kind of uses everyone, but he's been playing the game longer than me, which means that he played the game when it first came out. So <laughs> let's see what sin does here. Yo, so this is uh, this is Nudo or Norio. He is a veteran, so he's playing it very simple. Keeping it simple. All right, so old man match then. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's, he's doing nothing fancy. He tried to do a lot of things in yeah. the last match, but, but look at this, he's doing nothing fancy. Yeah. It's like making him spend the meter right now. Uh -huh. Headbutt. Nope, no headbutt. Yeah. Nope. Me. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Mash, mash forward until it breaks. Mash forward until it breaks. Let's hope that drink doesn't spill on the cam. <laughs> yeah, we need main cannons after that. No. Oh, sin. See, what happened uh, old the old the old player, old school player, they are very, very re heavy like that. Yeah. You want a back throw? Didn't get it. Okay. He already has enough meter to kill with one hit. One oh, touch. what a bait. <laughs> Sorry? Nice knee drop to get out of the corner. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's gonna hit. No, no it's not gonna hit. Not in time. Wow, just do it. Just Mid do it. Middle DP. Screw your mix up. Middle DP. DP. <laughs> Middle DP. I think he's a bit nervous. He looks kind of nervous. Yeah, he does look nervous. Sid's a veteran though, but I don't know if he's ever been a co-op club. Oh, yeah. This is a different experience. I don't care how many tournaments we've been in. <laughs> Same with you, right? Yeah. Ah! No proper punishes. It should have been low punishes to DP. Oh, no. Here comes fun for Urian. Oh, okay. Nice block by Sin. Not fun. <laughs> Push that button. Oh, you see? Late on reactions. Oh, no. Hey, 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 oh, hey. No. There you go! Sin should have jumped. Yeah! Sin should have super jumped EX the moment that he dashed, the moment that the Urian dashed back. But oh well. Oh well. Good Dor showing by Sin. So wait, who's Dor next? It looks like they're gonna bring up uh I think this is their lone Japanese player. Shinichi, right? Yeah. Well, I got it. Well, I got it. So basically what happened is, you notice that there's a Necro player here? Nico, he got sick. Oh, okay. And Trevor replaced him. Oh, I see. Well, wait. We have Trevor already. Oh, and someone replaced him. Someone replaced him. Okay. I think maybe this, this player replaced him. Oh, no. This is not Shin. Because it's a... Yeah, no. This is, this is a Japanese Remy player. Okay. Oh, uh, sure. Shima. Shima. I know Shima. Him. Yeah, I know him. Known for his very, very random... Uh, EX, EX uh, flash kicks. EX flash kicks, okay. He, he just does it. He just does it. You'll see what I mean. Well, when he gets that itch, he does it. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Look, he did me kind of... Which isn't bad against Remy either. Well, look at the punish that he got <laughs> off of a block. It's like nothing. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Ow, no, nice to hit. Remember, you can jump roundhouse into a tyrant. Maybe that's what he's looking for, yeah. Hey, 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 hey! See, that's why he uses that super. Yep. So he can jump over the, the booms. The dishes. The dishes. Yeah, we call them dishes. Whatever you like. Booms, dishes, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Budget Sonic booms. Yeah. I called them Chinas when I was in uh, uh, New York. China? China. Fine China. Tossing that China? Tossing that China. It was whole bad, not me. Oh my gosh, just do it. Crouching yep. fierce. No legit punish. He, he, he should have put the super, but didn't. Again, I want to see something Oy. new with Tyrant Slaughter. Come on. Oh! It's quite okay with Urian. He wants to build meter in this round. And then on these guys. Not All bad. Right. Not bad. Rushing down with Remy. Not, well, that's the only thing he can do. He can't, he can't hold back. He can't stay back or anything. So He's got to watch out when he throws those LOVs. Nah, uh, uh, Dishes. Dishes. Whatever. Nice combo. That's, a, that's like the most you can get after that. Alright, here comes the... Look at that damage. Not doing much, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a combo. Oh, there's that randomness. That's, that's what I mean. Leap attack? Yep, I knew it. Oh! Oy. Not confirmable, Oy. but he should have done it anyway. He can die. He can die for crouch, crouch it. He can die off a crouch it. Or a jump roundhouse super. Yep. You gotta get away. Good parry. Ah! There it was, Orgio. Stop it. <laughs> oh my goodness. He had his chances. That jump roundhouse. That was it. That was it. He was crouching too. He gave him that game. Wow. Uh -huh. I I do not. Well, well, okay, whatever. No, sorry about that, Arkham. I no, got kind of right. hyped. Yeah, I got too hyped there. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> so, okay, I heard that uh, this is uh, the third player. Koapa is coming. Koapa, uh, the Sasquatch player. Uh -huh. 
Vampire Savior. And uh, we have Yun. Alright. Yun versus Remy. I have no idea what happened. What are we supposed to do in this match? Either way. Sit back and lose. That's all. Sit back and lose for Remy? Well, there might there might be times when I uh, when you know what I mean because yeah. the moment like Yun activates and he has like 90 percent life, Remy has like 10, like and he has he's out of meter. He's like, what do you do? You sit back and that's back. true. Hey, but if you if anyone out there wants to main Remy, you know, don't let us stop you. <laughs> <laughs> if you think a particular character is fun to play, you can you should continue. Yeah. But remember that you're playing against an opponent, so it's best if you two both have fun at the same time. Yes, it's all about having fun here in a co-op club. That's gonna all right. Hey, speaking of fun. Speaking of fun, yeah. Look at that damage. Good God. <laughs> okay, I like okay. that throw in the corner. All right. Uh oh, burn the yes. Maybe a bit early. Pushing them, push them buttons. Oh, okay, oh, he, that, little, there's that much. randomness. Yeah, a little bit too much. About. Activate. Oh no. Yep. yep. Wow. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, command grab. Well, that's game, a, yeah. So you know, if, you're, if you're right. late on a reaction, you should block and not push, yeah. push a button. Short is three frames, by the way. Oh, close again. That much. You're looking mighty good. Not gonna activate. It's gonna activate soon. Yep, there you go. Stop the jump. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. No, it's not gonna hurt. Respect to the super. Whoa. Got the throw. Wrong, wrong direction. Oh. Whoa, there's that random. Yep. Those are those random flash kicks again. That one didn't pay off. Wow. The cold blue kick stops the. Not, not gonna hurt. But it does keep him alive. Yep. Oh, good punish. Oh, what is that flash kick? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. EX summer, EX flash kick. Woo! Yep. Smart move. So, so that is it, means. Is it done? Nope, we have one more. We got Shin coming up. Shin, he lives in Austin now. Obviously, he's Japanese. Welcome. Moved there a few years ago. He actually got to play a lot of uh, tournaments. Shin? Shin, yeah. I got to know him through uh, Yuki. Yeah. He said he wants to learn a bit of Yuri. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. he's using you. He went to TFC. I believe he got second at Texas Showdown. Oh? Um, he might have been a final round. But uh, he'll play on anything. Fight Cade. Nesca, Dreamcast, Nesica. Xbox. I played <laughs> he on, just loves Third Strike. I played on every single one of those. <laughs> and uh, I heard he gets a little bit nervous. He gets a little nervous and then he compensates by trolling. <laughs> so let's see. Maybe maybe he's at home now and you know he'll feel a little better. I don't know. So well, he jumps on him right away. So we which is which? Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh wait wait wait. Koapa is Koapa is a two, two players that right? So this is Shin. Yeah, that's usually Shin's color. Yep. Yep. Hey. He also uses Makoto. Misses the other. All right, Shin's in a good position here. So far. He's got to build that meter oh, and get another right one. Oh, nice throw. Oh, safely activates. See? He wants to secure the round. Yeah. Good box. Why not, right? Good box. Now what's it? Good stuff by Shin. Good stuff, yeah, good Very stuff. Very textbook, exactly. Yun. Good stuff. Prepare to strike now. Oh, that could have comboed, but Shin's got a block. Oh, and he... I wonder what he was doing there. Nice command hey, grab. That was greedy. Hey. Whoa. This is not gonna kill, but oh, it's definitely not gonna kill now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Both oh. these, both these meter, yes. It's the race for meter. Touch down, touch down, touch down, coming soon. Oh! Whoa! 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 Whoa!
Japan. I want the foreigners to experience. Save your money, come to Japan, and show your stuff and feel yourself. Yes, get hype. Get hype. Get hype, third strike. This is what I want you to see. What, what I want you to feel. Wow. So Pompino, probably the hero of our team yesterday, along the side along with um, Shobo. <laughs> Show some like phenomenal. I, I think this is gonna be a crazy match. Um, I think I think, you're, I think you're gonna see some crazy stuff I in really, the match. I yeah. think it's gonna be. Uh, go. Okay, that's not fine. I'll, I'll go with that too. <laughs> All right, nice blocking the sweep. All right. Shin's gotta build a little more meter here. Oh, not a good shoulder. Nice block. Oh. So far, you're in playing well? Very well. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna throw you to die. Man, those Spartan bombs. Yeah. It does yeah. hurt. Yeah, get dunked. <laughs> get dunked, yeah. Right. Oh, knee drop to start the round. He read it. He read it. He knew it was coming. Oh my god. That, that hardly ever hits, but he did. Uh oh, not going for the upper Aegis, but going, not going, going to go for nothing fancy. Oh, sweet spot Aegis. <laughs> See, the Wait. unique part about this Pompino, Urien, is that he pushes buttons basically on the far right. It's jump roundhouse, uh -huh. and it's an overhead. It's a terrible smash. Yeah. So he uses, he basically uses those and the chop, the hack, or whatever. Yeah. So it works if it hits, but it's hard to hit. But he has that special sense of a um, that, that old school that old school it's not, it's know, not actually old school it's, it, I think it's pretty new because um, well. he's really good at anime games so yeah, he does I, have that, scene, I, that I, sense. I, I, I honestly don't know how that works I was team with him yesterday uh -huh. but watching his game gameplay behind him it's like every single button he hits it hits at least it, it like makes a block it doesn't oh. get parried as much mm -hmm. and I don't know how it works I tried to play this game very logically but there's no explanation to that. It just hits. You push, it hits. You know, I, I think a lot of it's just kind of mixing up timing, maybe. I of course, know. of course, yeah. of course. So. Oh, uh, no, I'm getting something. Yeah. yeah we're, we're good. Thanks. Yeah. So? Although I may have to play soon. I don't know. <laughs> no, I think we all have to play soon. Yeah. Because so once again, guys, thanks for joining us at Co-op Cup. It was a pleasure commentating some matches with you, RKF. Good luck. Hopefully we don't see each other. Oh, uh, we're not going to play we're each not? other in the okay. second round. All right. So. Well, we'll see you in top eight then. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, you go up first. We'll catch up later. You got to be, right. right. be somewhat confident, right? Yeah, I mean, you go up first and show me that you're at top eight, and then we'll follow. I'll okay, okay, good. By right, the way, like we that. have KO family in our block. You have KO family in yes. your block? Oh, you're definitely making top eight then. Yeah, yeah definitely. And P. That's nothing. And P. You know. So I don't know. I don't know where the stream's gonna go. I think we're. I think we're looking over the results of the blocks. Okay. So let's and look at these results. We just saw Texas UFO. Dark Soccer's moving on. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, this is two OCBs, Chance and Shie. All right. So UFO. Wait, wait, wait. Was UFO out? I yeah, think UFO's out. UFO, UFO's out. Okay. So this is Chance and Shie going. Uh, oh, two OCBs. And the second team is Issei OCB going to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And Team Nexus is out. They are, whoa, it seems like they're from all over the place in Japan. They have, they have the Tokyo area, they have Kyushu, Okinawa, they have West as well. And so match Tominaga Boss for OK is through. Combat Echizen is uh, going to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And Edo Ki, Edo is the Yurian player in Tokyo, and they are out. Uh -huh. It's not easy. Yeah. No, it's not. Definitely not. One game, a lot of riding on it. Well, you always say it's one game, yeah. but it's teams, so basically it's five games, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, just like you yourself, you know, it's one game. Yeah, of course, but it's yeah. teams. Yeah, yeah. So Mad Cats, 1-1. One, one. Spellmaster J, Taoru, Towel. Goes, goes to playoffs. Is Momochi in that team? Uh, Momochi <laughs> is not. <laughs> no. I thought... I thought Momochi's on a team. He's on a Momochi team. Momochi right? is on a team today, yeah, yes. Okay. All right. So, M Team Mad Cats is off to the playoff. Yep. And Gold River, Kokui, Kuzusan, Tsubaki Plus. 
They are through. And Pluto rest of G. Arlie. Oh, they are out. Mm. Yeah, oh that's well. a, that's another Gaijin team. Shout out to Duralav though and Arlia for uh -huh. holding the stream down yep. in the stream. So obviously they will be sitting in the mic. Yes, because <laughs> they're out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. But well, that's. I didn't say that. I'm, just, I'm, I'm stating facts. Yeah, but I was about to. <laughs> I'm a fact. Yeah, you're about to. Oh, yeah. I was about to. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Tom. Sorry, Duralav. You guys are awesome. <laughs> All right, who else we got here? So um, I might be joining the mic if I lose. If I if I don't, I definitely will not be joining the mic. So I hope I can make it to top eight and later on and um, farther more. So that yes. means that means I won't be back in the mic. If you guys miss me, I'm sorry. I know you guys won't. <laughs> well, I know I will miss you on but, the mic. Yeah, but I don't love you. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. I love everybody <laughs> but you, right? You you do love everyone but me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is two, two teams. Ah! Who got who got to be in the two team one? Um, I don't know, but Kitagawa and Kokujin clinching off the win, and Luca and Masaku. That's so, pretty nerve wracking, right? Uh, two this teams. is yeah, but well, I mean, even if you lose, you go to the playoff, right? Yeah, that's true. So at least you're not out. Yeah. And oh, I thought you were go you were out. No, I don't think you are. <laughs> So Kokujin through, uh -huh. and uh, Kasa, the three Alena players the on that team, the woman player from West Japan. Three Alena players. That's the limit, right? That's the rule. Yes, that, oh. that is the limit. Yes. Yeah. Usually the limit is like filled with Chuns or Kens or Yuns, but not with Alena. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> All right. So like RKF said uh, earlier on the stream, guys, if you love Dirt Strike, if you play in your neighborhood. You know, and you think you can uh, earn some money and come over to Co-op Cup. Hopefully this happens next year and you guys can feel the hype. It's been great. So we got some more results or what is this? No, or is this, this is the second round. Oh, second round? Okay. Oh, this is this is the killer. We got SBO winner Umezono and we got BBK Kaido and Taro Kichi who was phenomenal yesterday and Haitani and we got Kokuji in the same block. Wow. This is block one. Oh, so, so it's not it's not a round robin. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Curious to see where I am. And we have Deshiken and uh, Rikimaru in the same block as well. Oh man. All right. And this is Dark Stalkers. Oh, this is a little bit moderate compared to the last two. Mm -hmm. and oh, oh, so this is guys, where we are. You guys are gonna play Ebara. And oh, I think you guys have a chance. If you, if, you, if you can beat these guys, you guys have a chance, I think. Yeah, well, we'll see. Our team. So, what is this? This means winner. Uh, it, it's five teams, but didn't fit, so, you know, you see the brackets look like this. Okay, I see. All right. Uh, are oh, they, wait. Are they going to display these on the screen? Yeah, yeah eventually they okay. will. Wait, we're, we're playing against match. You're playing against match? First round. Okay. So, this is a killer block as well. Yeah, that is a killer block. But like you said, there are killers everywhere. So, we are going to be moving into second round. Uh, it's going to be a tournament. Um, the block is going to be mainly four team block with mm -hmm. a uh, as a tournament, or some blocks has five teams. I think you'll eventually see it on the stream. Well, it's eight total blocks, right? Uh, it's seven. Because okay. there's going to be one team that's coming, that's going to oh, be coming playoff, out from yeah. the playoffs, yeah. and maybe you saw. So seven, so basically seven separate, seven separate single elimination tournaments, and, and a the playoffs. The losers of the team will move on to the playoffs. I think. Yes. I think they will move on, to, and they will play this. This I think it's 64, maybe 32. Yeah, maybe you more. don't want to get in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> So you, you have to have the, your representative of the team. Your What's team your advice on that, RKF? Like, you know that, especially in, like, the first round, right? Like, you really definitely want to get out of your block. Mm -hmm. like, there's so, so much pressure, you know, because you don't want to get in that playoff. Um, but Thank you. Arigato. Arigato. So the best option is, well, the best advice I can give you is don't lose. Yeah. So, yes, we are, we are watching the blocks. Yes, top. Top to A team, Umezono, King Devu, and Matsushita. And Team B, we have BBK, Tarokichi, Ringo, and Kairu. Team C, Haitani, MOB, Momochi, Vanawa, and Saru. And Team D, Tenubo, Kitagawa, Kokujin, Masa, and Luka. So, 
So this block is maybe the most considered maybe considered the most death block. The most death block. Most the, death block. The, the, Close to death. Well, any block with MOVs. <laughs> Already. Um, no, not only him, but we yeah. got Kokujin. Yeah. We got um, we got uh, Mubisono on the same and, side too. They play yeah, on the same side. They play each other. They're gonna they're, yeah, gonna, wow. they're gonna have to kill each other. Yeah. And don't sleep on BBK's Dudley. BBK's Dudley's no, very Taro nice. Taro Kichi was the one. Was a hero yesterday. Yeah, but BBK's good too. Yeah. BBK's also good. Kaido was also good. Aringo, as we saw, I think he reversed OCB one of the teams. Oh, we got a Remy here, Neo G. He's, I think, one of the creators of this game. He is. I think he is. Shouldn't there be a rule? Creators can't enter their own tournament. Well, he's playing Remy. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't there be a rule? Wow, we should look that up. I think I think he was. Maybe the illustrator. I forget, but I think, right, I, think I think he was this, somewhere in the development. This is unprecedented. <laughs> <laughs> One of the creators of Third Strike I, might potentially make top eight. <laughs> I think I think he was. This can't be legal. <laughs> We're gonna have to I get think the, he played yesterday as a Remy. I think he lost pretty early. We're going to have to bust out the co-op cup handbook here. We have to figure out the rules. <laughs> this, this sounds fishy here. <laughs> somewhere uh, somewhere in the America, Mike Z is saying, well, you know, if this can happen, then why can't I enter my Skullgirl tournament? Mike Z, Skullgirl, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Z's like crying foul somewhere in America right now. <laughs> So wait, um, they're just talking about the pro gaming stuff. Ata is up in the top okay. at Team A, and MOV is in Team C. So they played each other in Street Fighter V. They might play each other again in Street Fighter III. Yeah. Well, who knows? Sorry, guys. We, we'd love to take this time to answer your questions and interact with you, but we don't have the chat up. But hopefully Tom and Duralath, after they marinate chat. from the salt, <laughs> after, <laughs> after they marinate from, the, from being salty, They'll, they'll make their way back to the uh, okay. commentary table. Second block, top team. Um, they uh, the top team, team team A. Each of the players. So uh, what do we what do we what do we get? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Is this a break? Uh, I think it is. Okay. The owner, the TO is going to say something and make some announcements, but apparently this is going to be a short break, I think. Okay. So, uh, I think it's time we get off the stream for a little while. Yeah. Thanks again, guys. Before I get off, I don't know if this is kosher, uh, but shout out to all my teammates. Please check out our Twitter. Uh, the New York Third Strike players at this is Third Strike, uh, and also guys, for those of you who are in the Northeast area or in America, we're gonna have a Third Strike tournament at Winter Brawl in Essington, Pennsylvania. It's gonna be uh, on February, uh, I think February 17th through 19th. Biggie Gaming Winter Brawl. We're gonna have a Third Strike tournament, free entry. So if you guys want to check out the game, if you guys are curious about the game. You know, definitely come and check that out. And also just check us out on Twitter at this is Third Strike. Um, I do not know if you're, if you're allowed to say that, but I don't it's know all right. If, yeah, I don't know if anyone heard that. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna do that anyway. Well, the TO and somebody's making some kind of announcements, but I do not know what they're talking about. And since we have no matches going on and we're not talking about the brackets, I think it's time we take a break. Okay. So, again, so thanks for having me again, Arkeo. No, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it was an honor. Good. It was an honor. Maybe you'll love me next year. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. So, yeah, shout out to all the um, uh, communities outside of Japan. Uh, UK, UAE, uh, Brazil, Italy, France, all over the world. All over the world. Play Third Strike. It's a good game. Really? <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Later. <laughs> Peace. Just leave it there or yeah, I guess. Oh wait. No, they are taking now they're taking a lot more time to uh, they introduce, introduce the teams. But I guess we can take a break. Yeah, take a break. Sorry, the, there will be uh, the t the team introduction is taking place in uh, the Japanese stream chat stream, sorry. But uh, now we're taking a break. English English stream will be taking a break. I'll see you later. Bye. Later, guys.
All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, well, we, you guys are still here with the uh, Cooperation Cup stream. My name is Duralath. As most of you probably already know, I've been eliminated. Uh, I'm still a little salty about that, but uh, this is the learning lesson for a lot of the third strike players that are out there. Um, a lot of people think that you see a lot of good players. Anybody can go into in this tournament. The level here is intense, and uh, it only makes me want to play stronger, so. Uh, shout outs to both the Game Restaurant and the Mad Cats team. Well fought matches, and uh, hey, right on. So let's take a look at some of the uh, results here. Coming up to the four block in the second round. They got that right, the second round. Uh, this is third strike. Uh, the team I'm rooting for right now, the New York team with Nika KO and Gavin, Frankie 3S, all those guys. Looking at the fifth block here. KO families in there. That's going to be a very strong team. I'm trying to pull up some of the uh, the information that we have for the stream right now. That's going to be an interesting. Now, I'm wondering how this works, A, B, C, D, E. But uh, again, 91 teams is not very easy to uh, manage. So shout outs to the Cooperation Cups uh, staff here, making sure that it all makes sense. I see. All right, uh, we're just waiting on our lads to come through and uh, get himself settled. 
Well, uh, for right now, guys, are you enjoying the stream? Are you enjoying Cooperation Cup right now? I told you there would be nothing but massive amounts of hype third strike action here today in, in Tokyo. So if you're watching this, again, make sure you're retweeting the stream out. Follow the channel. Make sure you're getting the word out. Twitch.tv slash Game Newton underscore US. We want to make sure you guys are heard here. So good stuff to you guys. Let's see. Six block here. Are there any teams I recognize? I'm just looking for Alex teams at this point. Uh, pulling up some of the lists of players. She's going to look in the chat right now. So I'm pull that up real quick. What's going on to all of our players? By the way, shout outs to the Third Strike Europe group. I promised I would say hi to you guys. The Third Strike Europe group, I know that they are the ones behind Gutter Trash. Gutter Trash, one of the premier events, well, actually the premier event for Third Strike over in Europe. Uh, again, follow the Third Strike Europe group and uh, definitely meet up with them. If you are in the, in the uh, Europe area, if you are on that continent there, a lot of great Third Strike players and Gutter Trash is an excellent, excellent event. Uh, that's one of the places I plan on going in the future, so hopefully I'll get to see you guys soon over at uh, Gutter Trash. So, and uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to switch seats with Tom because Tom wants the left, the left seat. So now I'm on the right seat, and now here comes Mr. Arliath himself. Arliath, Thomas Shin, a.k.a. Mr. Mask himself. Hello. Hero, hero, hero. Yes, well, Rocket Right. What, what is this game? What is this game? So, uh, let's see here. Where is Kudoda? Yes. We're looking at some of the teams here. Uh, so, the blocks that they're doing for the second round, some of them consist of five players apiece, or five teams, excuse me. So, uh, this is not a rerun. This is live. We are live here in Japan. You are watching what's going on as it happens. This is Cooperation Cup 2017. If you're here, you're watching some of the some of the greatest third strike that you can possibly watch ever. All right, on the mic right now. My name is Andrew J. Landy, aka Duralath. I'm being joined here by Mr. Thomas Shin, aka R. Lyoth. Rip our team. Yes. The uh, dream is dead. Yes, the dream is dead. Puro Resu, Puro Resu is dead, unfortunately. But uh, you know, we had a fun showing, and yeah. we didn't get OCV'd. We did not. I get made sure. I made sure of that. Yeah. I personally. Tom, Tom, I, I gotta ask, how is your back right now? You guys need to freaking stop eating so many L's. I can't help it. I can't help it. I play a terrible character, but that's not an excuse. Either way, the the level of matches that we we got to play, and uh, our life, you were talking about this earlier with uh, some of the players on our team. Hmm? Just the uh, just the amount of energy you have to have when you play a match out yes. here. Uh, can you uh, not just for yourself, but for yeah. your teammates as well? Right. You know, because your teammates are gonna—they're gonna be missing all sorts of things. They're gonna be missing dropping combos. They're gonna right. be dropping punishes. Uh, like there will be scrambles in the neutral that they're gonna lose to, and you have to be there for them to prevent them from losing hope and right. losing heart. Right. And it's and it, like and the worst is when you get taunted. Right. Like, oh, oh my god, that will put you on tilt. Right. Especially when you just lost, because now you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna let my I'm gonna let my freaking team down. Right. This cannot happen. I can't just like jump out and not have a single win. Right. And your your buddies are gonna be right behind you, going like, no, nah, it's cool, it's fine. By the way, this guy never blocks low. And you're like, oh yeah, huh? Right. Like the entire time we're trying to feed information to our teammates, like, hey, he's gotten low three times while you're in the corner, knocked down. And you've got, you've got to give the energy to your teammates, and you've got to be there to support. It's a little tougher when it's a little tougher when the team isn't really formally concocted, right? Yes. So we kind of we kind of put our team together, maybe right. kind of last last minute, minute team, yeah, literally last minute team. It's a it's no excuse, but you know it, it's it's a good sign. Uh, it goes to show you that you know you've got to prepare for a tournament like this. If you're no matter what fighting game you're months playing, months in advance. Yeah, months in advance. If you are playing any fighting game, whether it be Third Strike, Street Fighter Four, Street Fighter Five, it could be anything. Marvel, Guilty Gear, any tournament like that. You've got to put the preparation in advance. So for anybody who's looking to get into a tournament, please do not give up. All right, here we go. Looks like we're about All to right. start the second round. Let's do this. Make your first move, so what's the wrong thing? The traffic of the world is street by the 
All right, here we go. Second round. Sounds like uh, Matsuda is about to speak. Or just waiting. Here we go. Are they able to hear me? Um, they just got probably like leaning closer to the mic. Okay. If you guys can hear me, uh, I don't know. Pog champ out. Pog champ. No! What have you done to my chat? What have you done to my chat? All right, so here we go. We're in the second round. It's game time, guys. All right. Nice. Dudley Hugo. This is a fun matchup. Fun matchup. You know, it can go either way. Dudley's got the advantage. You know, better character, more mobile, and uh, you know, still big damage output. Hugo, though. One reversal, good shot, you just have a match. Hugo, a really big character with great momentum, scary, very scary. And you know what? This is not a match that is all oh, so technical and fancy and, and precise. No, this is a freaking brawl. This is two pro wrestling. But pro wrestling gets mean as Dudley, the boss of the pugilist. The gentleman's, the gentleman's uh, sports. Oh, oh, Dudley with the first round. <laughs> So it'd be Ted DiBiase. Oh! And me oh. squash her in the corner! There we go! He's in trouble already! Hugo with corner pressure. Slap! Can't even... Can't even get out. Alright, oh, now right. he finally got out. out. Okay. A lot of respect right now. But Dudley's already putting himself back into the corner again. He whipped an uppercut there. Not good! Oh! Oh, he got it! That was a chance. Hammer Mountain! Hammer Mountain. Well done. You set up? Oh! Wow, uh, another beast splasher to oh shoot no. the misses to that Brian Baker! And he gets a, and he gets a clap! The palm armor! Pretty sure... Did he try to parry there? Did he try to parry? Final round. Go for yeah, it. No, he didn't! Oh, alright, it was a block. It was wow. no matter what, no matter what. He should've what, committed to the, uh, to the parry. Nice! Empty jump in, low short, up, uh, low short to jet up or to super. Sometimes you've just gotta go for it. Nice! Now, according again to Zeep, the brackets are below in the channel. Click on the Chun Li picture. Dudley working on a perfect, not anymore. Jump and throw a tech. Oh, oh nice. That was, that was good. That was good tech. Good tech right there. Uh, with the fierce and just uppercut, he's got 90% of his life, more than 90%. And you know what? Even if he eats damage, he's still okay. Nicely done. Yes. The fatality, you've been, you've been modded apparently. Uh, congratulations, dude. All right. <laughs> no, he's been putting in work also. Thanks. Shout out to Fatality. Lots of big work. Fatality, great job to you, man. All right. All right, we got Dully Q. This is not a fun match for Q. Q a big hitbox and Dudley with them lead hands, them heavy hands. Here we go. Oh, uh, uh, Q starting with the offensive, but now oh, there's another brawl. Both of these oh. characters, both of these characters must be close in order for hits to happen. Nice, you get the taunt. He's a little bit of the machine. Yeah, I can't well. let him get away with that. Yes, we got, we got TM. Wow. Oh, this, this, this. Oh. Oh, Captain Ellie! Swipes and a taunt. taunt. No. no, he doesn't need it. He doesn't need taunt. One, two, three, four, and it's KO. Yes, you deserve to clap for yourself, young man. He's not even young. He's probably older than I am. Doesn't matter. Go. Here we go. All right, nice. The jump round is very easy to confirm into a super. That overhead hit, but Q was standing. TM was standing, so you cannot cancel. I didn't have meter at that time. Oh wow. Nice, sit down. Sit down. Oh. Man, his choice of frame traps and normal is really intelligent. Oh nice back strong. TM on nice. the offense. TM closed it out here. Oh, oh. jump in. EX jump out. Dully can oh Dully cannot do it. Dully cannot. No you cannot. Wait. Whatever you're having, I'm good. Uh, Alright, good, let's see. Ultra David, shout outs, what's up? Good buddy, good to see you. 
One of my uh, one of my personal inspirations for commentary. Yuri and Q is not fun for Q at all. Now, off of any tackle mid-screen, you can still detour strong and continue, or you can just dash in and continue the pressure. Nice. Yuri in to the pressure. Oh, but Q gets to catch the deadly. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Taunt. There you go. Now, I don't know if Yuri and Rail's a real punish if you wanted to go for a second time. But she goes over right there. Dash it, bro. Chop. Keep him, keep him, keep him in, the, in the position. Nice. Q's got three. TM has three talks now. So even then, the tackle combo not going to do a lot of damage there. He's still fairly even. Swipe, though. He's going to eat the, the Aegis. No, blocks. The Aegis was not on top of him, but TM with the backwards car and throw. Sit him down. Oh, oh that's confirmed. One, two, three. Confirm. He's all right. He's still safe. TM, I don't need a taunt. No, TM at three. Oh, he already yeah, had three. Sorry. Had I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was standing up earlier, then I sat down. Right. Three tackles. All right. Oh, oh taunt. one, two. two. Tackle. There you go. Jeez. So, yeah, against Q, since he's so big, you can do launcher, ta light tackle, fierce fireball, heavy tackle, medium tackle. Ooh, the reads. Oh, the reads! Here's, here's. Oh, nice little strong anti air. Oh, oh the throw! Oh my god, he was Yuri one in. guess away Yuri from in. retaking that. Yurian's in oh. there. Hey, look at him, he's sweating. Oh, look how much wow. this Yurian is sweating. Gage. Why are you wearing a jacket indoors, boy? Why you sweat so much? Look, he's styling. He's styling and profiling. Uh, I'm a. Screw your Aegis for the doctor. I'm gonna kick you right through it. All right, nice pressure from the uh, the uh, Yurian. Jump back. He's gonna get some meter. There it is. Uh, oh, oh, oh fail. Miss the miss it. He just cancel. He just, he might re he might really regret that. I don't agree with that Aegis right now. Yeah, oh. that was a bad time. Oh, but you know, it's okay. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Oh, nice throw attack. Nice. Now the reason why I didn't agree with that Aegis. Yeah, there I agree. No, no reason to throw that mid screen. It wasn't out of box then. Mm. So. There was gonna be no box then, no way for there's shit no damage. And there's no advantage to it. Right. There, there, he gained nothing from wasting the meter at that point. The situation was already neutral at that point. There's no reason to waste your meter. Right. And and look what happened. He got he got juggled, captured Debbie low, because he had a false sense of security. Exactly. Then he got then he got juggled with the with an EX uh, EX rush punch. Right. Which travels nowhere because it juggled so uh, so early on. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh Alex! Okay. Oh okay. See I'm an Alex player. Yo, uh, it's not a nice slam match right now. Okay. Hulk Hogan has the advantage against Q. All of his buttons really hit from like great ranges. He does a lot of stun, and even if you get three taunts with Q, the stun meter is not affected. But Q can play really good defense. Nice. He tried to car throw, and he got car thrown right there. Catch oh. deadly blow. No, the torch strong doesn't hit. Q's jump right hey. out. Catch hey. Oh, he's, oh, trying, he's trying, trying to get the jump back uh, reset. Nice. Now, now he's zoning him. What well, I mean, what's Alex gonna do, right? Right. Now, off of the anti-air strong, you could actually ex. Uh, you could actually ex. D well, Alex is DP. Uh, it, it combos. I see. Okay, so Go. if Alex lands throw, I have the elite uh, third. All right, fair enough. Yes. That was a Sanchez thing, wasn't it? Was a Sanchez thing. Yes. Shout out to Sanchez. Shield flash. Eat dirt. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, oh that, but no super after that. That chop, oh, chop, chop, chops. That's a, such slap a great chops. Move. Slap chops. Are you going to say slap the chops? Slap chops. Chop. Chop. Oh no! Catch a deadly blow. Oh he. Oh, crossed under an accident. But he got Another catch a deadly blow. Reset. Oh! He's still alive. He's still alive. Uh, One more throw for me. Oh, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Bifuteki, uh, if you're wondering who's commenting, it is Andrew Giolani, a.k.a. Duralath, and Thomas Shin, a.k.a. our lion, on the mics right now. Guys, we're back. Thank you for joining us here. We're here in the midst of Cooperation Cup. It is madness right now. High level third strike. Team playing so sick that he's got to quarantine himself before he gets everyone else infected. Oh my gosh. Right. Now we got an Oral versus Q. Oral going with the Tango Stones. Interesting. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Now, if you guys are wondering, that is TMQ, one of the top Qs in the world. Alright, nice. 
Now I see right there. The only reason that was a strike grab from Oro, but because Oro's neutral grab starts so slow, you're able to mash out and only get one hit of the Oro. Uh, By the way, do you know what block this is? This is, I'm trying to figure it out, might be four block. Four? Don't block. Okay. Whatever block I see him in it. All right. Nice. Corner throw from Oro. Oro with the offensive. No four, nothing to trade. TM trying to fight some way out. He's got a lot of deficit for the capture nearly though. The fierce reset no. He chicken kicks out. Using the EX fireball. Another corner throw yet again. He no, he delayed the Oro before he lands. He can actually activate chicken kicks in the uh, air. Alright, three blocks, sorry. Oh, all right. This is block three. Oh man, that team. Dwight so, and Sugiyama are also on it. Alright. Here we go. Okay. Uh, oh, this Oro is Thanatos. He's one of the best oh, Oros. Thanatos? Yes, this Thanatos. He's Thanatos one of the best Oros in the world. Okay, so Thanatos up one round. Now TM matches out after one. Yes, that's. Oh no! He got the block just in time. He only threw out the short. Thanatos with the corner throw. Thanatos on the verge of taking out Q. Yeah. Oh my gosh, TM! TM can't get the capture deadly. Oh, oh what is he gonna do? Thanatos! What do you do? Thanatos, yes. You get high fives from your team. You deserve it, man. You deserve it. The, yeah, Tsunami 643, the Thanatos. The return, warrior. But it's Sugiyama now playing Necro. Oh no, the god of Necro himself, Sugiyama. I wonder if team, so, so this team's name is, uh, all right, number 38. It, uh, it says BM Jiro Shinjuku Mora, right? I wonder if BM all stands for bad manners. Yes. Hey, it's gotta be. All right, Sugiyama. Oh. You know, Sugiyama and Thanatos those should have a good sense of how each other plays. Old school I think players. so. Yeah, yeah, they were both very, very old school players. But you know what? He's like, screw your freaking tornado hooks. I don't care about that fake pressure. I will red parry that every single time. That's good throw from Oro to get him back into the corner. But now he uses the uh, Chili Woolly Penguin grab, puts him out of the corner. Now in the neutral game, back into the corner itself. Oh, nice. nice. Try. Oh, he's trying to fish for parries. Yes. Did not fall for it. Oh, he screwed up. The oh, he screwed it up. Oh, Going for the electric snake. What's he gonna do kick? now? Oh, he backs off. Oh, oh. shallow dive kick. Ooh, he landed on that low, low yeah. board. He, you know what? He almost choked. It. He did choke there earlier. Yes. And you know what? For as much as Oro usually has air supremacy, yes. Necro has anti-air supremacy, and so he's usually able to shut down a lot of that game. EX Tengu Stone into the sweep, into the juggles. Hey! 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 Hold on, juggle! Oh, he gets a reset! He throws him out of the corner! What's the game I gonna do? He gets anti-air! He nails him out of the cross-ups! Oh no! He uses the electric snake to cover himself, it's safe! Oh, safe! Alright. Yeah, he pressed the button, he pressed the button, that's why. Alright. Try it desperately to find an opening. Oh, and he gets nice. killed. Donatos with the great zoning, great lens. He <laughs> plays that low forward very well. Down goes Sugiyama. Alright, who do we have now? Wow. And again, folks, a lot of people have complained about only seeing Chun Ken and Yun on streams. You're seeing Oro and Remy now. Oro and Remy. Oh, this is Piero. 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 The god Remy. Piero Sama. The, the best Remy. Yes. That man. So if you are a Remy player, take notes. What you're facing. I, I've had the honor of getting personally sodomized by his Remy 10 years ago. And you're a Makoto player. Yes. <laughs> Nice, okay, here we go. Overhead, overhead. Cold blue kick. Nice. Oh, Look that's zoning so Look good. This. Wow, that's throw attack. And now he stops the jump by using the stance strong. Piero with one round. Here we go. Go. Hey, he's got the juggles. Oh, he decides not to do the reset. He already had enough meter. Didn't even freaking matter. Oh, he, a, he, he only has a normal version of the EX version. That might have been an accident. Or is he trying to get him out? Oh no! Oh, he has some traps. Meter's almost done. Right, he's in there, he's in there. Can he make a comeback? Nice. Good patience nice. from uh, Piero. Oh, he crossed under. Oh, crossed over, excuse me. Oh, oh. I just fucking the kill. Final round. Go for it. 
Piero now has full stick of butter, trying to get in there. Cold blue kicks, trying to throw EX Sonic booms. Or does not want to play the range game against Remy. Remy wins the range game. Oh, nice, good throw again. Knock him down. Remy with Lock a. Lock him down! Remy with a very good car throw as well. Oh, no, oh, no, caught. this is bad. Oh, he oh, he, he goes, Wait, he went way one too many times. Nice. He's like, get that out of here! I'm gonna lock Machine. you down! Machine. You will not be allowed to do that! Machine gun out of boot you! Screw your EX Sending Stone! I'm gonna lock you down! Full screen! Using charge partitioning! I almost have another yeah, super ready! Bro. Oh my gosh! Dashing it! Dashing under all of his uh, jump ins! Oh no! Alright, oh, that's, that's throw. Right. It's gonna, it's gonna try to get a super. Kick him from the super. Oh, there, there, no good. Nice jump back. Uh, jump kicking back him out. Jump Making him out. Trying to make all these, all these hard reads get in. Supreme rising rage fight. Do it, do it. Yes, he's got him out. Kill him. He kept him out. You win. So good, so good, Piero, Like. Remember, most people wrote up Remy as a terrible character, but Piero is doing his best, and he's playing the most immaculate game. But now he's got to deal with Elena, Chun Li, like oh diet, God. diet Chun Li. Now, Elena is um uh, what? Uh, oh, Team Ninety. Uh, oh no, Elena with the. Save. All right, nice. All right. EX Rising Rage Flash. The back wow. The back roundhouse moves Elena back and it's airborne, so you cannot throw it. It's quitting its grapples. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, but Elena on the stage, is, even though it's her own stage, it's like mad cheating. Like, she's camouflaged. Look at her. It's painful. She's in the bush. You can't see her? What's he uh, uh, Piero still alive. Piero still alive. has a trap in the corner. Oh, oh no. trying to chase her out and, and still got caught in the jump back round. The fierce. Prepare to strike now. Like, dancing back and forth. Like, the thing is, when you when you see Piero's Remy, the way that he's like da constantly dashing back and forth, he's always got charge ready. Right. It's so tricky. Right. He, he makes Remy look like an incredibly fast character, even though normally he's like, oh, I'm a charge character. Right. Like, look at this. Yo, if Bao actually had like a uh, 13 frame dash, or I don't, I don't know how fast Remy dashes. That, 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 that would be broken. Oh, got the brave dance off. No strong brave dance. Oh, so I'm gonna juggle afterwards. Oh, I missed the juggle. Get the over and super oh. in now. Down goes Piero. You win. <laughs> All right, let's see who we've got next. We await your return, warrior. Ika has longer hair than Elena. It's not her. <laughs> Oh, Remy actually has a 17 frame dash, yeah. but his but his back dash is also 17 frames as well. Welcome to the that's relatively slow. All right, here game. we go. Ru Yurian, that's what I'm hearing. But I want to see you, Ru. Yeah, it's Ru. Let's see. What do we got here? I got the Wait, I didn't say they need a battle. Go for it. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. He dashed up and did fierce fireball? Yeah. Or medium fireball? Idol. Oh, it's idol. Idol? Okay. I think. Okay, let me see. Who do we got? Oh, Aoi. Aoi. Okay. okay, sorry. I, my apologies, uh, stream. I'm just getting the as we do Maybe his name actually means like Idol Master Aoi. I'm not sure. It's either that or it's Rue. I couldn't tell you guys. Remember, I'm only getting the information as it's being given to me. So this might not be who I say it is, but hey, it doesn't matter. I apologize. But it's okay, because it's Dark Strike! Aegis combo! No, no guard break. Elena with good wow. defense. Good blocks. She's got Legos. Good blocks. Whoa! Dash right under his chop. Nice dash throw. Elena with such a great dash. Link tail at a safe range. Keep her out. No, no car throw for you. The head Oh! No parries. <laughs> you win. Wow. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, now we're switching over. Yep. Yun Yun matchup. <laughs> Nice. So I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but 
During the uncommons, you bear these cheers. These cheers are going on. Uh, let's yeah. one block. Alright, we're going back to block number one right now. Momochi? Wait, what? Momo's, Momo's not here, is he? That clearly says Momochi. Yes, actually, I did see him no. here. Oh, it is? Maybe? Oh, I don't so that's know. Kokujin talking yeah. smack in the back. Ah, uh, yes. Nice, alright. Well, Against Teru Bowl. Oh, but he drops the follow up. Nice, big. Oh. Uh, but he got, opens up. Hey, hey! Does not, alright, uh, cannot get a dash much after that Tor Fierce. Activate, get Asian. I can't tell who's who. Uh, yeah. All right, looks like Momochi. Momochi went down. Momochi down goes Momochi. Momochi is on Team Finale, it looks like. Is he on Team Finale? Momochi's on this team with okay. Bob. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, he's on Team SMB. Okay, good. Oh yeah, yeah, with Finale. Yeah. Look at that. All right, here we go. Oh, American Special Denji. Oh, oh. Denji Ryu. Shout out to yeah, the man himself, Frank, Frankie now. 3S, Frankie Melendez. We miss you, big guy. The original, the only, the no, OG. Not. Oh no. I shouldn't say the only, the first. All right, activate skin agent. All right, he's opening oh. up the shoulder. The torque pierce. To push it back the other way. Oh, well, he hit him with a roundhouse toss. Oh, jeez. I can make an ancient hit again. You know, a couple years ago, before, a couple years ago, uh, MOV's team would have been stacked as all hell. Right. But now, no, 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 we, we Hollywood, we esports now. We, we, we're playing Capcom Cup for the $350,000 front. But he gets a stun. What? Solar plexus Oh, strike? is he getting a green bar? Oh, no. no. Green bar denied. One, two, three. No, there's no one. I can be out of box side. Nice. Uh, he tried to fake it. He was worried that he was worried that Vanel would carry the strongest. That's why he only did one, two. But he got stand forward. Round. Now. There's more Canadians than guy dudes in this room. Oh, that was an excellent. Oh, but excellent parry. Was that supposed to be EX, though? No, he uh, wants maybe attention. Because he won attention. Another green bar chance. Ah, oh, denied. Compensate first. Oh, nice. Low strong. Mr. Kyaku. Shows a chance to get a stun. He really wants a stun using jumping strongs. Oh, oh got him. Yeah. No. Oh, he missed it. He missed conversion. Sorry. That might have stunned, actually, if he had gotten the EX, uh, EX talking kick off. Oh, nice. Jordan took to get it. Nice. Good next up. But now in trouble now. Oh, oh my lord. Get out of serious. He has yes, yes, yes. attention. Oh, oh, no! You win. Damn. Oh. The by the now. way, the by now. the way, just so you know, in third strike, stun the police all the time. Even while you're getting hit, even when you're on the ground, even when you're being thrown, it doesn't matter. Like there, there is one difference though, is that you can't just back off and have the stun deplete quickly. It deplete slowly over time. No matter what, no matter what you're doing. All right, good matchup. Makoto SA1 Makoto versus SA3 Ryu. I like this matchup. This is gonna be fun. Wow. All right. Started. I started off respectful. Oh, oh. nice. Let it rip, and he gets paired. Second so corner against Ryu that almost has the dungeon ready. Makoto still has like what crap for meter. Oh no, cut right. it. What's he gonna do? Normal. Oh, is it easy? He, want, he wants to mix ups. Oh, all right. Nice crutch. Wow. To stop the exclusion. Oh, what are you gonna do? Done. No mashing is not oh, strong no. enough. Wow. Fighting free. High Tony's like, am I gonna have to play? Right. <laughs> Crazy High Tony. Oh, oh, nice. The torque Pierce. Yeah. You know, I see a lot of Makotas use that more often as a as voting tool. Yeah, it, it's got a ridiculous priority, but it is really slow as well. Right. I mean, like, if someone jumps out on you when you use it, you're sitting down. Alright, Dungeon. Dungeon setups? No, no stun. Uh-oh. 
All right, now Makoto has him on the ground, locked in the corner. Nice dash back. Oh, well, again with the crouching fierce. Probably using, uh, probably using option selects afterwards. Oh, nice. that's it. That's it for the kill. Nice. Me yes, yes, he's doing the Mexican upper. Mexican upper select. Final round. Denjin Ryu hits hard. One hit. Oh, nice. Somebody just asked who Haitani mains. <laughs> You 16er. Oh no, all that's right. all right, that's all right. Karagaza. Come on, In the corner. Oh, oh, Upstart to use the X. Tries to go, uses the headbutt for the stun. Tries to get another headbutt for his stun. Still only needs, that's all right. Done. That's, that's done. done right done. there. Done. Bow, pow. Done. But now he's out. That is Luca. Luca Makoto is running the table right now. Wait. Koka did see him. Oh, is that who I think it is? Is that who I think it is? Momo Chi. Look at it. He's got, his, he's got his name on his shirt. Oh, there were two youths. Right. That explains it. Momo Chi. Okay, now we actually get to see Momo Chi. I didn't realize there were two youths on the team. Will, will the was the first year. Saru. This is Momo Chi. Will, will, will Street Fighter Five has impacted Momo Chi's game? Uh, it's looking like it already. Momo Chi already looks like he's gonna get green barred if he gets stunned right here. All right, looking for that fierce. No, no green right. bar. Still looking bad though. Well, trying to hold down the Hayates. Oh, what's a three? Oh. No. Drops, drops the bread and butter oh, to the far. Ganesian. Too far for the guys. I have the Ganesian. Right. Trying to carry him to the corner. No, no pressure. Pressure denied. Follows are denied. Makoto's almost out. Nice cut on the dash. Right. I can make now he's got a meter. Make a juggle. No, oh. that's it. That's that. That's that. You missed his parry. That was a crucial parry, too. Momochi representing himself. I respect that. Go for it. Wait. No, he's not Echo Fox? Are you kidding me? Uh, I, I guess Echo Fox doesn't like their strike. Echo Chi. Echo Chi. <laughs> Thank you, Z. Oh, no. The command grab. No good. Yeah, you notice that none of the players here have any tickers, any team tickers. None whatsoever. At all. These teams, guys, professional teams do not exist in the Man of Thirst rank. No. We play for pride. We play for pride. Final round. Now. Here we go. Nice keeping, her, keeping her out with the grudging light kick. One, two, three, up kicks. Oh! Good back dash. That's the one thing. That's the one bad problem with, uh, with Yun. His throws and his command throw. Huge, huge disadvantage if he whips them. Yeah, this is true. All right. Bad situation. Makoto being locked down. But she's got a super ready. This is her chance. One super could mean it's a death for Yun. That's it. That's it. And Momochi is dead. Yes. Did I call it? Luca slays the beast, Momochi! You win. Wow! Oh, it, it, okay, one of the heads. It is MOB It is MOB time. Oh no, people are saying Echo Free. Echo Free? Welcome to Alright, it's MOB time. This is not a good matchup for Makoto. Did he, did he huff? Did he do the huff? I did not see the huff. I, I kind of want to start doing that now. Like, I want to see. Will it give me MLB my powers? I think it'll just make me high. I'm okay with that. Fire on life. Okay, Tony Stark. <laughs> All right. Mob already has Makoto in the corner right now. Like, not letting, not letting her get out. Look at that. The Great Wall right. of China in effect. The Great Wall of Chun Li. Excuse me. All right. Now, yeah. Now it's Makoto's turn. Oh, it's a tick grab. Now. Now Chun Li's now mom is making it uh Makoto coming to him. Really tricky to get around the roundhouse kicks and the and the Oh! This is it! Oh! Faked him out! Made him think with a jab that he was gonna get a command grab! Oh no, the dash uh, got caught. If he had if he had converted the fierce into an EX dash punch, that might have gone that might have gone better for him. Go. There we go. Oh, nice. They both dash, but Makoto, Makoto first? Yeah. By the way, this Makoto's named Luca. 
I've heard that before. I've, I've seen I've seen Luca play before. Nice visual jump. Nothing. Oh! Hit him! That was good. Crouching too. That's great, 25% great. extra damage in this game. Now this is good. He's got a lead. He can build more damage. Unfortunately, you don't get any kind of advantage afterwards. After that super. Right, right, right. Oh, nice car right. throw from my MLB. All right. Low board. All right. 50 50 coming up. That's good because he burned a meter. Go high. It goes high. Oh, hit so deep that he was able to combo a low forward and a super after the overhead. All right, it's, it's worthwhile now because now Chun starts with no meter. Makoto has a slight advantage in just damage no, no. all together. It's, it's killed the Makoto. Oh, he killed him? Oh, M Makoto six feet under. Oh, Makoto like, six feet under. Look, I was it's not like a morgue right now. Oh they're, my God. They're mourning no, the so death sorry. of Makoto no! right now. What is happening? Mokoto. Luka, the dream is dead! Mokoto no. Shinda. Rip. I, my, my condolences, I'm sorry. That's okay, <laughs> because who are they sending up next? <laughs> I was just so happy she had no meter. And then I realized, oh, but he has no round. <laughs> My apologies, stream. A little too hype here. I got the pick. Are you ready? Go. All right. Who we have here? Wait. Oh, are we going back to TM team? I think we are going back to TM. Not a fun match for Q it, and it's Chun Li. But all right, we got some offense. I'll make it work. Wait, what was that? What was that? Uh, Chat? Do you want me to scream more? All right. Ah, no. All right, I'm gonna lose my voice. Whoa. Don't do oh. it, Tom. Oh, nice. Oh. He threw. No, the capture down is no good. Chun jumps out of there. Can't figure out who this Chun is. Are right, his team Dark Stalkers? Might be. The, uh, Wait, it's Mob. Are you ready? Oh, it's Mob. Mob's the oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, block one. Alright. Mob's still playing. Oh! Okay. Masa. It looks like Masa's Q. Okay. Masa Q. Alright, Chun Li lands. The Super Chi resets with a stand short? Wow! Interesting. Got him. Sorry, he was playing, he's also using TM's color. That's why I got confused. Cool. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, Mazda gets taken out. But it's not the end yet. Right. You win. Alright, looks like the score is side 3 3. So, who does this team send up? Who, who are all these Asian people on that side? They're all like, they all look the same. I can't, I can't tell who they are. You did not just. Look, two of them wearing glasses and they have short hair. How am I supposed to tell them apart? You did not just. All right, we have uh, Kitagawa. Kitagawa. I believe. Kitagawa. Yes. Yes, Kitagawa. Kitagawa Ken. Jump and throw set. Wow, wake up, Zuber! The disrespect against MLB! Wow. And that's very. He gets a throw. Is Mob actually angry now? Is, is, did Mob, is Mob angry at himself for getting hit by Wake Up Super? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Rare footage of Mob actually angry. <laughs> was that Dave? So no, no, it's not Killian that said that. With the way with getting on his turtle style, able to take a row. Oh! Alright. <laughs> We got the super. Clips that round one. Are you ready? Go! Oh, right, oh god, okay. my spacing is so good! MOV is impeccable. Now, Ken, with no way to confirm the super just it, now he can confirm off the meter. Meter confirm? Oh. All right. Mobs to throw into the corner. Smart choice. Nice. Was not crouching. Oh, standing. misses, misses the uppercut. Oh, got trip guarded. The low short got trip guarded. Yeah, mob did. Oh. 
All right, there it you is. will never see, you will very rarely see Mob ever miss that, right. that uh, that toward roundhouse against a crouching character links cleanly into a super. Yeah. Well, you see a lot of other chun. Uh, oh, chun it's Goku Jin. By the way, Goku Jin uh, in Japanese uh, is actually the term for a black person. I'm not even kidding. I'm aware. I, uh, oh no, Goku. you know, for the for yes. the other viewers out there. Yes, I, I didn't want to bring However, that up. However. If you if you're really good friends with Kokujin, you might want to call him Unkokujin, which pretty much means crap person, because Unko means poop. Thanks for the bets, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we used to call him back in Evolution 2003. Yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. Kokujin down the MLB Charlie. He gets the jumping roundhouse. Oh, back to denied with a crouching jab. Yeah. MOV and Kokujin have fought this match many times before. Scoops! Get the crowd oh, punch. Too far, away, too far away to get max damage, but it doesn't matter! Are you ready? Go! Wow! Oh, the max range! Get him in! Scoops are not getting punished! Get him that crowd punch! Oh, get him with the crowd oh, punch! Yo, Mom is on two right now! He doesn't know what to do! Wow. Is this the end of the MOV? Is this the end? All right, all right. He slipped out of the corner. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right, got the punish. He, got, he burns a meter. Oh, low board, nothing. No, wow. He's dropping. He's dropping confirms. He's dropping combo. That's all it. Right, that's now it. That's now it. he's back in his comfort zone. Took him all to, took him all to mentally recover. But that's good because now MOV has no meter. Wow. That's true. Then I got to run this time. Then I got Okay. Good observation. Yes, I was paying attention this time. Are we going to see the Mahogany Dolls now? Crab punches? Do we got crabs? Backstreet? No, get swept. Oh. MOV doing his best to maintain space while trying to get meter. Yes, Tau Taps out. The Roundhouse! Oh, no crab punch that time. No crab punch again. Oh. Cash is stopped by the jab. Another jab. Oh, nice! nice. Goes right into the course. Corner trap! Oh! That was amazing! Great reaction from my What's he gonna do afterwards? Oh! Oh wow. no! Denies that too! Wow! Grab the low ground! Kokujin! Slice MOV! You celebrate! Wait. You celebrate! Kokujin taking games! Wow! Chat, are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? But oh my gosh, it's Haitani! <laughs> hey, hey, who does, who does Haitani use? Oh, okay. here's his bucket. Oh, oh, oh Nikali! Oh, oh, clearly it's Nikali right now. All right. Oh, Nikali with a dash and sweeps. It's Nikali. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to Nice. Right, Haitani stuck in the corner. Dire straits, gets nailed by the back of the but manages to slip out. Trying to build some meter desperately. Nice, he's a little strong to get some space. Uh oh. He still doesn't have the meter for super yet. No conversions. Nice. Getting in there. Just get burned on the EXs. Focus just says no screw you. Get the hell back. Oh, he, oh, he threw him out of the back seat blow. What? Wake up. Oh, no. Too far. Okay. Wow. Wow. Fighting. Both fighting. players just slinging it. it out. Throwing fists. Here we go. The battle of boxing versus Rindo Kakura. Wow. Both, everyone is on to Kokujin's backswing blow antics. Oh, nice. Goodness. Nice counter hit. The counter. Hey. The counter hey. Oh, hey. 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 Oh, oh no, he no. dropped the jumper. That was scoops and a drop cherry. <laughs> nice. Good. Uh, Here's self advance. Wow. That's good zoning on his part. Dude, do I dare say it? <laughs> Rare footage of my Tony actually wow. angry. Dang. Okay. Goku Jin now has a meter ready. If you notice, by the way, he picked a um, he, he picked rocket uppercut. It's easier to hit this on Makoto after an after an overhead because right. she's kind of fat. Like uh, her body's kind of fat. Nice. What? Counters the backswing go hard with a super. What? That's cross. Goku Jin almost said. Oh, the wow. Hi, clutches. Hi, Knocks out Kokujin and clutches it for the team.
All right, well done. We're All right, gonna... now we're switching over to another match going on in progress. Okay, block three, it looks like. Block three. Are you ready? Wow, well fought. Go. Okay. Yeah, commentators on the other side are also being informed as to who's playing. Uh, block three? Block three. Wow. All right, here we so go. Clearly, this is Wantan and team on Dark Team Darkstalk. Oh, are we getting a switch again? Okay. Again with a switch. Uh, block two. Block two. Okay. Switch to the block two. So we get a full match here. Shinobu. Chun-Li. Well, I got the picture. Fighting straight. Engage. Alright, trying to figure out who's what's going on here. Right. Both sides of Goku and Chun-Li, unfortunately. Okay, let me check the uh, Japanese stream as well. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Okay, 33 and 46. Oh, okay, it's second round. It's the second round of this. Now. Alright, Shirokuro Chun Li. And uh, game some. Oh, uh, let's see, 46. Uh, and Arashi. Arashi Goki. Yeah. Arashi Goki. Shirokuro Chun Li, Arashi Goki. Nice little forward. Not looking good for Goki. Oh, nice. Oh, is he gonna do it? Nice. Oh, what did he miss there? Oh, no. You win. It looked like he missed a move there. It might have been. It might have been. Alright, here we go. Alright. Who is this? Ken. No, yeah, he isn't. Well, I got it's Kabetsu. My B. I can't tell anybody by their faces, they all look the same to me. Okay, Cabot 2, clearly a green one. Right. Like a cabbage. We got the green motif here. Oh, good with punishes. Getting in there. Oh! Wow, clipped her out of the air, out of the air from her uh, overheads. Right. Uh, misses the uppercuts. But Cabot 2 tends so sick. All right, now, now trapped in the corner. Oh, no, oh man, that was a, that was a poor Whoa, backhand slap into the, into the uh, lightning net, or to uh, spinning bird kick. Thrown to the corner. Not yet. And another. All right, that works. Set up for no ambiguous cross up. Nope, missed that too. Alright, ready for round two. Alright, Kabatsu playing, still playing a really offensive, uh, really aggressive game right now. Missed a, missed a sweep. Which, which went unpunished. 
Doesn't even care about the wake up options. Fifty-fifty coming up. And trapped in the corner. Successfully blocked slow. Now he's on his way out. He gets the overhead mid screen super. Dominant position here. He gets the super for round two. Final round now. Oh, look at that spacing. Wow. Was able to whip punish low, uh, low medium kicks it with a sweep. Chun, Chun is now going way more aggressive. No longer trying to give him respect. Nice. Whoa, the cross up mix ups. These are looking really bad for Shinokuro. And he gets killed. You win. We await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Prepare for the battles. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Alright. The strategizing is real. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Well, I got the picture. Okay, so this Yoon on this team, Ushi, Ushi, uh, I believe was from the Kyushu area, uh, and uh, play he used to play Yurian. Uh, looks like he switched over to, uh, to Yoon. He might have also been. I think his team was actually an SBO team, a uh, winning team as well. So. Uh, he gets nailed there. Uh, it fails to capitalize off of that. You can hear the crowd cheering for every single hit. This is how we used to do back in the day. Whoa, that was really trippy. So it's Ushi's. Ushi's Yuna is up right now. Really? Against Kabetsu. Oh, wow. Yeah, Kabetsu took out Shirikuro. Okay. Oh, clipped out of the air, out of a uh, air ex Tatsu. Denies that, gets the juggle. Nice. Kabetsu committed a little bit too hard, uh, committed a little bit too hard trying to get into the corner there. He might be feeling himself a bit much. Yeah, I think he's feeling himself a lot. Wow. Right now, burn the meter, get himself out of the corner, that's the smart thing to do. But now he's about to get nailed again. With a getting Jin right over his face. Has to respect it. Looks incoming green bar! Oh no, oh no! Y'all can do it! Oh no! Wow! I'm not sure what that was! Just in the back of the head! Why would he try to Alright? should after that? No, you know what? He, right now he's playing his part. He's he's staying out of the corner. Right. He's running me in our butt, you know he gets nailed right there. He's over. He's done. Nicely done. Alrighty. You win. And now? Hmm? You want to bring it up? Uh. You win. You return. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No. Okay, one more. Alright, perfect. Alright. So we're going to well, finish up this last well, set here. Well, yeah, here we have. Well, I got the picture. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Wow. Okay, Yun Yun mirror. One, two, three. All right, push towards the corner. Yun. Oh, that's nice this, this. It's Nito. Nito. Nito Yun. Activate. Get in. Well, I get nailed by the temple tension. But the damage gets scaled by 40% when you get nailed, uh, when you get uh, grabbed like that. So Nid doesn't mind too much. He just needs to get some. He just needs to get an opening. Mm. Nice. Activate skin agent. All right. Here comes the pressure. Nice. Overhead. All right. There we go. There's the opening. Sample. Wow. Almost got the dash punch there. There we go. No, oh, he smelled it. Oh, he's in the air. There's a really bad section to be in, but it doesn't matter because he parried the oh, initial no. kick and he nails him. No. 
Wow, the look of contempt on Nito's face. He's like, who is this garbage fake imposter Yoon? Ah, uh, I am the one true Yoon. Throws him in the corner. Pretty much has meter at this point. He's looking for a clean activation. All right, decides decides screw the clean activation. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in raw. Here we go. All right, activate. Yeah. Fighting his way out. Oh, Daipan loop. Here, loop. Yeah, look at space. Oh. All right, Ushi fighting for his life at this point. Yeah, and he failed. Nito proves to be superior. All right, selection for the next player. Yeah. Oh, it's KFG. Kentucky Fried God! I actually don't know what KFG stands for. Alright, during this match right now, guys, uh, Durant on the mic, I'm gonna take a break. I'm bringing in one of the greatest US players to ever play the game, Ryan Brackamont, formerly known as Let Blood Run, aka after Yuri and Ryan. He's on the team, we're gonna bring him out to the mic. Show him some love, chat. We'll see you in a bit. Hello, hey. hello. Hey Ryan, good to have you, thanks. Thank you for having me. Feel free to slap me if I start getting a little out of control. No problem. I like out of control. Uh, all right. <laughs> so here we have a really, really big boy match. So it's um. Oh KFG. What does KFG stand Deshken. for? Deshken. I have no idea. Oh, is that, okay, okay. Oh, Desh uh, I was looking at the wrong number. I was looking at the wrong faces. All right. It is Deshken. What the hell is wrong with me? Deshken was yesterday's hero. Champ. Man. Yes. That was insane. He was the hero. Alright, uh, yeah, Deshken, yesterday, his performance was the best I've ever seen anyone do that to. Oh no, it looks like he, it looks like he might get nailed here. Oh! I'm ready to do a palm strike. Alright, maybe Deshken doesn't want to know that it was Deshken who just lost. And this is RB. RB Yuri, and he's really, really strong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So RB is Yuri, and uh, this team is from uh, Kyushu, so they're not really well known in the Tokyo area, but they're really, really good. Okay. The best Kyushu players. Oh, yeah, yeah Ushi is also from Kyushu, I yeah. remember that. In fact, Kyushu actually won an SBO one time, yeah, right. a couple years back. This is it. Yeah, Kyushu's strong team. teams, very, really strong team. We have Yuri and Yun here. According to RX, this is Yurian's hardest matchup in the game. Really? Yeah. Okay, I was about to ask you what you thought of this. Yes. RX said Urian could beat anybody except for you. <laughs> I get I can see this now. And this is Nito's Yun, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, RB, like two or three years ago, he did really well before, so uh -huh. this is gonna be a good match. Okay. Yeah, he's still finding himself out. Like, if, it doesn't matter if he's trapped behind an edge reflector, he's still trying to keep, keep himself out. Yeah. Oh, nice. And that looks like it's gonna be. Uh, just a little too far for that juggle. One more! We go. Yes. Instant overhead. Oh, it wasn't an instant overhead, but that was a wake up throw that Yurian was trying to right, do. Right, and that go. jump back fierce is pretty much 100% safe. Yeah. So. Yurian is one of those characters who leans forward really, really far when he wins a throw. Yes. Oh, and there we that go. was a late ass shoulder tackle! And this might be the chance, RB. This might be the chance he needs. Oh, I thought he was going to have another Aegis setup. Guess not. Wow, the scrambles are real! Wow, The scrambles wow, are real! Wow. Oh whoa, my god! Whoa, I received this! What is going on here? Oh! So, wow, so many dropped opportunities! Oh! One chance! This is it! Oh! Sends him out of the air with a Nisho Kaku! Amazing play by Nito. Yes. Evo champion. Wow. 
That is that is really crazy. All right, now we're switching over. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out in a moment. Yes. It could be one, two, three, or four. One block? Maybe one block. This one will be... I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's actually that or not. I think this is BBK, but I don't want to say for sure, but I'm sure. I'm 90% sure. All right, we'll figure it out in a second. Yes. We'll see right here. Yeah, the BBK. BBK? Yeah. Okay. So this is this is a uh, Takadana Baba Mikado team. All right, I think they're playing against. Are they playing against this team? Because it's the second round. I think it's the second round match. Oh, is this Momochi? Yeah. This Momochi. That is Momochi. Oh, sorry. No, no, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, I saw Momochi because Momochi has a different color. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
Oh, leap into. I think that, that, was, that um, was a mistake, but it's yes. okay. BBK has to figure. What yeah, out he's only he's only on one bar against Chun Li with practically full health. This is looking really bad. It's not over so it's over. Sure. Oh. Can he close it out? Is he gonna go for the chip? I don't think he's going. No, I don't think he's gonna go for the chip. Yes. Yeah. That was actually very, very risky, but wow. it worked out for yes. us because that one forward carry would have changed the entire match. Right. And here we have <laughs> arguably the best Dudley in Tokyo, uh, Kairu. He was a beast yesterday. Yes. yes. So, Kokujin's from Nagoya. Of course, he's really, really, really strong. Yes. And this is probably the best Tokyo Dudley. Ah, I see. Kairu has a really honest style. Like, you know how a lot of Dudleys have that craziness to them? Mm -hmm. He plays the opposite. Like, he plays like, so he uh, clean. yeah. All right. A little bit of a resemblance to Victory, if you remember, you oh, remember yeah. him, of course. Very honest, mm -hmm. very Strike. just straight. Just punished you. And here we have... And the, last year, Kairu beat Nuki, so he definitely knows how to play wow. against Wow! Okay. Because I remember seeing a match of Pokujin versus uh, Nuki, and Nuki just clowned on him. Yes. Whoa. Far throw, back to the corner. Go forward. Oh. I'm actually surprised that he didn't convert that, but maybe he just wants a meter. Yeah, I think that was kind of scary to convert that because then he would have uh, like 10% life and the W would have went a little more crazy. And uh, in my opinion, as a Chun player, you want to close out the round. With a super yeah, instead. Ah, uh, okay. But now okay. he's going to look for to get the super and close out this round. Okay. And will be with the perfect spacing. Whoa! Trying to force himself out slowly. All right, he manages. He manages to. He, he, lo he loses, but he still has two stocks. Yeah. So he can make a really good comeback in this round. Uh, all right, there's the first opening. Looking bad. Yeah. There we go. Oh, well, that was an input error, but no problem. He's still alive. He didn't take nice. any damage. Ooh! Sips around. Doesn't get to convert, though. That's something that Kokujin consistently does well, is um, whenever he gets that punch, that, um, liver, that blow. The liver blow, he always gets a super into that. Right. I've never seen him miss it. Oh, there we go. And now we have our own conversion right one here. One chance here for Kairu. Gets red low, doesn't matter. Chenny's out of the corner, but it doesn't matter. Getting his kill! That's what he needed. Final rounds. Final round. Now. They both have a lot of meter here, so it's gonna be whoever lands the first super, I would say. Kaido Moira! Yes, this is gonna be tough. There's they gonna be a hundred percent guess right here after the Hilikasen. This Whoa. Alright, that was a close call. Great, great guard there. Woo! Missed low forward super, but it's okay. Kaido's gonna have to Mom might regret that! Mom might seriously regret that. Ah, uh, all right. Green bars down. Yeah, he took it. You win. All right, that's cool. Convincingly. Okay. Convincingly. All right, win. I'm gonna sub out, and uh, joining uh, us to you pair win. along with Ryan is an, another old school Street Fighter three player named. Uh, you might know him as Farai or Jesus John. So I we will be switching out. All and, right. Well, thank you very much. And, yeah, all right, it's been good. Yes, it was great. So joining me now is John. He is a great Goki player, in my opinion. I appreciate the kindness. Welcome to welcome to the commentary, John. Oh, it feels good to be up here, man. How's your day going? It's really good. It's uh, I remember my first Coop experience, and I didn't realize until that infographic they posted the other day that it was one of the like sluggish years. And it's just nice that every year it gets better and better, bigger and bigger, yeah, more and more exciting. 
you know, we're playing what? It's a 16 or 17 year old game. Right. And that is just, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's unreal. Mm. Um, I was thinking about it today. What is the average age of a third strike player these days? It's got to be 29 or 30. Yeah. I would say it's the probably more than that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm beyond that age. Yeah. Um, and I feel young here. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit comforting, I got to say. And it's, it's really uh, inspiring when I still see um, guys even under 25 that are still picking this game up. Yeah. So happy to see that. And just one thing about this tournament is everyone has a smile on their face. Yeah. You know, even when they lose in Japan, there's no uh, breaking the stick or whatever. <laughs> They're really happy to have tried their hardest, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, it's one of the really refreshing aspects of Japanese tournaments. I think it's by virtue of the fact that they happen so frequently, and a lot of the time they're single game, that there's not this huge emotional investment in whether you win that one single game. Yeah. So uh, people are able to... You know, still enjoy themselves after they've been eliminated. I mean, yeah, I mean, casuals. don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's some salt in the wound when they lose that that match they could have won. But yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's I guess that's the other side of the coin. Is a lot of the time to balance that they're playing team tournaments, and there is a big sense of you want to do well for your team. I think it's easier to shoulder the burden of a loss when mm. you're playing in a singles tournament. Right. So looking at our brackets here, they're showing is the uh, this is third strike. The team from New York looks like they lost against Crimson Rug, which is Coro's team, Coro Oro. Um, but since the New York team made it to the second round, is they're not done yet. They're gonna go to the next playoff. Yeah. So the uh, Crimson Rug against third New York's teams was uh, Abara Hugo, Pearl Rice Chun, Coro Oro, Sekun Yang. And uh, Zabi Goki, which I know who John really respects. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's those. There's a lot of names on that team that um, don't have this like historical prominence um, that players like uh, that have been playing for 13, 14 years. Yeah. But I mean, they're all super high skill level. I mean, I can definitely say with Zabi, he plays this really unique style. Um, Ibarra, Hugo is no, none of them are slouches by any means. So that, that's not a, a loss I would have any regrets about. Zabi, it, when I first met Zabi, I was thinking like, there's no way this guy's ever going to be a sick Goki. And he just two years later has completely proved me wrong. Like he is just I, I remember putting for, his work. I, I remember very distinctly seeing him play for the first time at Mikado back in 2010. Right. That's, I think that was 2009, maybe. Yeah, that might have been. Yeah. And, uh, just he makes these you know big leaps in his skill level every single year yeah um so it's been really nice to watch him play and of course has a kinship because he plays the same color as me right that's uh, my favorite goki color by the way yeah too, yeah so. uh if you have a chance if you're a goki fan i watching him play against chun Li is a work of art that's such a tough matchup and he plays a great keep away style so yeah, up next is going to be um, the the playoff for the losers. Yeah, the coop format is a little hard to understand at first, but basically, uh, I'll pr I'm going to try to explain easily. The first round of round robin, the winner goes to this second round we just watched. The second place person goes to this playoff that's going to happen now, which is my team and your team are both in this next round. That's right, yeah. And the loser of the second round playoff can go into this last playoff. This is the last chance. And a very interesting point about it is that it's only one person from each team, one representative. And it's, that's a really uh, tough thing. I mean, you're already dealing with the fact that you had high hopes of getting out of that pool, yeah. but then picking that one single player to you know, carry the entire team for you. Uh, that, that's always a difficult choice for me. That's been my situation the past three coops. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> yeah. It, it's really, ah, it, it, it's a really difficult thing to make it out of your pool with two wins at Coop. So there's 90 teams here, but all these people are really hungry. Right. I mean, no one wants to lose the first round. Yeah, yeah. First so match. making that choice of who's going to be that guy to be your ace, you know, your closing, you know, reliever pitcher. Who's that guy going to be? 
you know, uh, do you base it off of character? Do you base it off of, you know, their uh, Jonkin style, their ability to play in a single game format? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of people want to put their Chun up, you know, because they think we need our strongest character. But people counter that and they put, who's our best player versus Chun? Yeah. So. I, I, that always surprises me when I watch this um, single player playoff is there's a lot of players that play low tier characters. Um, and that's, uh, it's inspiring to see that the, the entire team would throw their support behind a Remy player or something. You know, in America that would never happen because no. we have these really sort of crystallized, rigid views of who's going to win in a single character, single game format, who's going to lose. Right. And, I mean, that's the exact mentality of why they chose the Remy player. They're thinking that that Remy player is going to do damage that, uh, you know, a regular Ken couldn't. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's uh, sometimes an advantage in the pre coup format is... You know, if you look at the breakdown of the character selection in Coop, consistently Ken is the most chosen character. Of course. <laughs> you know, even in America, everybody is going to say, I feel confident in the Ken matchup, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's not always going to be the case against Necro. That's not always going to be the case against Remy. You know, there, there's an advantage to being an underused character. And so that's not something to be taken lightly in this uh, single character, single player uh, playoff. Especially in the one game format. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I'd rather play any can than like a, a 12 in a one game format. Oh, that's, that would be my nightmare. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the kind of person that's going to be chosen in the uh, single player <laughs> playoff. But if I was, I would be much more afraid if I was facing up against a 12 player yeah. than it would be against a Chun player. I mean, if it was Nuki Chun, okay, I can't imagine a more terrifying matchup than that. Yes. But uh, yeah, you know, it's, it, even in Tokyo, you know, I've been living here for about eight months. Ryan's been living here for four years, I believe. Uh, four and a half years. Yeah, you, you still kind of have to go out of your way to get experience against a 12 player. So, it, okay, so. Okay, here we go. Looking at our brackets here. Now, Ryan's going to have to help me out a little bit because. Right. Okay. So we have the uh, Naitsu, Subo, KZ, Goki, Nisu, Ken, and M2C Makoto versus the. Uh, excuse me for one second. I like the Academy Award there. Yes, this is Shintaro Matsuken, um, Rao, Mester, and the Ino, Inoue Makoto. Legendary Inoue. Ino. The, uh, the uh, Dreadlock yes, Ino the Dreadlock from 2008. Ino. Yes. yes. I've always wanted to get a discussion going, like <laughs> favorite teams of all time. That's the 2008 uh, Inoue Japan has got to be my favorite. Okay, so we're going to have Rao up first. Rao Chun-Li, uh, people remember him from all the Third Strike um, oh boy. Old school Evo player. videos. Old school player. I mean, Ch Justin beat Rao, and then to get the Daigo pair. That was the match before that. That's right. It was yeah, Justin yeah. versus Rao. Block six, yeah. Up first, we have a young player, so I'm gonna guessing this is Naitsu. This name kind of rings a bell to me, like from the 2008 era. So I think these players have been playing uh, the older generation of players. Here is a matchup everybody that should be familiar with. Yes. Rao, a very unorthodox Chun Li. Like he likes yeah. to do a lot of moves that uh, other Chuns don't. Like that neutral jump roundhouse, that was something that I've never seen people do. Looking very confident. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have the typical conservative approach that a lot of Chun players have. And Naitsu gets the combo. Nice dive. Half life. 
Are we going to see another perfect here? No, we're not. And gets the Ganesian. This should be it. And he's not going to kill here to get the extra leader. Got a little sliver. Even though that was uh, the end of the round, it was nice seeing in between Canadian combos that Rao does not seem intimidated at all. No. And as a Chun player, you really just can't never, you can't be intimidated, ever. Yeah. And that's gonna do it. You know, the, the, it's a discussion me and Ryan have had a lot of the time, is uh, certain characters, the player has to uh, fill a certain role, right. have a certain personality. And a Chun player, you know, you have to have rock solid nerves. You, really, it's so important that uh, one difficult round does not, I mean, it's true of everybody, but it's most important for a Chun player. Welcome to and up next, we're going to have. I, I don't think these guys live in Tokyo because I've never seen them before, so I don't know the face. But we have Makoto, who's going to be M2C. M2C Makoto. You know, on paper, uh, this is still advantage Chun, but I think this has got to be one of the scariest matchups for a Chun player. Right. That stage Houston, like, it really hurts. Especially if Chun's crouching, that is going to win the round. Wow, wow, that was insane. That move is just so hard to land, a regular Fukiyage. Whoa. Whoa! That was the uh, Koshun trick. I, guess, I was, was saying I was getting trick. flashbacks in the 2013 coup. Yes. But yeah, it, it, you have to have really good spacing to land the non-setup Fukiyagi. Right. Okay, thank you. Oh, wow. Just a, a dash up Ra Hayate. Yeah, K2C uh, looking just as confident as the start of the game. Wow, that was in impressive. That, that, that's a whiff punish you don't see every day. And Ra takes it. It didn't work out for him, but um, that neutral jump, even very high. Um, medium kick with Makoto when they pick Seichu Shen is very scary. Yes. And Chun doesn't have a really good high hit in the anti air like a Shoto Loki here. Right. This is a uh, Subo Chun. And right. I definitely remember him from Togeki days, so he has been playing for a while and he has been qualified before in many uh, SBOs. What, what is your perspective in a Chun here? Man, uh, it's it's tough. <laughs> it's scary. Yeah. And in my opinion, whoever wins round one usually wins the, the entire match. Simple as that, huh? Yeah. So you're gonna see a lot of low forward, far fierce. That's the bread and butter of the first round of Chun Li, Chun Li. The goal of this match is to build meter as fast as you can, get damage to where you can kill him with a super, and then hopefully have meter for the next round. This isn't going to kill, and this is going to be tough because now Subo has meter, but he got that same trick. <laughs> well, he has that now. corner cross up on lock. Yes. Yeah, Rao just seems to be on a roll right now. Yeah. I think, uh, it's just... Here we go. Subo connects with the punish. I wouldn't be surprised if you see Rao jump around a lot more still. And... Yeah, just very unpredictable decision making by Rao, but it just, it's just paying off left and right for him. Rao got the gauge. Yes. He was building gauge so smartly right there, like yeah. playing safe, building gauge, getting that one gauge to uh, finish out with Hyokusen. Rao is having a good time while he's playing too. I like to see that. 
Steven Subo, look at he just lost, but he still looks the pretty happy. Uh, I think that's the most important thing. Uh, I was telling that to Ben earlier after he had seen a couple of games on our team. We just have fun from here on out. You know? Right. That's the most important thing. Treat this like casuals. Yes. And here we have KZ Goki. I haven't seen videos of this guy in a long time. But Do you recognize him? Oh, absolutely. I think he might have played a, a different color uh, years ago, but I. I was impressed with him when I used to watch him. I think I've seen him until I seen before. He's already... He's doing, uh, putting in yeah, work here. Really good showing so far. Nice block. Yeah, that car leap attack. Went for the red parry. A good choice, though. I would have done the oh, same really thing. Good yes. choice. It's not the easiest thing to punish just on block of Goku. And whoever lands a super here is... Gonna win the round. This neutral situation, it's not easy for Goki. And I have one chance here. Very patient. Oh, wow. That's just one of those things. You know, uh, horrible time to jump back. Okay. That, that wasn't a read, you know? That yeah. was just a guess. And KZ actually jumped there. If he would have jumped like a couple of frames earlier, I think he would have got out of that. I think he might have earlier too. So what's your opinion of a Goki Chun match? You know, one of the things I've been really working on that's so frustrating is I think it's shutting down our roundhouse. You see it a lot in this match. But even for a really experienced player, it's so difficult. You know, if you can just punish that once or twice, it makes the matchup so much easier. It opens it up for our throws. It just opens up so many more opportunities for the Goki player. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. If a player, especially a player like Val, feels like they can be liberal with far roundhouses, then it's such an uphill battle. So I, I think that's a, it's a difficult thing. You can still win it without doing that. There's two basic approaches. Yeah. And yeah, I, I think KZ's been on the fence between both approaches. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think KZ was looking a little uh, timid in that matchup. Yeah, but see, that's the thing is I, I feel like you need to go really all in, which works for players like Yuki Toko, it works for players like Hurricane. Or you play really reserved, really yeah. 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 like zombies. Yes. This is Misu, Misu Ken. A lot of players would say, other than Chun Chun, Ken has the best chance in this match. Yeah. It's kind of an opinion and thing. I'm going to go with the same mentality of whoever wins the first round is going to win this match. That's basically how it works. Not every time, but. It's such a, it's such a, you know, advantage to win that first round. And the, the characters don't look the same, the moves don't look the same, but really the approach to the matchups is very similar to the match. Right. You know, saving meter hit terms are so important between each character. Really getting the most out of your focus is so important between each character. Yes. Prepare to strike. Now. I think Ken has to take advantage of the advantage that Shoto's have, which is Shoryu. Uh, which is, to a lesser extent, Fireballs. Which is escaping with toxic things like that. Let's go. Yeah, I think uh, having the uh, and Ralph's gonna take that. Having the ability to just shore you is really strong and really scary. See, I haven't had a chance. I, unfortunately, I was working yesterday. I haven't had a chance to watch Dashiken, but one of my favorite gotchas of all time, and I recommend this to anybody, is the Dashiken versus Ricky Maru. Right, and that's, that one's crazy. That is, you know, a master class in using shore you against a Chun player. That's if you're a Shoto player, it doesn't matter if you're Ryu, Ken, or Goki. Watch that matchup, and that'll really help you learn how to beat Chun. Because I, I think that's the key to beating Chun for anybody that's not a Chun player is you use the things that your character has that Chun doesn't have. Right. You know, try to get the most out of little things. It's going to be pretty hard to beat Chun in a low forward game. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like I was talking about earlier, you know, 
um, if China's doing uh, neutral jumps and you're a Shota player, you have, as we say in America, the Mexican uppercut, that low fierce. You yeah, know? Right. That's a great move against somebody that's doing up close neutral jumps. Mm. You know, use the things that Chun doesn't have to get an advantage. Never thought about it that way, but that's really, uh, I agree with you 100%. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's, it's really, it's important in every matchup, but I think that's a big fixation, especially in countries outside America, mm. is how do you beat Chun? Right. You know, if I'm a Dudley player, how do I beat Chun? Well, think about the things that Chun doesn't have. You know, it's always in any Street Fighter game, really. It's about playing your game, not playing your opponent's game. Exactly, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, so that you, it's a much higher chance in a team tournament that no matter how well you do, you're going to face a character that's going to have an advantage of you on paper. You know, so that that's one of the things they do so well in Japan is compensating against a matchup that's difficult against their character. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, watching TM play, he does exactly that. Like, he does what he can do with Q, and he counters people what they want to do. Um, yeah, exactly. It's, it's breaking people's expectations. Right. Um, I, I, I always felt, um, and I still feel it after I moved here, but especially when I was coming here on holiday, is playing against the low-tier characters here, it wasn't just the skill level, it was the approach yeah. to how they played on paper better characters than me. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just completely contrary to what I was used to. Right. You really have to relearn the matchups here. So we're taking a short break here, I guess. The, uh, the second playoff is going to begin. Looking at the bracket here, um, so we have the American team, Milky Boys. We have the uh, D's out team. I'm going to be very G-rated right now. That's right. Um, we have my team, La Cobra, the French team. Looking here, we have Koenji, uh, Hebo Ryo, Hiyama. Looking else, we have Mimora's team is actually in the playoff here. Wow. So they must have uh, lost in the first round. Mimora is a fan favorite. Yes. Who do you see? What was your prediction of who they put in the playoff there? I mean, I would say Mimora, but Kazuya might come up as well because Kazuya has always done well in, in these kind of big tournaments. Oh, that's See, so that's what we were talking about earlier is um, he's so good at Junkin style, right. you know? Um, and for those who are not familiar, that's just talking about your ability to guess, mm. you know? Uh, Kazuya is just... I'm consistently impressed with his ability to just, you know, read the player in, you know, that point blank situation. Yeah. And it, not only that, but Kazuya in tournament is he turns it up another notch. I totally agree. <laughs> yeah. He's just one of those Alexes I would be terrified to play against in a high stakes situation. So that's tough. Yes. So if my understanding is correct, they're going to have this playoff A finishes, and the winner of this playoff A goes to a playoff B with the second place people of the last tournament we just watched. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's really hard to explain. See, it's the only thing I'm, I'm really <laughs> sad about here is I see, I'm not going to spend all this time counting it, but it looks like nearly 20 teams, your team, my team, and our friend's team is all in this playoff, and one team will get out of here. It's 32. 32 teams here. <laughs> so thankfully, I, I don't think anybody, any of, the, any of our friends here is going to be super sad if we lose. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, we're going to try our best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if I'm out, uh, I'm going to be cheering for my friends without a doubt. Definitely. Yeah, that's just, think, you know, with 90 teams, man, I, I guess that's just what happens. You have 32 teams all vying for one spot in a playoff right now. Yes. This is the playoff to get into the playoff. <laughs> Amazing. Actually, I won this last year. Is that so? Yeah. And uh, I went to the playoff B. Mito, first round, got owned. Now is that. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> well, let's, let's. 
back up a little bit. Before you lost to Nito, what, what is the attitude you take in that situation? No, and How do you get through 32 teams? Well, I actually, you win one time, two times, three times. It's like four times. Yeah, yeah. Four it's wins. It's not a gauntlet. Yeah, uh, you win four games and you're in. And last year, um, I was so sick. I had like 101 degree fever. Um, I felt awful. I almost didn't even come. I somehow made it and I performed, but I was, I don't even remember playing. I was so sick. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes I, I almost feel like when my body doesn't have the energy to start getting anxious, that oh, can yeah. be an advantage too. I won't get too much into psychology. You know, I'm a, a layman psychologist by far, but, uh, you know, that's, that's, a, that's kind of the thing that's been on the back of my mind all day is uh, for third strike, th this is the one thing a year that we all have to look forward to. Right. And that makes it that much more of an opportunity for nerves to really take control. Mm. Um, compare it to the bigger games these days that have majors once every month or once every three weeks. This is our Super Bowl. You know, so uh, nerves become that much more of a factor. Um, it's just, it, it, it's really hard to play it cool in this kind of situation. Yeah. This, this is my fourth go around in Coop, and it's, it's hard to get all of that sort of anxious energy out. And this would be your, what, fourth or fifth? Um, this is my fifth Coop. Yeah. Yeah. I think our first one was both 2013. Yes. Yeah. And it's just great to see it go from the, the fourth floor of GameSpot Versus to this huge venue in Odaiba. I agree. Yeah. So, um, every year, I mean, the numbers, I don't know the exact number last year, but I know it was in the uh, four, maybe the high 400s. I think this year it's like a little bit more than that. Um, yeah, over 450. Yeah. So in this little lapse of time, um, I would like to say, I, I haven't looked at the stream numbers myself, but um, I imagine there's a lot of people who are watching that are not um, paying attention uh, day to day, week to week for Third Strike. If you want to get the latest happenings um, in an English language format, I, you want to go to thisisthirdstrike.com, which is run by Mika K.O., you want to join the Third Strike Junkies Facebook group. If you're from uh, the other side of the Atlantic, I recommend the Third Strike Europe Facebook group. Uh, that's daily discussions going on there in an English language format. That's the best place for networking, for matchmaking for online games. Um, and it's the best place to improve your game. There's still a lot of information and to, to make friends. I mean, to making friends is like one of the most important things about Third Strike, in my opinion. I, I won't <laughs> digress too much on this late, uh, but I've been thinking about this a lot lately. You know, we had the one big major I regret that I wasn't able to go to, the Fall Classic, and of all places, North Carolina. Raleigh, Durham. You know, uh, you take for granted that there good, there's going to be a scene in the major urban areas like LA, like New York. How is North Carolina able to keep a scene consistent and I think that's the biggest thing is for these old games, you know, you create a scene based on friendship, you know? Right. Me and Ryan have been good friends for nearly 10 years now. Um, it's uh, all of my good friends are third strike players. I think that's the most important thing to keep this game alive. Yes. I know that's true of all these guys here. And you see it on these teams, you know? Uh, the, who, who are the guys? the big players from Kyushu teaming up with. Other guys from Kyushu. Right. You know, everybody's teaming up with the players from their city. I think that's uh, one of the things that keeps a game that's nearly 20 years going strong is you bond with these games over friendship. You exactly. Know? I agree. So if, if you're out there trying to build a community, uh, I think that's what it is, is you make it a welcoming experience for people. I, I gotta say, you know, I've been living in Tokyo for eight months, mm. and I almost never go to the the big places because we have friends in the game centers in Ikebukuro, like Safari and Rumble Plaza. Exactly. It's about feeling at home in your local community, and so that's uh, one of the things that uh, I think is really important to keeping this game going. 
Yeah, actually, um, I have personal experience with that. When I first moved to Japan, I thought, well, I can play third strike every day against the top guys and have the, the best time of my life. What I realized after like three or four months was I don't have any friends here, <laughs> and it's not that fun to play with people I can't even talk to. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think that that's part of the reason why I keep playing third strike. It's it's kind of my niche. You know, I I gave Street Fighter Four a shot, but it was it was my friends that were playing third strike. Of course, it's the game I've always loved. But yeah, you know that that's been the key to keeping this game going and keeping this event growing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So this year, have you picked a favorite to win? Um, you know, I wish I had the, the winners of the, the last round we just saw, but um, I'm not sure who's still in it, to be honest. Um, it's true. But I know I saw matches before that weren't on stream. I saw RX team play versus boss's team. Mm, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. We saw that. Yeah, I, I was really happy to see. Um, it must have been about 45 minutes ago, but I don't think it was on stream. Was uh, KO versus boss. Wow. And I always feel like those are the two, you know, shining examples of that you know, 1,000% confidence style. Right. You know? <laughs> I agree. Those guys play like they just, everything's going to work. Whatever I want to do, I'm going to do it. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, people that play different Street Fighters always talk in terms of like, who are the five gods, you know, of that game? Mm. And I always would want to include those two. Yeah, I Because those agree. are the just absolute best in my eye when it comes to just this absolutely terrifying offensive style mm. you know it's almost a shame to see them fight against each other yeah i know i, I want to see them both in top eight I, I i hope that they're both able to make it to top eight um and then they both have this amazing ability to play all of those you know uh top tier abare aggressive style characters like makoto yang uh yun ken goki um, and they just played at the highest level of the game. Just seeing seeing them go against each other, it's I hate to use this phrase again at the risk of being redundant. It's just that master class of playing an aggressive third strike style. Yeah. I think so. Who won that by the way? Uh it was Boss? Wow, so this this was uh, there was an exchange there that I want to get your uh, take on is it was KO that won in the end, and the last exchange there, uh, Boss Yun did jab short strong, and then he canceled it into I want to say either strong or fierce dash punch. Mm, fierce. Okay, now that's got to be different red berry timing than shoulder, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, it's actually not a red berry; it's a blue berry. Well, I don't know what, there, there was still a, a red parry that happens. Okay. I don't know if it was a quicker cancel or something, but that had to be a different timing than jab shoulder, right? But KO still red parry. Yeah, it. maybe it wasn't fierce one then. I think it was the, uh, could have been jab or strong. Yeah. That, I, that's what won it for him? The, the missed timing or he parried it? He parried oh, it. Oh, okay. He parried it. Yeah. And so I was just wondering, is it the same parry timing or was KO just on such high form that he was able to predict a, a bit, a very unexpected choice there and still get a red parry. You know, I don't know what I think. I think KO is the third strike gods love KO and they gave it to him. <laughs> 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 they, they love him yeah. and uh, they make things like that work out. Yeah, that, that's one of those things... <laughs> that a lot of players say is it's a uh, kind of an inside joke, the third strike gods, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those games that happens so fast, you know, um, sometimes you can't overanalyze it. Yes. Sometimes you just got to say, you know, who, who got smiled upon that day? Right. You know, who was favored from high above? The ray of sunshine just shining on someone. Exactly. 
because no one's going to say, you know, clearly this guy or the other guy is better between KO and Boss. Right. You know, these guys are absolute legends in the game. Yeah. I'm, I'm, of course, I'm always curious to see how the uh, the gods of Chun Li are going to do today. Right. We have uh, Master Class. I know for sure is in the top eight, which is Ricky Morrow's team, because I saw them win. Um, I, I, that's one of the players I, I really enjoy watching uh, more than anybody. I, I I'm not the. the the biggest fan of Chun Li, of course, because it's tough for my character. But just that kind of like, is anybody better at the bully style of Chun than Ricky Maru? No, he's the biggest bully. Yeah, he, <laughs> he is the number one bully. Yeah. In Third Strike. When you play him, you feel like you're getting bullied. Takes you back to third grade. <laughs> exactly. You know. <laughs> Stealing your sweater. Yeah. In your, your crayons. You know, taking a bite out of your ham sandwich. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> Um, Who made that for you? Your mom? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoy watching him. I kind of, he's always in, been endeared to me because he was very uh, hospitable about being interviewed seven oh, yeah, years yeah, back yeah, yeah. in front of Mikado. Um, that's, if you want a, a little bit of Third Strike history during these breaks, there's a great interview on the I Play Winner YouTube channel. Uh, between me, my friend uh, Bean, and uh, Ricky Maru Chun Li. Mm. Yeah, he's a super nice guy. He's got some good English. And he was uh, the only guy to ever triple perfect me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never uh, ex heard anyone get triple perfected before except for you. So. Yeah, yeah. One of, one of the funnier anecdotes in my third strike career. Yeah. I, I caught Ricky Maru on a lunch break in Club Sega, and not even with his Chun, with his Yun. He uh, triple perfected me. Yeah, his Yun is probably the top, in the top 10 in Japan. I would say his Dudley is top five. That's, uh, that's one of those things where on one hand, it's so impressive, and on the other hand, it's so discouraging yeah. to see some of these guys that just play at such a high level, and then they pick a character that you really wouldn't expect them to also be able to win really difficult tournaments in, mm. you know? I could totally see Ricky Maru Yurian or Ricky Maru Dudley winning a tournament, not even in America, but in Japan, you know? It's incredible. I agree. Ricky yeah. Maru's sub-characters are the best. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, I think it's, it's especially true of the three uh, members of... Uh, um, Ghidorah, you know, mm, right? Uh, team that's not playing this year, but the you know just the three absolute best Chun players, Mov, uh, Nuki, and Ricky Maro, all have absolutely amazing uh, secondary characters. Right. I mean, that just makes them a true master of Third Strike. Yeah, I, it's something you see consistently with all of these players that you would put in the top ten of. Uh, third strike skill level mm. is all of them have second third fourth fifth characters that are maybe 99 percent of the skill level of their main right so now on the on the stream right now they're showing the the blocks so the first round um looking at this so we see ko family of course the qualified um so that the way it works here we go explain it easier is the first place team goes to the second round. The second place team goes to this, the round that's going to start right now. And the third place team is just sayonara. Yeah. See you next year. Well, I wish I could have a better understanding of kanji. I'd like to know what the PS3 OE team name is. Oh, I think it was something along the lines of like the countryside team. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like, yeah they only play on PS3 OE. Oh, that's really cool. Actually, one of the guys on that team I met at Yaban Paku, which is a all-night third strike tournament run by Kokujin. Ah. And I went there in Nagoya. Also sick. I guess I get sick a lot. And I lost. <laughs> That's, um, 
on on my like uh, bucket list of you know places to play Third Strike, and there's still many places. I want to go to Nagoya because two of my favorite players play there. Yeah. One would be Yuki Otoko. I've modeled my game after him for going on ten years, and everybody loves Kokujin. Right. You know, everybody loves Kokujin. So, anyways, I went to that tournament. I teamed with one of the guys from the OE. Uh, he only played online. He said the nearest player from him was like four hours away by car. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, so they still play online. Actually, the uh, Xbox and PS3 online edition still has some players in Japan that play. I well, I'll, I gotta say my words of encouragement to somebody that only has online. Maybe you don't uh, live in a anywhere near an urban area. Look at how far um, so many players have come online. Mm. You know, I mean, Yuki has had a bit of arcade experience, but he's made tremendous strides online. Um, my own teammate Lance almost has to play entirely online, and he's gotten, you know, way, way, way better than my old prejudices against online players right. would have made me expect. You know, you really can do um, a lot of improvement by playing online. I know, like, now there's a dedicated, like, chat group where all the guys get together and talk about playing online, and that's, that's basically where you want to go now. Yeah, yeah. And Xbox is the best place to do that. Um, so yeah, anyone that really wants to get into Third Strike, I recommend just getting the Xbox or PS3. I'm not sure which one is the most populated. I think Xbox is. But I don't want to discriminate against the PS3 guys. And then just making friends. Because you're not going to really get guys to play with just by searching around on the internet. You know what I, I think a big thing too that's just not mentioned enough is um, getting a mentor. Yeah. I, I think that really helps a lot. That was one of the first things I did maybe like 10 years ago was I was so lucky J.R. Rodriguez was uh, a UCLA player and he lives maybe that's that was 45 minutes from where I lived so that's something I recommend to anybody is if you can you can do that by online okay here we go looking at Getting this started now at this um, so Shinta's team made top eight uh, we're looking here KO family made top eight KO Family made top eight. Looking at Rao's team made top eight. I just got a pen here. I can start circling the teams. I missed them all. Show's team made top eight. It's another underrated superstar right there, Show. Right. He was profiled in one of the pamphlets a few years ago. So out of that, uh, I think I only got... KO family made top eight. So what, what's your favorite? Who do you think is going to win? Do you think it's going to be a favorite winning? Or is it going to be an underdog? In a Japanese tournament, I uh, it, it seems like underdogs have the advantage. Right. You know what I mean? Think about um, the, the KO curse, as we used to say. You right. know? He's always on a strong team, but uh, he always kind of has a hard time. Um, I mean, not just him in particular. He's a very strong player. Right. But, you know, he often plays on very strong teams. And then, you know, that, that's that single game format where there's somebody that just thinks, you know, I have no respect for this, you know, highly skilled player. I'm not going to play the way that they expect me to. Right. So I'm always... I mean, the year that you came first, 2013, Roshi Akari beat Ricky Morrow for the championship, which was totally of an underdog. Yeah, absolutely. I always remember this was years ago. I was watching a, a coupe made um, back in 2012 or 2011. And it's so vivid in my memory because it's a Chun versus Goki match. Mm. And it was uh, Jiro who just was absolutely ruthless against MOV. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He got the Shingoku Sats against him. Right. It was just absolutely ruthless. That was 2012, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. You know, and it's just it, that kind of um, upset happens every year. 
yeah. at Coop. It's just that that team single game format, mm. which just it, it makes it great when you're a spectator, and it makes it great if you're a Goki or a Makoto player too. I gotta say. Right. So right now they're gonna cycle through again, and we're gonna look at who made top eight. I got all these papers here. I'm I'm all I'm a mess right now, but I'm gonna try to figure it out. Because actually, me and John are in the next round, so we are going to have to turn the mic back over to Duralath and uh, Thomas here. Um, I mean, yesterday, Deshiken, of course, we know he can uh, turn it up. <laughs> so he's a favorite. Still has to qualify for top eight, but he's a favorite. And last year, I think... The Rouse team was the same, I'm not sure. Mester, Rao, Eno, Matsuken, Shintaro. Sounds about right. They might be a favorite to win. Whoever gets hot, basically. Yeah. Well, that's, as every, I mean, like I said, I hadn't watched it. But anybody that's ever seen Deshikin play knows that he is one of the, uh, greats on a hot streak, right. you know. I, it's, he's one of those guys that just is one of the absolute best at playing without fear, you know, riding the momentum. So I didn't realize that he was in the playoff with us. Do you know who's playing uh, representing for your team? No, I don't even know that. Uh, so my team is probably going to be gunfight after yesterday he also did really good in top eight mm -hmm. big congratulations to him to be on the uh the, the big boy big boy Dudley yeah. team yeah yeah i want to ask him how that happened but yeah he he did very well yesterday it's definitely not that he doesn't deserve it no uh, yeah yeah it is a bit uh, rare for a foreigner to get picked up on one of those big boy teams like that yeah Happened to Ryan two years ago, I think, teaming with uh, RX. And again, not that Ryan didn't deserve it. Yeah, that year, I uh, it was very fun. RX did amazing. I played really bad that year. I still, I'm still sad about it. <laughs> uh, I I can't even imagine the pressure of playing alongside on your team someone like RX. Yeah. You know, you know the amount of uh, expectations mm. on your shoulders. Okay, here we go. Sorry, we have uh, home something. Next, master course. Next team is Thanatos Daigaku. <laughs> Funny team name. Uh, next we have the something moody. I don't know what that kanji is. And we have here KO family. Of course, we got that. And here next we have Rao's team. And the last we have Kuni shows Nuki's team. Okay, so going back here. Should have some gameplay pretty soon. First entrance in the top eight, Haitani, MOV, Momochi, Vanau, Saru. What do you think about that? Oh boy. Uh... Haitani, MOV, I, Momochi need no introduction to everyone. Absolutely. Pro gamers. Yeah. Um, every single one of those players is, if, if they were on the team and or if they were one man teams, mm. you know, they, they would be scary. Right. Uh, next block, top eight, we have Master Course, Ricky Maru, uh, Nitsu, Mochi, Kabetsu, Game Center, Arashi. <laughs> Scary players. Right. Absolutely frightening. Uh, Kabitsu was the uh, hero, I think, last year for, for Coop. That's right. Next, we have uh, Thanatos Daigaku, which means Thanatos College. <laughs> that is a Say Elena, Thanatos Oro, uh, Tempura Dudley, Akagairu Alex, and uh, Aoi Yurian. Less recognizable names, but strong players nonetheless. Right. Next, Efu Dudley, Nishikawa Yang, Shinta Yun, Decoy Goki, Zako Alex. That's who your team lost to. Eh, 
that uh, I, I only have familiarity with that Goki, but uh, he was <laughs> he he, uh, he beat us up pretty bad. That's, right. that's all there is you can say about it. Looking here at our playoff bracket. There we go. Well, the room's filled up quite a bit. Everybody in steep anticipation of their playoff matches. Mm. I mean, my team's going to play, and your team's going to play. Oh. I would imagine our team is uh, having uh, our delegate be Makoto Mike, a.k.a. Mommy. Mm. Strong character, strong player in a single person format. Right. Former top eight uh, Evo player. I believe in 2007 or 2008. I can't remember exactly. I can't remember. It might have been seven. Yeah, I might have been seven. Yeah, that's what I want to say as well. So yeah, as I said before, the winner of this entire playoff, one winner, will go to the next playoff round. <laughs> and just look as it look at this bracket as it scrolls down. Think about how many big boys are going are, home. Yeah, exactly. They're going to be in the stands, and uh, little boys like me will right. probably be in the stands. Hmm. There's our Japanese commentary team. Feels a bit like uh, WrestleMania. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Someone's gonna go through this table right here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Who's it gonna be going through this table? Yeah. Well, it's, I gotta say, it's, it's a real uh, privilege to be able to be part of the uh, first ever English commentary team. Yes, for I'm very Coop. thankful. Yeah, yeah. I wanna say a, a big thank you to everybody that's tuning in right now. Mm. Um, it's just the absolute loss for words. Yeah, I'm at a loss yeah, for words here. Exactly. Like I said, it's our Super Bowl. It's our WrestleMania. You right. Know? Um, it, I look forward to this event all year. Yes. That's, that's why it's my fourth time around. That's why it's Ryan's fifth time around. You know, the, the amount of time and money I've spent uh, preparing for and coming to Japan for Coop. Um, I don't even want to think about it, but every every cent is worth it. I was talking to uh, Frankie from New York, and I was telling him about how like once you come to Japan to play in Coop, you're gonna come every year for the rest of your life. And he was <laughs> like, "Yep, see you next year. <laughs> I'll see you next year." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I think so too, man. You get the bug. Yeah, you get the bug. I know people who go to Evo uh, back in the States feel that way too. Right. When you finally make that trip, you think, well, I'm, I'm just going every year now, you know? Right. Um, and that, that was how I felt after my first Evo. That was how I felt after my first trip to Japan. Um, it's, there's something electric about it, mm. you know? And I, I, there's something just crazy, too, about seeing, I, I wouldn't be able to count, but there's probably, you know, probably close to 25 head-to-head -head cabinets for Third Strike in this room. Yeah. How do they even get them all here? That's what we were talking about yesterday. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Man. So, you know, in addition to all the thank yous we've already given out, this is, what, the 15th Cooperation Cup? It is. Thank you, Matsuda. Yeah, Matsuda is the owner of Game Newton and the basically the chief of yeah, Cooperation exactly. Cup. Yeah, exactly. The boss man. Yeah. Uh, you've heard his commentary for years. Yes. On so many Third Strike tournaments. You know, I, I always feel like the guys that organize tournaments, they... Um, they don't really get the appreciation that they deserve, you know? Right. Um, all right. So we're starting here. <laughs> well, thank oh. you for your patience. Yes. We're about to get started here. Both of our teams are in this, but we're somehow going to miss it. Uh, we're going to stick it with that with you guys. Well, we're doing our thing, you know? 
I don't think either of us was chosen for commentary, so. Yeah. Or, I mean, not chosen for commentary, I'm sorry. Chosen to represent. Sorry. Okay, we have our intro video. Get excited. That's just another little bit of coop that I love. Yes. Sorry, we missed half of the video because of my fault. Send hate mail to me. I'm sure you can hear a little bit of the crowd noise in the background. Right. A this full house here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on pins and needles right now. So looking at the bracket here, it's going to be pretty tough to find out who's playing because we don't know who the representative is. Um, and this is like yeah, we're, we're gonna try our best. We this bracket is probably size four font, so yeah. get your magnifying glass out. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we have a Dudley Makoto here. This is to quote good old Jr. the slobber knocker. Yes. I heard Dudley players say Makoto has the advantage. I heard Makoto players say Dudley has the advantage. Uh, it's it's just uh, and both players want to be right up close. You know, both players do big damage. Both players do big stun. Yeah, this is a this is a fist fight. This man. It is. Yeah. Gloves off. The choice of corkscrew blow is interesting. Yeah. Whoa. One chance here, Sage Shusen. In many ways, uh, the health doesn't even matter. No. Anybody can win at any instant. Yeah, I'm totally glossed on who these people are, but We're trying please, our best, please enjoy yeah. the matches. Yeah, see, you're seeing the Makoto player take advantage of it. Right. Is that crouching roundhouse is powerful in this match. Right, it is. The and the problem, dart super, dart super. Oh, this the dart. Now, that's what I was talking about with the choice of corkscrew. Is dart shot corkscrew is a bit less reliable than rocket in this case. Right. Rocket uppercut. All right, cut to Oro versus Makoto. That Yagudama is so hard to escape. Yeah. With the mix-up. See, I think you'll see a lot of Makoto players in this playoff, because Makoto shines in this format. Right. Another unblockable setup. And this is textbook right here. Oh, now they can quick roll here. Ah, was able to recover and still get the unblockable from it. You win. Oro takes that. So that's something to pay attention to with a Super R2 uh, Oro, is whether they're able to get the Super to hit one hit, because that changes whether the opponent can tech roll or not. Right, so if the opponent gets hit by the, the ball, you can't tech roll. Yeah. And if you can't tech roll, you basically get unblockable. Yeah, there's, there's nothing you can do. If they can tech roll, it's a little bit easier. Cutting to the the red match, the match of on Mars. <laughs> Highly recommended you pick your character's red color. You can stay camouflaged. And this is round one, by the way, so. Nice parry. Can he do it? Can he mix him up? Uh, nice guard though, that was really good. Wow, great. It's definitely a matchup where the, the Elena player... Oh, this is, this is Tax Elena. Very wow. nice guy. Yeah, we uh, a lot of us foreigners were playing against him in Ikibukuro just the other day. Right. Elena has a lot of cheap moves in this matchup, but uh, she's easily juggled. Her hitbox is pretty wide. So Tax takes that. That was actually. Um, I love seeing his enthusiasm. There. That was Zod, Zod the Urian. Just 
Just jumping between matchups here. Makoto player seems to be off to a dominant start. Could this be the Milky Boy? It oh, is! Oh, there we go! M Makoto Mike. Yeah. Final round. Let's California do it. California boy Let's right try there. our best, Mike. A nice charge, Hayate. Yes, good luck. Makes it a bit safer. But the Chun player continue to play it safe. Gets him from corner to corner. This is Ed Edda. Edda Chun Li. Mike's got to say, Chusen, there's one chance to close it out here with his super. And... Well, my team's out. And that team is out. Yeah. But I'll, I'll keep my spirits high to keep the commentary going. It's <laughs> 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 not, not easy to watch from so far away. Good effort, though. No, absolutely good effort. Mike never seemed flustered. Cutting here to Dudley Chun. This is gonna be. Prepare to strike now. Rocket uppercut Dudley, by the way, which I really like. Me too. Look at that. Look at that damage. Uh, it's kind of a simple strategy, but just for Dudley in a, in a matchup where you're disadvantaged, get the super that does a lot of damage, so when you hit, you do a lot of damage. Yeah, when you're gonna hit, you gotta hit hard. Exactly. I mean, it's kind of, it sounds too simple to work, but it really does work. Right, another rocket here. And I have one chance to close it out right here. And oh! Oh, no! Wow. I think that's got to be every Dudley player's favorite move. It's the Jump with Fierce EX Jeppa. It just feels good to hit that. I agree. The await your return. And it's, I, it's just unreal. I, I still don't understand why that hits so often for Dudley. Now are we back to Tax Elena here? It might be. It's the same color. This is not. This is not a fun one for a lady. Go. Yeah, this is Tax Elena versus the Chun Li that just beat Mike. A Makoto Mike. See, this Elena is the one character that it's kind of. She kind of does have to be Chun in her own game. Right. They're, her moves are so similar. Tax is, you know, staying strong, keeping her in the corner, keeping good spacing, getting that, his hits in. That back fears is so good against Elena. Yeah, it really is. Still alive here. Oh. Wow. Whoa! Wow! Now that has to feel good. Final round. Now. He went yes. for the parry though, so that was yeah. good. But that is a hard red parry. This is a tense final round here. The, the payoff for the super for Elena is a lot less than the Chun. Oh, wow. And he gets a super. Tax with the wake up shorty, that was good. Showing no fear. Showing no fear. Now really gonna have to show no fear. A good effort. Didn't back down in the end, but went down and away without regrets. Right. Right, we have a Ken and a Tudley here. This is our guy who just won with the raw EX Jeppa. Right, Now this is definitely a matchup where uh, the choice of corkscrew blow, that's 100% the best now. idea. Yeah, this Dudley player was the guy that uh, he beat Ricky Mara last year in the first round, and then uh, 
you know, Ricky Martin qualified out of the playoffs, but he wow. was a hero last year. I remember them because they wore suits last year as well. <laughs> suits to Cooperation Cup. I, uh, I can't imagine that they just got off work before heading to the I like that kind of uniform style. Whoa! Nice target combo. That was interesting because he did get the toward forward, which he could have hit confirms. Oh boy. Wanna switch? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So um uh, sure. Sure, yeah, so we're okay for now, yeah. We have Oro here, Oro Shun, which is a very tough matchup for Oro. Of and course Although I, I will say guys like uh Kuroda and Banal make it look much easier than conventional wisdom says. Right. If if Chun doesn't tech roll there, it the round's over. And the Oro players, they do the super right when Chun hits the ground, so it's hard to tech roll. That's a really smart thing. A lot of uh, players that play Oro and Yuria need to take advantage of. Strange combo there. Yeah. I think that didn't combo. Whoa. Might not have. You <laughs> wait. So yeah, these, these matches are really rapid fire. So yeah, we, we've got teams uh, that are uh, getting eliminated right. left and right. right. So please uh, accept our apologies for not knowing who's playing, but just enjoy the co the matches. Enjoy the matches. Okay, we got the Dudley player back again. And... I know Fugu's on the team. I, I, I gotta say thank you to Ryan, who has a little bit more familiarity with the Japanese scene and the Japanese language to be able to keep us up to date with who's playing. Right. We're trying our best, thank but it's moving very fast right now. Right, back to the action. So this Chun has to, I mean, this Dudley's putting in work against Chun here. I know. <laughs> the Chun gauntlet. He definitely has the momentum on his side. After playing third strike for, I don't know, it's 11 or 12 years now, I've seen it a few times where someone just gets hot, not just in general, but hot against Chun, you know? Yes. That, I mean, it's a really rare thing. Oh, there you see right there. Mm. The Soup Boys. Go. It's really getting the mileage out of the dark shot, which is hard. I don't care who you are. No character has good answers to dark shot. And that damage needs a miracle. Just consistently showing uh, good decision making, uh, good confidence. Yeah, so I know Fugu's on that team, but I think they, he signed up with another name because I'm not seeing it on the list here. I wish I could know exactly how many teams have been eliminated in the past 20 minutes. Yeah. It's got to be. So I, what they did was they did uh, the entire left side of the bracket first. Oh, well, there you go. And they're going to do the right side after that. A lot of our friends out there, probably a record number of foreigners that have come to Coop this year. Right. There's got to be like 50 
<laughs> non Japanese people. It's unreal. Mimora, here we go. Mimora. All right. So it is the right side of the bracket now. I think uh, you don't have a pulse if you don't like watching Mimora play. Win or lose, he just plays in a beautiful style. This is uh, Knee Hero, Urian. That is a rough one for uh, Urian players. Fighters ready. Engage. So, Mimora, the master of the Seichusen. Yeah. He plays the fastest out of anybody in the world. Yeah. It's an another one of those things that just sounds, you know, too simple to be good, but just play fast. Yeah. Look at him play. Just play fast. Yeah. I'd love to try that. It looks so fun. <laughs> yeah. Just his, but he doesn't just play fast. He plays clean. Yes. You know? Perfect play. Yeah. It, it, it really, that looks perfect. You right. Know? I, I think that's so important for the um, aggressive side of the cast. Look at these guys oh. giving the business cards, Japanese style. Mimura's like, what do I do with this? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. So a, a little bit of uh, Japanese culture for you. Yes. Exchanging business cards. So this must be, this might be almost close to the final match to exit this bracket. <laughs> Who do you have your, uh, your money on, Mimora or the suit guy, Suit Dudley? It's like I said earlier, um, it, it's, it's a slobber knocker, you know? Dudley yeah. versus Makoto. Uh, I, I have less familiarity with the Dudley player, but he just shows very little weakness right now. Right. Um, just tons of confidence. Um, but Mimora is Mimora. Mimora is Mimora. Yeah. I mean, if you don't know Mimora during one of these breaks, watch his uh, compilation video and uh, you'll be absolutely impressed with him. Uh, whenever you guys are ready. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine right now. Yeah, we're fine right now. Just finish up this bracket. Yeah. This bracket's almost done, and then we're gonna swap out. Yeah. Glad to do this. Well, like I said, it's, it's been an absolute honor. It's really nice to be here. <laughs> to, to commentate a Memora match just feels so cool. EX Shepa, nice. I yeah. like that. Just, I'm not scared of you. Yep. Mimora is just insane. Yeah, this is a, a tough situation for both players that, you know, kind of half screen neutral game. Neither character is a fitzy character. This is not going to kill, but it's going to put one mix up left. And gets him with that anti air roundhouse. Nice. That's a, t a strong situation for Mora. He, he doesn't need the meter to be scary in the Jonkin. Right. Mimora already almost has another stage choose and, and he has it now. And Sage Chusen takes it. Perfect play. Perfect play again. <laughs> Mr. Perfect gets the Grammy Award. There you go. <laughs> Best actor in a comedy series. Yes. <laughs> And look at that. I mean, see, that's what we are talking about earlier. Yeah. That's the opposing team. And, you know, happy to pose for a photo. It's so positive. Yeah, it's cool, man. That's, I, I, I love the atmosphere of Japanese tournaments. It's very refreshing. Very friendly. So it looks like, if I can understand correctly, M Mimora's team won the playoff A bracket. Which is Mimora, Kazuya, 
Nimura Kazuya Magu. Uh, Freshi and Aloha Chun Li. A deserving team, absolutely. What does that that would would that put would that put the hero of yesterday out? Deshken? Yeah. No, I think Deshken's in the in the next one. Ah, I see. Well there it is. Uh, it's on display for you guys right now. I think we'll be uh, switching out pretty soon. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much mm. for hanging in with us. I know, yeah. I know that um, that format, the the single player format, it was really rapid fire and difficult to follow. Okay. Um, we did our best there. It, it, it just it goes by in an instant. Um, but you have your results now. Mm. Okay. So Mimora's team is going to be uh, Mimora, Mimora, yeah, okay. advancing. I know Mimora is kind of a crowd favorite, favorite, one of the faces of the uh, Japanese scene in wrestling terms. Just to go you know. over these, we, we we just got these hot off the presses, the plant or the uh, playoff two brackets. Looking here, we have. Um, any, I'm just going to highlight the the main big matches. So we have uh, Mori B, Hiyashins, Higa, Terra, Kera versus uh, Godai, Dotto, Sumun, Remy. That's going to be good. So Mikado. I mean, yeah. It's going to be hard to explain these matches to you guys. It's going to show up on the screen soon. BM Jiro versus uh, Out's team. Bagon Yun. BM Jiro is another fan favorite as well. Um, block two we have here. We have BBK, Taco Dana Baba team. Oh, there you go. Uh, the Baba Mikado, right? Yeah, Baba Mikado. We have uh, Hayao's Hugo. That's an absolute legend of the game. Mm. One of the most underrated players, if you ask me. Real pleasure to watch. Go check out the old 2003 SBO videos if you want proof. This is Third Strike. It's going to go against Tominaga's team. Tominaga match boss Furo K. Wow, now that is a difficult draw. But uh, the, the New York team, no slouches on that team. No you know, slouches. They're in this playoff for a reason. Um, it's uh, that's gonna that's gonna be a bruiser of a match. We also have Deshken's team in block two. Okay, there we go. Versus uh, uh, Okinawa team. Asahi Chun, who might be the best female third strike player I, I've ever seen. I gotta say so. And we have uh, RKF's team playing against Chance's team. Oh boy. Mm. Chance Makoto. Right. Very strong player. Kokujin's team is in this too. Play against uh, Matsushita Ibuki. I can see uh, the guys up on stage are our friends from Safari, who you had mentioned earlier. Right. From me and Ryan's local game center, Safari and Ikibukuro. Right. This is the Mikado, um, not to be confused with Mikado Baba, this is a Mikado. Um, gentlemen's Club. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Some guys with a sense of humor over yes. there. Yes. So we play with those guys all the time. Uh, Takahashi, Negichi. You know, we play with them every day. I don't even know their names. <laughs> yeah, I hate to say that. Nagi. I hope they don't understand Takeshi. English. So I think we're going to tag out now yeah, before the yeah, second yeah. round starts. 
So we're gonna turn the mic over to uh, Tom. Back to Tom and I'm not sure yeah, who's thank up. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, uh, enjoy the, the rest of the broadcast. Everybody. Yeah, and uh, hope you stick with us until the end. Yeah. See ya. See you. Stunt on them? Oh, I have oh, Avengers Assemble. Avengers Assemble, all right. Let's see what we got here. It's fixing my hair. It's, it's been raining outside, so I had a hood on. Oh, I can't see go. anything. <laughs> you don't need to see anything, you just need a style, okay? Um, Block B, Block B. We are in playoff section B. And I had the list, but it's gone now. Uh, let's see. Block playoff B. There's the other like side over here. That might be it. What did I own now? All right. Can we get an update on on the Gaijin teams? Are have they drowned in pools? Have they gone zero and two? Have okay. they pulled off a miraculous comeback? And so uh, a, a couple of the Gaijin teams did make it to losers playoffs. This is Third Strike, the main Gaijin team. Uh, they're in the losers playoffs right now against Tomonaga's team. I already know that Nika Ko is uh, going to be the one who ends up fighting for their team. Uh, the uh, Uf uh, Texas UFO team, I believe, got eliminated. Dix out was able to hit uh, playoffs. That's a I'm Gaijin like, there, team. Yeah. There's all Gaijin teams there. Yeah. They allowed that name in the registration. Y you know what? It, 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 this is third strike. What do you expect? Like they're they're going to let it fly. It, the, there's no. No worries about the names here. They thought, it, and you know what? The stream thought it was funny. They, well, they had a blast with it. Of course, the stream thought it was funny. <laughs> Those, yes. their juvenile behavior. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you know, it's a good time. You know, it's it's, it's time to have fun with it. All right. I you know, it's 2017. Up. I think we should let the 2016 memes die and make new ones. That's that's my resolution. All right. I think we're about to get to, into a match. I hear the right. character selects. All right, let's see what match we've got up going right now. Ken versus Makoto. This is... All right, it's game time here. Here we go. Hi. Ken with the offensive. Strong. Catches. Catches Makoto. Go forward. Shibu Jinrai. Super. Inoue versus... Inoue versus Mester. No, that's that's the uh, that's who's on commentary in the Japan side. Okay, I was about to say that, that's all right. This is uh, is this Deshiken? This is Deshiken, the green Ken. Dash. You talk about the movement, you talk about the green, and those sick confirms. Yep. Deshiken, the hero of last night's pre co-op. Versus. Here, strike now. Yoki, I think Makoto on two player side. All right, here we go. We find Deshken's team on here if I can. It'll be Ken Masters. Yeah. God, this is too hard to read. Right. That's low forward, not confirmed in anything. Makoto still looking to get that offense started. No, it's no strong. No strong again. You can leak or cancel no strong into Shipu. The taunt for attack boost, the throw in the corner. Makoto tries to exit out. Short, short, super. Deshken on the offensive. Can close it out right here. Is he gonna pee another one? Another green bar. Green like his gi. Is it gonna happen? Alright, has a meter. Makoto has to be he wants careful to pee. He wants to pee! And the green bar! We don't pee on people, we get green bars here! 
Dash Cam advances. He's got full coverage full on coverage. the Wi Fi, the super green bar. All right, here we go. He's next using Verizon. Match. Yes, next match here Chummy versus Dudley. Oh no. In the midst of it, nice throw, corner throw. Chun Li, look in the pressure. She's got one bar. Dudley's got to be very careful. No openings. One opening could spell death for Dudley. Very tense moments right now. Z, what are you thinking right now? Well, this is Koku Jin. I think he has a chance. Oh, very oh! true. You're right. Koku Jin has a chance. He confirms the tour forward into the super. Aye. Oh my gosh. He calls it. Koku Jin. Z calls it. There's that chance right there. Koku Jin keeps it going, keeps it alive. The pizza beast. I think Koku Jin, because he's the most stable and has the most tournament experience, they leave him as the anchor. But he may not be like the most, like have the most in terms of raw skill. Right. But he's a great anchor because he doesn't uh, crack under that pressure. So. It's just the point I was actually going to make. He's not going to crack under the pressure. He's been there before. Yep. This man is the the Dudley pioneer. Moving to another match: Goki versus Yun. And now again, remember what you're seeing, folks. You're seeing the losers playoffs. So any team that has gone one and one in pools, what happens is they go into a separate bracket, and these teams pick their best player, and each team plays a oh. best one out of one match. One player, single Elin. There is no double Elin here. Punish on the lunge punch. Wow, great defense from this Goki. Oh, is it gonna hit on the line? Oh, he caught the dive kick. He caught the dive kick. Luca in the back popping off. Yes. Now. Nice, he got the launcher. Look oh. forward. Activate an agent. Overhead. Is he gonna get a tempo? No, he tries to bake. No tempo for you. That was probably the best Gen Agent defense you could do with Goki in that situation. Very good point, yes. Oh, oh no. Crush counter? We got those. <laughs> nice. Still alive. Woo! The crowd going wild. Alright. Wow, Tatsu has a defense to get out. He gets met with a tough defense, yes. Great damage mitigation with that Tatsu. Gets himself out of the corner. So you has got to be careful. If he blocks the Tatsu, if the hits, if the hits cross over him, it'll actually cross him up. So he has to block in, so in the opposite direction. Aye. Aye. Oh, oh, that too far. Oh, so there you go. Yeah. Cross up right there. All right, he went jabs, throw. Short, 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 nothing. Hit him with a reset. Good. Bow didn't finish the Smart. parry sequence. Activate an agent. Wow, lock up tension. Reset, got it. Reset, meter, meter gain, huge, half a meter, almost half a meter. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> a Coomer Natada. Good defense against those gaining gins. Very well done. Well, the tension is high here, folks. Moving on to Alex Urian. Oh Ooh, no! Great parry. Okay. What was that direction of lock after Yuri, he... Yuri team's still alive there now. He got the unlockable. Yuri, uh, Alex is a big body. Not easy for Alex. This is not a fun match. But you know what? It's okay because he got the Batista bomb. Here we go. Alex trying to push to the corner. He's using the NWO Alex for life. Nice EX, EX flash chop. All right. Corner pressure. Now we're back. Almost fighting his way out of the corner. Back into the neutral. Slash, short slash, safe, unblock. Nice! Ah, Batista bomb yet again. Nice! nice. Stand strong, EX splash shot. Oh, caught him in there, reset. Right. Nothing though. Nice. What? Stomps on the boots. Two boots. Tycho, Aegis. What? Oh, what was that? Go ahead. Wake up, super. How does he punish this? Okay, Yuri has one more meter. He's got to burn it now. Yes, he can head overhead. No, not anymore. Last, oh, yes. No. Got him on the overhead. The overhead wins it. I have a feeling the Alex might have been trying to keep a charge, but it wasn't very good at that point. Here we go to a Makoto versus Ken match. Tries to go for Fukiyage, but the Fukiyage not gonna land. Too, too far away. Dash back, low forward, Shibu Jinrai, the super from Ken. 10 hits. Here we go with the mix up. Lands in front, corner back throw. Tech throw yet again. Another throw. Uh oh. Karakazan, Kamehameha. Makoto on the offensive. 
Nice. The crouch jab with a little more range than the crouch strong. Dash up throw. Oh no. Oh! The he parried. It's Onoshi. He knew it was coming. On that, he knew it was coming. Final round. Nice. Now Makoto with very little meter, but she gets a little torque fierce to start the round. Sizable damage. Command. Dash up. Command grab. EX. Oh, uh, he read it that time. Fakes the fakes a, a super setup for the throw is tech. Nice. Now we got another corner throw. That is our Lord and Savior Desh Ken. Bring in, bring in the heat. Wow, Short. landing with the target combo. Nice. Into Shibu. Ooh. Tops out of nowhere. He's not too worried right now since Makoto doesn't really have a full meter just yet. Now she has a full meter. He's got to be very careful. That strong could have been death. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey. That's dead. That should be dead. Almost, uh, almost there. Pixels. Nice. Oh. Wake up super red by Deskin. And it gets mauled by the team. Look at the love shown by his team. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cooperation Cup. This is why wow. they call it Cooperation Cup. Not Independent Cup, or Selfish Cup, or no. Hubris Cup. That they would have in America, but no, cooperation. No, it's got to be cooperation. You're right, Z. Group because thought. It is a team effort. You got to get your group bonds together. You got to make sure that it's everybody enjoying the experience here. Oh, I think Coco Jin is yeah, playing right Jin. now. Playing against Yang. Let's see. Ooh, nice. I remember that Dudley Rose about creating the Waco games for Dudley. Here we go. Man, One this must be so hard to breathe oh, with those masks on. It's hot in here. These guys are playing with adrenaline. You know what? Those are the risks you take when you play the game of Third Strike at Co-op Cup. Especially this year, 2017. It's madness here. Oh, yes, man, that's good block. Yep. Oh, that connected. Wow. Ooh. Oh, short uppercut. The reads. He had a read. LeVar Burton, the reading rainbow. Tech throw. Jin looking to close us out. Yes. I, I like it. Super delayed EX jet upper. You see Koku Jin with that knowledge. Knowing what's going on at every moment in the game. You cannot count him out. Here we go. All right, so. Welcome back, folks. It is your boy Duralat on the mic. I'm being joined by, I'm gonna give thanks to this man, Z, right now. Without Z, we don't get this English stream for co for a Cooperation Cup. Thank you, Z, no, for helping us a... organize this and helping us kind of get ourselves on the map here. Well, it's a once a year thing. Mm. And I think it's a good glimpse into Street Fighter pre esports. Right, right, right. So if you look at a Capcom Pro Tour, everyone has some acronym in front of their name. Right. Because they're either sponsored or they have like a pseudo bootleg sponsor. Right. But here, the sponsored players in that Momochi, Haitani, um, Nuki team, I think it is. Right. Those guys are the minority here. So there's more amateurs than there are pros, and that's right. the exact opposite situation of what's happening in 2017 right. uh, with everything becoming more and more esports. There, there are so many killers yeah. all around for Third Strike that you know it doesn't matter if you're your you're sponsor or not, somebody can win right. this, and you might not even know who they are. And Here if you we, look at the uh, celebration, the award ceremony yesterday from uh, oh, yes. Deskin and his yes. team when they won, yes. you would think they had won $200,000. Right, that's correct, but you know what? They Co played, got, there's no cash prize. They played for nothing. Nothing but uh, being entered into the wiki pages in the annals of uh, Cooperation Cup history. Yeah, it, it's about pride at that point, and we, we play for love of the game. Aye. Nice! The parry punish! Is that Kokujin? That is Kokujin! Pizza Beast himself! Are you ready? Go. And not only are the pro players the minority here, they're also not the strongest players. Like, they can get their. I, I can safely. pushed in. Right, I can safely say that the level of play here. Is just mind blowing. The average player here is strong, scary strong. Right now, granted, the pro players in their prime were super good, and if, if not the best players, but here when they've been uh, splitting time with some other games, they uh -huh. can get bullied. It's like a reverse situation. Right, right, right. 
One thing an average player has got to remember about playing against any of these players here, you're not going to have the element of fear very easily against them. They've seen everything, and they all train against each other. There's... Hi. Nice jump back. In fact, I think uh, it now. was... Momochi, who had looked up to this Ken right here, this green Ken. Yes. This Ken. And modeled his game, his third strike gameplay after him. Oh, nice. He had the range a little more, reaching very far. Gets the super. Here we go. Kukujin responds to low, strong, and super. Oh, oh crush no. counter. Big damage. Yes. MG, okay, Max. Takes a simple quarter carry. Ooh, oh, that's the that's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. <laughs> what is this? The hero of pre co op cup slain by the pizza beast himself. Oh my god. Wow. Right, How does that happen? How does the pre co op champion get vanquished by a personality? And you know. No, no, no. no, no, no. I know, I know. I know, I know. I'm know. tricking the 16ers here. <laughs> you gotta keep him in check, Z, right? That's wow. kind of wild. That's wild. But you know what? This Zurian is doing work against this Yun. Here we go. Watch the bully get bullied. Oh wait, he loses his green bar. Da, 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 oh no! I have a feeling... See, right there the dash punch. If, da, if, he, if the dash punch hits three times on a standing Urien, Urien can still throw. It's not safe for the Yun. I have a feeling that that was actually a shoulder, but a missed input. Too bad, so sad, goodbye. Looks like we have a Mac Mirror. They're gonna go with uh, different essays. Yes. About a Tosanami and Sage Sen. Let's see which uh, oh, Super Art will prevail. Tominaga is player two, the master of the touch of death. He can do the TOD quite yeah, consistently? He, okay. He can, he can land touch of death on anybody. We got the Black Makoto versus Tominaga. Now we were we were talking about Makoto mirrors earlier. It might be advisable to play Super 2, even if you are a Super 1 Ooh, player. Oh, another of those parries in the... Nice. Here goes EX Oboshis. There we go, EX. Looks like we won't see a TOD. He was burning all his meter for the... EX Hayates. And, and you know what? That's, that's okay. He's got the commander. That's death. The, the good thing is, you know what? You have the... The, the fact that it is Tominaga, is you have now. that in the back of your mind, and you know he can use that against you. Between Tominaga and Kokujin, the Kangol Hats are here to rule in the main event of Co-op Cup. <laughs> Kangol Hats are Ooh. back in. Gosh, the Karate Kid Chop. Nice. Good read. On Fukiyage. Oh, and he parried a Fukiyage on the crowd? Nice. Oh, no. I, oh wait, no, wait. No, 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 meter, no, meter, no, 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 no. Damn. He opts to go for the damage. I'm almost praying he gets the meter for the third round. He's not just so we can see a TOD. He might get it. Told me now go with a dash show his tech. Wow, you can hear how. I. You can hear the. I had to faint in the sweep. Oh, nice. Here we go. Final, Final round. Round. Now. Ooh, look at that slow back walk. Oh no, alright. Nash is we gotta get yep. it. Yep. But he has the meter now, burns it. Another overhead, karate overhead. chop! One more over? No, he should have gone overhead again. Hi! Oh, dead, 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 dead. Stun, stun, gets a juggle. Tommy Naga. Don't mess with the Kangos and the Jinkle Pants. That 90 style still proving that it's alive. Tommy Naga, the master of S2, doesn't even need it, and he wins. Group hugs, baby. We're playing volleyball after every point. We await your return. But no spandex. No, no, no spandex. All right, folks, you just witnessed second round of the, the playoff playoff level B. Just, just amazingness. We got Coco Jim back. Ooh, looking like he's sitting looks down. like he's taking the first spot. Right. So it looks like they're switching up their order, trying to figure out the other team. Coco Jim Tominaga. I just heard Kokujin versus Tominaga. Is that the battle of the Kangol Hats? Are we gonna have like a LL Cool J rap battle? I don't know. All right, BM uh, Jiro, some Shinjuku Moa. Oh, okay, that's an old school arcade. YSB, you guys know him as the Hugo player. Right. TM, Sugiyama, Necro, Du, Urien, Piero, Remy. They're still in there. Right, right, versus right. Man, Man Gojira. 
Tedu Bo, Kitagawa, Kokujin Dudley, who's on the seat, hot seat right now. Right. Masakiu Luka, and this super long kanji name, which I'm not going to read. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow, this person looks very young for a third strike player. Uh, you know, that's the beauty of this game is that uh, you, you get so many people that see this and they see the beauty of it and they understand. They want to learn it and they'll 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 be younger and they want to learn. And you know, they have a wealth of information from their 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 their, their elders to go through and really learn. Oh, this game. he's taking the Yunker, the energy shot. Coco Jim with a fountain of youth. Oh wow! Can he turn back the clock? If he could turn back time. All right, Kokujin settling in. I'm not sure why he's All a right. pizza monster because pizza in this country is very expensive. He is the pizza beast. Okay, and so small. So it looks like this is playoff B final. So Kokujin Dudley, Ru Urien versus Kokujin. Ru Urien, Kokujin Dudley, and then we DQ'd. The he was caught on the stream, uh, right. injecting himself with those performance-enhancing elixirs. Right. So we have a three-way playoff between Ru Urien, Kokujin Dudley, and Tominaga Makuro. Ru has to be either the youngest player or the youngest looking player. Everyone here is pushing 30 plus. All right, we got to keep track of this right now. So right now it is Ru Urien. Ru, Ru. Ru Urien versus Kokujin Dudley. This should be an epic match, and it will be an epic match. We've become esports when you use the PEDs on the stream. Starting off here. That round is going to be a problem. Nice Good jump, jump back. back. Laser fingers. Nice throw. Spartan bomb. Urian with a sizable life lead. Nice. Did he run into the Aegis? Yes, he does. Hi. Nice. Read the jump. Rue Urian. Caught him. Showing the goods. Go. Anti-air jabs? What game is this? The anti-air jab is really good for Urian in this game and Delvey. Just jabs. one hit. Nice. He's in that low forward Ooh. zone. Kokujin with the So the good on those one hit confirmed jump ins into SA. Right. Mm, nice straight. Alright, Delvey's got the screen advantage, but right now Urian's so scary. Still got one more. Oh, what was that? But safe on the pushback. It's great because he's safe on there. So, and now... Chariot, Chariot, Slash. How will he get out of this double mirror? Good defense, only takes two overheads for it, still alive. Looking for a dash over that crap punch. Woo! Jump, jump. Oh, got him, got him. Got him on the Aegis. Yes, good. Oh. oh! I wonder if that interacted somehow with the Aegis and he wasn't able, wasn't sure if he should just go directly into the SA. But that moment of hesitation being the downfall there for Kokujin. Okay, so we said now, I think Roos, let's see, do they do Kokujin? Is Kokujin staying, I believe? I thought they took out anti-air jabs in Street Fighter. But I guess apparently still no, in. Oh, it's uh... Alive and well. Cornell. Okay, so it looks like they're just trying to figure out who plays next. Good job patching anti-air jabs out of third strike. No, it's it's Kokujin and Tominaga. Kokujin wins John Ken. He gets the side choice. It is Kokujin versus Tominaga. Dudley versus Makoto. A battle of the veterans here. Like I said, guys, you do not want to be missing this. If you know friends that are what that are not watching this, twitch.tv slash game newton underscore us. Make sure everybody knows they do not want to miss this epic epic third strike action. Here we go. Kokujin versus Tominaga. This is the battle, the rap battles of the 90s Kangos. They got the big gold chains and the clocks hanging from their necks. I love it. I love it. Look, look at the 90s style here. The 90s are not dead. Wow. They, look. Just, they just need tracksuits. This is crazy old school. Oh my god. Are they wearing shell toe Adidas? No NMDs here. No tubular dooms. No. This is the old school shell toe with the Kangos. They were the Kangos. It's the Kangol heads that really dictate this. All right. Two in the pink. Let's go. Nice jump with the back swing blow. Ooh, on the one hit? Good damage off that. Good block. Uh, no meter for the touch of death. 
Still gets half corner carry. Kofi just tried to go for a crowd punch there. I'm not too sure. Hey, one there. more? Nope. Oh, it's a stun and death is Kokujin. Aye, but he lands on that and takes a life lead. Tominaga's still alive. Nice. That Rose is going to be a problem for Makoto. Makoto with a very weak wake-up game. Dudley with the best Okizama game. It's not a romantic Rose. That's a break-up with you, Rose. Yes. That is a heartbreaker. Nice low short. Low short. Makoto mm. Makoto's best wake-up move or reversal moves there. But Dudley with a rocket uppercut. Shut up. Oh, nice under oh, over what is oh, that? Right down. That's gonna hit. Does right. he get the carry? Yes. Oh, no. I missed it. What? A rare drop from Tominaka. He's the king of the TOD. And now he's gonna eat all of this. That's that. That's that. Hi. Coco James. The battle of Skinny Boo versus Big Boo in the pink characters prevails. Wow, missed his TOD. We had been speaking on that, waiting for an opportunity. Oh, he's talking! He's popping off! Only in this game will you see a Japanese people pop off. I don't know what it is about Third Strike that brings out the worst in people. Wow. And all the formalities and the polite attitude is thrown out the door. Tominaga. Wait, what is this? Some, like, shoot off? A kickoff? Tominaga must win. If Tominaga does is not... Is this like a penalty shootout? Like, what, what's happening here? Uh, why is Tominaga... Tominaga's coming up against Rui Yurian. If Tominaga does not win, Tominaga's team is eliminated. If... If Tominaga's team wins, that means every team won one out of one yet okay, again. Okay, this is like playoff. a super tiebreaker. Yes. Wow, okay. I love the passion that each player is showing for this game. Now, we'll be polite outside of the game, but you know what? If there's trash talk, if there's bad blood, if you feel if you're feeling it against players, you gotta show it. Let it rip. Here Rare we go. Footage in 2017 of Japanese players getting angry. Ru Yuri and player one, Tominaga Makoto. Player two, Tominaga can land a touch of death with against Yuri, and it's a little easier, I believe. But Ru, no slouch. Here we go. And yes, they do play John Ken, Rock, Paper, Scissors for what side they play on. Hi. Nice dash up throw. Ooh. The anti dash back, anti getaway setup. Yuri in with the corner pressure. Nice. Makoto gets Ooh, out of there. Ooh, got him on the chop dead, and dead, dead. parried on the way down, stun. Good. Hi. Keeps it simple. Make sure no combos are dropped. Told me not. Hi, 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 One round away. We could get another playoff. Go for it. And he's locked and loaded with the Abare uh, Tosanami. Will we see him rectify that touch of death mistake a few rounds ago? Multi air jabs. What game are we playing? Nice. The Woo! Parried out of there. Now, Yuri can Six machine gun jab for an anti air. The good thing about it is, if he decides to, you can actually mix it up with a uh, yeah. project fierce. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, what was that? And the ex Wikiaga on the ground catches him. Can he complete his combo? Hi. No, he can't! What? He missed it! That should have been EX! If it was EX, it would have hit! Will he be able to capitalize on his Tominaga mistake? No! No short takes it! A little rusty on the third strike sword! Wait, so... Sudagi into Orochi would have taken it, misses it, but he's still... Looking a little shaky. So do we go into another playoff yet again? Because each team won one and lost what one. What is going on here? Like I said, folks, this is Cooperation Cup 2017. It is absolute madness. I cannot believe this. Sudden death. Either you are already dead. This is a long death. Deliberation on the teams. What's going to happen? Now I'm wondering, are they allowed to throw the same characters up yet again, or do they have to pick different members of each team? <laughs> Rue switching to Yurian, it paid off, but wow, the Tomi Naga factor, and each team won one and lost one. So let's see what happens right now. I think they may have to pick another. Super rock, paper, scissors. Apparently, if you play them all at the same time, they negate one another. Right. And here we are, back to square one. They're going to play yet again. Like double overtime. In fact, the only way to break this super three-way tiebreaker is that 
you wait until 12 o'clock and the team with the earliest last train has to go home. <laughs> it's a game of chicken where you either yes. stay overnight and sleep on the floor or you play here at Leisureland. So they're <laughs> deliberating right now, they're Googling the train schedule. How bad do they want it? How bad do they want it? All right, the team deliberating. Each team in deep thought about what player do they send up for the playoff? And you would think it's easy to send up the, the strongest player on each team, but it's not always that simple. Sometimes the strongest player on the team might be winded, might be fatigued. You might want to send up a different character. Maybe the matchup is a little more in favor if you send up player B instead of player A. So they're, so. Yeah, they're on uh, the chats, the messaging, their families, hey, is it all right if I stay out all night? This tiebreaker's not going to end. Right. Do I have a, do I, can I break my curfew? Everyone is messaging their, their, their wives and their children saying, hey, sorry, Papa can't come home right now. Right. If you haven't, if you come to Japan and you haven't stayed out all night and missed your last train, you haven't done Japan correctly. If you haven't woken up in your own vomit, but the good thing is you'll still wake up with your wallet intact because this is a very civil place. Right. Whereas if you tried to spend the night out in New York, uh, you, you, you better keep some protection on you or just don't fall asleep. Yeah, you, you do not want to be spending the night outside in New York. Here it's possible. I'm going to be honest. He's actually right. Like, I had a safety wallet and I don't even need it because, you know, I feel very safe here. I feel very welcomed. Oh, wow. And, you know, we want to give the other players a, a little bit of a break because, you know, that was nerve wracking. And there's got to be a lot of deliberation. Who does each team send up now? So their girl, some of the girlfriends are going to break up with them if they don't come home tonight. And they're trying to decide, should they pick the game or should they choose love? Pick what will the, prevail? Pick the game, third strike glory all day. This is cooperation cup. There's literally no way to break this tiebreaker unless someone chooses to go home. All right. I heard, I heard a game selected. In fact, if you I fall heard. asleep with Timberlands on your feet in New York, they will be gone. They'll s take your shoes, they'll take your Timberlands, and they'll stomp on you and then go home with them. But this All is right. the safest uh, country to pass out inebriated in the world with a strong zero in your hand. All right, here we go. We're waiting on it. All right, switch back to the player cam here to us. Well, I think that they're having trouble because they, they haven't faced this type of situation before. I don't ever think I've ever seen the, uh, a double playoff, a double a double overtime. You know, it's, it's tough, but you know what? That's the level of play we have here at Cooperation Cup is that you know any player could do it. Alright, let's get back to the action here. Setting up our players. Let's see who we've got. That is a pocket square. Oh, a Remy? This has to be a mistake. Piero, Piero Remy. This has to be a mistake. That is not a mistake. Piero Remy is stupid good, amazingly good. He can fight with the best of them. He is number one Remy in the oh world. Oh my god, is this I'm so the daddy of those random up kicks? What is this? Piero with the emo Gaio after his friend Nash perished. So many I'm so the daddy random flashes. Is that punishable? Yes, it is with a sheep boat. Dash, dash, dash. Oh. All right, can he pair all these? Yes, he can. Aye. Kyo Remy versus Kitagawa Ken. Shoutouts to 9 1 matchups in 1999. Thinking that everything was rosy, rose colored lens? No, things were broken back in the day, too. But can he make this character work? All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Short, no good. Oh, hit the reverse on the cold blue kick. Ken can reverse almost anything in this game with that super, but he gets eaten with an EX ri Rising Rage Flash. I'm still the OG. Let's see how good this charge partitioning is. Here we go. Ken still with a small advantage here. Building on that advantage. Oh! Wow! Nice. He gets the parry. Short. Supreme Rising Rage Flash. Piero! I dash dashed right, right into her, she Will that be it? No. Magic Keep Pixel. The, the most magic of pixels! He gets it! Get he comes out! Get him so lucky! He says, no, no, no. Oh, it's, it's okay. He's I got, got the I got napkin pop, pop, pocket square, Go. and he's popping off. Here we go. Oh, the cold blue kick sails right over Ken. Nice. Ooh. Caught the jump with a rising rage splash. Low four, nothing. Try to sweep. A dash oh. in. No good. A Let's sweep piece. this out. It's good. No juggle. Nice tick throw. 
Hey, what is this? Piero Piero is the best Remy in the world. He knows these matchups. So the whole thing about it, Remy being a low tier doesn't even apply Aye, to this nice It is literally just player versus player. It almost looks like he's tool assisted with his charging. It might be. The man always has a charge going on. But short, oh, short, no good. But the Aye. stand is strong in the super. He's still alive. He's still alive. Rip Again, pixels. the most matched <laughs> pixels. He's oh, up here to the face. Kitagawa Ken goes high. Win. Emo, emo Remy, so misunderstood, the disaffected youth. More junk in a pole. More junk in, they want to make sure they pick the right side. Dude, if I had an option select for rock, paper, scissors, you would literally win at life. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, you didn't, you wanted a... I pick the Yun. He goes to the 2-8 matchup to the 1-9 matchup. It's a good pick. Boss Yun. Wow. What? What was that cost up on the jab? One, Six three. sides. Shoulder activate an agent. Hi, Waka. Temple tension. What oh, is nice that reset. on the Lovely landing? Reset. Lovely reset. Already taken off 70% with that reset, and he's going to get an effective. Oh! Get off me, bro. No way that Remy can make this comeback. Simply no comeback factor. Whoa! And the palm into the skinny jeans. No, I like that. The palm delays, the palm hits later. If Remy tried to red parry that, he was going to eat it anyway. Shoulder attack to make an agent. Eating these overheads wants to mitigate the damage. Hi. One, two, three. Good throw attack. Oh. Oh, grabs the palm this time. Ooh. That's not safe. Oh, jumps over the elbow. Snow gets oh, hit. Wow, this is early early activation. Yeah. Hi. One hit activation. Piero with a short into a Supreme Rising Rage Flash. What is that? Unsafe. And he just does a random. Wow. I'm still the Piero. OG son. Piero, Flash the best Remy in the world. He's still in there. Now. Oh, it's red. Shoulder activate. Go to the reset. Zen potential. Shoulder, 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 and dash punch. Corner carry. Hi, Big that was so up. ambiguous. Nice. Get off me, bro. To emo. Shoulder activate. Look Good parry. Oh my god. Piano read the low parry. He knew it. Me. Oh, oh wait. Reverse. Hi. Boss Yuan takes that. A valiant effort. A valiant effort. So now it is up heroes. to Kitagawa Ken. Kitagawa Ken. What's happening? I, I don't understand. It takes calculus to figure out the... Thank you for the reference to calculus. I can't believe it. Calculus, the old reference from Third Strike. Way back in the day, videos years ago would say, what level is your calculus? Thank you, Z, for the reference. Here we go with Kitagawa Ken versus Boss Yun. While playing the vanilla colors. The hey, 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 and getting louder and louder. They know this is a critical three way tie to move Act on in the playoff series. Activate skin agent. Ooh, interesting. All right. Opened up. No one has perfect, shown perfect defense against the Ganagian thus far. Nice. Boss, you the first round. Fighting ready. Engage. Gets the corner carry with hey, the shoulders. Hey. Reset. Oh, he tried to get funky with the reset. Keep the guy knew it. Oh. Try to do pumps, okay. Nice. Gonna get good damage. Oh, Mr. Juggle. Oh, gonna get punished on this inadvertent. Show you can. Low forward activate invasion. No, this is the conversion. I uh, a little too far. Good punish. Ooh, raw elbow. Hi! Hey, Huge in. gamble! Still in it. In a game where there's no crush counters, people are willing to wake up with options and buttons. Nice double dot kick. Shoulder activate an agent yet again. Do you 017 years remember a time when uppercuts were invincible? This is how the games were once played. Optimized damage. Nice. Again, a wake up showed you. Oh! Will he finish?
Oh, no, I just threw him out of it. Okay. Boss, you're an active again. Yeah. again. Oh, caught an elbow. Yeah. Eating a lot of overheads. Bleeding out now. Oh, is no. Kitagawa Ken. Oh, 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 no. A couple and of chances. Boss, Young's team advances. Woo, volleyball hugs. You can see the elation on Tominaga's face. Tominaga, the match, boss, Pudo and Keg. Well done. Congratulations to... So that is Tominaga's team. So the team that made it. Tominaga Makoto, Match Goki, Boss Yun, Pudo Yang, and K Chun. Well Very done. rare uh, three-way tie that went several iterations before they landed on a winner. Right. So, Z, I, I gotta ask, is, is this your first Cooperation Cup, or have you been to this before? Uh, I've lurked around here before. Right. Have you, have you been able to see Third Strike of this level, of this craziness, the nuttiness that we saw, a double overtime playoff? Is this, have you ever got to see that? I used to watch uh, the Shend YouTube channel. Ah, very good. And, like, crack out on it. Shoutouts to the Shen for posting all of the Third Strike footage from all over the world. If you like Third Strike action, please look on YouTube, follow the channel, The Shen. That is The Shen, T H E S H E N D. So, the most prolific uploader of uh, Third Strike footage. That, that you are right, Z. He is the one who's always uploading videos, new and old, so that everybody can enjoy Third Strike. Yeah, so. If you want to get off to Third Strike porn, go to the Shen. I think it uh, hasn't been uploading new stuff lately, but back in the day, very prolific. I guarantee CPM that. CPM monster. I guarantee that after Co-op Cup is over, we're going to see a lot of videos for Third Strike going on. Again, we want to take a moment to thank Twitch for putting on this beautiful English stream here. We want to thank Z here for making sure that we all got organized. Thank you again, Z, for kind of being our leader here and making sure that we no. got our feet on feet on the ground and feet running. So we're gonna take a look at some of the playoffs here. So these are the final eight teams. Okay. So you see, uh, what do we have here? I'm looking at some of them. Team uh, in, f in fifth position, KO Family with KO and RX, Yakun, Hirai Ken. KO Family always the strongest. I mean, their team members change up every once in a while, but... Now, now believe it or not, KO Family is actually a team that repeated. So they have all five same members from last year. Okay. Right, so so now the way it works is that these aren't the seeds. You're not seeing one versus two, three versus four. Each team, uh, depending on the victory, what happens is the teams are in introduced in order and they get to choose their spot in the bracket. So one by one, they all pick. Now, I believe two of the teams already have a, their spot set, so... Yeah, I think there's a seeding... Right. My well, home ground. So the, ironically, yes, or fittingly, I should say, the pro team is actually in the top eight. Really, in the number one slot, home ground with the Haitani MOV Momochi uh, Viva, Vanu huh? Vanau Va Vanau. So, so, Vanau. so that's Vanau Ryu, yeah. Okay. And is that a uh, Saru Yun? Saru Yun, yes. So pros still have a chance at this. Again, they are in the minority. So if you're rooting for the underdog, so right. to speak. Um, yeah, the Street Fighter Five guys. You know, it's it's you know, it, Team Street Fighter Five. You know, it's it's safe to say that even if you are playing the newer games like four and five, you never. If you came from Third Strike, you never lose your Third Strike. And the more they play with, with everybody here, and the level of play is so high, it's just going to go back to it. It's like riding a bike. So, and I like how they're playing their names without the sponsor tag like they just they're their former selves right they they are the pre-esports versions of them when it's just nothing but the game the love of the game is what we play for here i know who vanal is i i played third strike since first strike uh-huh i mained um gil you mained gil in first first impact oh dear not gil all right so we're uh, we're getting uh, we're just getting set up for the top eight here. So again, what's going to happen, Z, is that we're going to get each team now. Two of the teams, their spots are already set. They cannot choose, but the other six teams, they get to choose one by one what spot they want in the bracket. So we're getting we're going to pull up these brackets again. Now the last chance, Tominaga's team, they made it, so their spot is set. They cannot choose their spot. 
But the other teams that made it through on the winner's side, they get to choose one by one where they want to play in the bracket. So why this matters is that you can choose your matchups. And the earlier you go, you get to dictate where you are on your bracket if you go early, if you go late. Like you saw yesterday during the pre-co-op cup, it makes it very it makes it even more strategic. So there's not just random seeding. It's a, a matter of, hey, how well do I want to play there? In fact, I'm so devoted to Street Fighter 3 that I main Ryu in f Fifth Strike, and I do the parry, <laughs> the V skills. Ryu's, Ryu's all-purpose Fifth uh, Street Fighter 5 parry. I use it's all the parry harder. skills, so, yeah. Here we go. All I right. read parry with Ryu after my V trigger combos. Yes. Just, all right. So sound off in the chat, folks. What team do you think is going to win it? You've got a team with all pro players in MOV and Haitani, Sadu, Vanal, and Momochi. You've got a last chance team with Tobi Naga, Match Go uh, Goki, uh, Bas, Yoon, Fudo Yang, Kei Chun. Or is it going to be KO Family again? Could KO Family take it? And you've got even other other teams. You've Any team here could win it. It's up. You know, it's up to top play. Let, I really want to see who's going to take this match and who, who wins it. So, If you guys are wondering who's on the mic, on the left side, if you want to see, uh, sort of our stream manager here is Z. You've seen Z before. If you're wondering who I am, my name is Andrew J. Landa, a.k.a. Duralap. Uh, I've kind of been heading up Third Strike Commentary and one of the primary commentators here. Thank you guys for joining us here. Again, make sure you're tweeting out the stream, twitch.tv slash GameNewton underscore US. That is for the English stream commentary here. Thank you guys for joining us. Tweet the link out. Make sure you're following the channel. We want to make sure we get if as many people watching Third Strike if, as possible. Again, if you're thank in you the, to Z for helping us organize this wonderful English stream. If you're in the Japanese chat, please politely excuse yourself and come into the English chat. And by English, I mean the USA, because we speak American here. <laughs> we speak American here. Because under presidential decree, all Americans should be in the American chat room. Right. So we're trying to build like a geofencing wall around the pure Game Newton channel, and so that we would be on this side of the wall. So thank you very much for your cooperation, as the name of this event implies. I can't believe the. How, how, how is uh, Stark Industries doing? How's the stock doing? Look, Stark Industries was being taken care of. I'm working with the Avengers right now, but uh, we had a, a little disagreement between me and uh, like Gwyneth? me and the captain. We're not talking yeah. about that right now. It's okay. Are, but you got to watch the movie to see what happens next. Are you going to be good in NBC Infinity? It doesn't matter. Oh, God, if I'm good, it's dark. Here we go. The lights they have dimmed. They turned the lights off on The us. lights have dimmed. It is almost time for top eight. We're going to see the entrances, the epic entrances, and we're going to have a little bit of fun here. So. I just got word. If you're from Canada or England and you speak English, you can be in the Japanese channel. But for the U.S. Americans, you should be in this channel. If you're not, um, we may ban you in the Nippon channel. So the weebs are allowed here, but the cultured English-speaking people mm, yes. uh, are allowed to join the other channel. Thank you very much for your cooperation. So before I forget again, shout outs to our Third Strike communities all around the world. Uh, Third Strike Europe and the Gutter Trash peeps who do Gutter Trash the tournament in, in the UK, hype spotting as well. Shout outs to This Is Third Strike, the East Coast, uh, the East Coast source for all things Third Strike with Nika KO and all of them. They're doing great things with making sure that Third Strike stays alive in America. And uh, of course, my personal favorite, Third Strike Junkies, the largest group for Third Strike on Facebook. Again, if you are a Third Strike fan, please make sure you send your request to join Third Strike Junkies. Make sure you're sharing your action. Tell us how much you love Third Strike. So we want to see you in there. I happen to be one of the mods on Third Strike Junkies, so I would love to see you guys. Make sure you're playing the game because, hey, as Rom says, it's a good game. Wow. Game new in US. Trying to make fighting games great again, so we show you the old examples of what it once was like. Um... The Golden Age. Yes. Actually, that's not... I mean, this game is so... They're like, oh, Chun-Li is so strong in Season 1! I'm a... Oh, 17-er! It's like, dude, have you seen Chun-Li in this game? Right. It's like, oh my god, Arian's... Setups. Right, yeah, everybody... His V-Trigger is so strong, dude. There, there, was, there, was, there was a question earlier about... What, what, what's better, whether it was random Urian in Third Strike versus Nemo's Urian in SF5? Oh. Bar none, Third Strike well, Urian. Well, no, bar no, bar well. none, bar none. And well, the reason, the reason being, I, the reason being, you can activate. You if you have meter with Urian and Third Strike, you don't have to wait for just 
any particular setup. There's so many ways to get your Aegis out, and you have to respect the Aegis no matter what. And the good thing is, Aegis has six hits in third strike, in third strike, as opposed to like what three or four in SF five, and it causes unblockables. There's so much ways that your ink can can do it. So many nutty setups. RKF, one of our commentators here, is actually one of the pioneers. He showed a video that just demonstrates all the nutty ways your ink can deal damage against every character in third strike by just using the Aegis. SF5, you're in so strong, but still, in comparison to third strike you're in, third strike you're in is that gold standard. Uh, I have complete faith in Nemo to develop Street Fighter V Irian to something monstrous. Oh, I, I agree. I can, it, could, it could definitely happen. When you make a Gaijin sandwich out of Aegis bread <laughs> and have them like ping-ponging back and forth like they're playing Pong, uh, it will be a glorious day. And uh, Nemo Urian will enact revenge on the Gaijin that had sullied the Street Fighter history by winning Capcom Cup last year. There will be blood uh, in the streets. So you're saying that Nemo is the, sa the, the great Eastern hope, the savior? Yes. He's going to bring glory back. If Unless Xian changes away from Fong. Okay, interesting. I have, I have faith in him. All I can say, guys, is that... Let me see the Fong. The Fong, the Fong, Fong, Fong. That the one. <laughs> can't believe they... What were they... Mm. Well, in, in uh, Tribute to Fong, we're wearing the uh, glasses indoors. Right. All right, so right now we're just setting up... If you guys are wondering what the whole big holdup is, right now we're setting up for top eight. There's a whole series that goes on with Top 8. Every team gets their small, and they get, well, not a small, actually a pretty big entrance. You're going to see it on the stream. They get the entrance, and then we get to actually decide the final eight bracket. Now, again, two of these teams, as far as I understand, two of these teams have their spots already set. One is going to go first, one is going to go last. So the other six teams get to decide where they are in the brackets and where they get to play and what team they get to, to play against. It adds a little bit of intrigue because you get to say, hey, I'm going to put myself in this position. You can challenge me or with two teams already set, you can say, hey, this team is free. We want this team and we're going to body you. I just realized if they did cooperation Cup with Street Fighter V, they could even make a five-man Fong team because it's just Xian. Uh, I mean, you would have Shen. There's just Xian. Xian, may maybe Sonic Fox if he came back. No, nah, he's getting that injustice. Uh, he's, 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 he's back getting, Yeah, he's graduating. Right, so that, that... You couldn't even make a team with Fongs. Right. Speaking on, uh, pre -co pre speaking on the pre-co-op cup format. Please. But you know what? We'll see if Street Fighter V has time to develop into that sort of thing. This is the, 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 this is the 15th Co-op Cup or, you know, in 2017. My first time in Japan, this has just been nothing short of excellent here. And, again, the level of play, nothing short of magnanimous. I'm just using that word to be, you know, to be fancy, but... I'm gonna be honest, you can pick any, any adjective you want, and it's just gonna ex explain how excellent the play we've seen here. So I'm going to switch back over here to the brackets again, or the final eight that we see here. Shows team is advanced with Cooney. Uh, so one through eight type of the team that you think is going to win. I'll uh -huh. repeat them one more time. Home ground, which is all the pro players, Mochi Haitani, uh, MOV, etc. Uh -huh. Masta Course, number two, with the Game Center and Cabots is on there. Moto, Nito, and Ricky Maru, the super strong Chun-Li. Uh -huh. Sei Tatanosu Gakuen. With Tatanos and a bunch, a lot of a lot of kanji in it. Uh -huh. The Matsuri with F, Nishikawa, Yang, Shinta Yun, Dekoi, Goki, Zako. What is AL? Alex? There's an Alex in there? Okay. There is an Alex. I'm very happy to see an Alex make top eight here, uh, being an Alex player myself. Alex, not a very strong character in Third Strike. Uh, he Ooh. does a lot of damage, a lot of high stun, but a lot of what he does is very unsafe, and he's got to work very hard for his offense. To see an Alex here, it makes me very happy. Num uh, yeah. yeah, number five is Kale Family, probably the favorites uh, right. in any year because they are repeat champions. Uh, you're very familiar with them since their team is unchanged from last year. Sakura Hana? So we've got Kale Yang on Kale Family, along with Hirai Ken. That should be. Let's see. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. RX and Yakun. They're good. That's Kashi, RX, and Yakun. There we go. Number six is a really good team too. Sakura, Hana, eh, Dao, Master, Inoue, Matsuken, Matsuken, Matsuken. Matsuken, yeah. Shintaro Yun. Uh, Shintaro, Number okay. seven is Z Senshi, Z Warriors, Kuni, CBZ uh, Onuki, Shou Yun, 
トクラヤン。トクラ、トクラ。元気、another Alex。あ、元気、the number one Alex in the world。that's a great team。I actually、uh,、on our on our stream。House of Strikes, we talked about the teams, and Z Senshi is actually one of the teams I,、uh, I thought could actually take all of this. So,、uh, especially with Genki. Genki, a strong Alex player, surprising the world with how strong his Alex is. And then, number eight,、uh, the team that you just saw in that three way tie, the <coughs> people that were born in the year 57, 1957, and one person born in 1954,、uh, Tominaga, Machi, Goki, Boss, Yun, Fudo, Yang, K, Chun Li. So,、right. one through eight, I want to see some numbers. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, of course, unfortunately, there are no Gaijin teams left in the top eight.、Uh, perhaps uh, we were expecting too much. I don't, I don't is, is it asking too much? I don't know if it was asking too much, but、uh, you know, it speaks to the level of third strike here in Japan. Japan's third strike has always been the strongest it could be.、Uh, but you know, the Gaijin teams made a strong showing.、Uh, again, this is third strike going very far, dicks out very well, Milky Boys. Even put on the SG, we got 0 and 2, but we still made some, made some noise. It goes to show that, you know what, there's love for this game all around the world, not just in Japan, and we all love we, what's we going on. We may have lost Third Strike, but yo, see us in five, bro. <laughs> see us in five where the money counts. All right, and the screen has gone black, so let me switch back over to. They're going to roll a、uh, trailer here. Oh, no, we need the countdown. We need the countdown.、Right. Yo, 17, New Year's, New Year's. Here we go. To the New Year、uh, 13. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Here, RKF is on the mic along with Duralath. Hi, RKF, can you tell me what's going on right now? We are just about to have top eight with the narrator, narration of SBO back、right. in the days. I have Mr. Here. Tsukioka. Yeah, you see the name right there. He was doing the narration for the SBO back、oh. in the days. And so now, just like yesterday. We are going to make the bracket. And the team that came out of the playoffs should be already pasted in the bracket, top eight. And so. Now, was, now, was it only one team or was it two teams? 
I think it's one. It's only one? Okay. It's one. Because we had... Yeah, I think it's only one. Okay, we'll so see. it was only Tominaga Steve, because I know Tominaga Steve qualified. Yes, you're at right. The end. Yes. You're right. So they should be posted already in the lower right hand corner. Uh huh. And so this team with Thanatos, a very, very wild. Um, the man of gold, gold Oro. Man of gold, man of gold, yes. Yeah. Oro. And uh, also this, say, Elena, he is wild as well. And Tempura, the Dudley, he's wild. Akagairu, he. Well, wait a second. Uh, I think this team is just based on wild because everybody. Does a lot of things. It's, it's, you know, it's about Abare, it's about. Abare, you know, yes, you're right. You know the Japanese. So it's funny, those kind of uh, Japanese terms are now starting to become more like uh, uh, familiar. All right, so let's see where they place. And uh -huh. now, again, it is only one team who's see, he's seen a set. They picked seed number one. So because they want to be on the other side of boss, right? I yep. do not blame them one right. bit. So there they are. And let me tell you one thing nobody wants to play with them because it's just. It's just, um... Tominaga, Boss, Furo, K, and Match? Oh, no, not them. The first oh. team right oh, there. Oh, the first team. Oh. Because they are just so random and unpredictable. Nobody wants to play them. All right. And Let's see. nobody wants to play them either. <laughs> oh, Nuki's team. Kuni, Sho, Nuki, Genki, and Tokura. Ah. Uh. Not gonna lie, I have a soft spot in my heart for this game because of Genki. Oh. Oh, that's why you play Alex. Yes. I, I play a very bad Alex, but uh, Alex nonetheless. But also Nuki, the hypest commentator in the world. <laughs> well, most of the time I don't I don't even know what he's saying. It's a, I don't even think it matters because you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you're right. <laughs> Damn, Z Senshi, that's right. All right so here we I'm guessing they will. Paste on the other side of Boss Tominaga. Right. But what matters a lot is when is KO Family coming to Pope coming to paste their team? So you think they're gonna place it in spot four or I spot three, maybe? I don't know. Oh no! Oh, oh. oh. that is huge. You are. They're saying you are free. You are free. Do they want Tominaga team? No. No. Oh, oh. they are free. Oh, my bad. So, they are going to beat the most randomest team. I think they're love they're saying we can control the game, we can contain the randomness, you guys are free. Ah, uh, maybe you're right. Maybe. But I've seen like a lot of upsets from Tanatos and Say in the third Mania, you know, uh -huh. the monthly tournament in Game Year, right? They made a lot of upsets before. So we have Rao Matsukan, yesterday's winner. All right, I'm going to switch off the mic. I'm, I'm going to go to the chat, guys. I'm going to bring back our lion. I'll be talking on the mic as well sporadically, but please give a round shout out to our lion on the mic with Arkea. Hello, I'm back. Oh, you're back. Hi, Mom. So I was just talking about the brackets. Ah, yes. Matsuka, yesterday's winner. We have Inoue, Rao, Shintaro, and Mester. Oh, Mester, okay. Rao also. All the, all the Yun team were out in the playoff yesterday. Rao is somebody who I should ask what happened to Kuroda. Um, I don't know. I think it's Inoue you should ask. Really? Oh, yeah. okay. Because uh, I know Rao is also a good friend of his. You know I'm going to keep asking that for the rest of the night. Oh, well, let's forget that name for now. <laughs> all right. he's not here. I know. Okay. Although he's a, he isn't here, we're seeing some hype stuff right already, right? Yeah. So, so we are. Yo, uh -oh, that, that double. Uh oh. Uh -oh. By the way, it, uh, it really? is uh, currently really? RKF. Wait, 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 wait. Are you allowed to do that? Nope. They can't bump, bump other people so off. So they paste it on the same side of um, uh, Nuki. Oh, Nuki's oh, team. Oh, so wow. That means they're confident. They're confident in playing them in semifinals and beating them. So, who's coming next? <laughs> Master course. Oh damn. <laughs> resting, right? Same as resting. Yep. I 
I saw Nito. Yes. Beating some. Who was that in the play? They, wait, sorry. They didn't go up to the playoffs, did they? No, right. I don't think they had to go to playoffs. No. Oh yeah, Nito beat the Kyushu team, right? Did, did they not? Yeah, yeah, he beat Kyushu at the end. Team, yeah. That's correct. So yes, um, maybe you guys might know already, but Deshikant is out. Sadly, yes. And if you have seen the booklet, there was a long, long. So there was a long, long interview on the booklet from the Kyushu team. And they wanted to prove that Kyushu is the best in third strike. I see. But unfortunately, they are not in the top eight. So they got taken out by Nito uh -huh. and Kokujin in the playoff. Oh, uh, well. So it's mad killers everywhere. As I keep on saying. So they're thinking, same size as Onuki? Or do they want to play Tominaga? Ooh. See, this is really, really exciting. Ooh. Man. Time to think. I I don't think I would ever want to make that choice. <laughs> oh! Oh! So is Nuki's side. They're saying, Raul, Mester, you're mine. Wow. <laughs> See? So, KO family is going to be on the right. So, who do we have? We have oh, Yakun. So that means it's KO Family. Last year's winner. Will KO there, finally breaking the curse. Yep. Will there Nassim. be a repeat? There has never been a repeat in the tournament. Never. Really? Never. Okay. Only in maybe pre-Coop Cup. Pre, yes, the Youngs yeah, have won it. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same member, but there has never okay. been a repeat. Interesting. So, and they are playing with the exact same member as last year. Ah, oh, all right. So it would truly be a repeat then? Yes, it will truly be a repeat. So we got KO, K uh, Yakun, RX, Hirai, and Kashi. Kashi, the staff at Game uh, Game Versus. Oh, I didn't know he was staff there. Okay. Um, there, There's not much footage of him. Because I don't think you've seen like Kashi versus someone on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But he is really good. Okay. And Who does he use? Uh, he can use basically everybody, but in this tournament, he's using Ken. I see. And he, he does play very logically, mm -hmm. but the DP comes out of nowhere <laughs> and just destroys you because he has a he has a very very precise input. So usually he gets a double. I see. And which which oh. does hurt. Where so is he gonna it, go? It, it, it's, a, it's just a matter of did he want to play Tommy Naga first or not? I see. See the upper two doesn't matter. Whichever you whichever you put it in. Right. So do they want to play Tommy Naga first? Tell me now the boss first, or not. Or wait. Uh-oh. Bad position to be in. So, are they going to play? Alright. Oh, hey. The top it is. So, they decided to play, not to play Tommy Nala right away. Maybe they will see each other in the semifinals. See who's next. So there was an interview of Hirai, also a uh, long interview of Hirai. Ah, okay. Nishikawa. F. Decoy. Shinta. And Seimitsu. I do not know why Seimitsu is playing with Alex. Because he is maining Remy usually and he plays Dudley and Yuri as a sub. But he is with Alex. I do not know why. Well, and they made it to top eight. They defeated the New York team. Ah, right. I'm I'm sad that the New York team wasn't able to make it to top eight. They were they were two guys away. Dang. And Decoy, who's on the upper right, a mm -hmm. Goki player, they uh, beat him eventually. Ah, uh, I see. And uh, Nishikawa, the guy the guy in the center, he was holding the mic last year with Ricky Maru. Oh, which, all right. Which was hilarious. It was nice. It was really nice. The guy in the middle, I swear, looks like a drunk Daigo. <laughs> Maybe it's a hair, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, the, the hair's a bit different, but okay. So, as you see, they're having fun. And I don't think many, any of the guys have been like putting in the work. Well, Nishikawa, the guy in the center, he uh -huh. plays a lot. Upper left, F, he's been sick. And he's been like having a lot of work to do. So he hasn't been playing. And so they're like, eh, whatever. 
It's almost as if they didn't even expect to be here. So what do you think? KO family or Tominaga? Uh, I would go top. Yes. So the last team. The last team must no, fight Tominaga. Has no choice but to play Tominaga. That means, that they, means, that means, that means. Although, although Team Tominaga came out from the playoff, they are still mad scary. Yes. Right. So now we have MOE. Oh my. You're kidding me. They have to fight Tominaga's team first. Top eight. So it's Momochi. Momochi, Haitani, Manao, Saru, and MOE. Almost as if this team doesn't even need a an introduction because of how strong they are. Or not strong, but uh, infamous. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He, uh -oh. Momochi, right? Literally. On his the, chest, Momochi. Has the balls to have, to have a shirt with his own name on it. Wow. Wait, look at that. MOV looking like, looking like Magneto. Okay, you missed it. Oh, he's, looking like, <laughs> he, he's looking like Magneto. You dare rise against me. The human era is over. Mutant era has come. Team Esports. So, these guys obviously have been playing a different game <laughs> recently. And they have no choice. So, Vanal takes it. Okay, MOB takes it. And they're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> So, there they are. There's top eight. LA Yaktas. So, you know, you need a lot of people to do this. But the way how you the way you how you make this bracket is pretty sick. <laughs> I wish others would copy this. Yes, I, I like what goes into this. Toby Dada match. Who's this? Hero, Chance, and Bob. Not Chance, I'm sorry. K, I'm sorry. So, them's coming back, rising from the dead, coming back from the playoffs. Tominaga, Match, Boss, Furrow, and K. Yin Yang, Goki, Chun Li, Makoto. What do you think? Not just any Makoto. Okay, well, the well, Makoto. Very well balanced, I would say. Yes. What, what are they doing? Infinity Gauntlet? <laughs> Infinity Gauntlet of Thanos? What? What? He went from a thumbs up and just to a fist? What, are, what does what that look like? What are they doing? What is this pose that they come up with? Bionic 6? It's like a Ryu pose. Ryu doesn't do that. It's like, it's like Alpha 3. He's like grabbing his fist at one Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Here. Alpha 3. Maybe. Power glove. That's what it is. Power glove. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I was saying the Infinity Gauntlet from the Thanos. Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity Gauntlet. Yes. It honestly doesn't matter what kind of pose these guys strike. They're still freaking scary. So they're going to be using gems, right? Yes. They're oh! Gonna, oh! They're going to be using gems. They have, they have already ripped off, figured, figured they ripped off that other team from the from the bracket. It's oh. just like, oh, strike out. <laughs> they're dead. So first match will be uh, St. Tanatos Gakuen. They are gonna. They they play very very wildly. So we will see a lot of random stuff. So let's see if the Dragon Ball players. That's Kuni's team. That that's what they mean. Z Warriors. Ah. Z Warriors. It's Dragon Ball Z, right? So they take it from Dragon Ball. So I wonder if they can like hold them hold them down. And it seemed like Genki and Tokuro has not been practicing much. So are they going to start with uh, the upper left? Yes. Okay. <laughs> there isn't much to say right now, so we, I'm just, we're just patiently waiting for the match. Because it's top eight. <laughs> Jesus. So next year, mm. is there going to be an Evo Japan? 
2018, right? In January. Yes, in yes. January. If, if there's going to be an evil Japan... Where there will also be a Cooperation Cup. Yes. That would be a hell of a weekend. Or, and I mean, not to put it all in the same week, uh -huh. but to have them back-to-back, -back, uh -huh. I think would be pretty awesome. Well, um, EVO 20, 2018, like, uh, like released a picture or something of all the like the sponsors or the arcades mm -hmm. and the game centers that, uh, that would be like cooperating with them. Yes. And like Game Newton was there, Game, Center, game uh, Arcade Mikado was there, uh -huh. and all the names, all the ar arcade names in, uh, in Tokyo area. Uh huh. Said they're gonna, they would be cooperating. So, I wonder how it's gonna be. Oh, thank you. I wonder how it's gonna be like because Evo is basically, you know, uh, Evo is uh, Evo is basically uh, playing on a console. Yes, past, yes it is. Past how many years? I don't know. Uh, ever since, oh man. Ever since, uh, ever since 2002, I guess. No, later than that. It was a little later than 2002. It okay, might have been 04 or 05. 04 or 05, whatever. So, if if you follow that rule, mm -hmm. Evo in Japan will be played on console. Well, for Street Fighter Five, it would have to be. Yeah, it had to be. Yes, but as we all know. Console for Third Strike is not that good. Well, but, Third but, Strike, if the Third Strike was going to be at Evo Japan, it would have to be arcade. Yes. Yeah. But now, Top 8 is starting. So let's let's see. Let's watch the match. So it's Tokura and Akagaida Alex. Akagaida is a player who's like really solid. Mm -hmm. I know his like game plan corrupt. And once it corrupts, he just goes like a random super. Ah. So we might get to see some of that. Nope. Oh, Akagairu. Akagairu. Is that me though, a red guile? This is... Did he, did he play red guile? What was that? Did he play red guile in Super Turbo or something? I don't think so. Oh. This is scary for Yang. It's not easy for neither, but... Stampede can do serious damage. Oi, there you All go. Right. So he, he can like kick it all back with one jump in. True. Oh, that cross up? Yeah, he knew it was cross up. Wow. For it. So you're scared of that choice now. Walk nice. up. Launcher. Made him think he's gonna walk up throw. He was within throw range, so he was throwable. Five, yes. Didn't react in time. Engage. He has plenty of meters, so he wants to use, to use more of the EX. And put him in the corner. It's hard to stun Alex. But it is doable. That was a target combo, by the way. It doesn't link. Right. Oh, threw him out of the flash shot. Air Stampede. Air Stampede, Paul. Oh, we're going to keep a decent bomb. Yeah. Oh, Larry it out of the air. Good check. Alex needs to air. Yes, he's going for it. Knocked down again. Oh, same thing. Again same with the launch kick. Reset. Empty jump in a low short. Then we complete the total time. Oh, that's a smash. Good tech. We still have a chance to get out. Oh, oh bomb. Bomb. Uh, rock bomb! Rock button! EX left! Magically pulled it off. Pushing the wrong button with the combo. But still, magically clinch, clinch it. Oh, yes. Oh. Did he get the EX? Yes, clinch a meter. Yes, he should have used it. Nice. Wow, nice Cross setup. Alex trying to make some room. Ah, I can't oh. get the super hit! Wake up, Uber and Ray! Just do it! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Batista bomb! Ooh. Oh, I'm uh, trying to read another power, power, power bomb. But no. One hit, one hit away. Uh oh. Oh, oh that was dangerous. Nice walk up. Right. Not over yet. He better. No. Oh! oh. oh. Let's say uh, two frames faster. Mm -hmm. Probably then it would have hit him out, out of the start above the teleport. Yeah. So that teleport from Yang is not invincible. Right. So it can't be punished while teleporting. It's a long time too. 
Yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if we would have done it like a couple of frames, frames earlier. I usually don't see the teleport done raw, like in neutral like that. He was abusing a lot of it. He was doing cross up setups and stuff. Yeah, well that was right after like an EX uh, mantis uh, slash. Yes, 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 you yes, know, yes. for the for the teleport cross up. But doing a raw close range is uh, much more dangerous. Oh uh, yeah, maybe one or two frames. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a slow super. Two. Is it two frames? Oh, it's not slow. Oh, all right. Go. Well, I stand corrected. So we have Tempura. We'll see some of that random gen uppercuts and the backswing, bro. Random parry as well. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Not letting him breathe. Oh, the pressure is so good. So there you go. Here's a chance to come back. Wow. Ow. The stun damage building up was super fast. Three hits. And he caught up. Oh, no. Oh, oh wow. That that kill him. Him. All right. That, that got him. He wanted close, close, strong. He was a bit far away. He should have chosen a low, low forward instead. Yeah, uh, I see. It's minus. So the corkscrew blow is minus 10. And the low forward is a 7 or 8. I forget. So that, went, that was guaranteed to hit yeah, that. that yeah. Guaranteed. Nice. And here, show you can. Good box, good box. Deadly's got no meter, but he's got scoops. He doesn't care. He doesn't care either. Got the juggle. One more hit, stun. EX. No, no EX. Oh, miss EX. Oh, it might wow. happen. Something might happen. Oh, he got scoops. Nice. Yes. Oh, nice. Wow. That was dangerous because the first hit of Ducky Goku hardly does any, does any damage. He should have let, let it roll. Let the second hit hit and then the super. Uh, target combo. Oh! Uh, uh, yuck! Yeah. Nice! Oh, no conversion, bro. He's just free stunning right now. This is Seth Play going wake on. Wake up, Scoop! This game is too fast for Seth Play. Oh! Oh, buddy, had that there. Oh! He let her in! Alright, almost there. Wow! <laughs> no invincibility in that one, unlike Street Fighter 4. Haha, -ha, good point. It was a reversal, by the way. The only reversal, the only invincible reversal that Yang gets in third strike is is a super, either one or two. Yep, you're right. Oh wait, uh, three does have invincibility. Which one? A super three does have invincibility. Yeah. But long enough, not enough. Not yeah, long. not enough to do actually do something from it. Um, yes, you can with throws. Oh, that's interesting. Just like anything. How many? Do you know how many frames? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Very, very few. Okay. See, like I told you, a lot of randomness, but it's working. Right. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. So look, he's gonna play cold, man. He's ready? gonna play cold. Go. What do you mean cold? Cold like, meaning like the, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh the mix-up's so good. Oh. With the backswing blow, caught him in the corner. Nice punish. <laughs> Let it rip, confirm! <laughs> Odoki's, you know what? Odoki always has EX spinning bird kicks, even if she better five. Always using okay, it. Okay, what, what, what I meant by cold is, uh, it's a Japanese term. So the guy, uh, when nothing happens, and he just like zones you out, and, oh, and nothing happens. I see. <laughs> That's what we, mean, what we mean by cold. I thought that was gonna happen, but Dudley somehow managed to get in. And getting those hits, like random uppercuts as well. And now Nuki's got him cornered. Oh, uh, get gimmick time. Stay away, stay away. Uh, so this is what I need. Nothing's gonna happen. See? So this is cold. Kind of. Okay. But, it's, but it wasn't working. So Dudley's red hot. So, now. So you get plenty of meter. Nice. Empty jump short. Uh, yeah, get him off. That was risky. But it worked out. It seems like Nuki more than most other most other Chun players oh, values uh, momentum. Uh oh, he got but now he's stuck. It might happen. One more. Wait. He was dead with that. Oh, oh. no! Oh, no not up there. Too far away. All right. Yeah, he'll burn the meter. He doesn't care. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nuki! Got 
That was frightening. I think he made Nuki sweat yeah. right there. We know, I never thought it was going to be this close. Yeah, Nuki, like, the, the way that he always plays, always will try to get you off of him at any cost. No matter what game it seems to be. Oh, Aoi oh, Yurian, uh... He plays that to be He doesn't show up much. I've never seen... I, I've not really seen him play. Fighting ready. Engage. Neckle Punch. He's in a crouching strong. He's is, uh, also known as Cat Punch or Neckle Punch in Japan. Don't know why. I don't know either. I call it Volleyball. Because it looks like a save from Volleyball. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, so, so for this match, nothing might happen. Right. Nothing's happening now. Ouch. So Can't afford this those is what I mean by cold. Nothing happened, right? Basically nothing. He had no chance. Right. Stay away. Didn't, didn't have to rush in. Yeah, just zone correctly. Because I'm Chun Li. I can zone you correctly if I push the right buttons at the right timing. Like doing a couple crouches, making sure. Doing a couple crouches, make sure that uh, Yuri's not doing like wake up ex uh, headbutts or anything. Yeah. So he pushed the short at the at a very bad timing. Push push her out of ages. Ah. You gotta time it well. Still trying to get in. Holy shit. Ooh. Aegis, ah. Ooh. Unless it, it, the only one that would have gotten out of that was in being the EX Aegis. Uh -huh. So <laughs> things looking grim for Yurian. Nothing's gonna happen. No oh, you can't get in. No meter. Nothing's gonna happen. A little bit more meter than he could, wow. he could use a blocked age, a block tackle into an Aegis, but he's trying to get out. There he is. Not enough. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be enough. Unless he gets a spear. Oh, and he gets red! I read you like a book. You win. It's pretty safe to mash throw at that point. Yeah. It's pretty safe because... You I know what's going to happen. She has so much life anyways. Well, uh, the most damage you will suffer from is a uh, heavy tackle. Right. And a little bit of ages. Yeah, it wasn't a life or the situation. So yeah, I mean like, you know, if, you're, if you think uh, that's what's coming, just mash throw. Fighting. Elena, he is random. He is very random. A lot of people... Oh wait, Yakun and other, oh. other Yun was like uh was really salty by taking the loss from this player at Third Mania. Really? And it, 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 it happens time to time. Ah uh, yes. So uh, so what is Thirty Maniacs? Thirty Maniacs is the monthly tournament, uh, three on three tournament uh, at Game Year. Ah, uh, I see. Every second um, Sunday. Oh, Ooh, good whip punish. I saw you. You're not airborne. Although you look like one. Ouch. One for tip. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Uh oh. That was DD. Bad. Uh, it's already looking really bad. Yep. Very cold. Very cold. Is it? Green. Ah, uh, green. Green. Bar. You win. Very Seven cold. golden letters. Right. That's cool. Not shown on screen. I wonder what it feels like to team with Nuki. And have him, have him play first. Pretty relaxing. You. Well, I must think. Well, yes, some of the players, for the well, Chun-Li players, uh, yesterday, the finals, uh, yeah. Taro Kichi and, uh, Mochi and Pearl Rice were saying that uh, when Ricky Maru gives you advice from behind, it's really, really relaxing. Yes. And relieving at the same time. So, it's kind of just, he's the random god. You never know what he's gonna do. Probably you get to see what I mean. Somehow the most hit. Somehow the most that hit. That is his aura. Like terrifies me. Ah, oh, you're right. Good discussion. You never know what's gonna happen. DP? No DP. Oh, a little bit more meter. A little bit more meter. Uh -oh. Activate. Yes. Ex. Ex version. Oh, I'm trying to go low. Ah. Uh, the time for guessing is over. Yep. Oh, oh, that's two. See, he that has it. so much he recovery. Just, he just did it. Yes. No, he didn't even try to confirm. Fighting. That's what's so scary Game. about him. Now, try oh, he's not even trying to build meter. Oh, oh nice got punish. the slams. Oh, see, 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 like a jumping over you for, for what, right? Right. You can't, you can't read what he's doing. Wow. M empty jump throw, empty throw. And at any given moment, he can do the last second chicken kick and then launch you. Yep, that's scary. You don't want to let uh, Aura jump in at you. Not done yet. Oh. Alright. Stand there. 
Oh, maybe he's trying to beat a throw or something. Yep, he's got the meter. Okay, it could, it could be getting oh! it. Oh! The accidental DP. What was that what it was? Wait. So, is, that, is that all? Yes, it is all. Ouch. So, Onuki's team advances. That was a crushing defeat. Wait, to the semifinals. I heard rumors that uh, Nuki might have been involved in the in the uh, in the development of Chun. Maybe that's true. Yeah, that's what I heard. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you're allowed to check with him mm. because maybe he's not allowed to say that. That's possible. But mm, I don't know. Never heard of it. Maybe maybe he is. Maybe he's not. I don't know. I mean, you could ask him. Well, I, well, you can. I'm not interested. <laughs> all right. All right. All right, well, we'll see what we'll see what the next one is going to be. All right, so next match is Rao, Master, Inoue, Makoto, Matsuke, and Shintaro versus Master Course, Game Center, Arashi, Kabetsu, Moto, Nito, and Rikimaru. Wow. Who do you have favored for this one? Uh, it, it's this one. Yeah, I know. It's a little choppy. We are dropping frames. We are dropping frames. Welcome to the world of Super Alright, switching back. So we have Shintaro and Arashi as the first player. Well, I got yeah, I'm waiting for it. Arashi is uh, uh, very, very famous uh, Virtua Fighter player. Oh, really? Yeah, Who did he use in that? I don't know, but um, people that play that game should know his name. He's that famous. Wow, okay. And we, two years ago, my team lost to him. Lost really? Ah, uh, I see. We played as a big one team. We uh, lost to Masticles. And... Arashi plays like mad solid. Yeah, he's really good. Yeah. Okay. I just need to watch this. Good reaction. Good punishment. Proper decision making. Very good player overall. Oh. Nice top two. Get off me. Oh. This is gonna hurt. This is. He's crouching. Oh, he's gonna do the keeper. Reset. Go for the reset. Uh oh, that's gonna hurt. And he doesn't have his meter back anyways, that's a kill! Are you ready? Go! Shintaro mad focused. He gets the meter, activate! Teleport or not? No teleport. Stand there! Oh, that's gonna hurt so bad! Nice diversion! Good fake! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Stuck the reverse or whatever it was. Woo! Oh. Throw him off the fireball. Can I, get the, can I get the meter? Oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So Arashi's out. D.E.D. Death. You win. <laughs> Third strike turn, D.E.D. So now they have Kabitsu, Moto, Nito, and Rikimaru. I'm just Kabitsu. We await your right. return, warrior. Or Cabbage. Sorry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're big. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm big in Japan. Tony. Mm -hmm. Stop eating so much, god damn it. So, yes, as I predicted, we have Cabbage. He doesn't look so confident, but he's gonna sit anyways. He looks a little green. He does. <laughs> does he? Oh, this color. I know. <laughs> Here we go. Look at Ricky Mario in the background. He's contemplating life. Nah, he's just swiping left on Tinder. <laughs> so if Shintaro can take out Kanetsu. Is it gonna be easy for them? Yes, not really. <laughs> not really. Yeah. But try to take out as many as you can, of course. Mm. 
Yeah. Look, at the, look at the consequences inside. Yeah. He's thinking about that. Maybe not. Maybe he's thinking about dinner. Or, or where to go drinking after he wakes up. Right? Right? This looks indecent. We need to set up the screen. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We, we, need, to, we need to cut that part. Whoa. Well, the camera you, know, you, know, you know what? I got Let it rip. Let's go. <laughs> Into the heat of battle. Go for it. <laughs> Oh, nice opening for Ken so far. Wake up buttons. Oh, spend the EX. Wow, I just Oh, he gets baited back in. Nice right hand here. Don't do that. He have a meter for Yasatsu. Off kicks. Oh, this is a combo. It's going to be crucial. He's pushing buttons at the right time. Wait, once again. Yep. Punish on the DP. Oi. Trying to react to the, to the shoulder. Uh oh, that's gonna. What oh, the hell yeah. was that? He's gonna regret that. It's working three times. Three out of three already. Oh, if he does it, he's gonna go to sleep. He's gonna regret that. So a lot of mistakes from the young player, Shintaro, it cost him, and uh, probably the worst mistake in the first round was the uh, punish on the DP. That was some desirable to do right there, sorry. He's, he's gonna slink off. <laughs> Who's going? It's Rao. Rao. Rao the Claw. I would love to see that piece up later on between the yeah. Battle of the Old School Chunks. Joe yes. <laughs> 3J, they got beat in the um, Old School Playoffs. Roman Artists are not playing. I got it. No, it's not. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't really have. I don't yeah, care. I'm waiting for it. Fighters ready. Engage. Going in there. Wait a second. Oh, oh, oh. Was he this offensive? I didn't know. No. 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 This is our district's back. No. I don't know. It's like. Raul decided to like fight fire with fire. So Ken's going in, and Raul said, "Fine, I'm going. In. I'm going as well." I I I've never seen Raul play like this. But it's working for Ken because if you're uh, if you both have no meter, prepare to strike. What do you think? Now. Ken's better, I think. If they have both have no meter, because Ken has that TP. Okay, this could cost them. Ken, Ken, uh, Maybe not. Is not scary. <laughs> well, she is, but yeah, no, she's not. Well, she's more scary. She had, and he burns it right away. Oh, no. Good punish. Good out here. Good punish. Oh, he was—he he already whipped it. That's, that's no, we'll burn again. If you can live long enough. Nice punish. Oh no 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 no! No way! No, 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 no way! You're burn down! It. You're, you are down a round. What are, what are you burn it! About? You're down. Okay, I see. I see it. Final round. Yeah, you use all your resources to, 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 get, to get the round. What are you talking about? <laughs> Can't get greedy now. No, 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 no way, no way. Oh, oh, good lucky. eye, good eye, good eye. So lucky. Shot you get shot you get. The damn guy gets the damn No meter. Uh, yeah. There we go. That's what hurt. But no meter. Up. No meter. So about her. DP, just right do it. Now. Yep, just gonna get right now. Overhead right super. Uh, go for Jim. Oh, you're sorry, you're sorry. He didn't have the EX Fireball. Right. The EX Fireball to Super would have changed the parry timing. Right. The problem is if 
if you parry and the fireball overlaps within three frames, it's covered automatically, I think. So the parry timing changes, so um, he actually parried uh, exactly at the same timing as he would parry a, a raw shippu. Ah. And the fireball and the shippu just overlapped okay. at the same time. So right. he was able to get out at the same time, at the yeah. usual time. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. So if it's yeah. EX, he has like a one, two, three. Yeah, you gotta, yeah you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a mistake for him, and might have costed him, but pulled it out with a DP. We have a cat mirror. Matsuken, yesterday's winner, the Buken. Oh, right. Good cross up. Oh, the corner pressure. Oh my god. I'm getting kind of tired of all these uh, double, double Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts more than super. It hurts more than this. Setups. Oh. Actually, you can hit confirm off of two hits Are you ready? on the DP. Uh, yeah, but he super got to the first hit. He didn't care. Okay, so he just committed. Yeah, that was, just, a, that was a hard thing. Okay. He said he's, he's just gonna do it. Nice. DD. DD. And oh, can't see what's happening. Not even like catch there really that time, right? They say that one, one player can. It's really hard to see. Oh right, that's this is one of those instances where one player and two player actually matter. I, I do not really know if it's true or not, but a lot, a lot of people say that. I've, I've heard the same. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh no! He was greedy. He should have went for a little forward. Still in it. Still in it. Final round. Engage. Both about the same, uh, about the same amount, of, amount of meter. Yeah. Oh, decided to throw him in the corner. Today. Yep. You think he wasn't buffering super? <laughs> Let me go. Use EX to get out. Oh, time, like, oh I mean, I mean, he's gonna adjust the meter for a DD, I guess. Oh, oh no, maybe not. Good to guess. Uh, greedy, greedy, greedy. There we go. Wow. Just do it. Do it. Oh. That was a good confirm. Uh oh. That was a late cancel. Uh oh. Late for the win. win. Because at that situation, the buttons Ken, Ken will be pushing is usually a middle punch or a low forward. Because he right. wants a super, he wants to buff for super. Right. right there. So the leap is down. I mean, even if you get hit by that, worst case is, I mean, they accidentally cancel. It resets out, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, well, yeah. And you make a waste of super. And you're airborne, yeah. Airborne. So, right, yeah. Uh, yeah you, you don't get hit by the super in any way. Right. So if they're pushing any of those two buttons, you can like you know. You, yeah, you either hop over the low four. Yeah, hop over the low four. Or you yes. get popped out of the air with a strong, and, and they get a fake. They get a false confirm. Yeah. Uh -huh. The odds are in your favor. Yes. Yep. So unless that move gets parried into full punish, you're basically safe. Right. So leap attacks are the ones are the buttons that you want to go to. Mm. In the in that situation. Yeah, in that situation. But you know, if you're calm enough to you know wait for that, anticipate for that. I mean, it gets parried and yeah. then a full punish. This and you. This also applies to Chun Li. And usually when you're uh, when you're uh, when your leap attack is parried, I think you're crouching because a lot of people like hold down. Uh, and when you're right. crouching, that means you suffer more damage. Yeah, 25 percent more damage. But it's scary. Onito, yes. There are a lot of young players in Japan, but I like him. Uh, I do miss Kenzo's. Uh, uh, it's just a matter of preference. I'm not saying who's better. I just like his play style. Yeah, style as well. You're very good. Yes, yes, yes. I also miss uh, watching uh, Kenzo's photo uh, as well. Oh yeah. True. But his photo is unreal. Now the DP. Yeah, it's pretty desperate. He's not gonna activate. And he's not. He's gonna try to touch him raw. Shoulder coming. Yes. That's what I call a death shoulder. Either you die or they die. Uh, right. Now. Activate. Raw activation. Emperor punch. Stop the game. Good with punish. Get the knockdown. Yeah. Oh, we call it. Yeah. Oh, good. oh, this is bro. This is gonna hit so hard. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah. it, does it does scale a lot. Oh my god. It, it does scale, but it did kill. Final round. Yeah. 
Okay, it's gonna get too much meter. But still, still in a good position. Good out here. Yo, let's build the meter slowly, but surely. In the corner. Ow! Uh, I do not know what he did, but he got hit crouching. No. We saw that somewhere. In the last match. So there you go. It's gonna hurt! It's gonna hurt! Hey! 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 Oh my god! Hey, this for real! Oh, oh, madness! I don't know what the madness! Um, I told you, I told you I like this. Yeah, right. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. I told you, yeah. I told you didn't I? Nino with a full carry. Combos for the win. Collaboration of 2017. This, this is madness! madness. <laughs> I don't know what's right in madness! <laughs> we all forgot to breathe. I got that. I think you know that we were not breathing. No, no, no. We not breathing. my heart's just We had nothing oh. to say. It was full power yeah. twice. I've been waiting for this. And then oh. jump and evade the DP. I can't believe that just happened. So, in a way, over his like, like logical post uh, Street Fighter V on his Twitter. Oh, he still plays Third Strike. He is mad. He used to play a little bit. Oh, I remember him. He used to play a little bit uh, on uh, Xbox as well. I see. But yeah, I think he went to uh, Evolution in uh, 2004 or 5, but he's back. Uh huh. He also plays very, uh, CBSD very well. I see. Uh, one, of his, one of the trademarks I usually see him do is uh, he confirmed uh, like, jab to short to down punch. That's, that's actually kind of a difficult thing. He can kill. He can kill. Oh, oh! Oh! He could have killed! Wow, he should have killed! Sure just, he should have killed! Rip the super. This is not the time to be greedy! Ready? Go! I think it was just a simple mistake that you don't, that you don't want to do at this time of day. Oh man, you get, let him, you get out of the corner. Well, you push pushed the button because you're going to burn him here. Oh, yeah. Wow, trying to keep him up from getting from jumping out. Oh, Nisha still looking healthy. Activate! There you Got go! It. Too far to do anything. Oi! Oh! Yeah. Goodbye! Good defense! Oh! Defense. oh. And, and gentlemen, we must not forget that Nico you is win. also an SBO winner. Yes, true. That yes. is, yes, yes, this yes. is. They await their return. So much, sir. Didn't Nico also win the other I remember because yeah, I lost, I barely lost oh, to him. Wait, Mester Anchor? Oh my god. god. Mester Anchor. Mester Anchor. Yeah, I barely lost to Nito and then he, he advanced and then ended up uh, defeating Daigo in the uh, grand final. Mester needs to beat Nito, Moto, and Ricky Maru. Oh, wow. This is not very awkward. We're all ahead of him. And yeah, and hit the book over here. Oh, yeah. He's not gonna go for reset, is he? Yes, he went for reset. It was a little too far. Yeah. He has to chase him across the entire freaking screen again. Wake up, button. because he's got no meter. It's gonna hurt. Fine. Open up the meter already. Leap attack. See, uh, leap attack at the end. It works yep. a lot. Funny and crazy dive kick. Because, right, Gage. dive kick has a weird thing up on it. I see. Maybe we should. Boy! Both had it active. <laughs> Already wow. has half meter, or almost 80%. Yeah. <laughs> this is not giving there. Uh, it's gonna be a punish! He might die! Right. It's not gonna be a kill! He might die! Oh. Well, oh. Definitely might oh. kill! Yeah, he's trying to get rid of the reset. Is this the end for the investor? If not! Well, okay, he's not gonna be done! Oh! Oh! He missed the leap! Yeah. 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 Okay, he's gonna do scale yeah. damage! Yeah. Ender? Yes, no Ender. What, what right, what's gonna happen now? Wow. wow. Mash Watch them out. buttons. You win. Tom, you wanna explain about the hit level of this game? Uh, I actually don't know about the hit level. Okay, well... I, I, unless you talk about the priority. So, uh, priority. Well, kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing. Does priority system actually apply for uh, air attacks? 
Air what? For uh, for aerial attacks? Air, you mean you mean for the like air? a dive kick? Yeah. Uh, I thought that didn't apply to that. I do not. Yeah, I do not know uh, the hit levels of uh, the dive kicks and sometimes leap attacks and some moves from um, Gil, which is the final boss of this game. So aside from those, there are things called a hit level. Right. What we call well, well, that's, well that's a Japanese term. Okay. And oh, the, they they carry that same uh, system over to uh, Street Fighter Five. Five, right? Yes. So, so you kind of know about it, yes. right? Yes. So. You know, uh, middle kick beats the weak, weak kick. Correct. And hard kick beats the middle kick. Right. And hard kick, uh, hard punches and kicks buttons and uh, uh, normal specials are on the same same hit level. They trade. And and supers are on a higher hit level. So supers will never lose to a normal move or a special move. Somehow. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there. All right. Oh, it might have been. Um, all right, going to the cover. It might have been one of those ah. layers. Here, I'll, I think I can fix it. But we have to switch over. Can you just like? No, 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 no it, only, it only happens on a, on this scene. And then wait. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Sorry. Oh, no problem. Yep. I, yeah, it took me a while to figure it out. Yeah, yep. we had we had a little a little bit of technical difficulties, but as I was saying, there are things called hit level and. And the highest hit level in this game is a throw. Oh, yes. Throws, throws throw. have priorities over right. all normal And attacks. the next Especially. comes supers. Okay. And so people watching the stream might wonder why you're not pushing buttons while your opponent is activating gain agent. Because while he's in gain agent... It's, everything's a super. Everything's a super, so he basically beats everything. And it'll all even trade with supers. Oh, uh, yes, it will sometimes. Yeah, because I've, I've seen... Uh, I've seen a low forward trade with Shibu Junai. Yes, yes, that and we're like, well, And then you see the clash happen. And, and then the, you can get the combo after that. Exactly. Right. But if it's like a super has like a rocket uppercut or like Shin showed you, those will just like. Yeah, because you're stuck. Yeah, just like. Yeah, just, like just like. Just like. Just like. Beat Gage and. Yes. So some of them have long and much ability. Yes. I got the picture. So Kale family. Fighting screen. Beat Gage. Alex, say me too. He's, he's a Remy player. But he's playing out here now. Nice. And he Last year's winner. Had a long interview. Uh, not going to be an easy match for Alex, but this is top level play, so anything goes at this point. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of Alex players uh, prefer playing against Ken uh, I, compared to Ryu. Yeah, I agree. I highly agree. Ryu, one hit seems to do a little more, but Ken, we're so familiar with the matchup that. It, it's, it's almost comfortable. Uh, well, um, Ryu has better defense. Yes. And well, when Alex wants to go in, uh -huh. Ryu can defend yeah. himself better with the EX fireballs and the cancel. Able to cancel Sammy Middle Punch. Uh -huh. But Ken's Middle Punch can't be canceled. Right. And so he has a little bit weaker defense. And that's what trying. That's what uh, Alex is trying to do. Okay. And he's trying to go in right now. Oh, nice. Good air to air. Good, good air to air, yeah. Oh, oh, oh that hits. It was, a, it was an uppercut. So, That's true. Oh! Uh, he had a punch right there. Yeah, EX, he EX dash punch. No, not, not dash punch. Uh, EX slash double, yes. Slash double, yes, I'm sorry. Alex doing very well. Not doing anything fancy. Stampede? Nope. No stampede. Cross up, yes. Cross up. Strong Chris Fireball. Shippu. Won't do it, won't do it. Now, remember, Alex has got to be very careful when he's in the corner. He cannot quick rise. Ken has the option of dashing over and getting a free cross up on him. But now, that is putting himself in the corner. Right. So Ken did not want to risk it. True. There's that being saw it coming. Ooh, he got the punish. Oh, nice. Nice with punish. Boys, welcome to Earth. Uh, well, what's that called? Brain, uh, brain, brain cancer? Brain cancer, brain cancer. Some, yeah. Or just being welcome to Earth, like welcome, welcome to, Earth. <laughs> to Earth. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Remember, if it Alex lands a throw, yo, eat dirt. Eat dirt, yes, eat dirt. You're right. Uh, oh, <laughs> it was very simple, but it worked. You can make the right. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, yeah, smart, smart. Yeah, 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 smart. Ye
Super Tonight. Yeah, that was wait. very, very hard because sometimes, oh, well, oh, during the Super Flash, a projectile moves slightly during the Super Flash. Really? So there are certain combos when you cancel, when you do a fireball, it's super right away. It links. Like short, short, fireball super with Goki. It does not work, but when you do it right, it sometimes does. So there's a magic of the projectile moving through the, during the Super Flash. Nice. Oh, in the face. Chuck Norris Roundhouse. So he doesn't care. Apparently he doesn't care. He's just going in. He's trying to do a meter. Look at oh, 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 it. Red the grand back the paragraph. Oi, 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 oi. Nice this, repair. This is a ice cat. Nice punish. I like it. Activate. You're not. Oh, nice leap to that. Nice block hole. Gonna get him decent. Gonna get some decent damage. Hey. Oh, not gonna kill, but. We oh. just did it. Oh. Oh. Dash up DP. He bent the farm. Yeah, push, push, push the farm. He bent the farm. That's not a Daigo. <laughs> that is not a Daigo. Come on. No, you wanna know why it's not a Daigo? Because he actually won the death. Come on. That's ES up kicks. Alright, That's what you call a death shoulder. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, Carbomb! Yes! Carbomb's yes. all day! He's known for that! Oh, a little bit too far? Maybe he missed a car on him. Wait, that's right! Oh, good repairing! Oh! Nice activation! He's gonna challenge! He's gonna challenge! He, he, challenge. he just did it! And remember, Yung is negative after that overhead. Oh. Oi! Throw it out! Yes. That's so smart, so smart to delay and wait for that move forward. Exactly, delay waiting is waiting is a very very important factor in this game. Guys, this is one of those games where like pressing nothing is sometimes more important than actually pressing buttons. You're right, exactly. And you know, better than like both playing hurry. Yes, just like sit, sit there and block. By the way, where is Kidai from? He is from the uh, a little, uh, middle western. Middle western. Okay. Okay. I remember first hearing about him at like HO tournaments or something. HO tournaments. HO tournaments. Yeah. Okay. So we have KO. We have KO, the winner of last year OCB in the finals. Not gonna let you breathe. Wow. He wants to make it happen. <laughs> Alright. So okay, got, that's what he did last year. Fighting. I'm sure Nika KO is just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that oh, oh, that's oh. gonna hurt. No chance to activate. Oh, I missed it. We that might have been a stun right there. We haven't seen Gaijin yet. Jeez. Read you like a bug. Kind of reactions on him. Finally, activation. The box. Uh oh, it's, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. I, 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 oh! oh! Missed the juggle. I, I, nice! Red card for to save his freaking shoulder. Life. Shoulder? No, no shoulder. Shoulder, oh, shoulder. That, that shoulder. That was a dead 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 shoulder. Oh! It doesn't matter! I am very surprised he pushed the button at the end. Wow. As we were talking about the hit double. Right. If he would have pushed the button. Probably would have stuffed it, well, yeah. and the round was over. Yeah. I don't know why he jumped yeah. in the first place. Yeah, why did he? Uh, yeah. And he pushed the button. That, that would have been this one. Well, it, it, it worked out. Into the heat of well, okay, so oh, after it. this matchup is pretty hard for Yang because the corkscrew blow and the crouch middle punch from W, five framer, you can do a lot of work in this matchup. Nice down here. But doesn't mind, he's KO. It is really scary to see KO going second for a team. Right. Nice. Nice adjustment of the distance, making Deadly jump over you. Fighters, ready. Engage. You know, like in most other alternate universes, like Game the Anchor. Wait, he's second? He's second, right? Yeah. KO is second. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's scary. You uh, what do you go for? Oh! You see, you need, you need a crouch middle punch for that. Right. Oh, this is like slug fest. Dudley doesn't mind if slug fest. Oh! There you go! Cross counter! counter. Uh, I forgot it. Ah! Oh, he should have 
Got lucky. What happened? Whoa. We got meter. Whoa, 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 what can I do? So yes, um, when you parry the yeah, EX slashes with Dudley, you're supposed to punish it with a low, uh, low strong, which is a five framer, I and see. will not trade because it's fast enough. But when you put the round out, it's six frame and it one frame to trade. Yes, and it trades. Right. But that's what happened right there. I see. Decoy. Decoy killed everybody. Not everybody, but uh. Um, Destroyed the New York team uh, in, in the second round because you know New York didn't have a goalie. Nice. Mean, yeah. Just don't want to drop combos against KO. Oh, this gun damage is gonna rack up so fast. Boy, wow, good reactions. He's not playing as much. He's playing a lot more. Decoy. Fists in the face. Doing pretty well. Nice box. Uh oh, uh oh, this might One more guess, one more guess. Cross up dive kick. All the time. It is risky though. Then we only battle. Go for it. Oi. Not a good punish, but still good. better than nothing. Yeah, he did that the, the, the cross up dive kick. Uh, that one. Doesn't matter though. Akuma almost has a reason to be ready. Now he does. Don't want to spend it that way. Really, he wants, he wants to hit it once and then go for oh, the reset. Oh, that was a free confirmative super. He was a little bit far away. And it wasn't crouching. Oh, that's true. He had additional frames uh, to connect with if he was crouching. Whoa! Nice. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Goki wants one or two more hits and then beam it. Oh, this... What's your red parry? What's your red parry? Why is this hitting? Nice punish! Any air parry into his standing short four framer. Nice punish. Nishikawa. By the way, guys, uh, KO training should be a sumo wrestler. Good question. Because I do not know. All right. Because uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, he comes from a family. Uh, his father is actually a very famous sumo wrestler. Really? Yes. Well, he's always had a lot of money as well. Uh. Oh, Whoa! Throw him out the overhead. This is gonna go real fast. Oh! Did he steal his color? No, he didn't. Uh. This is gonna go by real fast because. Well, neither wants to block, they just want to go in. Go for it. Oh, Oi, throw him out the throw. Nice. Nice, nice button. Oh, and this is a really bad position. Oi. Oi, one more. Oh, wow, I think he's done there. Step on him. For the stun. Final round. By the way, their team, the Matsuri. Matsuri means carnival festival. They're enjoying it. Maybe not, maybe not, not no more. Two more guesses. One more. There we go. Okay. With the green bar. Yeah. Seven golden letters. KO advances. You win. All right. That's cool. KO family to the next round. They will be playing the winner of the next match. Warrior. 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 Okay. So next we will have the pro gamers against Tomi Naga. Oh, this will be a good one. I'm this will be a good very one. excited for this. I, I think everyone knows who I'm who I am I will be rooting for. Who? Tomi Naga? Of course. Oh? Okay. I'm rooting for Vanel, by the way. Uh, uh, he's a good friend of yours. Yep. But esports, man. <laughs> this is third strike. We're not esports here. This is an anti-esports zone. <laughs> no, no, there are there are no tags. I no have tickers. never ever played that game. All right. Okay. Fair enough. I can't even be biased. I never played. Right. I can't even I, judge. I might have I might have worked on some frame data for it. You know? Some? That's a a, little. That's plenty, man. <laughs> 
to shed blood, sweat, and tears on that too. So, it's Haitani, MOV, Momochi, Vanao, and Saru. Saru is from the west. He's playing the Osaka area. Against Tominaga, Match, Boss, Kudo, and K. Oh, K. K was originally from the west, but now he's in Tokyo now. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, yeah, we have the brackets up. Oh, we did. Shoot. So let's see. Who's going up first? Saru. Match. Saru actually played the Evo back uh, about two years ago. He won the oh, Saito. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not tool assisted. So I think they guessed wrong. Not just me. Because Goki would not want to play Yun. Owns oh, double blind pick. That's right. Oh, wow. I think he guessed wrong. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be real ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Ow! Oh, 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 oh wrong button! Wrong button! That's a hell of damage already. Ow! Oh, oh no! Hit him wrong! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hard to keep it simple. Oh. But you know what? It almost even better! Ah! Oh, oh, I hate it! Oh. That was difficult! Never test the parry! That, <laughs> that was really difficult! That's like one, two, three, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, Tell me oh uh, wait, match is down, so who wants to play Yun? Okay, I think Furo. I think Furo will be coming up. Oh yeah, 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 I guess right. Damn, yeah, that is a shirt that Oil King would wear. Okay. So our team, most of the team, got destroyed by Furo and uh, Boss. So I'm rooting for now for the same reason for, for, for that reason now. Uh -huh. I can throw on the offensive. He wants to be in your face all the time. Right. Oi. A little bit more meter? He's going for it. I don't know if it's anything matter if you and does like uh, wake up on the X Wish Taco because uh -huh. he's gonna get that meter back anyways. As long as it's not punished. Yeah. Oh. Wow, nice. Nice. Wow. nice. All the way back in the corner after half three. Oh, I did a cross up. Got a crazy ass combo with that. Oh, no. The bus. Does he have time to activate? Oh, oh, activate! Oh, 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 he goes in the front! Fierce. I thought, I thought the, angle, the angle was on a dive kick. Now. Didn't have time, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to go in desperately. Oh, yeah, Wait! That is a solid punch. That is a solid punch. Oh, oh. Drops. Don't want to do that. Too late. Too late for the wow. win. Too late for the input. Oh, one, more, one more hit. One more hit. Right. Wow, why did you get to play stuff? That was faking, faking to, you know, fake him to uh, try to show him that you're going back, Final but instead that's a fake and try to go ahead. Okay, okay. Yeah. I should say like a fake backup. I see. Uh, fake, fake, fake retreat. Yeah, fake retreat. Nice jab! Ooh. Wow! Grab the yes! Alright, here we go. Oh! Wow, the fish! Yeah. Like, I like it, keeping it simple. Got most of the meter back. Oh. Alright, come back. Oh. That was a tricky cross up. Yes, I, I'm scared that he, uh, I'm really surprised that he checked. Yeah. Dash, dash, dash. Oh, what a oh he jumped! Oh, he jumped! Oh, man! 
you win. So, so, this, so they're saying, what was that? Yeah. What was yeah, that? I would like to ask that same thing too. So Saru, I have played him once or twice in online edition. At our first meeting, I was Yurian and uh, he was Yun. Uh -huh. And then round one, fight, dash punch. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what? I've, I've actually had to start respecting that. Sometimes. And then we saw some of that just right now. Yes. That YOLO play right there. Well, it's hard. It's really hard to punish because uh, the most you get is most uh, most time. Uh, the best you can get is a throw. Uh, based on the spacing of yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Like at the very beginning of the match, though. Uh, like say, for example, if Makoto reads it, then she can get. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 on a block, what? On a block, for sure. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. So we have Tomiyama, double Fukiyage master, but we've seen him mess up day once already. Right. Yeah, critically. But so they came out from the playoff. Right. <laughs> that he knows he's on borrow time. He, he should be here. He's yeah. Maybe the playoff was actually at a higher level than we have the top eight. Yeah. Yeah, that's what people were saying. Well, it's not over yet. So it's, it's uh, first player and third player, right? Actually, actually soon. Nope. He wants to actually just put it. Wait, just do it. Oh, that was ambiguous. And got to back off. Re retreat. No, he's going in. Oh, he's going in. We, we saw this before. No. They're pushing buttons everywhere. Oh, he's going to get on Kaksa. The one time he didn't push a button, he got grabbed. He got grabbed. Nice read. Omi Naga! I can't unclench my face. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. I play yes, play safe now. Play safe now. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, that was wrong. Oh, oh but he missed the he missed the car bomb. They're, they're pushing buttons everywhere. He does want the meter. Dive get missed dive get missed dive get. What is plain today? Wait, the main blade does not exist in uh, this country? It does! <laughs> Just not a top 8. So I'm not gonna have any good Well, they both wanna win too much. Go in, he's not going in. He is going in! Wow, oh, what's he oh, doing? Right, for it. What's he's he going for it! He's going for it! He's with a touch attack! Done! Hey! 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 hey. Oh. Oh. What is happening? It doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! What is happening? But... It's gonna leave his teammates a little bit worried. Right. Yeah, I would be too. So, on the back of their head, they'll be thinking, Tommy Naga dropped it twice already. So, um, no, I don't think, I don't think it's nerves. He's experienced this kind of thing before. Right. Right. So, Vanau, yes. Everybody loves Vanau. Look at that face. It's intense. He's always like this. <laughs> Like yeah. <laughs> so what I, what I would like to see is with the Karox over the back dash and yeah. dashing forward, standing standing fierce into uh, Donkey Kick. That's the that's the max punish for against uh, the Karox. And he's good at that. Engage. Fire bar to start off. Oh. 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 Oh, yes! Fireball! Uh, baseball! Oh, one's gonna die! One's gonna die! Oh, he did it anyways! He went for two grabs! And he's gonna redeem himself! Are we gonna see it? Are we gonna see it? Hey! 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 Guys, hey. 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 says no! Don't worry! I got this! I got this! Now! We might see it again! But but now we challenge him too much. Uh, he grabs now. Oh, oh, he he grab. Here we go. Here we go. He grabs the car. Hey. Oh, oh no. my God! What is happening with him? Oh oh. He's trying to go for a kill, but it's too late. What is happening? I have. I have. Oi. Oh, Oi. Oh. Oh, good. Uh -oh. Nice good pieces. One of them is gonna die. One of them is gonna die. Oi. Both are stunned. Overhead. Oh, 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 what is going oh, on here? Oh, 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 right now! Oh, right now, are you still alive? Still alive? Not over yet. 
now. What are we at? Here we go. And Tommy Noise does not have meter. Yes, the matches are sloppy, but they are incredibly high level. Oh, we tried to go and take in the Karaksa. Hey. Alright. Level two? Level three. Nice parry. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. But Tommy Noise has meter. So what's gonna happen? Really? Uh, I, predict, I predict a wrong. Oh, he jumped wrong. in there at the right timing. Nice. Oh, got the punish! Oh my! Oh! Oh! Tommy Naga still manages to clutch it out. Wait, Tommy that Naga is mighty close. Still in there. The nineties are not dead yet. We're going on. Let's go, Tommy Naga. Welcome to the is up to play the mirror match. Oh, Makoto vs Makoto. This is gonna be a high octane. What wow. super? What did he pick super one? one. Pick super one. You really want to pick super one? You know what? I'm not afraid. I don't think Haitani has contacts in. Oh, yeah. Maybe you're right. <laughs> or just sleepy. Wait for the heat of battle. Go for it. This is gonna go by real fast. Real fast. Oh my god. Oh! Nice way punish. Nice way! Oh! Oh, son! It's over! Oh, it's it's it. almost over! But don't go away too much! You're gonna die! Stay away, stay away, stay away! Oh! We got him! We got him! Got him. Got him. Got him. One, two, three! Hey! 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 hey. Not even deep, but he has saves the meter! Wow! Tony Naga! From the Jaws of the Beast! That's the victory! Oh my god! Wow! He tamed himself yet again. My time game time is working really well. Oh. Oh, wait. It was. Until. Until. <laughs> Tommy Naga down to it. Oh! Whoa, what the hell was that? Is she not throwable during certain phases of dash? Um, no, not really. Tommy Naga changed the right there. Final round. He's trying to find out outside of the car. Exactly. Terry, come down. Come out of the corner. He's going in. Stereo's hell. He can die at any moment. Starts to burn two. Yes, but still. Hard to meter. Burning a lot more. Just to go in now. Gets a wrong grab in the corner. Almost done. Oh! You got this! Reaching! Yeah. Reaching Rainbow! You know what? That was actually pretty funny. Um, the last moment, he could have finished it off with a fierce into EX. Instead, he chose Sosanami to finish it off for no reason. Yeah. 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 You know what? Tomodog is stylish. By the way, by the way, when you low carry, you go for it, right? Yeah. That also would have carried the super, by the way. Yes, you're right. And if uh, Python had tried to do low short to super, the motion which he did to go to Braxa would have also upset yeah. carry the super. Because it starts in four and you go forward to back. Tap down and then go forward to back. Oh wait, you know what? I don't know. No, that would not work. That would not work. That would not work. When you parry the low short, you have to buffer the parry before the super flash. So it's gotta be tap down and then tap forward or down. Buffer before the super flash. Yeah. So maybe if he if he would have let the super rip, might have hit. Okay. For now, who do we have? Orochi, another pro gamer. Oh. He wow. in there! Uh, he in there! It didn't matter that it was blocked because the chick damage is so massive on that on the EX chop. Esports nothing. Oh man, Tony Naga says, I don't need your money. Wait a second, Mochi was a top player back in the days. <laughs> back in the days, he was Mochi. Yeah, but you know what? Maybe. Uh, nah, I think he did. He was a top player when Third Strike was so active. I think he did, maybe not. But, oh, dead! Oh! Stay up, Raiders. Definitely these points. Hey! Hey! Definitely these points for you, son! Wow! What can you say? Tell me now. You win. So? Who do we have left? Vino? 
It is M O V. By the way, that was unanimous applause from the crowd. M O V. Unanimous applause from the crowd. As you know. Right. You know what? Emily's playing very well. I think that he played this one in the tournament. I think he's starting to get some sort of comeback. And he's really really right Yeah, but he plays like an average MLB right now. He's not like the incredible MLB that we've seen. So, but he's still, he's, he's doing good right now. Right. And it's incredibly hard to land the 100% to the death on Jim Lee. Yeah. But I heard. Tell me how to like discover something new. Oh, we might get to see it. Okay. I do not know the details, but I heard he his like percentage of Fight landing the Gage. double Pukiyagi against Chun Li like like skyrocketed at one point. I heard. Somehow I'm not so confident about that today. Though. Might be dead. Uh, might be uh, dead. Or I'm watching it. That's Kenshiro. We'll see. Uh, uh. Oh! Oh my God! Oh my god! Oh! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's on video! It is on record! You can hit double oh, Pukiyagi! Wow. Is, is he back? Is the god back? Yeah. Oh, now he has a reader though. Oh crap. Can he slay the god? Tony is, uh, is on fire right now. Wow. And need I not say, that is difficult. That is very hard. Oh! Not there, you're, you're not gonna die there. Will there be a little bit of change of plan. Oh yes! Oh! Oh, got the, got oh. the reset! Green no more Dosanami. Good time. Oh! oh. Dosanami coming! Oh, oh my oh. god! Red Perry, no place, no place. 50-50? Oh, good, good, up good, back! Good. Up back! Oh. Not pushing a button. Oh. 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 Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Oh. Oh. Tominaga has oh done my it. god! Esports is done! Their strike remains! Their strike prevails! Tominaga the god! But allow me to say, Manao has been playing a lot of Third Strike recently. True. Although he was playing Street Fighter V after Season 2 came out, I saw him a lot in the arcade. So I respect him. Right. Although he lost. So we got the top four. It's uh, Kuni, Onuki, Sho, Tokura, Genki against Arashi, Kabitsu, Moto, Nito, and Rikimaru. On one side, uh, yes. Here are the brackets, yes. That was on the left side. On the right, we have KO Family. That's KO Kashi, Hirai, RX, and Yakun. And the bottom, we just saw Tominaga, Match, Boss, Huro, and K. And wow. KO Family looking for a repeat, which has never ever happened in the history of Kong Kong. against Tominaga's team. Well, you never know. True. But, oh my god, that's... As the East Coast would say, this is third strike. Anything can happen. Jesus, that's going to be such a murderous Just, Just like the NFL, any given Sunday, anything can happen right now. <laughs> this is going to be such a murderous set. Oh, I'm, sur I'm really surprised that all the big names of... Um, basically, to basically Tokyo area? Yes. Like, are... Alive at top four because wow. we thought um, like Kyushu would yeah. be up there, right. and, and, Ushi, yeah. and usually like Kokujin's team mm -hmm. are like uh, Nagoya, uh, right? Nagoya, yeah, yes. a little west in Japan. Usually they're up there, like one of them at least. But we have all four, and they are all Tokyo area. Damn. So proving that Tokyo, proving that Tokyo is still good. Yeah. Or maybe I should say Tokyo area is still the best for this year right now. So we have Genki versus Arashi. Whoa. Genki and Arashi, Alex versus Goki? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow. 
So he should have done it probably one frame later. Right. Like maybe it would have been. Uh, uh, right into it. Yeah. Right and uh, in the last situation where he was going for chip. Right. Uh, basically, it was done. When Goki went to throw, you can actually check a throw at the right time if, if you push it at the right timing. But you cannot. You, know, you have to block the remaining of the super. Right. So that means you'll get chipped with them. So uh, basically you had nothing to do yeah. but to die or hope that your opponent makes a mistake. Right. So it was really wise for him to go for a throw because you would never ever suffer damage if you go for a throw because there was no super on Alex's side. There was basically nothing he could do. I'll prioritize everything. So yeah, it was a wise decision. I thought he was gonna go low. We saw that. We saw that kind of situation, right? Yeah. 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 That, was, that was match. Yes, it's Tony. Go for it. One back throw, and Goki might lose 70% left if he has Zenjin. Good punish. Good eye. Yep. Goki wants to recover stun. He wanted to punish with super, I guess. That that crouch crouch rear. I thought he was buffing super. Staying neutral, yes. He doesn't want to, doesn't want to go for too much. Whoa, scary as hell. Well. Worked out. Now, oh, he started to burn a super. Ex. Don't know why. Oh, nice. Burn punish. That is what you call a legit punish. Decided to burn the ex just in case. Fighters ready. He could have gone for the DP, it, it, it would have KO'd. Yeah. But he went for the EX. Yes! That, That's a good trade. That is a good yeah. NEX trade. Oh, did he get the toxin? A little bit more meter. He has a meter. Yeah, he has it now. Fireball dead here. Oh! Aye, aye. Two hits! Never count him out. Never count him out. Uh, so low. Never count him out. Yeah, but this is so hard. I know. Hey, just breathe on him. Oh! There it is, there it is. You win. If if Arashi had a fierce DP buffered and fired it upon the reaction of the parry, 
Ahora sí, bueno, I'm still going to drive. Right. I thought he would have some big teleport on the left. But yeah, he had nothing. He had neither of them. It seems like he was airborne at the end. Maybe he had neither of them, but he had no life. Well, look at this ground. Look at, look at Ricky Barrow. He is sick. This is why I have to. But it looks like Ricky Barrow like yeah. desperately wants to win this year. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. But Mojo Yun is uh, one of the two Yuns. We saw what Nicho did last time. Are you ready? Go! Oh, no, second player? Oh. Not the best punish, but still good enough. Okay, we were about to get a meter. That means you, you might die. Meter. You might die. Well, maybe not. If you got the command grab, oh. or juggle. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Bad. Oh, 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 Wait a second, what's he doing? This is the second time he missed it! Cooney is getting nothing. Got it! Got it! Wow. Cooney was getting nothing! What is up this? Alright, it didn't matter though. It didn't matter that he it's missed the first two times. Battle. <laughs> you really think so? Well, I mean, he still won the round. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like we all did the same hip or twice. But oh well. Wow. This is like, definitely a miss it. Oh. You can feel how much of a crowd is behind you when they're when they are cheering their combos or not. Uh oh! Wait. Here's the letter A. One more hit! One more hit! One more hit! Like and roll. Oh, that's done! Nice! Great conversion. Tony decided not to style. Win. Finish it off with a DP. He could have done the uh, standing jab juggle because he was stunned. But he just decided to keep it simple. And Cabbage is up. This is seven finals? Alright. Wow. I got the yeah, I'm ready. Go. This is highly intense favor, but you never know. Please, dead yet. Oh, and actually, I know. I always got this really confused with uh, the old Super Turbo Zinky Goody. Oh, I do not know that. Yeah, okay, Kuni does not want to want to fire Denjen because Ken's Ken oh, yeah. is empty. Ken's going to be better. Nice punish. You got the meter back already. He's committing so much. And it's what he just wants to kill. He'll burn the meter to get the kill. Oh! Are you gonna rip it? Right? Talk about Kuni, nope. Hey. Oh! What did he do? I think he mashed back throw. I think he, I think he mashed back throw. Oh, yeah. And he got strong round. No no get, for it. Yeah, no reason to get hit, 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 hit by that standing. Not this time. No. Maybe you're done. Maybe you're done. Oh no! He keeps missing that! Got it! Anyway. Get out! Oh, nice. Ow! Oh! How is he getting away with some sloppy execution? Eh, it don't matter. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Right. It, um, it is a little sloppy for both sides. <laughs> yeah. See, that's scary as hell. Oh. Nice. God, that oh, face on the stare down. Oh, oh. 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 this game. Fire, is yes. Hi, 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 hi. Oh! oh. Threw him out of the overhead! Uh, uh, oh. Saw the last time! Oh, Wake up, button! Nope, not quite! What the yes. Oh! Yes. Oh. That's it! You win! What a matches that he should be losing! Coney is making a lot of hard reads and like those anti-air low fierces.
If it gets carried, you suffer a lot of damage. Ah. Like standing strong, uh, standing rear Danny as well. And she saw the dash and then went low. So if Ken would have went, went for a throw, he was free. Right, so... I don't know what could be bigger. His play style changed a lot. Yeah. Sometimes he doesn't mind getting hit. He just says, I'm just going to hit you harder. So it's, it's really risky? I mean, it's, it's working well, somehow. Got the yeah. It kind of defies logic. Yeah, so what I, what I want to say is just so scary. So we have Nito. Oh, Nito. We know what he can do. Yes. <laughs> Even when he literally has no life. No life. We don't see that. Wow, wow, what a trade! We're reacting to the neutral jump. Mew is actually going for trade. That's one of his uh, that's one of his mid-game. Uh, neutral game. Because you have to be careful. Uh-oh. Goody doesn't mind. As long as he gets a back throw. Nope, he's gonna smash nothing. Scary, but uh, it's he working. Spell hard. Uh, Nito spells it. Oh, oh. Wrong button. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Huge. That huge. Fire. Oh, no! You see, you see him, like you know, kind of like teabagging. But that's a buffer right guy. Low parry. Uh, he wanted needed to push a button. Instead, he got the throw, and it worked out last time against uh, Moto. Uh, so he went for the same thing. Not a big fan of that dog. So it's not a thing that you want to do when you're down, down when, when you're down, I mean like, like almost dead. Yeah, almost dead, like 5% life. But yeah, he still does it, he doesn't care. Whoa. Oh, no way. Oh, no. Got him. All right, baseball time. Oh, baseball, no kid. Guess the sweep. Oh. Oh, he was about to activate. He backdashed and he said, "Hey, show me your stuff." <laughs> so if you're not gonna do nothing, I'm just gonna go away. And he does not go for the command grab because if he gets that back throw, he might, he might, he might, he might get dead. Yeah, he might get dead. He might lose from that. Right. And he did not, he did not like you know panic when uh, he, he got hit by the ES donkey kick and followed up with the uh, uh, Tatsu. And he knows that low forward DP is not enough for Denjin. So he parried high. Uh, oh, Nuki, Nuki and Nito. Oh, good, re good punish, good reaction. One of the heads of That's Nuki's move. He missed the car throw. Yeah. Short, standing middle punch, and the car throw. Damn! Oh, so, Nuki. If Nuki pulls this off, we are going to see Battle of the Doros. So it's going to be Rikimaru next. So it's going to be Nuki versus Rikimaru. You want to you see that, or you want to see more Nito? I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't either. No, I don't. I don't mind seeing more Nito. I, I love watching Nito. I love watching Nito as well. Wait! Ah, that was so nuky. Nobody can cover that. Activate! Activate! Knock him down, then activate in your face! What's going on? Oh! 
That's done, it's done, it's done. Oh, oh. he drops it. Oh. That's what he's yeah, It's gonna cost him. Clutch, clutch. Oh, Dookie! 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 Oh,
the one that came before Heisei, which is right now. Yes. And so it, they were. Uh, it says four Showa 57 uh -huh. guys that were born, and one guy that was born in four Showa 54. So <laughs> oh, uh, I see. Okay. So Got there's it. one guy that's that happens to not be born in the same year as the others. Yeah, and, same, same time yeah. Zone. and one yeah. guy is a little bit older, three years older. Right. And I'm guessing it's Tomi Naga. That's safe then. Yeah. I see. Grandpa Tomi Naga. Thank you for that translation, by the way. <laughs> Most people don't care. By the way, 50, Showa 56 is 1981. So that's, if it's 54, that means three, uh, two years before that. So it means 1979. Ah, oh, I see. Because says one 1979, and then one nine, uh, four, uh, one nine, no, wait, four 1982. I'll make Tomi 37, probably. Yeah. So, wait, 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 wait. Please, we're not getting defeated. Thank you. Oh, yes. It's heat I am match. Uh, it seems like match is not really has not really practiced a lot because he's going first every single time. Huh. And usually, Koki would want to go against Yuri. Which is RX, but he doesn't mind going first. And he's playing Ken and he's having a hard time. Who do you think normally would go uh, uh, first? Good question. I do not know. Ow! Oh! Good read, by the way. He's playing. Although he's not playing third strike, he's playing uh, fighting games. So he's training them reads all the time. Fighting games that we'll, we will not mention in this stream. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Cammy's in the game. Oh, uh, is this Street Fighter 4? <laughs> yeah. 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 working so far. And Goki build a meter to build his defense. Now he can anti-air anti -air twice oh, safely. Oh, it's crashing. It's, it's, it's gonna hurt. Oh, he got away. He got away. Oh, they're carrying. Reset, no. Could have killed, I think. Didn't go for anything fancy. Oh, good with punish. Good with punish. Oh. 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 So you do it. You do it. Actually, invisible to DPS. <laughs> so Goki uses up all the meter. He's got to build it. <laughs> now the back to back and fireball read. Right. Of course. I mean, I feel it's some kind of read. Yeah. So Goki suffers a lot from that. So match building up the meter safely gets one now. And so is he right? I don't know if it was a hit confirmed, but he let it go. Nice block. Dude, it's so bad. Now gonna, gonna try to build me. I don't think he is. Whoa! Wow, really? Send the fight back. Because he was doing demon flex before. Oh! Almost has another super ready too. Yep. Oh! God, God, the oh no! Simple mistake by Hirai. It's gonna cost him. Oh! Super. No. Nope. Yeah, gonna, gonna go to super back. Time's running out. 27, 26. Whoa! Did he get the EX? So, wow, I missed the EX. What cost the guy is that he got the air, air EX Tatsu and, 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 he, and he hit three hits. It did three hits. That means basically in this game you can juggle up to six and each move has a juggle value. Right. And the EX Tatsu is one one hit per each, well, one for each hit. So use up three hits. He, to, he used up three hits and he did a jab DP which is three. Uh, so so his juggle ball. count ran, ran out. But he did a DP after that, and, and the match got out the corner. Right. He gave him the if he would have done that, then he would have been able to set up the set up. Yes, you're right. Properly. Right. right. Got it. So, uh, maybe because of the noise? I don't know. It's a simple mistake. I mean, to count, to count three, two, to count two or three. Right. So, I don't know how he got his nerves. Maybe it was the noise that we're making? I don't know, but... So he knows that Ken Goki is in Ken's favor, so he decides to pull off another Ken right here. It's Kashi! Oh, okay. 
There is a term called ET. He cashed me. I got Kashi. There's a term. Oh, we have tournament organizer Matsuda. Matsuda son. Let her rip. The box. Are you guys having fun? Are we guys enjoying it? Oh, yeah. That's what yeah. I said. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. So, so, it's so bad. So, Matsuda's gonna hold the mic for the finals. No, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's right now raw, but. Alright, you guys are gonna get some actual Japanese commentary. <laughs> Um, oh, for the American one, let me check. Oh, he's not going for demon. He's going for super. No more yeah. super. Yeah, it's fucking a deal. Wait. Not gonna kill. Yeah, it's a kill. It's a kill. It's a kill. If he's gonna do it, it's a kill. You want to touch it right there. You want to touch it right there. Not right now. Are you conditioning him with low attacks? I don't know. You're gonna crouch it. Yeah, you'll be crouching. You'll be crouching. Card demon will all that to get you. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. It's a game. Okay. Oh, 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 I see. So we have KO. See, RX doesn't want to go. RX doesn't want to go against him. Go, 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 yeah, yeah. Go against that is terrible. Welcome to the yeah, So people say this is actually a Yang Cleaver. But I think it's easier with Ken. But they lost two Ken's already. Fighters ready. Engage. Is this what we call a vortex? Nope, not yet, not quite. Match fighting back. Guess the throw. Whoa. Match is playing amazing right now. Probably he's playing the best today. Right now. Oh yeah. yeah. His reads are on point. There are a lot of um, com uh, you know, combo mistakes, but still, it's not costing him. Oh, oh my God. This green is Nice hit. Clear that air. Doggy too fast. I'm glad the crowd here doesn't go why do you want to worry? Every time he does the EX man this fast because that will get him like real fast. Oh, oh my god! Match! Match! You win! I said maybe he's not he's not doing too well today, but I must correct myself. No, I mean So now they decided to have Yaku as anchor and now we have Rx. RX, the Yurian God himself. Yeah. And yeah. 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 he is only Yurian top 8. Wow. Really? That happens a lot. So, RX wants to use some of those EX headbutts because those are mad scary for a Loki. Yes. But Matt should be aware of that. He knows well. Yeah, like both of these guys have won each other many, many, many times. I think they do. I think they did. That could have not been a kill, but he could have done more damage. He's time to keep it simple. What you don't really don't see is that, uh... Oh, there it is! Hey! Oh, there it is! Oh, there it is! Not really? Oh, not really? Not really? Even better? Not really? I think he would have gotten the kill if he would have finished the combo with a headbutt. Ah. Oh. Time to go for the fierce. Maybe 
as greedy, he wanted to build a little bit more meter. <laughs> and special attacks scale less than uh, heart attacks and combos uh, as time goes on. Uh, that's not always true, but I'll let you go with that now. <laughs> <laughs> I like to explain in the middle of the match if we have time. Oh, yeah. Again, that's more strong. Yes, I bud. Yes, I bud. Nope. Uh -oh. He's being a little bit greedy with the air toxin. It wasn't late, it wasn't late, but it wasn't within time. Whoa. Oh, good coverage, good coverage. Nope. I'm sure he went a little better for that. Wow. Holy crap. Now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Ducked right over that. That was almost dead. Alright, so with 100% combo. There goes Goki crouching. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Is gonna hurt. Are you ready to catch up? Oh, he did. Dang it. Didn't go for the ESI, but... No. Oh! Talk about... Oh! Oh! Uh -oh. Demon or not? Woo! Oh! Watch your feet! Watch your feet! <laughs> so, what it is, is that when you combo using all special moves, it doesn't scale that much. When you mix normal moves and special moves, it scales a lot. Right. And like yeah. for Dudley, you know, six weeks. Yes. Like all normal moves, right? It doesn't scale as much. Well, it, also, it does scale, but it doesn't scale as much. Right. So the no. chop, the fierce at the end. If it would have been a headbutt, it's a, it's like special moves, special moves, special moves, special moves. So it doesn't scale as much. And so that's why I'm saying it would have killed. Ah. So this is K. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. What about that? Chick does sorrow. Oh, really? Maybe you know. Maybe you know better than I. Because I was, I was kind of absent for like six years. There was, there was, there was two, yeah. There was a really weird year where none of the big games won it. Hey, no flop. Okay. Oh, dang it, super. Stop the stop the dash up. Oh, whoa. This is like this is like best case scenario for Bears, me for, right. for Chun Li because she has meter. Yeah. Oh, yo, yo, strong, strong button pushing, so fast, so annoying for you. Unless he misses super, he's doing pretty well. He's not getting the super. Airborne, probably that was. Yes, it, yes. Wow. He's not getting super! He doesn't mind! Check! Super or not? Neko punch! You win! So RX made some uh, simple mistakes at the end. You know, try, try, trying to sandwich right there. The away team Chun-Li was, Chun was blocking crouching, so he didn't try to push uh, Chun-Li into the reflector, but Chun-Li was really fat with his crouching. Couldn't get, the, couldn't get the, 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 the opposite direction block on the reflector that occurs from the second hit on. So couldn't get the launch after that. And that cost him the match, I guess. So now we have an anchor. Engage. You gotta save his team. And Yaku must be. Uh, who does he need to be? He needs to be four? Yeah. He needs to be four. It's bad. But it's Yaku, you never know. I think it's the best thing in the game. Yaku? Yeah. Oh, good carry. Good defense. He's about to get meter. Can't activate when Chummy's in the face. There you go. That's a great angle. Oh, he had it. He had it. He had it. He had it. So what I like about Yaku and Nisho's playstyle is that they have good defense. Not only offense, they have very good defense. 
Two hits, yes, two hits. There they are. Oh, no EX up kick. Didn't want to spend the meter. Oh, no activation. Uh oh. So. Oh, burning EX? Interesting. Oh! Oh no! I I I don't know what it was. Usually you do that when you're in the corner. I don't know what it was. Negative edge, maybe? I don't know. Oh no! Oh okay, it was, if it was in the corner, you could have juggled with a stunning with a stunning middle punch. Good damage. It, oh not the super! Oh, wow. Not super again! Wow. Scrambles here! Drop our connections! We got flame drops! No super, no, no super to punish! She saw the back face and then! Pressure is too real right now! Right. Oh, Miss Dutter! Miss Dutter! Wow! Oh, good thing you didn't convert there! Oh, one hit, one hit away! Super, no! No super, no punish! Oh, oh my god! Wow! What a play! You win. So, uh, the sickest read I think I saw was uh, the raw shoulder in the corner yes. from the actor. Yes. He knew he was, he was gonna escape air ball. Uh -huh. And caught him, caught him in the air. air. Yeah, caught him in the air. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was that was beefy. Yeah. That, that was straight up beefy. Who does he need to beat? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna define beefy as beyond meaty. That is a, that's actually a Dr. Sub-Zero term. Nah, nah, just me and Beefy. Tony Beefy. It's Yakuza Furo. Yakuza Furo. Tony Nan on a boss to save his team to go and the finals. Good ender. Nice. Nice. Both guys want metered. Oh, did I get an attack to the uh, I think, Yeah. I guess he missed a standing short kick. Yeah, I can pretty good. In pretty good shape now. Yep. There you go. Oh, Yang needs meter. Yang, Yang needs life. Uh, yeah, yeah, too. Yep. Well, I mean, if he has a meter, he can make the comeback. I think that one, he ain't crouching. He was pushing a button. It did massive damage. Right. No. Yeah, makes sense. Walk up grab. Wow. <laughs> The, this game is almost as old as the movie right here. Pressure right on in the corner. Run for a mix up. Put your butt, put your butt at the right time. Mag grab? Yes, sir. Uh, 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 not, gonna hit. not bad damage. Whoa. Oh, no! That was a bad drop. Whoa! Oh, reacting to the dive, dive kick. Or the neutral jump, I should say. Oh, good parry! Oh, God, nice sweep. Wow! Nice read! I'm not sure that it's final round. Go for it! Nice combo, nice follow up. Get him in the corner! Oh! Whoa! That's it! Yes! Wow, early command grab this time. Back at the end anyway, anyways. One more hit! One more hit! Oh! Whoa, a little bit! Surprised he didn't die, he got his head earlier. Whoa! Next one! Oh no! Is he looking to come back? Two more, two more! Man! Wow! Wow! He really. Okay, that's what I mean. committed. That's what I mean by good defense. I see. You don't panic. Stuck to the game plan. Yep. Wow, that was some that was some composure. That was impressive composure. The boss is the first player on the team, and there's Tomiyama left. Yakuma's defeat, boss and Tomiyama in order. We already beat two for K, which is not both, both not easy. There's two more. Well, I got the picture. Kenya can do it.
into the heat of battle. Oh, go for it. Is he gonna lose? Is he gonna lose now? No, no, I've got it. I gotta have me. I have to have me. Yes, he got it. A little late. A little bit too late. Maybe one or two things. Ow! Oh, good, good kill. Good kill. Max damage. Good kill. That was a little bit of meter. Wait, no more. Lost at the first round? Prepare to strike. Now. Wait, what? That was blocked. Whoa. Oh. Oh, the color was taken. Oh, oh my god. They're playing mind games. He is really focused now. Short? Yes, yeah, short. Did he get that much? Oh, let's get past him. Is it Super Yaku? One more hit, one more hit. Oh, oh my god. god. Come on, Chip. Activate. Nope. Yes, activate. Last chance for Yaku. He's got to make this count. He's got to make this count. Look Whoa, what the hell was that? That, that was a reason. Oh, because of... Uh, the tempo comes from the command got scale. All oh, right, so they want to reset the damage. So yeah, even though he went for the uh, the normal game on combo after the command grab, it would not it definitely would not have killed. Right, so but he wanted to get the kill. If he went for a leap attack, then into, he could combo from the overhead to the rest. Yeah, into a short and then a die pawn loop, it might have, have killed. killed him. Might because have. he would have been crouching also. Yes, you're right. I see. So it was right decision yeah. making. It, okay, I see. But it was not in the proper distance. I'm, I'm thinking. And it would have worked because Yakum was. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. The boss was crouching. And right. the, and the leap attack actually hit, but he was not at the right distance. Got it. So it would have been leap attack, low short, number of standing fierces, and maybe he might get greedy and go for another reset after that. Or maybe like immediately launch after uh, uh, using a shoulder, uh -huh. and then like follow up with a jump. Jump middle kick or something, and then go for a uh, command grab again because he had no nice. life. Right. So here's our so bracket. These are, are our finalists. Master cars on the left. It's Game Center Arashi, Kabitz, Mato, Nito, and Ricky Maru. And the team that we just saw came out from the playoffs. Right. Rising from the dead. Rise. Tomi Naga. God. <laughs> Tomi Naga match Boss Furo and K. And yeah, we, we thought Tomi Naga was like dropping a lot of combos, which are very unlikely. And maybe he was a little bit nervous. Maybe he wasn't used to six or something. But now, but but, but we but we saw him, you know, pick up his pace again. He was landing those 100. Right. So now I think he's in pretty good shape. And match match, as I said, I thought he was not trained enough for anything something but he showed his true potential in the last match yes. by defeating uh, how many three right yeah three also above. this this marks the the end of the dream for a uh, for a repeat for the KO family for the KO uh, family repeat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry KO fans I'm sorry Nika KO so yeah there is there is a new cur there is a new curse <laughs> or another curse but one that's not limited to KO, it's just one that he just happens to fall under. Alright, gentlemen, let's run over to Matsuda and uh -huh. finals. I, uh, <laughs> you want to do translations? I will try to translate if I can. Okay. But most of the times, I can't really, I can't really hear what they're saying. Right. <laughs> Tokura! So this is fourth for cooperation about this venue. First, first it was KO. He was teaming with KO. He went to the finals. Next, he he, he teamed with K, uh, Onuki, and he was in the finals yesterday. No, no, not yesterday, last year. And now he's teaming with Onuki, uh, <laughs> so he's gonna try to win with not his own power. He is teaming with the big names. Genki. He says he's done nothing throughout the day. <laughs> he says he's saying Cooperation Cup is basically his tournament, oh. but he's done nothing so far. Oh. There's a show. He says he's played this game. He's played this game more than anybody else. So wow. There's no way he's going to lose. Okay. Cooney. <laughs> this guy. 
Really? He said this is it's last time he was in the finals five years ago. And he it's been four years since he's been at the finals. And so this, and he wants to win. And <laughs> a lot more, sorry. <laughs> Kuni started third strike five years ago. It was the first cooperation cup. All right. And like Kuni was taken to the finals by Nuki, and this year, Onuki said, "If you if you get better, let's team again." And it's this year. It happened this year. Okay. So they've been like uh, in the in the group chat. They've been they've been. Uh, Texting like 100 or 200 messages daily on their group chat, tell, telling each other we want to win. Okay. So Tominaga. So they're hungry. They are hungry. Yes. Uh, Mr. Nikes. They said they came off and came off from the playoff. And he's happy that he's here in the finals. Yeah, I'll say. He has good teammates. And he would like to win because he has good teammates <laughs> as well. Furo. It's his first time he's ever been to the finals. <laughs> what is it? Sorry for, for sorry Furo fans, I missed I missed a lot of it. He says he wants to feel good and win and go home. Also mentioned he has good teammates. Match. <laughs> Last year's Corporation Cup, he said he was gonna have um, have have uh, a new baby, so he said he was not oh, gonna wow. play. But but he ended up playing <laughs> last year. <laughs> And so he's mentioning that he was not he was not doing well today, but uh, by winning, whoa, by winning by uh, picking up some wins in the in the final tournaments. Sorry, next. <laughs> I ran out of time. And I and I missed what he said. Whoops. I kind of mumbling there. Boss. He is really happy to have this big of a crowd and show him his, his play. And uh, he would like to feel happy by showing them his true play and winning. So guesses, guesses. Who's gonna be coming? Who's gonna be playing first? Uh, Left side, it's Kuni. Uh, sorry, uh, it's uh, Genki or uh, Tokura. Uh huh. I like Yankee first. On the right? The right side. If you think Yankee's going first, you could throw Furo at them. I like the Yang, the Yang Alex matchup. It's heavily in Yang's favor, in my opinion. Not, uh, well, not, not like okay. weighted, not stupidly weighted, but it's good for Yang because he can control the space and he does a lot of stun compared to you know what compared to what Alex can put out against Yang. What do you think? Yeah. Um, I no I'm, no about the Alex Yang matchup. <laughs> yeah. Alex Yang matchup. I think it's I think it's about even. Really? I think it's about even. Okay. I'm I'm trying to paint up some technical difference. Mm -hmm. Well, hold on. Let me do a uh, real quick. Because um, if Yang misses the quicksand tech off right. of a normal throw, which is very tight, it only has like a two frame window. Right. Yang's lying there, and then Alex is in your face. Oki, Oki situation and Yang can dive very very easily and when Yang wants to go for a command grab or walk up throw Alex's car throw has mad range it's got great and which range, can yes. like throw him out and so what we say like um, Yang and Young both are very very fragile they are, and yes. um, Alex's combos are very very easy yes, that means of execution brain dead let's be real yes and you know if you're in the corner against Alex combos are easy Pressure's heavy, right. and Yang has no like invo moves. Right. What's he gonna do, right? Yeah, he has to guess. He's forced to guess. Yeah, so he's forced to guess. Like right. it's like it's like 
not up back, but it's like up front. Right. Release me, right? Yeah. But what, then if an overhead's coming, you're down on the ground again. What I'm worried about though is that with, with Alex, he's got no low confirm. So the only lo, the only low cancel movie has is that low, low short. short. And you can you can confirm and to super. Right. right. Boomerang rate, right. Yeah. But for the for the Alex to go low short super, he's got to he, he almost has to gamble that. I feel like if you're if you're weighing if you're weighing your options, high end high end throw. You've got good chances to just go low. You can almost, almost say, "Hey, I don't need, I don't want to worry about that." Do, do you remember what you saw these two days? True. The low pressure from Alex. What did they use? They use low short. That's no, no, they, they use mean, low roundhouse. Oh, they use low roundhouse. Okay. And it, and every single one of them worked. I think you saw Sakurada make it work. You saw Genki make it work. True. That is very true. See? So not many people use low because low itself it's not rewarding unless you like cancel into boomerang raid. Okay. It's just like a, it's just like a big block of risk. You know you got no follow up when it's parried. Uh -huh. So not many people go for low unless you really have a read. Right. So a lot of people go for roundhouse for low low pre, uh, low pressure, uh -huh. and like you said, overhead and command grab, uh -huh. and command grab outside of Yang's throw range True. is yes. too much. Too much. Okay. Too much. And so, wait, Yang's throw is like 20 pixels, I think, 20 or 21. I'm sorry about the numbers. Okay. But when Alex's car throws, it's over 30. That's true. Yeah. Alex has got, I think Alex's car throw is one of his saving graces. Yes, yes. And He's got to rely on that. And so, as I said, it's very hard to check Alex's throw. It's, okay. It has a two-frame window. And if you mess up, he's in your face again. Right. And like... When you're in the corner, that means Alex got you at least got you at least like once or twice. So that means a little bit of stun bar is built, and so like two or three more reads in the corner, which can be an overhead, a command grab, command grab. You're dead. Right. So you do not want to be in the corner. So you ha Yang has to control the mid game, uh -huh. and he does want not want to get hit by the ex slash elbows. And um, Alex also has easy anti airs if he can react in time. The standing middle punch. Standing middle punch. Great answer. You're totally right. Crouch, uh, crouch fierce. The crouch fierce. Pretty good. Yeah. The yeah. shoulder. Yes. Shoulder. And at least it gets you airborne. Even if it gets stuck by the dive kick, you're airborne. Right. So you don't suffer too much damage. Right. But that's also a good tool. And then you know Yang being a glass cannon. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the trade's gonna be in your favor. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you got a knockdown as well. Yeah. And so Alex also has a good air to air. Uh -huh. His jump is not that high, and his fierce is pretty good. Yes. In both ways, sideways and down, downwards, both. So, it's not easy for Yang. I mean... Okay. Oh, so Evolution Japan is going to have third strike. Really? What? Officially announced? Are, are you kidding me? Oh, Eve... Needs to be. Oh, it needs to be. Yeah. I see. Don't get my hopes up. Sorry, I'm just like trying to read his mid-third uh, stuff. You are the biggest tease. <laughs> Bla you are the biggest Blake tease right now. So, um... Wait, uh, Cooney does not want to play um, Yang because Yang has his tools to get out of Denji setup. Right. right, Super Two goes right under. Yeah. Right. And basically, Yang and Ryu is not that easy for Ryu because Ryu has that extra block stone when crouch blocking. <laughs> so, the, so those slashes can't make a move. So basically, <laughs> Ryu does not want to play Yang most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they went blind pick. They went blind pick. All right. Yep. Let's see what's going to happen. We've been here 10 hours already. 10, 10 hours. hours. Yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Hey, grab a drink. Oh, what do you want? The final! Watch her! 
Two more, two more for size. Oh, nice direction. The box. Oh, it was a command grab, I think. Got to throw as a punish. Chip. Nice. Final round. Five in real time. Final round. Go for it. Go for it. A little bit of meter. Burned it now. About even. Amazing box by Fudo. Oh, good reaction also. Good punish. Didn't get the slashes, but it's alright. Take a little short, didn't come out, but it hit, hit oh, it. Missed the lock. One more, one more. It's gonna start. What? 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 Oh no! Oh my god. Oh! Get the hell out of here, Zajaki! Oh! I was about to say. I hate to see this type of thing happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, your head is <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Final the salt. All oh, the salt. See, that is why I always make the combo simple and push the buttons on the farther right. In case, in case you mess up the combo, it does more damage enough to kill. Because Tokuraki is low forward and standing short. You want a super. But if you were to push the button to the right, that means the roundhouse or a fierce would have done more damage and would have got the kill. I would have done it to anyway. Yeah, so... Wait, 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 wait. Yo! 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 Yo. Yeah. I'm waiting for He's going second? He's going second. Now. That's what That's what you can do if you have five killers in a team. Oh my god. First grab. Oh, he's nice, he's nice. Damage. Not really. Oh, he could have got the bomb right there, huh? Not really. <laughs> Alright, I'll explain later then. Good area. Tommy Young has it in a Peter. Good defense. Once again, air is a good place to be. Air is a really good place to be. Tommy Young has enough meter to kill. If he gets a grab, go for it. But he will need to taunt. Now he doesn't need to taunt. He's gonna get enough meter for the second of Tommy. Oh, oh. Interesting use of uh, Court Strong by Tominaga to hit the board. Oh yeah. Because Makoto has the slowest walk in the game. Uh, fastest dash in the game? Yes. He's going in. He's scary as hell. Whoa! Whoa! He's missing Whoa. his combos. I don't know what's oh, up with him. Oh, maybe they're getting to him. Oh. That's scary. Jump out! Oh! He read. All right, he read the. He read the read. Okay. He's not gonna spend it. Wow! He's not gonna spend it. He should have. Oh, he really should. He can die in one grab. Or one read, really. One grab, yes. One grab or one force or one jump in. Uh oh. Oh, he's trying to read a swing of super. He's trying to read the wake of super. And I got it. No! This time it cost him. Yeah. This time it cost him. He should have let the super after using the super after the point combo. Way back. I'm sure it would have reached. Oh! 
so, so this is, um, I would like to mention this on stream, but these are like inappropriate words for streams, I can't mention them directly, but these are very, very, uh, the, those, these two are, you know, playing against them, it makes you very, very unpleasant. Because you know the randomness is from both sides. Yes. Ah, so ah, what yes. we would like to see yeah. is I got the pigeon. See them kill each other. Right? <laughs> Alright. All right. And, and there will be a situation. There will be a situation like, like one of them will die. Right. Like you know. And one yes. <laughs> Basically, <Whoa>. yeah. <laughs> Besides, get the uh, car dash punch. Oh! oh no, mile. no, missed the EX next kick! Maybe it was the EX, missed the EX, or read the jump. Are you ready? Oh, uh, go! And bet all on it. But I think I, I, think, I think could he taunt it that, so it means he missed the, he missed the EX. You taunt a lot when your opponent makes a good looking episode. Could he play it very well right now? You never know what's gonna happen. But that's scary. Oh, is he gonna use it? He should. Is that a win? Oh, didn't even EX. He should have used it. Oh no! One's gonna die. One's gonna die. No, 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 no neither died. Wow. I thought, I, thought, I thought one was gonna die. That was that was a fast one. Oh by the way. my god! Oh! oh. Should have been dead. He should, yeah, should have been dead. He should have just spent the meter earlier. To set the meter, I don't know why. For win guaranteed situation. Even the EX would have done so much better. Uh huh. I think he missed the EX because it was a middle awesome. middle Hayate. Yeah. Oh, lucky. Oh boy. Oh no! Oh, if he was standing, if he stayed standing for that one, then he would have been able to play the last hit and then get a grab. Yes, right. Oh, jump out. Toast the dummy! Nope! Get out of there. Tell me not, uh, tell me not, tell me not. Makoto, we're coming fast. Oh, he's not gonna hit. He's not gonna hit. He's not gonna hit. Train! That's a bad trade for him. Uh, oh, this does more stun. Oh my god. Oh, fourth throw. Oh. 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 Once Whoa. again. What? The hell? Oh, oh. my god. Oh. <laughs> Good win. Actually, it, I'm surprised that it was a very good match. Because, wow. as I was saying, it, you become very, very unpleasant when you play these two gentlemen. Right. Because they, they are very random at times. But it was a sick match. I want you guys to watch the punish from Ryu. If he parries low, anything low, he will do a direct jaunty kick, it's not a command mistake. And ideally if you parry high, you do a tatsu. And you will get basically get a knockdown. Because some of the moves, even though you parry, you can't punish with like with an uppercut and do a jaunty kick. So you do the jaunty kick directly. So you get the knockdown and the stun. So he might be doing that. Yeah. You might see could he do it. I saw him do it yesterday. Okay, doing very well. Super and stun, but he's not going for it. It's scary to go, push him into the corner because the back throw is always scary. He decides to go in, challenge him. Nice. Scary as hell. Good blocks. He's blocking all those overheads. Oh, I, I do not believe it's safe. There is he. I told you. Directly into Donkey Kick. Oh, that's what I mean. Directly into the parry into Donkey Kick. 
Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Can I get him out of meter? Kirby wants a little bit more. Hey. Punch in the face twice. Plenty of meter now. Oh, good punish. Fire. Super, super, super. It's a mind game. Nice. Sometimes you should not super in that situation. Sometimes you should have. Final round. Now. But he has plenty of meter. One hit. One hit. Into 50 50. Ah. Oh! Whoa! It was active for so long! Too fast. Oh. Uh oh. Needs a little bit more meter. Oh, could he just make him out of six? Yeah. Open the six. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> K was too focused. He saw the old accidental overhead whiff, reacted with a super. Too fast. Yeah, too fast. And as I said, the overhead was active in that frame when right. somebody had a super and flash. And right into yes. it, like you were talking about yep. earlier. God. The show. He's confident in this matchup, and a little advice from Nuki, it should help. So where are we? Third player? Both? Yes. Who do you have left? The show and Nuki? Uh, I got the picture. Show and Nuki. Show and Nuki. Show and Show and Nuki. 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 Fighting's ready. Engage. Activate. Yeah. 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 Got it anyways. Yeah. Who invented the dipe hunt move, by the way? Huh? Who invented the dipe hunt move, by the way? I do not know. Yeah. But it's not Keeper. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, Super! Yes! Wow! Oh. Whoops! No, he decided not to go to Vital Hollow. Oh, and just... Oh, no, okay. he did extra time on the Gen Agent. You're right. Aha! <laughs> Very smart. Because he can have tech on Super Knockdown. That's correct. You're right. Okay. Activate! Goodness be the end! Oh, boy. Whoa! Hit! So it was proper decision making on yeah, both sides. Yeah, that side. was very smart. We have we have left. Match and we have match and boss are left. Yeah, and boss was a show. I got him. And Onuki. And Onuki. He's still alive. And Onuki. Oh man, it's not looking good for the right team. Wow. Yeah, I'm waiting for this. Prepare to strike. Now. Ooh. Oh! Wrong punish. Wow! He knows what's up. That is hard to block and he can hard to parry. Yes. Activate, yes. Oh, that's gonna hurt! We're gonna see which side he was in. Good punish. Oh, counters a demon flip! Sweet! That is like an American reaction. Because Americans, like, generally have faster reactions than Japanese. You think so, really? Yeah, I think so. Wow. I think so. By far. Oh! Oh, he's missing all the combos. I don't know why. Teleport soon? Nope. No, 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 
Dash Punch! Oh, oh. Wait for Dash Punch! Oh, that was good. Oh! Nice. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Match point! Match point! It's all on boss. The final boss. Boss. Final boss. No pressure. No pressure. This could be the last match of the tournament, but I don't want to boss in my way. So I would like to move the boss just for that, just for now. I want to boss boss. Boss me, let's see. The boss me two more? Yeah, two more. The show and Genki and... Or show Genki or show and Nuki or whatever. Give me three more. No, just give me three more matches, that's all. I don't care who wins. Just give me three more matches. I'm just gonna win it. And the boss, what is that? Oh! Now! Boss going in, this is the hit confirm. Best shoulder, got the meter! Oh, that was wrong! Oh, it's gonna hurt. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, we went for the reset, went for the meaty shoulder. Good reads, good reads, working out for him. He's, he, he's lively, he's alive. So, activate. First, me too. Oh, he's gonna no challenge show, it. No show, no show, no show. No, no. Walk up, oh. middle punch, middle punch. You are heavily plus after that. Oh, uh, just short of beat us. Oh, just short of try to do a counter. Good, oh, good ender. Damage. Rather get hit by it. One round away. One round away from round. Go. Winning the title. Athlete, yes. Oh, oh this is got to reset. Oh, not a good ender. Just ran out of time. Not a good ender, though. Uh oh. It's not looking good. Putting on a click. Oh, oh, oh Barry. Nice. Oh, push the wrong button. Should have been a little forward. Oh no, got crossed up. No serious damage. Walk a middle punch, walk a middle punch. Oh no. Whoa! Oh! Activation! We gotta fight back! Oh, oh my god. Hey! 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 hey. 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 Oh, he, he got it, it's hard. Oh shit. Boss needs meter, boss needs meter. He's gonna challenge him. Oh, he's gonna be it, he's gonna be it. Hey, he's gonna be Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look, look Nuki's uh, Nuki's way in the back. He's like, I don't want to play. Okay. I think I think he changed. I think he pushed pressed the wrong pushed the wrong button for the for his color. So he said he wants to reset. <laughs> you know what? Right now, even the most trivial things matter. Right. Look, everything has to be perfect. I uh -huh. do not now, this. now uh, you don't see this on camera, but um, he's getting free combo practice. Well, you don't get practice. You have to deal the max damage in the most fastest way. Right. So he was doing, he was doing jab, shoulder, jab, uh, shoulder, jab, shoulder, while the, while Genki's holding down because yeah. you, 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 well, you take extra you damage. Take extra damage. Oh, oh, but uh, they ended up resetting the machine anyways. There we go. Well, I got the right. <laughs> So I would like to see one more match. Fighting <laughs> No, I gotta, I gotta root for boss on this one. What? It's dirt! It's dirt! Hard to catch! Oh, no! It's dirt! It's dirt! It's dirt! It's dirt! We got the crowd starting to yell now. Hey! 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 Going in, wow. Never thought you would. Right. Oh. 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 Oh.
strike now. Oh, it is not a punish. Uh oh. Let's go. Oh, he's still in the corner. Oh, this is looking really bad. Oh, that was me. That was me. That was me. By the way. Oh, nice. Oh, that's the damage. Hey. Oh, that was not hit. He's not going for the right combos. Oh, activation. Oh, 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 justice. Oh, 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 yeah. wow. oh, 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 Alex has closed out Cooperation Cup 2017. So Suki's team takes the victory. See, Sechi is victorious. We could not see another match, but still it was good enough, right? Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, wow, wow. Wow. Tears don't matter? And they said Alex was a bad character. He is, he's though. <laughs> but he Genki, still is a bad character. Well, not, Genki, not but, really. But Genki, <laughs> Genki, Genki. Um, what separates a bad character and a good character, uh, there are a lot of definitions for this, uh, but one of them is that uh, whether you can fight Chun-Li or not. Right. Uh, and yeah. Alex oh, has a very, very hard time. Very hard. That's oh, why people say this. he's a bad character in over here in Japan. But what you guys saw and what you guys saw yesterday was like other Alex players' um, performance, like Sakurada. They can fight against uh, Lee, Yuri, and Makoto. Well, Makoto's maybe a little yeah. tough. But Yang, Yun, I won't say it's no problem, but it's doable. Yes. Because he deals a lot of damage, he has a lot of health, he has a long stone bar. He's got momentum. What's he yeah, 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 yeah. So, yep. so he's not the best character in the game, obviously not. Not at all. And there's the fact that RX used to play Alex, right. but he quit because he could not beat Chun Li. Right. That's why he changed to Urian, and it really paid off for him. Right. So, you know. As I keep on saying, it's hard against Chun Li, but Alex overall is not that bad. He's not that bad. I, you know what? I'm a, I'm a believer again. As an Alex main, I've always maintained that. You know what? I'm fighting the uphill battle no matter what. Sure. But this is third strike. Yeah. And uh -huh. anything can happen. We just saw it, and oh, by the way, Kazuya told me, a good friend of mine, he told me that uh, he does not want to fight against Chun Li and Oro. So apparently, uh, apparently, it's the same way I do. So, yeah. so apparently, Alex does not want to fight those two characters, but but others, fair game. It's not bad. So, so my opinion is, is like when I like, you know, make when I make tears, yes. it's like I have bad, fair, uh -huh. and very good. Okay. And it's like for very good, it's like you and Chun and Ken. Right. And right, it's right. like bad is like Sean, Twelve, and Remy, and the rest are. Fair. Okay. That's how I rate it. Right. Because you saw a lot of fair versus fair matchups today and yesterday, right? Yeah. And they were pretty good, right? It could it could have gone either mm -hmm. way. Yeah. And you saw a lot of fair versus good characters matchups, which and is they're like still really fun yeah, to watch. Yeah. Fun uh, to watch. Yeah. yeah. So it's doable. And we just saw that. We were saying that um, Yun is good and Alex is fair, but Alex beat Yun, which is fair beating the good. So it can happen. Uh, award, award ceremony. So uh, we're so gonna have an award ceremony. So we're gonna do the award ceremony. Uh, and then I want to do a couple interviews with some of the players out there. So oh, okay. Let's get the uh, let's get the award ceremony first. Stick around, Lloyd. Stick wait, around. Wait. Are we allowed to do it? 
Uh, are we allowed to do it? What? Interviews and stuff? Yeah. I mean, pull people in here because we decide when to end the stream. Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. So, RKF, if you would do the honors of... Uh... No, you do it. Really? CEO. <laughs> CEO of Stark Enterprise, you do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm busy translating. <laughs> yeah, okay. well, we'll wait for these to finish. Right. By the way, I, 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 I was planning not to show you, but my tongue hurts very much. Oh, dear. Ooh, see? I got, I got this yesterday. I was like, Ouch. no, but I seem like I survived these two days. Thanks to you. Thanks to you also. Right. Thank you. When our, our MB, I done it you. MVP, MVP <laughs> of our stream. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good experience. It was, it was really tough. It was hard times. By the way, so what's the price for this tournament? I have no idea. Is it another plaque? A plaque with the Cooperation Cup art? Last year, I think they received. I think they received some kind of like things like headphones or something. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. That's kind of cool, actually. But we do not have any other razor or any kind of. Uh, we got stuff from Arcade Shock and equipment right. and stuff. So, twenty thousand combined viewers. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Yeah. yeah, that's now, a lot. Now that eclipses the previous mark. The last I'd ever seen of Third Strike being that high was back at 37 Reloaded. Oh, we had about see, around 10 to 12K, but 20K combined for Third Strike. That's amazing. You guys, the viewers from both the Japanese and the English stream, you did it. Thank you so much <laughs> for supporting this. Seriously, I know it's late as hell for you guys. Or early as hell. Right? Yes, or yeah. Or wait. They're not, um, they're not all Americans, right? No, they're not. No. But you know what? On the West Coast, it's 3.41 in the morning. Give them a hand. Second place, runner yes. up. Tomi Naga. Yeah, what a Furo fight. K, Boss, and uh, who's the other guy? Uh, match. No interview for the losers. It's heartbreaking, I know. So yep. they decided to go. And it I think there's, I think they're going to, maybe they might have an interview, but we are very late. It's close to nine o'clock. Ah. A lot of people were thinking out to go, you know, going out to drink <laughs> after this, but it's nine already. Yeah. And but you only have so much time before the trains. It's Kuni, Nuki, Sho, Tokura, and Genki. Congratulations. Winner of Cooperation Cup 15, 2017. They're getting medals. Oh, wow. Hey, a plaque. <laughs> oh, they got medals? Yeah, they, they get, get medals. Got medals. So... That was to, that was Cooperation Alex, Cup 15. A Cooperation Cup Cooper winning team with Alex. What? I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I said I was gonna quit Alex after this tournament. No, you did. You were seriously I considering it. I was really just so distraught. You were you were you were just, you decided on it. After watching Genki, I, I don't know if I can anymore. How, how long have you been playing Alex? I've been playing Alex since 2004. And you enjoy playing? I enjoy playing this game every day. Okay, so what other characters have you played? Makoto and Yurian. Not oh, bad, I not see. bad. They got some frame. Okay, oh. okay. They got beanies, they got shirts. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Totally not esports. <laughs> totally, totally not at all. It, it didn't go to the esports team. Thank God. <laughs> And Twitch shirts. Um, Yurian is a big, good choice. And uh, Yun and Goki would also be a good choice. I play very defensively. I don't. I, I, I like to weather storms, so I don't feel like Goki would be a good choice for me. Um, what, I, what I'm trying to say here is that um, you have this uh, easy, like, winning scenarios for each of those characters that oh, I just mentioned. I so Alex, basically, you play the mid-game, you find an opening, put him in the corner, uh -huh. and win the read, like, two or three times, get the stun, you win. Ideal, uh -huh. right? So that's like kind of like Alex's winning scenario. And right. same for Yuri and build meter, get him in the corner, reflector in your face, high, low, you win. Ah, right. I see what you mean. And Goki, basically he can do everything. He can do defense, he can do offense, he can do a lot of stuff, but he has uh -huh. low life. So um, it's really hard uh -huh. to follow that scenario, but once you, can, once you get to do it, you'll feel good and you'll pick up the wins. All right, well, I will be choosing my characters soon enough after this, uh, you know, after this tournament, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm gonna be playing Third Strike for the rest of it. I went, I went 0 and 2, and I, <laughs> I want more. I want more. <laughs> well, everybody goes 0 and 2. Right. Well, uh, let me correct myself. One third of the participants 
today and yesterday. That's right. Goes 0 and 2, and they're done. Right. That means. You know what? It's 1250 yen, 1250 yen mm. per credit right. per game. Right. That's a lot. That's that a is lot of money. Huge. But, I mean, some people get up there. They get up there, meaning goes, goes up there, fight off, uh -huh. paying the same entry fee, uh -huh. enjoying the game more than you did. Right. So you should be ashamed of yourself, or you should like you know go back to the lab, or go to the arcade, and then train yourself again. All I want to do is just get back in there. <laughs> that 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 I think that's the, that's the meaning of this. Is that you know you get beat down, but you you dust yourself off and you try again. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's that's what matters most. Is that a loss doesn't make me downtrodden. Uh -huh. I mean I'll, I'll feel downtrodden at first, but that just makes me want to get stronger. And that's the beauty, the beauty of this <laughs> game. So, so we are going to have an interview. All right, here we go. Genki, the winner. Oh. The man, the MVP. He hasn't won this big of a title before in his career, including SBO, Corporation Cup. He's very happy for that. <laughs> like he said, he showed off at the end. See you all next year. I'll be looking forward to it. I'll be taking your challenge. Thank you. Show. He says he feels really good. This team started off with Kuni and Show wanting to win, claim the, to claim the title. <laughs> he said he was in a fight with Tokura at one point. Wow. Ah, uh, could not hear what he's saying. He's really happy being able to win with this team. Kunoki. Thank you all. Thank you for... Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks to Matsuda tournament organizers. Give him a round of applause. It has been a while when all of his team members did, did magnificently well and actually win. He said it was a perfect team. Everybody had, had their role. Everybody, you know, clutched off some wins. So he thinks this is the best game. It's a great game. Thank you all. Otokura. <laughs> he was thinking nobody's going to root for him this year. <laughs> some of his friends uh, through Twitter and some of those people were watching him put in the work. He would like to thank all those people, all those friends. And he would like to thank Inoue, Keio, and Nuki who taught him third strike. And it's a rare occasion that all three are in attendance right now. And he's really happy that he won in front of those three. <laughs> he was thinking I'm not, not picking up any wins, but Furo came first. But being a student of KO, he had to beat Furo. Oh, it's the second time winning Cooperation Cup. Oh, wow. First time, um, Yakun did all the work for him. Uh, next, next year? Next year, we'd like to win pre Cooperation Cup with KO on his team. Wow. <laughs> all Yang team? And maybe this time, Moshi Ikari will show up. Kuni. Kuni. He, he's been playing Cooperation Cup for five years, and in the past, it was the big names in his team that took him to the finals. But this time, he also won, and all the teammates won, and he and eventually he won. So he's really, really happy. He says he sucks at games in general, and he makes a lot of mistakes, and his teammates understands that, and everybody taught him from basics. And he would like to thank all the people that taught him, Takura included. 
He would like to thank not only his teammates, the people that taught him, and people that played third strike with him. He would like to thank everybody. He's not going to quit. He said he's not going to quit. He's not going to. He's going to keep playing. Thank you all. Stream, sorry, I missed some of the some of the interview. Uh -oh. Wow. Well done to all our players, guys. Uh, so that was all the matches. That was all the matches, yeah. Um, there are a couple of interviews I want to get, but guys, final thoughts on Cooperation Cup before, you know, we pull in our interviews. RKF. RKF, final thoughts on Cooperation Cup this year. Are we going to have it next year? <laughs> we, we better have it next year. But, you know, we're having more and more participants every year. Right? I can't even read it. It's a good game. Oh, it's a good game. Play third strike. It's a good game. Okay. I agree with that. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. It's a good game in a way, but right. it's a good game overall. Great. Because if it's not good, we would not have 91 teams. Right. So no need to say too much about how good the game is. So I'm thinking they would have it next year as well. Uh. Because... We had like 80 something last year, and now we had 91, right? And it's increasing. We gotta break 100. And we are having more and more teams outside of Japan. Right. People like you, you, and Ikakeo, they're supporting their own scene, training, and you know, coming to Japan to test their skills. And I talked with Ikakeo today, and uh, Ikakeo said he had a really good time. Yeah. So, final thoughts? Everybody. Oh, except for all the losers, one third of the losers that that went on too. Everybody, well, everybody had a good time. So I think it comes down to that. Everybody had a good time. That's yeah, all. yeah, absolutely. Tom, final thoughts. Oh, wait, this is the ending, so I think we should we should watch that. Yep. Tom. Um. I really want to actually train for real uh -huh. and, and not let my team down the, next year. Right. Um, make it. I, I want to make it out of out of uh, out of pools. I want to. I want to make it a top eight. I want to be able to talk shit and walk down the red carpet and show everyone. Oh hey, American can play. Right. I want to be one of those guys. Right on our line. All right. Thank you guys. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I need to bring one more person in here. The guy behind this is third strike. He has it at any mic time. Can we get him on the mic, guys? Absolutely. All right, we're going to switch it up. Thank you to RKF and our live. Thank you, guys. I want to bring the man himself behind this is third strike, one of the main heads. Nika Ko is coming on the mic. Nika Ko. We're going to share a mic here with you and me, and RKF is going to be here. Nika Ko. Man. How are... Okay. I got to ask. Okay. You've spent all this time preparing and making sure that you are ready the cooperation cup. How has your experience been so far? Well, first off, first off, it's like really, it's really amazing that uh, I spent about ten plus years uh, studying and watching all the players in this room, uh -huh. and to make it all the way out here finally, and to you know come so close, uh -huh. it's it's a good feeling, but at the same time, it leaves you hungry for more. Right, it does you know? leave you hungry for more. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, for, for me and my team, I, I mean, uh, we, we wish we had more, but we're looking forward to next year. Ah, okay. You know? That, it, it, that, that's good. And you kind of touched on my point. Is that I, I was going to ask you if there was anything that you felt that you wanted to do more this year. So, for next year, what do we expect for, for Nika KL and the rest of this third strike? What do we expect? You expect us to get stronger. Yes. You can I'm expect like us to get stronger because... As of right now, I mean, uh, we play pretty well, uh -huh. and you know, playing playing currently in Japan with the way the scene is, uh -huh. I feel like uh, the way the way the the way the scene is going right now in America, it's it's going uphill in a sense in terms of skill level uh, amongst the top players. So with that, uh, I, we have really high hopes for for next year. So, all right. Last question for you. Any last shoutouts you want to give to anybody before we call it a night? 
Well, first, shout out to Matilda and all, and all the staff here that, that ran this entire event. I mean, it, first, from personal experience, it's tough to run an event like this. Uh -huh. Like, well, an event in general. Uh -huh. So run an event of this magnitude, it's, it's mind-boggling that he can come up with all this equipment, all this staff, and run it in a, in a timely manner. You know, so uh, big shout outs to him, shout outs to all the players, RKF for, for translating uh, some of the players that we played. I mean, some of the players here, they've been really accommodating, you know. Uh, it's, just, it's just a really great experience, you know. You, you, don't, you don't know about this experience unless you're actually here. So, you know, it's not something you can find in a video. Right. All right, Nick and KL, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations to you guys, and we will see you next year at Cooperation Cup. Yeah, Thank you guys. All right, that that about wraps it up, guys, for the rest of our stream tonight. Pull back my main commentators here. RKF, our live girl up myself. Thanks to Z and the rest of Twitch. And again, thanks to you, the viewers. We don't do this without you. So you keep watching. And again, as Rob says, play Third Strike. It's a good game. Thank you guys. Have a great day. See you around.